because it looks all rusty, like that sort of patina look. Uh, the third one along is our fantastic dancer, our fire dancer. Oh, I've got a different plaque to show you. Nice. And here she is. She's just so elegant, isn't she? She could go on Strictly. She could. Yeah. I need to catch up with that, you know. <laughs> I haven't watched it all yet. Oh, I better not tell you then. No, don't no tell spoilers, me. no spoilers. And then we have got mm, this one, which is which one was this one again? Oh yeah, the perfume bottles with the atomizer. That's there, and we've got the sample next to it, which is just beautiful. It looks so vintage. I like those pinks and creams. Nice. Then we've got the. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, Meg's testing me. I can't remember the name of it. Astrolabe. I don't know why I'm struggling with that one. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, you've got that one. And um, there's the sample. So you layer it up. Then we go on to our star signs. First one, we've got Sagittarius. My brain's not working. I'm like, I can't remember them. Sagittarius. Then we've got, don't tell me, Aquarius. And then Scorpios at the end. Nice. <laughs> I've been up very early, you see, today. Well, so's Meg. I know Meg, you have as well, because we travelled up this morning from Brighton, because so we've still got all Boxing Day together. Uh, now, £18.74. Item number is 823966. Right, what have you got there, Catherine? OK, well, we've got the resin. So, um, I'm just I'm bringing out... The big bottles but we do do this i think we've got the different uh, the different sizes in but these are already started so i'm going to stick with these i use a lot of resin um just as a reminder as well just to show you that uh, you know you can mix colors into this we have the resin tint in there i know with Alicem, there's a little bit of delay on these isn't there alex because oh yes 5th of January, that's when they're be dispatched yeah, i think they're just shut for christmas new year that, that's what it is right so this is resin, so it's nice and hard and it's fully cured. And you'll probably notice, well, you might be able to spot it. It's a little bit out of shape. The reason for that is because when this went in my box, yeah. it wasn't fully cured. Oh, I see. So there is a little trick you can do. If it's only slightly out, just heat it with a heat gun and put some weight on oh, there, right. and it will, it will flatten out again. That's good. But, of course, if you want it to shape, you need to shape it before it's fully cured, which is very, very easy to do. Now, with this resin, and this will work for the baubles as well. You know, Amy asked about the baubles, so resin will work in the same way. We will demold in the morning okay. because it needs a few hours to cure, and it should, it should still be okay in the morning. Now, the piece I've just shown you there came from the machines. Um, I'm actually going to use, I found this in my box, and again, it's something from the last show. Okay. It's the carriage. Now, I don't know if you can pick up the sheen in there. There is some resin in there, yeah. but not a lot. The wheels haven't been filled. There's a bit of the window missing there. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because never, ever waste resin. Right. You can part fill a mould oh. and then go back in and top it up. So oh, that's okay. what we're going to do. We're going to do this one, even though it looks messy and it's nowhere near perfect we'll see what happens in the morning when we fill this up properly cool. now i've noticed there's one or two little areas where the resin seems to have lifted a bit but that doesn't matter because it's self-leveling so anything that's lifted out of the mold should go back underneath right. and it'll fill in and it, it should it should work fine now this uh, resin itself is a one-to-one -one. so i'm doing exactly what i shouldn't do by taking two lids off doesn't really matter which one you go with first try and only take one lid off because if you do mix the lids up then you're going to seal the lid to the top of the bottle. Ah, right. <laughs> Good okay. point. Now, I normally weigh uh, a little bit of a story about the scales. Why? Oh, What's happened? Well, I kept forgetting to put a new battery in. Yeah. And then the lovely Ian sent me a present last oh. time. He sent me a new set of scales and some batteries and gloves and um, some new silicon moulds and stirring sticks. Very, very... Yeah, he did treat me really, really well. But... There must have been a jinx in the studio because every time I turn the scales on yeah. in the studio, they wouldn't stop moving around. They Ooh. just wouldn't settle. As soon as I went out of the studio into the green room, they behaved. Honestly, I have brought them back in again. They just misbehave in the studio. So there's something in this studio that doesn't like those scales. Anyway. Oh, don't. <laughs> it's funny, actually, you know, when we're... 
because obviously we're on a, the late shift and sometimes the lights will get turned off in the studio and I haven't left and then I freak myself oh. out. <laughs> I really do. I'm like, oh, God, I've got to walk down that corridor a bit. <laughs> oh, yes. I believe, you know, I believe. Oh, I do. do I you? do. I definitely believe. Right, okay, so... I've I've been in places yeah. that have been very haunted. Yeah, you'll uh, have to tell me where afterwards. Yeah, my auntie's cottage, Ooh. very very haunted. Uh, she doesn't live there now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she stayed longer than everybody else. <laughs> she stayed longer than everybody else that stayed there. Everybody else left really quickly. Ooh. Right now, I've put little marks on here because I haven't got the scales, so I'm working to the marks. So it's right. one part the the resin. Now I've put the lid back on. I've taken the lid off from the hard. Now I'm actually mixing quite a lot here. I didn't need anything like this amount but so there's different things we can do with it and I will not waste this I've got plenty of molds I can fill ready to demold in the morning so why not um, I am going to keep this clear for the time being I could put some resin tint in there we might do that with something we've got left in a while but you do need to stir this now at home I would suggest sort of give it a really good stir with something plastic don't use metal or wood you will never clean up your tools you'll end up throwing them away oh. with plastic when the resin is fully cured you can just sort of flake it away same with so the silicon jugs you can just sort of squish the jugs and all the bits fall out so, so you, you don't reuse wash them. it no don't wash it is that because so, it'll bung up your sink it, yeah it won't do your sink any good whatsoever and there's no excuse for wasting resin because as I'm about to prove with the carriage, if you haven't got enough to fill a mould, just part fill it, top it up later. Uh -huh. Or keep something like the numbers, the letters, the little bit of everything where you've got small elements in there. Yeah. Always use the extra bits just to fill a mould up so you've got them ready to go at another time. Now, I normally go really fast with this and whisk it a little bit, which you shouldn't do, but I do it on purpose so you can see all the bubbles in there. You will always get bubbles and I want to show you how to get rid of them. So even though I'm saying don't really whisk it, you know, fold it and stir it a little bit more carefully, the more bubbles I put in this, the better you're going to see it on camera. Okay. Now, really, ideally, you want to give this about three minutes mixing time with this particular resin. Uh, we've got the hardener and the resin together, of course. I love, love, love resin. Mm. So what I'm going to do, because we've already got... I might not have mixed that for three minutes, I don't know. But because we've already got a certain amount of resin in here, I thought with it being the carriage, let's go a little bit sparkly. And we'll see what happens tomorrow. So I'm going to... I've just got... I had these in my box. These are Galaxy Flakes. Oh, yes, I love those. Now, I could mix it directly into the resin, or I could go with Gilding Flakes. I could go with Glitter. Um, I'm putting quite a lot, lot in. You'll see yes, why lots, in the lots, morning. Lots. <laughs> This would look nice in the butterfly wings oh, as well. Oh, yes, it would. Really, yeah. really nice. So I put quite a lot in there. And the reason I've not mixed it into the resin that I've just mixed here is because I don't want to put glitter in everything. And I know I'm going to yeah. have spare. But if I, if I was just mixing enough to go into a mould like this, I would probably just mix it directly in. But pouring it on top, you know, you're going to be encasing all those flakes. Mm. The only thing you've got to watch out for is to make sure you do get the air bubbles out as best possible. Now, you can, can you see how you can drizzle really mm. finely with the resin as well? If you do get it on the top of the mould, do not panic. Don't panic. As long as you haven't got loads on there, and you can sort of swipe the top with um, a spatula or something afterwards. So I'm just drizzling this in. Isn't that satisfying? It, re it really is. Now, you don't necessarily have to fill the mould to the top. But it will depend on the mould you're using. Some areas are deeper than others. Now, with how the light's catching this, I'm mm. struggling to see how this is going now. But it's self-leveling. I don't think we're going to see those bubbles when I do it now, after all. Um, it's self-leveling, but there will be lots and lots of bubbles in there. So I'm just going to get my heat gun. Okay. The moulds, and something we haven't mentioned this show, or the, in the early show as well, is the temperature that these moulds will withstand. Oh, yeah, we, yeah. You can actually put them in the oven. So if you are making cookie dough or something like that, if you use them for food, a different one, of course, don't do resin and then food. Uh, keep them separate. 
but you can actually put them in the oven. So an oven-baked polymer clay, you can bake directly in the mould. Great. Definitely That's no great. distorting then. Up to 240 degrees, which most ovens only go to about 220. Yeah. It's very rare we yeah. go above that. Also, these can go in the freezer. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do something like a frozen yoghurt or... The poshest um, ice yeah, cube ever. Yeah, poshest, <laughs> exactly. Again, depending on the mould, some will work better than others. Down to minus 75. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. Right, so heat gun on. My heat gun, I'll just turn it off for a second. My heat gun, this is a wow heat gun. I did my research on this, and on the highest speed at its hottest, it gets to about 230, oh, which is still 10 really? degrees. Really? Yeah. Gosh. Uh, it's still 10 degrees below what the mold will take. Wow. So I know I'm safe to use it. So we've just got a little bit of heat going. You may and may not see the bubbles dance. I say dance because that's what they look like they're doing, but when you take the heat gun to the resin, it will help disperse those bubbles. You will also see that the resin becomes a little bit more liquefied as well, so it will help it find its own level. Now, what time have we got? I will pour some into another mould as well, and I might just put a little bit of resin in there so you can see Ooh, that'd better. Be nice. So this here, I can see now, I don't think you'll be able to pick it up on camera, there was some air bubbles just at the side there that have now burst, and I can see the resin moving around. Yeah. So that's all you need to do and then allow it to cure. Now we will demold this in the morning. Mm -hmm. I need that to cure for anywhere between six to eight hours. It's normally nearer eight hours. And uh -huh. then at that point I can demold it and it's perfectly malleable to shape it around something. Yes. But cured enough not to distort, not to lose that detail. For me personally, you will never better the detail than what you get with resin. Okay. For me that is Interesting. the best way of getting every bit of detail out of these moulds. So we'll just put that to one side. Now I need to find some resin. Yep. Put my gloves back on, Alex. Yes. I don't know if you've got a quick reminder while I have a rummage around. So I'll show you some samples. Um, so you've got different options or should we go through each one individually? Oh, what? Well, some samples. Good, good, good. Just to see them. Um, so you've got your, uh, not Aquarius, Sagittarius, that's it. I'm getting, I don't know why I can't get these right. I don't know. Um, here's our lovely fire dancer. She's amazing. Um, yes, they all come with poems, the, um, the uh, star sign ones. Uh, what else have we got? And then we've got some perfume bottles. Uh, here's the carriage. And then we've got our butterfly wings, which is still the most popular. They're fab, aren't they? Cool. So you have got then your carriage you could choose. Yeah, look, we've got the carriage. Beautiful carriage. The butterfly wings that I love putting the idea of putting the perfume bottle as the body. Next, we've got our lovely fire dancer. And over this side, here are our perfume bottles and atomizers. And then coming down, we've got the Astrolabe. Excellent. <laughs> Finally, it's going in. Yay. Um, oh, why am I struggling with this? This one's your Aquarius. Oh, Sagittarius. <laughs> oh. This one's the Aquarius. And last but not least, we've got the Scorpio. Each option is £18.74 and, and you've got a £6.25 pence saving. Item number is 823966. So okay. what are you playing with right. now? Right, well, we haven't got long left. So very quickly, I've just put some of the resin, which is the powder. These are the best. You can mix these directly into resin or you can dust them into the mould. So I've gone with um, a gold and this is a silver. I'm kind of blending the two. This is a little bit of everything again, the sun and the moon. So we've gone straight in with some of that lovely powder. Mm. If I wanted to mix it directly into the resin, I could do, but we're going to get a different effect by applying it into the mould first. But then, because I've got lots of this lovely resin still left, I've mm. barely used any in the carriage. If I just grab, ooh, uh, I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush. This is the Resi Tint Max. Wow. Now these are the colours. There are lots to choose from. I believe they're on a pick and mix. My favourites, I've got to admit, are black and white because I love to work from a black and white base. But yeah. there are many times it's nice to have colours as well. So mm. I've just given that a little bit of a stir with a paintbrush stick. 
and it a little goes a long way once you've got these they will last for so long so i'm just going to mix that in there as best i can then go back to the other mixing stick let's just give that a proper stir now you can mix colors together as well so i've got that lovely sort of lime green mm. Uh, it's I'm not, so vivid. It is, isn't it? I'm not, I'm not going to say too much about the effect from the mold because we'll see it in the morning and I'll explain then rather than trying to explain now. But we're just going to pour now directly into the mold. I am going to cover both the sun and the moon. We've got slightly different colours with the powder. Mm -hmm. Now you will see some of the powder start to raise to the top, but not all of it will. Okay. Um, and it also can cause a few more air bubbles to trap. But I think now I've mixed the green still got loads of resin left i won't be wasting that that'll be going in something else now you can see where the bubbles are hopefully give everything a bit of a helping hand especially where you've got powder in there because it will form those air bubbles just make sure that things you know you haven't got air trapped in those twiddly bits you've mm -hmm. got lots of twiddly bits on this one twiddly twiddly again if you go over the top of the mold don't worry about it we can clean that up afterwards you're not going to have a great deal because it's self-leveling so it's going to find all those open areas a little bit down there as well okay so don't worry about any of the powder that's coming to the top it will not spoil the effect from the front i shall put the lid on that in a second let's just get the heat gun again hopefully you'll get to see the air bubbles a little bit more this time mm -hmm. so we'll warm that up there's lots in there but there's going to be more appearing it works can you see it? can you see them on the camera mm. there's literally hundreds in there but i don't know if you're picking them up on the camera they're still coming out. Oh, it's such a shame because it's quite enjoyable to see them. <laughs> <laughs> There's still lots coming to the surface now. Oh, they're not showing up. Oh, well, they are there. I can guarantee it. You can see where the powder's coming to the surface a little bit more as yeah. well. You can still see those air bubbles coming up. What you can do is leave that for a couple of minutes. You might see a few more rays and then just go in with the heat gun again. But don't keep doing it time right. and time and time again. But I think we've probably got all of those areas and we'll leave that again to set yep. overnight. That'll be ready to demold in the morning. So that is going to stay exactly where it is. Lovely. So please do check out your baskets. Uh, as I said, you've got a £6.25 pence saving. Uh, any of those options, £18.74 is the price. 823966 is your item number. Thank you very much, Catherine. Thank you. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Lovely. And then you're bringing Viva Decor in the evening as well. I am. You? Five and nine tomorrow. Good I'm here all day tomorrow. You are, aren't you? You'll have to have a kip in the green room in between <laughs> the shows. See you up. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, but this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board, um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations, so make sure you tune in and don't miss Sweet Poppy Shows. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Shopping online with the craft store has just got easier with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan. Spread the cost of your basket, whether there is one item or many, with three interest-free payments. Simply choose Pay in 3 at checkout and pay for purchases between £30 and £2,000 over three equal instalments for the next three months. No fees and no interest. Spread the cost of your shopping with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan at the Craft Store. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. 
My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012, I'm never really sure. At one point we nearly became the cushion company because we churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we'll do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. everyone I hope you are well this morning how are you right we have got the start of the day today here at the craft store this is the first live hour yes it is now overnight well at midnight last night five pounds popped into your account I know it's brilliant and that's going to happen every single night so you get a chance to spend it every single day up until the 31st of December it needs to be on a purchase of 30 pounds or more now that particular purchase doesn't have to be one item you could put several items into your basket as long as it comes to 30 pounds or more you can use your five pound credit let's say you've got items at 30 pounds use your five pound credit it becomes 25 pounds I know all you have to do is go to your account head online start to shop with us here at the craft store on the craftstore.com website and you're ready to go it's so super exciting now I'll tell you something else that's exciting as REO Speedwagon once said I'm a dreamer are you a dreamer? I'll tell you, someone who is a dreamer, it's our lovely Carol, live via Skype. Good morning, Carol. Morning, Janice. You okay? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. May I ask, Carol, is that a little doll behind you, which is a little figurine of your good self, maybe? That one? Yes. No, it's not me. <laughs> um, we, we have quite a lot to do with our local radio, which is Mansfield 103.2. Oh, lovely. And, and one of his listeners on one particular show, Watco, um, she knitted one of those during lockdown. And I said, oh, I'd like one of those because I'm a big fan of his anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's why he's in there. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Well, uh, welcome, Carol. Um, I hope you had a good Thank Christmas. You. Um, yes, I think, very nice. I think Christmas has been extended with the show today because we've got some great deals, haven't we? We've got some great sale items on the show. What have we got to look forward to? Oh, I've got a bit of everything, I think. We've got dyes, we've got stamps, we've got some MDF, we've got paper pads. We've got a bit of everything of what we do. You Aww. know, here at Dreamers. So, yeah, it, it and should you know be what? a good one. It is going to be a good one. And I know from talking to you earlier about the demonstrations, we'll be featuring lots of the items that we've got on the show. We'll keep everybody up to date with what you're using. You'll let us know as well. So if there's something in a yeah. demonstration somebody wants, they can pop that into their basket all at a discounted price, Carol. Oh, amazing. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> right. Um, where's Hayley this morning? Uh, I think she w she did say to me yesterday that she would be awake and watching, but I think she'll be in bed watching. <laughs> as long as she's awake, that's winning. <laughs> that's winning. Uh, good morning, Hayley, if you are watching. Uh, right, Carol, I'm going to let you get ready for your demonstration. I'll okay, let you. everybody know what we've got on the show and how to order so you're all ready to go. If you want to head to the website before we get down the counter, then you can do. So you can head to the website and you can start popping items into your basket. Uh, right, let's start with our first item right here. It is a discounted price at £29.99 and you've got one, two, three 
sets of dies. Oh, these are amazing. You get 13 dies in total. This is the kind of die set that you need in your crafty stash. You need flowers, you need flourishes, and people absolutely adore wreaths at the moment. Now, let me show you a couple of samples of what you could create. This box in particular, it's an MDF box. It could be anything. It could be a picture frame, for example. We've got the flowers running around the outside. What's really nice, you've got the different sized flowers on that particular die set. Let me just bring that in to show you. It also has the stamens as well. You can use them separately. You can also layer them up as well. So that's a great die set on its own, but it's not on its own. You've also got the other two die sets that are in this particular set. Now, um, I've got another sample here to show you because this is where we bring everything together and you have your wreath going all the way around the outside and you've also got your flowers as well so collectively it looks amazing collectively it looks amazing but if you did want to break it down and have a look at what your dies look like let me show you let me show you first of all you've got your wreath here with your daisies and your stamens stamens have got some great detail in here so if you just want to cut them out of a color then you've got that lovely texture in there as well manipulate your flowers um, and I mean that politely um, or you can leave them flat like that they look amazing they really do you've got your wreath going all the way around there which is fabulous you can also cut into that if you want to and then you've got your flourishes on the side so when you really do want to bring these together those daisies which could be any flower they could be any flower but look at those daisies don't they look realistic don't they look absolutely fantastic and on the flourishes themselves they can give you that wonderful spring-like effect and let's face it we're heading towards that spring, aren't we? I think we're in the mildest December we've ever had. 915836 is your item number. It's a big save for you, 2999. Now, all you need to do is add something else to your basket to take it over the £30. And then what you can do is use your £5 credit. Have a think about that as we head to the next item on the list. Here we go. Uh, right, this is a set of two. You've got your words and you've got your die. So you don't need to fussy cut. The dies will cut out the words. You can use the words separately from the dies as well. It's going to be entirely up to you. Let me just bring some of those there to show you. So you've got your happy birthday. But if you notice, you've got that fabulous drop shadow. And that's what you can achieve by using the die. So you've got happy birthday there stamped out. And then you cut it out with the die and it's going to give you that dropped shadow. And also it's going to look fantastic with the daisies and the flowers that we've got on the show. So you've got thank you there which is amazing. And are you ready for the next one? Hello. I love hello. What a great car. Hello. It's all you need, isn't it? Hello. Uh, let me show you what they look like stamped out. Those are the mon samples, but let me show you what they look like stamped out. There you get a really good idea how you can use these. Uh, it's a lovely font to use as well. Happy birthday. You're amazing. You are. And you've got thank you as well. I love that. You could have amazing birthday. You could. You're happy. Why not? Why not? Um, you've got the ability to snip into these and do that. And they also look nice in the black and white as well. 1999 431 360 is your item number. Don't miss out on that. It's a fabulous deal. It really, really is. Um, is this new today? No, it's a returning favourite. But you might not have this. You might not. I don't think I've seen this before. Right. Let's hop over here about what I did there uh, right okay a set of three stamps here it's a great deal don't miss out on this one 19.99 look at that saving it's a half price deal it's a half price deal and what you've got here the gorgeous bunny rabbits and you've got the bunny rabbit that looks so cute underneath the flower that you can see there you've got the bunny rabbit which is in the meadow and you also have He is asleep. Before you get worried, he's asleep. Look at him at the bottom of a tree. Don't we all just want to go for a snooze at the bottom of a tree? We really do. Uh, right, in total, you are getting 20 stamps. 593908 is your item number. Um, let's just have a look at one of the samples here. You could see what the stamps are from the artwork. But look at that, isn't it beautiful? At springtime, perfect. Easter time, perfect. Birthdays, perfect. New babies, 
perfect. You're bunning lovely. I love that. You're bunning lovely, you are. <laughs> Uh, 593905. Um, you can see from the artwork, the stamps there. I'll just, I'll just show you the size of the stamps just to let you see, um, cause they are bigger than the packaging, but I think you can see them better when you have a look at them on the artwork, uh, because they're just see through there. But you can see the good size. That's a good size bunny, isn't it? Um, so amazing stamp set. 593908 is your item number. Right. Let's hop. Over to our next item. I'll be to it. Um, do you know what? It's really good to feel positive, isn't it? I'm feeling positive today. Are you feeling positive today? If you're not feeling positive today, why don't you stamp some of these out? Put them in your journal. Stamp them out. Put them on a calendar. Let these be your inspirational quotes for the day. So you've got on here, uh, sometimes you forget how truly amazing you are. So this is your reminder. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, you also have, every day may not be good, but there is something good in every day. Aww. Isn't that lovely? You've got this. You know, something like that. You've got this. Um, you matter to me. No one else can be you. Ah, unless you're on stars in your eyes, then you could possibly be anyone you want, you know. That show, amazing. Uh, life is too short to let negative people change you. Too jolly well right, that is. Too jolly well right. Uh, make yourself a priority. Make yourself a priority. So some great stamps there. They're only $9.99. Um, I think that is a wonderful stamp set just to have in your craft stash, even if you just stamp it out and look at it yourself. Isn't that amazing? And by treating yourself to that, you're kind of treating other people as well by stamping it out and sending it. Uh, right, 475551 is your item number. We've got some more items on the show then. We are heading to Carol. Um, now, these are your reasons to smile, beautiful stamps. And, of course, you can cut these out. So you've got your happy birthday in there and you've got your beautiful floral designs. Take these flowers, manipulate them, um, have them flat on your uh, cards, which is brilliant. I'm just going to show you the stamps here so you can see the size. Beautiful beautiful flowers that you can colour and you can start to layer up. You've got 15 stamps in total. Really nice detail you'll find with the Dream is. 9 99 15 stamps in total. Uh, again, it's a great way to treat yourself to some floral designs heading into the spring. 053476. Now we've got some MDF which is always brilliant to use. And uh, I really like this MDF kit because you've got so much. You've got so much. So when you see the MDF kits themselves, um, there's two in one. You can keep them together if you want to, but just have them as separate tags, which is brilliant. That could be the frame and that could be another tag. Now you are getting five large and five small, but there are 30 pieces in total. So let's... Let's break that one down, shall we? Uh, your five large, well, there's two, right, let's, you get your, you get your outer, you get, hang on, you get your outer and your inner, right, this makes sense now. So, you've got your outers, and do you get five of those? You get five of the large layering, so that would be... Is that one set there, just to make that clear? You get 30 pieces in total. We'll, we'll come back to that one. We'll, we'll, we'll double check that. We'll double check that. Let me, I'll tell you what, let me count. Is Carol there on Skype? Carol can help us. I am. Oh, <laughs> Carol, Carol. Um, sorry, Carol. Um, I was just That's getting okay. a little bit mixed up with these. So we get five of the large ones. Would you say that is one or is that one? That's right, yes. So, so that is one. Within one tag, yes, yeah. within one tag you get three. Effect, Got, effect, yeah, effect. that makes sense. So that yeah. is classed as one. You get that times five in the large, and you also get that times three. There you go. Um, let me turn that that way. And that's classed as one, so you get five of those. Carol, I'm so glad you're here today. <laughs> Thank um, you. <laughs> it, it is a great little set of MDFs because you can layer them up, but you can also use them separately as well. So you've got 30 pieces there in total for £9.99. And, and your MDF, Carol, is, is superb quality, isn't it? Oh, definitely. It's the, the best we can get. Um, we pride ourselves in the MDF that we, um, we produce. Uh, obviously, Jimmy puts everything, so everything is so pristine, you know, it's... It's amazing. It's the best 
MDF. Yeah, it really, really is. Um, 999-622-581 is your item number. Thanks for that, Carol. We're we'll coming to you in a moment's time for your demonstrations. Okay. We'll, just keep, we'll just keep heading down the counter. Right, we've got some paper pads for you. I know Carol's going to be featuring these in her demos. Um, these are gorgeous. The dream is bringing you the most dreamy, dreamy paper pads. And you are getting all of the papers that you see in front of you. So you've got some lovely lilacs and purples, and you've also got the peaches and the greens as well. You can mix these up if you want to. You can mix them up. It's a multi-buy, £12.98. I'll take you through the different papers. You can see a really beautiful display there. Um, they're double-sided. So when you get your paper pads home, you'll see that they're double-sided. So on this one, for example, you've got the wood-like effect. You can cut into these. You can add your different inks to them as well. They'll look great as borders building up. So they're, they're double-sided, as you can see there. So you could take that polka dot and you can put that on the flowers and you can start layering up. Look how lovely that would be. And the colours match beautifully. The flowers, they're like a watercolour flower, so absolutely beautiful on there. Some really nice space to work with as well. And remember, when each piece is double-sided, you can also manipulate them by turning them over as well. That's your purple. You've also got the beautiful peach as well, which I think is absolutely delightful. Um, I love this. You've got your your peach and you've got your greens in there you've also got those beautiful cream colors as well they just look perfect you've got some roses some lilies in there as well absolutely gorgeous beautiful paper to work with and uh, with your paper pads of course you can start layering them up so you really make some beautiful designs in there now your paper pads um, on here you get let's just have a look here uh, is it 120 gsm it is 120 GSM. So you've got 120 GSM and you've got beautiful papers to work with, 48 papers in total. And you, they are 8 by 8. So double sided, 8 by 8, 48 sheets in total. 48 and 48 is 96, 96 papers to get. But of course, you can start cutting into those and you can start making them smaller. You can start collaging them up. 849808, your item number, £12.98, saving £5. Right, two more items to show you then. We'll head to Carol because I know we've got lots of demonstrations to get through. But we wanted to show you everything, feature everything on the show. We've got some storage boxes, um, really easy to put together. You can see here, Precision. Uh, being the name of the game and then we can start to put those boxes together. I'll try and put one of these together whilst Carol's doing a demonstration. How about that? Uh, so it's a large storage box. Let me just take that like so. Um, this was featured in the last show. Okay. Uh, and you can see there just how easy they fit in. So you've got that wonderful depth to your box as well, uh, which again is going to give you plenty of capability of storing your items. I'm going to try and make one of those up whilst we head back to Carol in a moment's time. 843-460 is your item number 999. Now let's talk about spring. I think there's a spring in everyone's step. We're looking forward to the spring. Um, and we've got some lovely embellishments here, some great embellishments. So let's think spring. Let's think lambs. We've got some lambs in here. Let's think sheep. We've got some sheep. We've got some ducks. We've got some chicks. We've got some chickens. We've got some bunny rabbits in there as well. You just push all of those out. When you push them out, they leave the impression, which means you can also use these maybe as a stencil as well. Uh, you've also got some of your plant pots in there, your butterflies. You've got your dragonflies, your birds, and your hexagons. So you can build up like your bees, beehives. And then you've got your eggs. You've got your birdhouse. You've got your bunting in there. You've got some little tags as well. Um, those are eggs as well. 40, oh, it could be dinosaur eggs. £14.99, 636302 is your item number. Great little stash there for you. And then finally, we have some dies for you. Um, these are new. Uh, your nesting dies, you've got lovely love hearts. Absolutely adore these. I think they're beautiful. I do believe we're going to be using these in demonstration as well. So you've got that lovely doily-esque style to it lots and lots of detail in there and then you've got your layering dies as well 19.99 this is your doily die duo <laughs> i say your dream is doily die duo love that whoo what a tongue to good job i've had some cake this morning uh, right if you do want to get hold of your doily die duo uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence 289527 talking of 
doily die duos. Um, we only have Carol with us this morning, um, but I'm so glad we have because we've got some demos, haven't we, Carol? What are we going to look at first? We have. Um, yeah, so we're going to do one of the tags. This is just the outside tag. So if you think of it, uh, I've not got the other one with me, but you can make three from each one. And same as you said, this five is thick. I think there's five in, yeah, five yes. in the large and five yes, in the is. small. So, yeah, so you've got loads of scope there. But if you was doing just the outside layer, just put some card behind it if you wanted it a full tag. You know, so there's so much uh, scope with these. Right, so first of all, I'm just going to put a little bit of ink. So these are the dinky inkies. I've put some on just around the edge. Um, and I have covered this with the peachy paper. Right, so then we can just pop some of this on. Um, I don't think I'm going to put ink on that one. We'll pop it on this one. But as you can see, the papers take the ink beautifully. They are uncoated, so, you know, that's that's another thing with the um, papers. Right, so just get this on to here. Are you putting a box together, Janice? <laughs> yeah. Did you did you hear that, Carol? I was trying to put. I don't have any glue this morning. I've come unstuck. Um, so oh, yes, yes. I'll, I'll, yeah. ke I'll keep tr I'll keep trying for you, Carol. It's okay. <laughs> right. So then I'm just going to pop a little bit of the uh, peach coloured card along here, just so it breaks this paper up as well just pop that along there then we'll just get a little bit of ribbon so I'm just popping the, the things down to start with right, so. don't those papers look beautiful together oh, they are they're so so pretty papers I am I am like a peach person I do like peach and especially spring like as well yeah um, peaches are lovely I, yeah, so what I've got here, I've got one of the hearts, but I have just cut one out as well, so you can see it straight out of the die, but I am going to use that one on there. So all we need to do is just pop this out, and you can see it literally out of the die cutting machine. That's beautiful, oh, Carol. Oh, it is. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous die. I'm new today. So I've just cut this one out in the white, just so you can see. Now look at the detail on that. Oh, Let's wow. pop it under there. So if I pop it there, you can see it. And obviously all these little bits will pop out. They are easy to pop out. And then we have this one, which is in, look at that. It's so pretty. And also if you cut the square out and then you could use that as a frame as oh, well. Yeah, you know, so like, like Lou Sims. I, I get that from Lou Sims because she says, Save all your bits that you you think are waste, but they're not. You've got to look after your bits, Carol. That's very important. Yes, def definitely, you have. Right, so I'm just going to pop that there. Okay. And then we've got another bit of little paper here. And then this one, I have done the peach one. I've used the script embossing folder. So, again, I did this previous, just to save a bit of time, just on the white. Ooh, so you can wow. see it. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yes. Look at that. So that's the script one. So just pop a little bit of ink around here again as well. Do we know what the and script can... says, Carol? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt it, Janice. <laughs> no, I think it's just random. It's, you know, it's not anything. You can't yeah. really read it as yeah. such. It's just, just the look of it. So I've just picked a little bit of the script up as well with the ink. So we're just going to pop that onto there now. So we'll pop that on with a little bit of hot glue. Okay, so we'll just pop that onto there. Then I've just got another little piece that is going to pop on there. And with it being double sided, I'm just going to fill this over. So we're going to get like the look of the plain peach on the other side as well. So we'll pop that onto there. And then what I've got is one of the, the this is the jug from the uh, spring embellishment stash. So all I've done with that is just covered it in the peach paper. We are going to just ink around that again as well, just to make it stand out a little bit. 
So this is the chocolate syrup ink from the Dinky Inkies. Okay. So we're going to pop that onto there in a second. Um, I have got here as well, this, this flourish is from the daisies, the Precision Perfect Daisies. So I'm just going to trim that bit off. And then I'm going to pop some of that on there, just to have a little bit of sizzle behind that to start with. Run everywhere, but... <laughs> right, so we're just going to get that onto there. Just a little bit of hot glue there, just to hold that. And that'll just make the, like, the little bits of fairy behind the flourish. Okay. Just got that little bit going on there. That bit I might use. Obviously, this is one of the corners, but you can use it like this, and you can split it, you know, and all your uh, cutability in there. Right, so we pop this onto here. Again, I'm just using the hot glue there. Okay. And then I have got some little daisies here. So I've popped some together. All we need to do with these is just have a little bit of the go-to glue just in the centre. We do have the glue on the show, actually. We'll bring the details up for everyone, uh, Carol. £10.99, 754066. Um, and you highly recommend this glue, don't you, Carol? Oh, yes. This is the glue we use for everything. Um, using it for MDF for your papers, everything. It's it's just it's just your go-to glue, as we called it. <laughs> right. <laughs> so on here, I'm just going to bring that little bit of orange into the daisies, just on the edge. So this is the smallest daisy. This is what I think as a daisy, but obviously you've got your bigger ones as well in the collection. But I do like the little tiny ones. Right, so I've just got those onto there. So I've just gone around with a little bit of the, um, what is that, peachy, peachy dinky inky. So then we can start to pop these on. And I am going to leave these flat. You can um, put a little bit of a ball tool in there if you wanted to uh, and shape them a little bit more. Okay. And just get these in. So just pop those on there. And then I have got some of the little hearts. So this is the layering heart. And as you can see, this is the smallest one. But you have got bigger ones. This is one of the slightly bigger ones. But there is bigger than that as well. So just to add a little bit of something extra onto here, we're just going to pop a few little hearts into the flower arrangement. So just, and you do get a nice little edge around these as well. You can't see it too much on the small one, but if I show you on this larger one, you do get a nice little edge around there. Again, you can save that as well for the um, for the frame. Right, so we're just going to pop this one. So this is another size of those layering hearts. So just pop that onto there. And another little one. Just in the centre, obviously layering it up. There we go. And then I've got another one of the hearts here. So I'm just going to stamp this. This is the pos one of the positivity stamps. So this fits quite nicely onto one of the layering hearts. And let's just get this onto here. You're doing your best, and that is always enough. Oh. We should always think that as well, Janice, shouldn't we? Yes. Because we all do our best, no matter what we do, we do our best, and that should be enough, shouldn't it? Exactly. Right, so I'm just going to ink around that edge, just to bring that out. And we'll just have a little bit of foam tape onto there just to make it stand up a little bit. Did you have a nice Christmas carol? Uh, <laughs> Christmas carol? <laughs> uh, yeah, we did, thank you. Very quiet, but that's what we needed, I think, to um, 
to get over the busy year that we've had. Yes. But, uh, yes, it was very nice. Nice to have a little bit of a rest. Oh, lovely. Right. So then I'm just going to pop one of the little bunnies on there. So I'm leaving him in the, oops, in the MDF itself. Let's have a look. We want him that way. So I'll just pop a little bit of the hot glue on there for him to stick onto there. What I want okay. to know, Carol, is how can you tell that bunnies are he? <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know. They, I always say he. <laughs> and some of them she's, aren't they? They are. <laughs> Girls, I should say. That don't sound right, does it, she? <laughs> <laughs> she bunny. Sounds like a horror film. <laughs> right, and also here, I've got one of those little tags and it's got with love oh, that's on lovely. it. So I'm just going to add that onto there as well. So let's pop that just up there we could put another bow on that if we wanted to but i forgot about that and then i'm just going to add a few little stamens just behind these bits here so they look like little buds if you like so just pop that in with a little bit of hot glue Obviously, if you've got these as well, I think these are on the show, Janice. Are they? They are. Yeah, we've got oh, uh, right, yeah. we've got sixteen packs in total, but there are eight colours for nine ninety nine, um, and they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, you've got your reds and your pinks and your blues in there. You've even got some black ones as well and some white ones. Uh, so a really, really good collection of stamens, and really easy just to simply cut up and use as well. So yeah, that is excellent value for money, Carol. Um, and they are yeah. they are beautiful because when you when you see them, and I've got some here to show everybody when when we come back. They look, they're, oh, they're, they're just, it's not just a plain bit of colour. You've got all little, I don't know if, I'm just going to show them to people at home, Carol. I don't know if we can get yeah, closer. Yeah, that's fine. Um, because it's not just a flat colour at the top. They really do look like individual stamens. And we're just showing those now. There you go. Aren't they beautiful? And you've got so many different colours to work with as well. And there's nothing stopping you from mixing these up as well. So you could actually mix the stamens. Fabulous, aren't they? And they're just tied together. You just untie them and start using them. Nine ninety nine. What an absolute bargain these are. They really, really are. So we've got plenty of them. Um, and this is this is only just half the pack just here that I've got. Amazing. Nine ninety nine two five four one nine seven. They're great, Carol. I love them. They are, and also the white ones, Janice. You can colour those, you yeah. know, with either your markers or your dinky inkies. So you know, don't just think of them as the colours that they are. We've put white in there so that you can um, add your own colours if you want. You know, like I don't know if you wanted blue or something like that. Yeah, perfect. Right. So we've got those on there. So then we will add just a couple of pearls somewhere. So again, these are on the show, I believe. So I think I'm going to go for the the cream ones. So this is the essential set. Nineteen ninety nine. They are four thousand seven hundred and fifty. Have you have you counted every single one there, Carol, over the Christmas period? Not every single one, <laughs> but I have I have counted one of each colour so we do know there is the right amount in there <laughs> uh, it's a it's a great deal you've got two colour options you've got your festive and your essential your essentials are great for weddings and everyday use because you've got your gold you've got your silver uh, you've got your cream and your white there you go all individually bagged but then you um take them out of the bags if you want to because you've got all the little individual uh, cases and then you're festive this doesn't have to be just festive um, but they're just festive colors so you've got your red your burgundy in there you've got your green you've got your white and you've got your blue you choose you decide 4570 approximately in each set for 1999 3.96504 brilliant love that carol these are great they are and we use them all the time right so i'm just going to pop i filled that little hole there with the glue um so i can just get one of the pearls in there and i've just thought just on the bunny's tail we'll pop a little pearl on there we'll just go for a little one oh wait a minute we'll go for a middle size that's another thing you do get the three sizes in each color yes. of the pearls so that is really nice as well. So there we go. 
Aww. And I think I think we're done at that. I have added some butterflies. That's beautiful. And then obviously you can add a string as well if you want to up the top. I think I think that's lovely. You could use that for all kinds of different uh, occasions. It could be something you have in your house. You could put it on a stand. It could be part of a card. It could be part of a tag. You could put it onto a larger piece of MDF on a canvas board. That's lovely, Carol. And just bringing all of those elements together. Oh, it's, it's yeah. making me feel all spring-like. I know, I know. It, and that's what we want to be looking forward to now, isn't it, the spring? Yes, yeah, spring in forward. Well, after the new year, obviously. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll get, we'll, get, we'll get this year out of the way, and then we'll head into 2022. All spring, like, with a spring in our step. £19.99, yeah. that's for your festive or your essentials. That's for those fantastic uh, embellishments that you've got. And you've got three sizes in each colour. So you decide. That is your natural collection. And that uh, essential, sorry, your essentials collection, and that one there is your festive, but it doesn't have to be for Christmas. You just got some great colours. Um, Nineteen ninety-nine, four thousand seven hundred fifty. Uh, amazing. Uh, right, we'll let Carol get set up for her next demonstration, and we'll give you a reminder of some of the items we've got on the show. Starting with the nesting dies. Did you see the detail? Did you see the detail on that heart? Um, it's absolutely stunning, it really is. You've also got your layering hearts in here, but that, look at it, you've got your beautiful doily-esque around the outside, then you've got the pattern of the flowers in there and your dots as well. Stunning, isn't it? I wonder if you actually got some thread. You could actually thread through there as well. Just beautiful. Love that. Uh, 1999 289 527. If you want some thread, we do have some great seven day savers available for you as well. Uh, great price. Remember, if that's going in your basket, all you need to do is put something in for £10 and a penny, and it will take it to £30, and then you can use your £5 credit, part of the big save, which makes that £15. Just saying. Uh, your spring embellishments. Love these. Love these. You've got lots of different animals. Uh, farmyard animals. You've got those beautiful uh, dragonflies in there. You've got approximately, uh, did we say 135? 137. 137 for you there. Uh, works out to be 11 pence per element. There you are. Look at those. We are turning to the side because we can do that. Look at that. Uh, so you've got some jugs there, which is great for spring. Put your milk in there. You can put your orange juice in there. You can put your flowers in there as well. Uh, you've got your bird houses like those. You Actually, you could cut those off. It could be a beach hut. Could be a little window. Um, you've got your bicycles, you've got your butterflies, your bunting. You've also got your Easter eggs and then you've got those lovely tags as well. You've got some chickens in there. You've got some ducks, little chicks. You've got some lambs and sheep and goats and dragonflies and, and little birdies as well. Aren't they lovely? And all you have to do is just pop them out. Just pop them out like that. They come out really, really easily. And when they are out, you could use that as a template. Um, or as a stencil, there you go. I can I can quite easily pop that. She says back in. I will. I'll pop that back in before the end of the show. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine six three six three zero two is your item number for those great little set of embellishments. You'll be glad you've got these when you come to doing your spring cards. Uh, right. We'll change the details. We've got a large box for you now. Um, and it is, it is a good size box. And what we've got um, is a lid as well that this goes with. I don't know if Carol's got one of these that we can have a look at when we come back. Um, but I did, I did try and put this together. I don't have any glue. But what's great about your precision with your uh, MDF is that everything fits perfectly. Um, but you've got a good size to the box there. I'm hoping Carol's got one. Maybe, maybe when we go back to her. Because at the moment, this is just... A lot of large MDF pieces, um, uh, but I think Carol is going to look for that. We'll see if we can find it. We'll see if we can find it. Uh, but it is a, it's a great addition to your crafting stash. Let's see if I can. Yeah, let me just show you the precision. There you go. Look at that. That's how it fits together. Uh, so you've got a good size box there. Nine ninety nine eight four three four six three. Your item number. It also comes with a lid as well. That you just need to make up. Um, so a great little storage that you can then decorate. 843460. Uh, we've got some papers for you on the show. Um, you don't choose. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? You get both. So you've got the lovely peach colours and greens and your um, like olive greens in there. And you've also got your lilac colours as well. They're double-sided. 
and you've got 48 sheets in each pad 48 sheets in each pad but they are double-sided so you've got a really nice working area there but then what you can do is just have a look at the back and see how you're going to use that um, they are repeated so if you like this side you can still use that side and you can use that side as well some lovely designs to mat and layer let me show you what I mean for example you've got these gorgeous flowers here let me grab turn this over turn this over turn this over turn this over okay so you've got some lovely flowers here uh, beautiful designs and then what you can do is you can start to mat and layer you see how that works so you've got that lovely floral border or you could have your border being slightly more muted around the edge and then you've also got that lovely wood that you could bring in so there's lots of different combinations and you've also got you've got that in both the purples and the, the uh, peaches 12 98 48 sheets in each pad 849 808 is your item number right we've got some tags for you 30 tags in total and in each set that we're calling one I'll show you what you get you get your background tag you also get your frame tag and then you get the part in the middle so you can separate these totally and have them as two separate tags if you want to but you could also start to bring them together so you've got five of the large and you've got five sets of the small so that's one set that's another set so five of those and five of those so in total 30 pieces 999 622 five eight one is your item number there they are collectively together uh, right we've got some dies for you and we've not seen these yet all oh, these are oh, these are nice these are lovely those are the dies for 32.99 16 dies in total oh they're absolutely gorgeous let's take you through these uh, very doily-esque love these divine dies it says it right there divine dies and they are uh, again you can use these to start matting and layering you could use them separately if you want to as well but it's a detail that you get with the dream is absolutely beautiful uh, this one as well plenty of detail in there that you can use you can see that there's one two three dies in that particular set the 16 all together and then your final one which is a lovely oval shape here and this one is all connected oh no you've got is that let me just see let me just see no nope, they're separate so you've got the outer part and then you've got the thin see that die there and then you've got the middle part again use them all together or you can use them separately you are getting all three for 32.99 you've guessed it, it's over 30 pounds so if you've got your five pound credit treat yourself this then becomes 27.99 uh, so you've got that five pounds off if you want to use it 631-694. It's one five pound credit per day on a purchase of 30 pounds or more, and that credit will be in your account every single day until the 31st of December. Right, let's head back to Carol live on Skype. Carol, where are you <laughs> Skyping us from in the country? Uh, Sutton in Ashfield in Nottinghamshire. Oh, lovely, lovely. <laughs> uh, just up the road from me. Right, Carol, what we're going to have a look at now. Right, well, I was just going to show you the box, Janice. Oh, lovely. So this, this is one I did in the last show, I believe. So I've literally just covered it with the papers on the bottom. Obviously, this is under my table where I am now. And yeah. I've put my little bits of card in there, what I've got left, okay. which is handy. And then this is the box lid as well. So this is what I did with the lid. And obviously, you know, the depth of the lid just goes over the top of the box. It's a good and size. They are a good size, and so to say, I keep that one underneath there, uh, well, the bike box base. But also, just think of it as two separate things. If you wanted, you know, like an open box, yeah. then you could decorate the inside of the lid as well. Yeah. So, you know, it, there's loads of options. Right, so what I'm going to do now then, Janice, is one of the inside tags. So, you know, this is the smaller one of the of the three that's in the set, if you like. But I'm using this as like a little plaque. That's a instead good idea. Of a tag, instead of a tag. So I'm not going through that hole. I'm just going to use it as a plaque. And it's going to be like a Happy Easter type thing. Okay. So what I've done here is I have used the quilted embossing folder. So I've just got that in here that I've just popped through. 
So you can see the quilt. Look at that. And that is, that that is, is absolutely... It's, uh, it's one of my favourite embossing folders that you do. I think it's yes, wonderful. It is. It's so pretty. And, I mean, if you wanted to colour the dots in, you could do, or put your pearls on there, anything. So I've done that in the purple and got that on the base of the tag. And then I'm just going to pop this little bit of paper across across there. I can find my double-sided tape. Here we go. So I'm just going to pop that on. Just so it breaks the purple up a little bit. And this is using a lot of the um, animals, I'll say, from the spring embellishment collection. So we're just going to pop that across there. Okay. Then I just need to just trim this off. So this is what I do with the MDF. Just trim it off with my scissors. Or a knife if you if you're a knife person then obviously you can use your knife but I'm more of scissors I mean more control with my scissors yeah <laughs> right and then when you've done that what we just need to do is just file that paper back which is what I've done on this edge as well so it automatically seals that as well as makes it nice and smooth and it makes the edge nice to, to look at okay so then I have got a little bit of paper here that is just going to pop onto there so i think we will curl this back a little bit so this these papers obviously are from the lilac collection but you've not got to choose because you get them both don't you so you do amazing right so just going to pop that onto there just a little bit of just hanging it over a little bit on the on the edge um, right, and then what we'll do is we'll get some of our animals on. Now, we've got the sheep um, and the ducks, and I've got a couple of rabbits. But if you can see what I've done with this yeah, sheep, like it's, it's, some fl it's fluffy stuff. And what you do, you put it on like glue yeah. and heat it up. And it all fluffs up like that. So it is like snow, really, but I thought it's ideal for the for the sheep, isn't it? Yeah, that's so, lovely. <laughs> so we've got those, and I've got some of the eggs as well. Now, what you were saying um, about you've got your solid egg, so you can use your solid egg on its own, which I've just covered that, yeah. or you can put the solid one behind your detailed Ooh, one. Oh, like that. So you've got it. So you've got something showing through as well. And I've just heat embossed that, so just got that onto there. Right, so we'll just get our eggs on. So I'm just going to pop a couple sounds, on there. Sounds just like you're making breakfast, Carol. Get your eggs on. <laughs> yeah, get your eggs on. <laughs> right, so we've got those there. And then I've got a little duck. So all I've done with this one is just inked. His little feet. And I've just used gesso on there, just one one coat of gesso, so it's it's not completely white, but it's got that like a grey look, so I've not got to do much more to it. Okay, so we can pop it's got all my stainless stuck to my glue gun. Right, so I can just pop him onto there. Oh, and no. then our then our sheep we can just pop here. And I've done it so that one's one way and one's the other. So this little baby one's looking up at its mum. That's what that's that's what I'm thinking anyway. It might not yeah. be that at all. I think so. That's lovely. <laughs> and then in that spring embellishment, we've got two lots of bunting. So I've just again gessoed that, and I'm just uh, in the reason to smile. You've got happy birthday, but they're separate. So I'm just going to put the happy there, and then I'm going to just write on here, Easter. Oh, that's lovely. Just, I worked that out. I thought, oh, yeah, we've got a space either side. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so, so I've got my happy on there. I'll just pop that on. I'm just going to pop that up there. And then this Easter is just going to go across there like that. And again, just a little bit of hot glue on there. And then we can pop that across there so it's like coming from 
yeah. quite a little bit of paper and then oh, across lovely. there. And then we've got some little bunnies. I'll just put these on, I think, near the egg. Again, I've done one one way and one the other. In fact, we'll pop that one just down there. So he's with the little duck. Right, and then what I've got here is some little butterflies, which are out of the Adora Buns collection. And then we've got some of the Reason to Smile stamps. So I'm just going to... Oh, I've not got I've not got my black ink pad at the moment. So, oh, wait a minute. Yes, I have. So I'll just show you how I've done this. It's dead simple. I'm I'm not that good at colouring, although I do like colouring. But sometimes we want something that's just simple to do. So literally, all I've done. Sorry, you go could, on. You could stamp those out on the paper pads, Carol. You've got instant background yes, then. Yes, could. Yeah? Yes, yes. And in this particular set, we've got this one that's like all detailed, and you've got an open one with, yes. a, with no detailing. So that's ideal for your uh, paper pads. So then I've just got my thinky inky and just gone over that. That one is a bit dark because I've just re-inked it. But then, so that is all I've done. And then we, we cut it out with a little border. So then you've got your colour right to the edge as well. So that's literally all I've done. I've not messed about colouring it in. <laughs> but obviously, if you've got the time and you like to do that, that is fine. But sometimes we just want something that's a bit quick, don't we? Right, so I'm just bending these petals down. And this is just done in the white card. But same as you say, Janice, you can do it in the papers. I'll just bend those down. Obviously, you can shape these however you want. Just pop a ball tool in the centre there. Okay. And we'll just add a little bit of glue in the centre. Just offset that. Sold it a second. And then I have got some leaves, which again are from the Reason to Smile set. And again, I've just done the same, stamped it, just gone over with my ink pad, just to uh, get that on there. I'm just going to pop these onto there and get one coming down as well. And have you cut these out with uh, a pair of scissors, Carol? I have, yes, because I am a scissor person. I do like to cut out, but obviously I do like the dies as well. The dies are sometimes quicker, aren't they? Yeah. Right, so just pop that onto there. I do like to do that in an evening as well, you yes. know, just uh, cut out. So these I've done on the papers as well. So we've got, you can see that we've got a little bit of where are paper. The, out. Where are the butterflies from that you've got there, Carol? Uh, they are from the Adora Buns. You know, the, the, uh, oh, the rabbits. Bun yes, of course. Yeah, the bunnies. This is the smaller one. You do get a larger one as well. Yeah, but I you thought do. they just looked quite nice there. Oh. And then we've got a bow to put on somewhere. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to put the bow on. I don't think I've got room for him. But um, let's just see if we can get some pearls on there. So we just pop some of these small pearls. Because again, you've got all your different sizes. So these are the small ones. So we'll just pop some pearls, just a couple down that. There's some beautiful butterfly. there's some beautiful detail in those butterflies from the from oh, the bunny yeah. stamps. I mean you've there got is. you've got all the markings of the butterfly on there. It's not just the it's not just an outer butterfly or the shape. You've got all the detail in there. So do go and have, have a look at the bunny collection. Um, it's at the bottom of the screen. Adora bunnies or Adora, Adora buns. Nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> 593908 is your item number. It's fabulous. When you break it down and see all the different stamps that you've got on there, something that you can use alongside your MDF collection. And those pearls are brilliant because you get three sizes in each colour and you also get the box to put them in, to store them in safely. Uh, and they've all got a flat bottom, haven't they? They have. They've all got a flat bottom and actually in each uh, compartment on the lid you've got a square so once you fasten that up you can dig it about they won't go anywhere 
they oh. all still stay into there because that mag seals oh, the lid. So I, I, that's clever. Yeah, so yeah, Very everything's clever. been thought about. Yeah. So there we go. That's that little tag. It's something dead simple, isn't it? It certainly is, and it's absolutely beautiful. Something you could put to one side, bring out again in the spring. Um, it's absolute. Oh, it's so lovely. You've captured it so well, Carol. Captured it so well. <laughs> oh. And if you, want, you. if you want to go for the 30 pieces that are that collection of MDF, um, they are absolutely fabulous and there are 30 in total. It's 9 99 That's a collection of eggs and ducks and chickens, uh, all kinds of different sizes as well, which is lovely. Uh, so that's nine. Oh, no, that's that's not 9 99 Tags are 9 99 The uh, embellishments for your ducks and everything, we'll change the details for those because they're, they're, they're lovely. Um, and if you did like all the different animals, they're only 14 99 636302. It's brand new today um, and it's gorgeous. So you've got your eggs, you've got your butterflies, you've got your jugs in there as well. You've also got your um, sheep, your bunnies, your chicks, your bicycles. Oh! Oh, so spring like I love that 636302 is your item number but we were also using the tags on the show and I was just I've got a sample here uh, to show you so you've got the back of the tag there as part of the set and then you've got that lovely framework and what's nice about the framework as well let me just bring up a piece of paper like so with the frame you could actually just take this over your pieces of paper and you could select part of that to be part of your project your paper's been very popular this morning let's just slide that one underneath as well you see how cool that looks it really really does uh, six double two five eight one if you want to go for your MDF uh, shapes and remember you get three in a set and you get five sets of the large five sets of the small as well so you can start to divide them up and work with them um, and again you've got that great quality of your MDF now uh, Carol you're back at one o'clock today I am yes working yes. hard whilst Haley's still oh. in bed maybe <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't blame her, though. I don't blame her. <laughs> uh, Carol, what can, um, look, what can we look forward to at one o'clock? Uh, it's the same sort of show, so I'm going to be doing one of the boxes as well. You know, the uh, opening boxes that you've oh. got. Not not the storage box, the other one, the box frame. Okay. So I'm going to be doing one of those. So, Ooh. yeah, I've got lots to be uh, showing you on there as well. Hang a second. I think I might have one here. Is it is it this one, the box frame? That's right, yes. 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 So oh. we're going to be doing that one. Oh, look at that. And it opens up as well. Oh, that is yeah. lovely. And that inside is using one of the dies that we've got on the show as well. Carol, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'll see you, I'll see you at one, Janice, because I think we've got you at one, haven't we? Oh, yeah, unless you want to make a complaint, you're more than welcome to do no, so. No, <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> it's all right. The complaints will be there from Catherine when I work with her next. She'll be lining up at the office. Uh, thank you so much, Carol. We'll see you at one o'clock. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Aww. see you at one. Bye. See you at one. See you at one. Oh, isn't that lovely? Uh, but we'll see you guys after the break because, yes, Catherine Sturrock is coming up with another Zuri One Day special. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a bit. It is a fabulous One Day special. It really is and a great opportunity to stock up with your Zuri moulds. We've got jewellery box after that and then we're glitter greetings with a big save. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus, you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. 
Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us? Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows. you're well uh, we're in the midst of a big save I know it's a chance for you to save money and treat yourself at midnight every single day all the way through until the 31st of December you're gonna have a five pound credit in your account to spend on a purchase of 30 pounds or more that could be a collection of purchases all in your basket all adding up to 30 pounds and then you can use your five pound credit and it's one per day so if you've not used it yet you might want to use it on this show, your one day special. Now, a one day special are collections of items that we bring together in what we call a bundle. It's a great name. And we have it at a discounted price for 24 hours. Now, Zuri molds are always very, very popular. And normally, we have them in a collection of two and three and four, and we bring them together for you. What we've got today is an excellent opportunity to stock up, to replenish those molds and we've got a great price at 1874 my goodness we have got choices for you all the way down the counter and we'll take you through those choices and bestow the beautiful world of our wonderful Zuri with our guest today it's fantastic Catherine Sturrock. Ah, oh, thanks, Jenny. It's all right, they paid me. Um, <laughs> no, Catherine, I love working with you, you know that. And uh, when it comes to moulds, not mouldy, when it comes to moulds, <laughs> you're the lady, aren't you? Oh, do you know, this is going to be a fun hour, it really is. Uh, you, I love working with the moulds for many yes. reasons, because, you know, you, you can achieve so much with them. You, you've got, with Zuri, the most beautiful detail, exceptional quality as well. But always look at ways of adapting them. You don't have to just look at what is there in the mould straight yeah. away. Break it down. Look at the moulds you may have previously bought as well. I mean, you're holding the carriage there, Janice. I mean, just using the wheels. I was thinking you about that. You know, they're beautiful yeah. embellishments. They're, I mean, this is pretty incredible. Now, I've seen lots of different moulds here at the craft store, and I've seen lots of different people using them online. But when you see the detail of the Zuri moulds, it's, it's quite breathtaking, Catherine. Oh, it really is. Especially when you're using it for the first time. Yeah, yeah. And quite often you don't realise what detail is in the moulds until you actually demould, whether it's with your clay, whether it's with your resins, or if you're buying for use with fondant or something like that as well. I mean, you just picked up there one of the poems from one of the Zodiacs. And look, every little word, every letter, you would never make that out looking at the mould. You no, wouldn't you have wouldn't. a clue what it says. It's spe I mean, look at the detail that you've got at the top alongside the letters as well now when we say you can use these with your fondant icing that means they're food grade safe that's important to know yes yeah and very very high grade silicon these are made of as well there are different standards these are exceptionally high uh, yes of course keep a separate set for your food compared to your crafting mediums uh, but do you know what? you're gonna get the same results if you're using your fondant your marzipan chocolate is a great one as well. Some chocolates work better than others. You know, you want the right sort of chocolate for using in the moulds. Uh, but yes, exceptional. I forgot about marzipan. 
marzipan. Like marzipan yeah. Yeah. for ages. It's like it. Marmite, isn't it? Other spreads are available. Um, yeah, marzipan. A marzipan mould. Well, actually, marzipan works really, really well within the moulds because it's quite a firm substance, isn't it? It's yeah. not runny, it's, it's not liquid. Like dough, isn't it? Yeah, and it holds the detail, it holds it beautifully. Marzipan, what a great word. That's the word of the day. Marzipan. <laughs> the more you say it, the stranger it is. Uh, right, so we have got a collection here. You choose and decide. And I'll tell you what. They're 1874. Now, if you were to go for two of these, that would be 36, 36 about 38 pounds. So that's eight pounds over your 30 pounds mark. Why don't you use your credit, treat yourself to two, and get five pounds off? That would be an amazing deal at 32.48 for two. My word, that is a brilliant deal. It really, really is. Right, let's take you through your options that you've got here. The carriage, the detail in that is exceptional. And uh, of course, as Catherine said, you can actually take parts of that and use them separately because you can just put part of the clay or the resin or the medium that you're using in the mold, or you could actually do all of it. And then when you demold it, you can cut it up then, can't you, Catherine? Of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've got one to demold actually at the beginning of the oh, demo lovely. time. Lovely. I love that one. Really, really like that one. Great for weddings, great for um, also sticking on your furniture as well and upcycling furniture. Do you know, can you imagine that on a, a little girl's wardrobe or something? She's got oh, a princess Or a little room. boy's wardrobe. Or a little boy's wardrobe. Yeah, yeah exactly. They look fantastic because it could be a king right it his could. Carriage. It certainly um, could. Yeah, I love that. Uh, the next one along is the butterfly wings. Um, we are approaching 40% of the stock gone. Um, and again, you've been buying overnight with this one. Do you know what I like about this one, Catherine? I like the little, what, what would we call those? It's almost like, when I look at that, it's almost like the, the, the ink, the paint coming down, but it's part of the butterfly, isn't it? The tails, the tendrils yeah I, well that's the word i was thinking tendrils um yeah the tails to the wings they're absolutely beautiful i love these wings because you haven't got the center of the body there you've got two separate wings which means you can change them around you're quite right with what you said there as well janice for a change oh hang on yeah uh, so can you just say sorry <laughs> sorry um, what's the time? Five minutes past eight in the morning. Can you just say that again, Catherine, just to clarify? You are quite right there, Janice. Oh, thank I just say for a change at the end of it. Uh, because you could use those. And if you did that drip effect in the background, so it looks as though the wings were actually melting, I think that would look fantastic. Do you like that idea? I do. Oh, no, thank you for that one. Um, look at the wings. This is where you see the detail, when you see the different designs. Highlighted, of course, with your gilding wax, highlighted with your different rusty patina effects. You might be going for a butterfly like this with your steampunk. We've got this on the show, by the way, if you like this. Um, but you could make it magical and mythical as well. Fabulous, absolutely stunning. My word, 40% of the stock of the butterfly is gone. That really is incredible. Right, we're moving on, we're moving on. The next one is your fire dancer your fire dancer and here she is she is beautiful isn't she she's she's yeah she's that's is like fire isn't it you could you could cut that off yeah and not have her and you could just like have the tree fire. or Looks, flames yeah that tree. could be the flames to the phoenix that we've got coming up Ooh. or how about this that could be a wing of a butterfly it could see that like that um yeah she is quite spectacular isn't she She's gorgeous. Gorgeous. She, she is lovely. She's very modest as well. Uh, <laughs> £18.74 pence if you want your fire dancer. But I tell you what, hang on. Oh, no. I don't, can you see that? Look at the toes, the detail of the toes. I know. Every little detail wow. is in there. The face, you can see the nose, but yes. Beautifully shaped little feet she's got, hasn't she? That's amazing. That really is absolutely incredible. Let's just bring that down. Keep her modest at all times. Next one along is your perfume bottles. Um, your, have you got an atomizer in there? There is, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. There's a new word I learned, atomizer. The detail though, Catherine, again, just stunning. I know, and there's two different perfume bottles being used there. You actually get three in the mould. The butterfly, if you pick that up one up again, the centre, the body that has been created is the third perfume bottle. Wow, 
Isn't that ornate as well? It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is it. I, I tell you what, if you want to go for two, those two would go great together, the butterfly and the um, perfume bottles. Definitely. Most and definitely. we've got Viva Decor today as well. So we're looking for mediums to work wow. with these moulds. Oh, we've got some treats. You're a busy girl later. today. I know. I'm here what? all day long today. Are you? I'm all here till the last thing. Are you? Yeah. Are you our last show? Um, yes, I Not am. Not our last show ever, <laughs> uh, but the last live hour yeah. with Catherine. Oh, starting the day and we're ending the day. You can't get away from her. <laughs> right, let's let's move on. Where are we going now? Uh, we're heading... We'll go to the... That one. There you go. Now, this is your... Is it your astrolabe? Yes. Not your astrolabe. Earlobe, your astrolabe. 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 Labe. It's this one here. A quarter of the stock has you, gone. You do get a lens included there as well. If we look at the sample, you can see the lens in the arm. And we did get see one of uh, Ian's videos last night as well with the motorised version. Ooh, Ian yeah. loves to put. You've got the different components, you see, the three layers. So you it's know, sorry, possible. Catherine, you know when you say you get a lens, you don't get the actual lens. Yes, you get one included. You. you do, and when you've used it, you can recreate those with resin, or wow. you can buy cabochons that will fit. Cabochons? That is an amazing deal. 1874. I know. My word, that definitely needs to go in your basket. That's incredible. That really is incredible. 823966. We've got more for you, though, to choose from. What a wonderful show this is. The next one along here is your Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius is November oh is that September to November Sagittarius comes after Libra doesn't it I do believe I have to keep I, checking I, I always do forget believe. which way Sagittarius comes. Uh, comes after Libra so I think it is late September November and then it goes into Scorpio is also November isn't it it is it is so I think your Sagittarius comes before Scorpio yeah, probably. yeah there you go but it doesn't have to be the star sign doesn't really yes it depicts um, Sagittarius but it is a wonderful image as it is November the 23rd to December the 21st is it so oh, okay um, so you it doesn't have to be Sagittarius even no. though it depicts the image it's still a great image isn't it it is good look at the detail again I mean I love that sort of crackle effect in the background there do you? absolutely beautiful yeah. yeah did you do this no, that, I think that's one of Leanne's oh, from the design team. That really is superb. Again, the detail that's in that um, Sagittarian. It's a horse and a man, isn't it? So yes, yes. And what? the little, I do recognise the stars. The stars have come from the little bit of everything. Oh, yeah, we've got, we've got those on the show as well. £18.74. pence. Moving on. But mind you, with your Sagittarius, by the way, and your Aquarius, you also get the description of the star side. So you can use those separately or together. Your next one along is your Aquarius, um, and we are, we've been busy for that one as well, been busy for that one as well. In fact, we don't have a sample of that one. I was never, I never received that mould. Did never, you not? No. So Do I've we have a not, sample? No, we don't. Oh. So it's difficult to see, but it, as usual, you've got beautiful, beautiful detail. There's lots of we leaves and flourishes in somewhere. there. We might have a picture we'll of it We'll see if we somewhere. can find something yeah. for later um, on. Because it would be nice to try and yeah. see that. I'm sure Obviously we'll have Aquarius one somewhere. Obviously, Aquarius is the water carrier. It certainly is. Yeah, it certainly is. Don't spill any. There's a hole in my bucket. Uh, right. Is that it? We've got any more? We've got Scorpio as well. Oh, never mess with a Scorpio. Oh, no, never. Never mess with a Scorpio. Uh, over 30% of the stock has gone. It's an absolutely fabulous, fabulous mould. Do I have a sample of this, um, Unfortunately, not on that one either. No. Uh, but we'll see what, if we can sort something out with this one for later yeah. on. But now you can see the, the detail there, can't you? You can, you really can. And look at the frame, because you can you take the outline of the frame, or the, the outer frame itself, without the poem, if you want to use that individually and then use it in a different way. Um, in the past, I have used Scorpion to create a flower. Have Would you? you believe? Yes. The scorp oh, yes. do you know what? I remember that show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like an exotic flower. So the pincers can be used in a different way. The tail, I extended as the stem and then the, the, the sting on the tail was yeah. the leaves. So it made oh. a very exotic looking flower. And also that frame as well. It's very majestical. The frame is beautiful. That. I love that. I know you've done other samples using frames and putting letters inside the frames, which like, what, what do you call it? Is that mono... Mono oh, the uh, monograms. Mono monograms, monograms. You um, could use similar those to monograms. that. Looks great, doesn't it? 
Um, it's lovely. I've been asking Catherine to make me one of these for the past year, but clearly <laughs> she's just doing K for Catherine. <laughs> She's not done a joke. It's nice. a very old sample. Yeah, well, I love that. I think that is great. It'll look great in someone's house. Clearly not mine because it's not a joke. Uh, £18.74, 823966 <laughs> is your item number. They look amazing. They really do. Let's head to the website. This is where you can see all the choices available to you. We do have a lot. And also the great discounted prices. Don't miss out. If this is your first introduction to Zuri, oh my goodness, welcome. If you are a returning customer and you're thinking, I've had them before, but now I want to add more to my crafting stash. Maybe you've been using one for clay and resin and now you want to make some with your cake decorations. Then we've got them for you. If you want some mediums, we've also got clay, we've got elecan, we've got resin for you. Uh, look at the five-star reviews. It's a great time to stock up get ready for when your um, your molds arrive at your home so you can start crafting into the new year and who knows make create and sell I'm sure you can do that with the Zuri mold uh, we had a few sellouts last night so don't miss out today uh, right Catherine are you ready okay well we did a little bit of resin pouring last night at eight o'clock so I said we would demold this morning so uh, let's see what we did we did work with the carriage. Now, if anybody was watching last night, what I'd done in, in previous shows, I've, I've had this sort of sat, or some resin sat in this mould for over a month. I'd used kind of the, the leftover. So you didn't clean it out? What, no, I did it on purpose okay. because I'd got a little bit spare. Yeah. And you can't waste resin. You no. never, ever waste it. So I poured it into the mould and it didn't fill it. There was areas that hadn't been filled at all. But it doesn't matter because you can then top up yeah. even if it's fully cured you can still top up so that's what we did could you I, mix your mediums you know if you had some resin still in there could you put some air drying clay you could do if it's if the resin's cured you could yeah. do it that way might not stick to it very no. very well okay. and you wouldn't um what you could do if you've got a certain amount of resin in there you could then go with air dry clay yes. then go with resin on top Ooh, when the clay is dry yeah, you could so do. you've encased it inside interesting uh, what I've done here though is use some galaxy flakes. Now I did say I was going to explain something about the moulds. If you've watched these shows before you've probably heard me say it a number of times. But can we see how shiny this looks? You can see those flakes in there. Watch what happens when I demould. Now I haven't taken this out. Remember this was partly filled with resin. I just topped it up last night with those um, lovely flakes. In fact you can see what's happening as I'm taking this out. Can you see? how that is no longer looking shiny. The reason being, because mm. your moulds are a matte finish, mm. you'll get that frosted effect. Now you can still see those flakes in there, but we're gonna change this in a, a little while. Okay. We'll make that look much more sort of shiny oh, really? and clear. Now because I did pour this resin last night, I know some of the, it had already cured, but it's still malleable because it takes about 24 hours to fully cure. It has set a little bit more than I would normally like it to be. I think that's probably because there was already the cure resin in there. But when you demold at this stage, as long as you can get it out of the mold, even if it's not fully cure, in fact, you can see where there was no resin in previously on those wheels. You can see how much more bendy that is. Yeah. We'll show you again uh, when I demold the next one. So very easy to manipulate this around a jar or a vase or something like say, that at this stage. Yeah, I was going to say, if you do it in the clear, you could put that onto a glass vase and it will look like it's been made as part of the glass vase. Yeah. How amazing That's is that That's one of my favourite things to do, actually. A clear glass vase and then take you know, a clear resin, yeah. because you get that frosted effect, yeah. you'll get the detail. You can still bring the detail out further if you want with your waxes and things like that. But we are going to make that look more sort of crystal-like. What would you stick on. it onto a glass vase with so you don't see the glue I on the I would use side? a gel medium, probably. Ah, OK, there you um, go. Because that will dry nice and clear and it will hold it. Now, if I just demold the next one. OK. Now, this is the same resin. This is the Elichem resin again. Um, and what set is this here? We've got this available on the show, haven't we? We do. So, we do have it in different sizes. So, we've got the total cast. Yep. It's a one-to-one. -one. Yep. Which means... So, one part resin, one part hardener. Mix okay. them together. That will give you your clear resin. If then what I did with this one, in fact, there's a couple of things I've done with it. I used some Resitint Plus or Resitint uh, powder, which I think we've got on the show. It is a 
It is a mica powder, basically, but it's a really, really good one. And I've okay. dusted into the mould with that. You can mix the powder directly into your resin as well, but I've used the Resitint Max in this lime green just Ooh. to put some colour in there. And those are the details at the bottom of the screen for the Resitint. 2398 975973. It's on extended delivery, dispatching on the 5th of January. You might want to add that to one of your Zuri moulds, and then you can have £5 off if you want. Now, when you have poured, if you want to check if it's ready for demolding, all you need to do is start to flex the mould. I haven't taken this out. This is the first time I'm doing it, but you can see just by flexing the edge how this is pulling away. As long as you can pull it away like that and it's not stretching the resin, you're not seeing creases appearing there, then you can demold. So we will see this now. There's a little bit. Wow. Yeah, a little bit of powder went in there. There was some gold. There was a little bit of silver mix in there. I put a small amount in, but then the green has also shown through there. We will bring out the detail more on this one. But look how malleable this is, because that mould didn't have any resin, resin in it at all when I poured it last night. That will easily shape. So now I would put this, if I wanted to, around a jar or a vase. And to keep it in position, wrap some cling film around there. It's not going to damage the detail. No. Let that fully cure while it's wrapped around and then it will keep its shape. That's fascinating, that detail in there. It's quite mesmerising, that particular one, It's isn't beautiful, it? isn't it? This is from the little bit of everything as well. So, I, And it really is a little bit of everything. That, for me, if you're looking for a mould to yeah. get yourself going, this is the one because you get so much you've got cogs in there you've got wings you've got a cameo you've got florals you've got a lovely ornate lock i love love the sun and the moon do you know Absolutely what that'd look beautiful. nice in the garden wouldn't it wouldn't it just yeah just on a wall or something yeah. like that um I think that's incredible um if you do want a little bit of everything it's 21 pounds and 99 pence four three six nine at three two but that particular option i do believe that half the stock has gone. I'm just going to grab it. Uh, oh, it's got a good weight behind it. Um, it is a little bit of everything. This is fabulous. So you've got some uh, cocks in there. You've got some wings. You've got a lovely cameo style uh, 1920s, not 1920s, just a cameo style lady. Um, you've got some fleur de lis in there, stars as well. That's actually, is that one of the American military stars? Because it's a certain design, yes, isn't it? Love yeah. that. Uh, some more cogs in there. You've got your words forever and a door with a little love heart in there. You've got your crown and there you've got the sun and the moon. And then you've also got a lovely embellishment as well. That's excellent value for money. 21 99 How many have we got? One, two. Oh, I'm not going to count them, but you've got a lot. I'll count them in a moment. Uh, but you do have a lot of uh, moulds. 22 in total, 22 uh, for 21.99. So that's a pound. That's a pound a mould, really. I know. If you look at it like I know. that. Exceptional value. Yeah. Very, very useful as well. I mean, you can make some new projects with that one mould just by yeah. building those elements up together. Superb. 436.932 is your item number. Right, back to Catherine. Okay, now I've got a little bit more to demold while I'm here. I did pour these all last night. We'll mix some more resin during this hour and then hopefully we can demold at 4 o'clock. It won't be ready by 12. But the same colour, this was the same mix of resin that I did. Oh dear, I didn't choose the one with the J for Janice. <gasps> right, I can somebody order me a taxi please? Um, yeah, can you pick me up in 15 minutes? Thank you. <laughs> You've got an E though, I'll That's see Janice. if I can find mine out. Oh... I think it's been a popular selection from the alphabet, that Has one. Has it? Um, I think yes, so. we do have selections of uh, the alphabet for you. I think the ABC sold out, did it not? No. Um, C, we've got what it is, A and B. Ah, with the larger they ones. They came with the frames, with the mon which sold out previously. I do keep requesting that we get those back in stock. Um, it, uh, lots of people have already got them, so maybe you're just filling gaps. But the A and the B did come with the monogram frames oh now the one with my letter on i've just been told is sold out so clearly jay's very popular this morning catherine uh oh there's a k on there as well <laughs> they happen to be together back to back <laughs> not looking at each other look at that your j and your k um but it is the detail that's in these letters that are just amazing let me just grab a sample here to show you just why Catherine is doing that. There you go. Look at the detail in the letters. Heart and soul. 
detail is just phenomenal. We'll get a little bit closer on that so you can see that. And that's the joy of using uh, your Zuri moulds. I think these are, are just wonderful for all kinds of different projects, but also for cake decorating. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Because you, yeah, absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Whether it's just initials or, you know, for a wedding mm. album or something like that as well, but to do full names would be fantastic. It certainly would. Uh, now, don't let us influence you uh, as to who you're going to marry by the actual letters that are left, because we're about to sell out of the one that you're using, Catherine. Are we? Yeah, oh. it's getting close. It's getting close. Right, okay. And the one you're using is the one with the F. Uh, yes. It starts with C, C, D, E, F, G and H in this one. So let's, we've also got the Zuri waxes on. We sold out of the Pentart ones last night, but we do have the Zuri and you've got three amazing colours oh, here. Oh, wow. Now, you, obviously, you're not going to see much in the way of detail where I've just demoulded with the resin, but let's bring that detail out just so you can appreciate what you've got. I'm using a brush. You can use a fingertip, but I prefer a brush if I want to be very delicate with this. I don't want to lose all of the, the green underneath. I'm just wanting to catch the top. So using the gold, first of all, we'll do one in each colour so you can see those colours. And you can see the beautiful flourishes and the leaves that are coming through on this one. Absolutely stunning. I will hold this to the front camera in a second so you can really see what's happening here but hopefully you can see that detail starting to come through Wow! just with a little bit of wax I mean that's all it needs isn't it so that resin tin is really good to have the resin base yeah the resin tint is the base so the the resin itself is clear and then to add the color is the resin tint. we do have that on the pick and mix so you've got choices of colors um, and then of course the wax over the top so we can just Come in nice and close to that detail. Look at that. Do you know what it reminds oh, me so of? so ornate. Reminds me of the old storybooks. Yes. You know, just, when they yeah. had the large letter at the start, like the fairy tale Charlie, books. That's twice you've been right this morning, Janice. Can, can we just, can we capture that and record it? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, just, just, just reference that. Janice is right. Again. Just make sure you highlight again. <laughs> Do you know, I'm going to put some of the green on the turquoise. These have got really nice names, these colours, and I can never remember them, but they are lovely names. Um, can we, have we got the names for these waxes? Um, are, they on, are they actually on the packet? No. Well, ah, OK, yes. So we've got Phoenix Blaze. Oh, that's the, that's the orange, orangey one. And yeah. Burra Burra. Burra Burra. Burra Burra. I pr presume I'm using Burra Burra then right now. The green one, I presume, is Burra Burra. Venetian gold makes sense to be the gold, doesn't it? And the, yes, because uh, of the name, Venetian yeah. gold, it does make the sense. The Phoenix Flame has got to be the orangey, coppery colour, yeah. I think. So two completely sort of different effects there, because the green that I've used underneath also changes depend, depending on the colour that you're using on the top as well. Oh, look at that. So it makes, where I've gone with the turquoise over yeah. the top, it makes it look more of a bluey green yeah, because it and then the gold yeah. is, you know keeps what? it a nice bright vivid green. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? If at 1997 you get three um, and are just beautiful colours that Catherine's been using there and you can have these if you pop them in your basket and if you are popping them into your basket above and beyond anything else you're getting or alongside anything that you're getting and your basket comes to over £30 you'll be able to get these for £15 because you can use your £5 discount uh, which is um, absolutely fantastic great colours look at that there's your Venetian gold that is your Phoenix Blaze and that one is your Bora Bora. Um, 941166. We've had an image sent in, Catherine. Would you like That's to see it? Oh, yes, please. Okay. This is from um, Helen Blatherwick. I think I drive through Blatherwick. This I recognise not. That. This one's from Sylvia. This is from Sylvia. This is, I this is dancing it. with ribbons. Isn't that beautiful? So that's the fire dancer, obviously. There, um, some toast stools at the bottom. She's dancing on the toast stools, isn't she? Oh, that is lovely. So we're going to use the fire dancer in the next part. That of demo. works so well as a ribbon dancer. It does, doesn't it? I love that. Thank you, Sylvia. Sylvia Allen for uh, sending that in. Thank you so much. And we do have another one. This one's from uh, Helen. Helen Blatherwick. Um, Oh, that looks like a buffet that picture we're about to show. This looks like, looks like Helen's been to the smorgasbord, but it's not. <laughs> um, here we, 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 we're bringing it up. There you go. Oh, that's better. We're closer up on it now. Oh, look at that. Is that a chocolate biscuit? 
Do you know, it might be chocolate, that. I, I think it? it? Well, it looks like chocolate. It looks like white and dark chocolate. Um, we've got an email, so it might say in here. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, good morning. Sent a photo of chocolate aces from the yes. Zoe Mould. Yeah. Sorry the picture is not so good. It's brilliant. Uh, but the moulds are brilliant. Yours faithfully, Helen Blatherwick. Do you know what, Helen? You could have sent in the chocolate. <laughs> That would have been great. <laughs> they look amazing though, Helen. What a fantastic idea. What a fantastic idea. You can also use some food colouring as well. Um, they're brilliant. Love those. Love those. Uh, we do have those moulds available for you on the show. I do like them. Um, uh, have a look at those on the website, 1874. But if you want to go for the one day special, you've got a selection. You choose, you decide. It's a great way to add more Zuri moulds to your collection or introduce yourself to the Zuri molds the detail is absolutely incredible for example the chariot that we've got there look at that isn't that wonderful and as Catherine said you can actually start using different elements you could just use the wheel for example which is a great embellishment for you to use if you want to uh, and again it's going to be smooth on one side and depending on the medium you're using you can manipulate it afterwards and you can add it to various different designs maybe to go round um, a vase or something like that there's your beautiful flame dancer isn't she elegant she really really is and again it's all about the detail that's in there it's absolutely astonishing there's your butterfly that's proven to be very very popular uh, 18 pounds and 74 pound pence you're saving six pounds and 25 pence but if you go for two not only will you be will you be saving 12 pounds and 90 pence you'll also be able to use your five pound credit discount taking your saving up to 17 pounds and 90 pence somewhere in the region um so yeah consider that this could be the show that you're spending your five pound credit if you're thinking what's this five pound credit all about it'll be in your account every day up until the 31st of december and you can spend five pound every single day against the purchase of 30 pounds or more eight two three nine double six your item number have a peruse at the ones that you want pop them into your basket and do check on out because we have been very busy and we've had some sellouts now uh, those are your medium size we've got some small ones uh, but still quite large Catherine oh yes yeah you've got plenty to play with here as well because um, do you know uh, look at ways of adapting these again because there are you some of them you think oh, well, for instance the gate you think, yes oh yeah it's a gate but you can break that down you can have the gates open so you could be looking through could be into another world maybe you know could be a, a palace world. it could be a palace Doesn't it could be, be gates it could be church gates could or be. a church door very yeah. ornate door yeah it could be just using the columns at the side or the embellishments from the top every time i see this i just want to put a little clock in the top of that gate yeah as well. do you know what that'd be a great idea that yeah. would be a fabulous idea now we are approaching limited stock limited stock on the gates that's proven to be very very popular the next one along i really like this with your violin magic um, I just I just think it's a wonderful image I it really is really do beautiful I must go and have a little rummage in the back of my car later because I don't know where the sample has gone for that but we've got a lovely sample I know I've seen the resin. That. Yeah, yeah we'll see if we can dig it out you go and have a rummage around in your drawers or maybe in your car <laughs> to find that one uh, next along she is so fantastic it's kind of how Catherine glides into work in the morning. It's exactly what she looks like. She heads into reception and says good morning to Dougie and gets the usual answer of living the dream. Look at that. That's stunning, isn't it? Do you know, I, before you said that, I was going to say, to me, she looks like a very strong, determined character. But now you've referred <laughs> <laughs> to me. I don't know that that's quite true anymore. Oh, it but, is. No, as the butterfly lady herself. And if you don't want to use the wings on, if you want to just as a very sort of bold character, you can do. My favourite, favourite thing about this one is that lovely leaf in the centre of her dress. Oh, damn I, yeah. I often take that out as a separate embellishment. I think it's absolutely stunning. I've extended on that before as well so you can almost turn that into a train on a dress so there's different ways of working with that one definitely look at you know again make it using that as flower petals yes yeah, you could turn that upside down that could be like a vase or something it, yeah it yeah. works very well that's another good idea Janice you're on you're I'm on it full this of morning. it you said to me today Janice you're full of it and I'm just proving you're right <laughs> Oh no, you're not right. I am. <laughs> uh, right okay we're moving on because we've got more choices for you. Are we heading here? 
the swan yeah the swan dream um, another beautiful mold 30% of the stock is gone on your swan dream something like that I would think would be really nice um, like a see-through vase or something it would there is actually a plate there oh there is there is there is a plate sorry uh, everyone's pointing at me and I'm like am I here <laughs> Am I there? Um, yeah, we've got a now, plate Now, what, what I've done with that as well, that was actually just a white ceramic plate. Was it? Just a plain white ceramic plate. Oh. And then I've used the, that's air dry clay, um, and I've taken a cast of the wing twice. So I've, I've extended the, the image, so it looks as though you can see the wings opened rather than being together. Oh, right. That's a clever idea. That's I love really the florals good. in that as well, just using the flowers on their yeah, own. Yeah. Beautiful. Even just using the wings as well. Yeah. Oh, I love these. Right, the next one is your rising phoenix. I love phoenix as a bird. I love the ideology about it and everything. We are approaching 30% of the stock of the phoenix gone. Um, majestical creatures. Beautiful. And we did mention earlier on that you could use the dress from the fire dancers, the flames for the phoenix. So it could be the phoenix rising from the flames. Again, the tail on that one, a wonderful area to extend on if you want to sort of cast from that separately. Again, the wings, use that separately. You know, you break it down. There's definitely ways of changing it. I love that. I love that image. It also looks like the phoenix is going, oh, behave. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> next along, next along, uh, you have got your symbols or your are these are your ordinals i never know uh, what an ordinal is is that the right word i'm not sure it's an apisan is that what yeah. you call that an that's your yeah. and and then you've got your explan explanation mark <laughs> yeah ex explanation mark ex exclamation that's the one <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got your question mark. <laughs> it's much easier when you use these as well. If you haven't you already got this one and you're going for the alphabets, this is a great one to pop into your basket as well because if you are doing anything like initials, the and sign in particular is very, very useful. But I also think that the, uh, the question mark is a nice flourish. You can use the exclamation mark oh, and then yeah, create look, the little dots just, separately if you want there, to. Yeah. That's your question mark at the end. And then just used it as a little flourish there. Um, fabulous, gorgeous detail. Love that. No, Love that. And beautiful. that would be good with your letters, like you say. So you could have, you know, like, um, I don't know, you could have H and A for Holly and Andy, maybe. Yeah, you could do. I mean, that's lovely. Um, fabulous. Right. Next along, next along, we've got the numbers. At this end of that end. This end. This end. This end. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right, so you've got uh, your numbers in here as well. Also, something that's really, really handy numbers. Um, and this is your one to five, 16 pounds and 50 pence, saving five pounds and 49 pence. Add this to your one day special, maybe. Yeah. And you're only getting it for 11 pounds and 50 pence because you can use your five pound credit, taking that saving up to 10 pounds and 49 pence. It's a great way to buy from us with the big save. Next along, you've got your six to zero. So you've got six, seven, eight, nine, and then zero, just there. Great with, for house numbers. With that one, can I point out as well, because there's no expense spared, is that you've got a six and you've got a nine. So you don't have to use the same, <laughs> the same letter and spin it around. You've got the separate numbers there, not letters, numbers. But they are different as well, the detail is different you can see the flourishes on the end of the the tail of the six and else on the nine um you don't appreciate the detail again until no you, you don't take them out of because the mold. i mean let's face it you don't want to, you don't it's nice when you've got the numbers that are different so if you did want to use the six and the nine at the same time um it's a different flourish it's a different flourish. it's a great year to be born uh right uh, we've got some letters for you. We've got some letters for you. Where are the letters? They're along here somewhere. Were you born in that year? Oh, uh, we've got these. Pardon? Were you born in that year? Were you born in that year? No. I'm older than you. No, you're not. I am. You know, you're not. You're younger than me. What year were you born? No. I was born in 67. Are you? Yes. You're older than me. Yes. Yeah. Kind of says a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of, that works out now. It's all making sense. <laughs> Past three years, it's all making sense. Uh, right, sorry. We've got letters. We've got letters. There you go. So you've got your uh, Q to your R, or your R to your Q. I don't know which way round that goes. <laughs> um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, R. Is it R to Q? 
O first. O P. Oh, Q. Q at the top. <laughs> you see how my brain works back to front, upside down, and that other terminology that we use in Leicester. Uh, next one along. You've got your C to your H. I do you know that's H, not H. Uh, and then your next along. Where are we? Here we go. Is your U to your Z. There you go. Uh, these are fabulous, aren't they? £16.50. You choose, you decide. But they do look absolutely incredible when you mould those out and you start adding different colours. Uh, right, age before beauty. Back to Catherine. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, okay. We are going to use the fire dancer actually. I'm just going to see where I've put there it is. Um we've got a bundle of clay which is fantastic. Uh because you do get primary colours in there. You also get the big block of white clay, which is two hundred grams. You get a mixing chart, a little gauge, and um yeah, very, very useful indeed. So if I just show you the chart first of all, this is something I want to explain a little bit because if you look at the top here, you can see some blocks of clay. These are the hearty colours. It does show a different white one, but it, it's, it's just, a, you know, it's basically, you just use what's in the bundle. It's the same, really. It just looks a different packaging there. If you flip this around, you might recognise the packaging for the air dry Medina, which did sell out last night. Now, there are, we don't have them here. We've never, I don't know if we'll ever see them, but there are some different clays that are air dry Medina in colours. So this side of the chart refers to those, but you can still use that as a guide for your hearty soft as well. But we're going to work from this side because we know that's definitely meant to be the hearty soft. Um, there might be a slight variation with the other. And because the fire dancer, we want a skin tone. Mm. My top tip when using air dry clay in a mould where you want a skin tone is to mix that colour first. If you're going to use any mediums afterwards, any paints, the hardest colour or the hardest areas to paint are the skin tones. You, so many people get in touch with me and say, oh, I was so pleased, got such beautiful detail from the moulds, painted it all up, came to do the skin tone, ruined it. Okay. Ruined it. So... If you mix that skin tone first, you don't have to worry about painting it afterwards. So you, you can decide, you know, on the skin tone that you want. Um, I'm going to choose one of these here. We'll go for this one. And using the gauge, I can mix the colour that it's showing me on the chart. So it says we want D in yellow. So your little gauge that you've got starts right with the smallest one at A and goes all the way up to the white, which we're going to use in this case which is going to be I. So I is the largest, A is of course um, the smallest, I is the largest. All you do, and this is why you need such small amounts, because the pigmentation in the clay is so strong, you need the tiniest, tiniest bit. Um, I put that in A and it wants to go in D, so that was a bit slits because I'm talking about a all the time so I'll get that out in a second right now then this isn't going to mix a huge amount of clay but obviously you can do this number of times or when you can see the ratio that you're using then it just helps so so enormously what I want in A is the magenta so I do want to use that you do get a little tool which I can't find at the minute so I'm gonna have to find use something else which is handy for picking out your clay so the magenta will put in A now, I would have thought that if I was mixing a, a flesh tone, I would have probably gone with more of the pink than the yellow. That's the way I would have thought mm, it would have been. the skin tone, yeah. Yeah. But actually, it's the other way around, isn't it? So it's interesting. So let's go with the white next, which is I on this particular colour. So, now this is great if you're doing little flowers and things and you want particular colours. Make sure that you fill up the gauge nice and flat with the tool if you do, don't lose it like I have. It's here somewhere. Catherine, we're we'll approaching limited <gasps> stock. Yes, oh on dear. the hearty clay with your colour mixing scale. It's a great opportunity to get that mixing scale. $32.99. Um, and it's a considerable amount of hearty clay uh, with your tools as well. It really is. So... You are getting your blue, your red, your yellow, and your magenta. So you've got those. You also get your white. Can we um, just double check on the colours? I don't think you get the red in that one. Do is you it not. black you get? You might get the black. You might I get think the it's black. It's a black Sorry. one. Which is great. So those three and black 
And then you've got the white as well. Yes. Yes. And then, and then, and then you've got your mixing tools as well. Is that the tool you were looking for? No, that's no. an end of call, or it has been in the that's past. That's an end of call. I thought it, it, uh, I thought no, it was the tool is in the in with the gauge. It's yes. a little, little stick, a little white stick with a pointy Got end. Got you. Yes. Like a little, little. There you go. That's yeah, your kit there. Uh, don't forget to check out your basket. It's a great, and it's going to last a long time oh. because you know yeah. it's a great price, but it's also going to last a long time. You also get the black included, thirty two ninety nine one five two five three five. Um, that is invaluable, definitely. Consider it really that. is invaluable because you've got your three primaries there: the mm. magenta. You think about the inks in your printer: magenta, cyan, and yellow. Yeah create every color the black is so important because if you want to true black clay you're not going to mix it by putting a black pigment into your white clay you're no, always you're going not. to get a gray yeah so it just works beautifully limited stock now 32.99 again i know i keep telling you about this but you might not know you've got a five pound credit in your account you can take your five pounds off that and then it makes it 28 pounds so that's why it's such a superb deal and that's why we're very busy i think people are taking advantage of that extra five pounds one five two five three five okay so i've filled up the gauge so we've got i which is the white d which is the yellow this is why that little tool comes in handy because you can pick out these colors easily now if i mix these together we should get the color that's on the chart it's um, like a fried egg <laughs> it did a little bit, didn't it? <laughs> now, it's quite a, a, a deep sort of fleshy tone, this one, which is lovely. But I know that if I'm going to use this for my fire dancer, because I'm going to bring this chart back in so you can see that colour. That is a really good match with that colour. Yeah. Can you see it there? But I know that is a little bit too orangey still. Okay. I've gone for this one in particular because I know that I want more clay than I've just mixed. Does it but dry? I can use this. Sorry, Catherine. Does it dry differently? Do you have to take it, that into consideration? Um, it's pretty... It's pretty close to how it looks now. It might go slightly darker. Slightly. Not a great deal. It's pretty close. But I've got a lovely skin tone there, or it will be, when I mix a little bit more of the white in. I do want to lighten it down. So I could have gone for a different colour on the chart or looked on the other side, but I know I've got the tone right. So think about how you can adapt this. It's more about mixing the right tones rather than the the shade itself yeah. so you can see just adding more of the white in there now that is getting more to the color that I want another tip that I can give you actually is because I'm going to use the fire dancer I'm not going to do a skirt I'm going to leave the skirt off this we'll come back to this a little bit later um, but if you put some white clay into the area that you want to, to fill before mixing it into the colour. You're not going to mix too much, oh. if you know what I mean. We have sold out of have the clay. It's all gone. Yeah, it's all in people's baskets. If you've not checked out yet, please do so, because if you don't, someone else might come and get it after 10 minutes. So, technical sellout. There's only one or two left in baskets, but it means it has gone. Uh, that's how busy we are this morning. So thank you for joining us, and thank you for your custom as well. It's all about your Zuri Moles. This is your one-day special, a great way to get yourself introduced to Zuri Moulds and you'll be so happy you did. It's also a great way to extend your moulds as well because you choose, you decide which ones you go for. You can kind of create your own mini one day special. It is a one day special, but you can create your own mini bundle. It's brilliant, isn't it? You can just have one, you can have two, you can have three, you can have four. It's entirely up to you. 823 is your item number. They're food grade safe, which means you can use these for your baking, uh, which means you can put them in the oven. I think they go up to 250 degrees. 240 degrees. And in the degrees. freezer down to minus 70. Yeah, yeah, great. Oh, you know, some of these make great ice sculptures um, for your table decorations. Now, um, if you do want to get any of these, they have the same item number, but it's a different option. You can head to the website or you can ask the call centre and they'll take you through the different options for you. Uh, back to Catherine. Okay, so I'm ready to go. I'm just going to fill the centre area. I'm not going to put the skirt on her. We might see a little bit of it, but that's fine. And we'll come back to this in a later show. So what I'm going to do is fill the mould. Now, I'm not going to go through the process in, in its entirety. Again, talking about the clay at the moment. But if your clay is too wet, if it's too fresh from the pack, where you've got these very fine detail, you will struggle to get it out of the mould. So this clay, although I've mixed the colour into it, has been drying out a little bit. You get to know the feel 
feel of the clay, it becomes more rubbery. Um, I know it could dry up more than it is, but do you know what? We're going to go with it and hopefully we can get this out. Now, I have dusted the mould with a little bit of talcum powder, which has got a bit of sparkle in it, but also the brush that I used had a bit of mica powder on oh, it from spark, last night. Sparkly yeah. talcum powder? Yeah, it's from, a, it's from one of those thought you shops might have some sparkly <laughs> talcum powder. <laughs> <laughs> it's from one of those shops that smells really, really nice. Oh. You know the one, begin with L. Co-op? <laughs> begin it with L. Lidl? <laughs> Asa? <sighs> my secret Santa got me something from that shop and it's beautiful. Oh. One of my secret Santa's. Did you pick up yeah. both of you? I did. I got some Santa. lovely things. I got a nice hot water bottle. Did you? I did. Bit People strange. know me so well now. I'm always cold, aren't I? So yeah. that was a really Actually, good gift hot for me. Water bottles, that is a great present. <laughs> um, right, we've had an email in um, from Barbara this morning, Barbara Smith. She says, good morning and happy new year to all at the craft store. Well, thank you for wishing us oh, a happy new good year, morning, Barbara. Barbara. Happy new year to you as well. Because um, we are heading that way rapidly, aren't we? What's the date today? It is a 28th, 28th, yeah. only a couple of days away. Um, now, Barbara sent in a picture. Barbara made this plaque, wow, and put it into a recycled picture frame from her granddaughter's Christmas gift. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, isn't that lovely? Look, using the alphabets again there, beautiful. Obviously, Libra, we haven't got on the show today, but many people have already bought that in the past. That's one that did sell out earlier on. Um, fantastic. Love, Love it. That. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Love that. You could actually use the letters. You could respell. You could have liberal or libra or bra or, I don't know, other things. <laughs> <laughs> Bar, you know. Uh, 1874. So if you want to get some letters and spell out whatever you like, um, then you can choose from the letters that we've got available for you on the show. Um, that is lovely, Barbara. Thank you very much for sending that in. And I'm sure... Um, if that was a Christmas gift, um, it would be truly received with um, lots of smiles. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Lots of appreciation. That's, Is that the word you're looking for? Yes, yes. It was for her granddaughter for a Christmas gift, so I'm sure she absolutely loved it. I bet she did as uh, well. Right, Catherine. well. That's a very nice personal gift, it is, isn't, isn't it? it? Right, so what I've done, I've now use the clay to make the center part of our fire dancer so there will be a little bit of the skirt showing i've done that because i want to build up that center area so it's not too sort of um too flat and also it's not too vulnerable as a breaking point now because the clay is a little bit drier than straight from the pack as i flex this hopefully yes it's starting to come away quite nicely from the edge now because i'm, I'm going to be careful with the legs because they are still kind of vulnerable just help them out a little bit if your clay was even drier still that would just pop out and fall out looks like don't, a crocodile <laughs> don't be worried about flexing the mold no you're not going to do it any damage okay. you know you can really sort of flex that i guess with air drying clay if it doesn't come out first time how you want it you just put it back in again don't you you, you certainly do if yeah. you can't get it out of the mold don't leave it in there to dry take it out yeah. let it dry off a little bit if you leave it in the mold the water tends to sink to the bottom you. although you can't see water there's a lot of moisture in there and it makes it sticky even more can now I can i just detail? show this in the front actually i was i had a plan for this later but i actually love her as she is do you know what i i've got a tendency to agree i think just look at the detail so she's got like a the dress with the rah rah pleats in them yeah oh, so it's stunning. Isn't that and then lovely? she's got a little you can see every detail the little yeah. top there her vest top and then her hair and her face and the hands and the feet, even down to the toes. Yeah. Even down to the toes. And that's with wow. your air dry clay. Wow. I mean, with resin, oh my word, the detail. I mean, the clay, it, it picks up everything. This is a professional grey clay, so well done those that have bought it. But, you know, if I'm going to add any colour to that now, I don't have to worry about painting in the skin tone. Mm. It's already done for me. I mean, you could actually... I'm not going to... I don't don't break a leg. <laughs> oh, Catherine, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Do you? I could change the <laughs> positions of a leg a little bit if I wanted to. You could. <laughs> I could. Yes. I'm going to put that back as it was because I think she looks so elegant. Um, but I want to change her into a fairy as well. So what we're going to do is take the butterfly mould. Okay. 
And yes, it would work with the whole of the wings, but there are they are as big as she is, so she could have enormous wings. But I'm look, just looking at the top section and thinking, oh, okay. do you know what? I'm just going to take those. Now, now I'm, going, got, I'm got, going to do them in white because we can add some colour later. Okay. Uh, we've got five minutes left on this show. Catherine will be back at... 12 o'clock today, then another show at 4 o'clock. If you have any questions or pictures you'd like to send in for Catherine to take a look at, then please do. The email address is studio at the craftstore.com. It's a good idea just using the top part. Yeah, I think so. I think the size of them is going to work really, really well. What you could actually do is create a little barrier uh, with some, you know, the sticky stuff that you put posters up with? Yeah. Or a plasticine or something like that. Or if you'd got the Medina clay that sold out yesterday, you could form a little dam where the line of the wing separates oh. and actually fill with resin and have clear wings as well Would if that you wanted make to do her that. A madame. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Oh no, not that. No, no. You know, like a <laughs> Now, what I've done, you can see there, I've put more clay on one side than the other. That doesn't matter because all I'm going to do is pop that out. Now we've picked up all the detail. It's better to extend past the area that you want if you're not sure where to stop. Just sort of put more clay in than you need. Look at that detail. And then trim away to the shape that you want. So I'm just going to trim that a bit away. Of course, I can reuse what I'm trimming. Just neaten the edge off. Let's do the same with the next one. I just can't believe the detail, Catherine, that you I get know. with the Zuri moulds. It's just spectacular. There we are. And S just to let you know, when these are gone, they are gone. Um, so if you are deliberating, thinking, shall I get this one, shall I get that one, you've got 25% saving on these. It's just a remarkable deal for Zuri moulds. It really, really is. And none of them are trends that are going to go out of fashion or anything like that. These are the kind of moulds that you're going to use time and time again. And as Catherine is showing you here, bringing the two moulds together with the butterfly and the uh, fire dancer, just how beautiful and elegant that can change instantly. It's just stunning. Well, now it's to decide how to put the wings on because mm. maybe I want to trim them down a little bit more. Do I want one either side? Like so. I think if she's dancing, or I'd have them out. I, th I think they need to be as though they're both coming from the back ah, of her there. Yeah, yeah. So maybe let's just put them like that, do you think? Or yeah, I like that because yeah, she's I looking that. behind her. She's yeah. either doing that or smelling her armpits. I don't know. <laughs> Either or. Only you, Janice, only you. I'm actually going to trim a little bit more away from this one to make them slightly shorter, which you can do very, very easily. Just pinch in the end again there, just to give them a bit more shape, because, of course, the uh, clay itself is very, very malleable. I'm going to put a little bit of a support under one of those wings as well. So using a ball of clay, it could, you could just prop it with a paintbrush until it dries or something like that, but just... And that will allow, with that ball of clay under there, that top bit, because there's moisture in there, is going to drop down a little bit, so it's going to give it a bit of a curve. Okay. And then she is going to How do you connect the to two together, wings. then? How would you well, attach it? you can do it in different ways. If you want to attach now, yep. then the clay will stick to itself. But what I'm probably going to do is allow her to dry flat, yep. and then I'll use a PVA or a gel medium hot to glue? attach them. You could use a hot glue. Yeah. Um, Once different it's types of, Yeah, actually, I might, I might attach her now so she's already on, because it gives her a little bit of shape as could well. Could you use hot glue now or glue, or would you wait for um, it to dry? I would wait for it to yeah. dry. It would, yeah, I would wait okay. for it to dry. I do like her legs as they were, so if you do change things and you don't like what you've done, just pop her back into the mould and reposition. <clears throat> exactly okay. how they were. Now we've got one minute left on the show. We can finish this project at the 12 o'clock show. Yeah. Um, and you can also buy in between the shows. So if you have just joined us and you're thinking, okay, I've been doing stuff this morning, I'm not quite sure what I want, you can go and have a look on the website. We've got lots and lots and lots of individual moulds for you. Don't forget, we've got great discounts and you can use your £5 discount, it will be in your account every single day until the 31st of December as part of the big save. And in order to use that £5 credit, it must be £30 or more. Catherine, thank you so much. Thank you. <coughs> oh, hello. Nice. <coughs> That's all right. That'll be good for 12 o'clock. <laughs>
Uh, we'll see Catherine at 12 o'clock today. Do check out your baskets and check out all the other wonderful moulds. You can always watch this show again on Rewind where you get your moulds home along with all the other shows that Catherine's doing for you today and last night. Thanks, Catherine. Thank you. See We're you off later. for a cup of tea. You don't go anywhere, though, because we've got more coming up. Our lovely Leone is looking rather majestic today. She's coming up next with Jewelry Box. Glitter Greetings, Big Save after that. And then Quilter's Trading Post, Big Save. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop at the craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. Make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Hello and good morning. It's absolutely wonderful to have your company. A very Merry Christmas. I hope you had a lovely time. Um, or at least I hope it was peaceful and quiet for you. Or just passed really quickly. You know, it depends how you look at Christmas. You might be like, you know what, love? It's over. Let's have some big saves. It might be one of them. I know, I understand, and I take that box quite a lot. Um, now, I've got a lot of gorgeousness on the counter, loads and loads of twinkly, beautiful stuff. And, of course, we've got the lovely Maggie in the building. Good morning, Maggie. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Yep. Oh, Maggie, we have got so many amazing deals, haven't we? Yes, everything is reduced, yes. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> bit scary. It is a little bit, yeah. Yeah. A lot of work. <laughs> yeah, there is going to be yeah, a lot of work, work. Packing all these lot up. Yeah. <laughs> um, once it's gone, it's gone as well. Um, we've even got some new stuff, even on Big Save, because of beautiful little angels, which are always super, super popular anytime we have anything with um, angels on. But they are brand new and they're in the Big Save. So it is a first come, first serve, because once they're gone, they're gone. Anyway, let's start at the beginning because it's a very good place to start. Um, we've got loads of fantastic... Um, it's called the Sil Silver Alloy Pack. Now, what you've got here, these are all your lovely links. So this maggot, I mean, you've got all sorts of different sizes and shapes. 
So this one, these are the ones that you'll add to your different beads too, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. So you can use um, a head pin, put some a selection of little beads on, and then hang them from the holes at the bottom. I love these. You join them together, make a, a bracelet with them. Uh, there's really big selection of there's one everybody will get one of the very large ones you can see there yeah yeah um, and then they'll just get a selection of the ones it is actually a new selection that we've done wow so so it's again a new one really well, it is really yeah because it's we've remixed it and i put that larger linking yes um, i showed that very large one right yeah. at the beginning the, i love this because there's a real mix you know you've got um i mean i love these they're um they they look quite Indian, don't they? They do, they? yeah. Like the Indian do, jewellery. Yeah. Um, they're just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And if I show you, I mean, look at this when it's um, made into a piece. That's absolutely exquisite. That's, that looks like a dream. That's the kit that we had on, which I've sold out of now. But Amazing. obviously, I've got some of the links left, so that's why I put them in. Oh, that's beautiful. And have a little look at this, this bookmark. Because look how pretty that is. And something like this is really easy to use, but it looks super effective. Very simple. Just need a few beads out of your bead stash. Yeah, yeah. It's a great way of using your stash as well and yeah. making your stash look like really impressive, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, look at that. Look how impressive that looks. And that is literally just because the, the beads are actually hanging off that link. Now, you are getting an amazing pack here for... 9.99 it is just a tenner this is a really good price i know i keep saying it but once it's gone it's gone do not miss out on these we don't limit it oh i've just seen that we we don't limit it to one per person obviously you know they are gonna contents are gonna vary a little bit but everyone's gonna get a big one uh but but oh my gosh that's lovely so yeah i'd be getting a couple of them at that price One zero five nine 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 is your item number right now the angel these are beautiful now look at what you're getting in there you're getting 10 mixed colors and then you're getting all the embellishments as well everything to make these beautiful um little well they could be um on your handbag they could be on your keys they could be i mean these would look amazing on a christmas tree yes They'd look amazing on a yeah. tree yeah I love this. My mum has a fairy tree, actually, and she put these on the fairy tree, um, which is lovely. She, gets, she puts a fairy tree up every Christmas. I love these. <laughs> They're exceptional. And for £22, so we're making ten, ten full pieces. Ten full ones, yeah. That's really, that's superb. Mm. And, and if you are gifting them, look, you even get the bags. Yeah. Wow. Because that, I mean... So at that price, um, so you get in ten. So it's going to cost you two pound thirty to make one of these. Yeah, that's a good price if it people is. want to resell yeah. them. Yeah, they're thirty percent off. So you know, really, you should be about three pound twenty each. Yeah. So yeah. at least I would have said. Yeah, and you could still resell them for a little more oh, than gosh, that. Yeah. You probably sell them for a fiver each. Easy. Probably. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. 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 I mean, just the angel alone. I, I adore these. I really, really do. Now twenty percent of stock has gone. Um, and it is one of those things i think they're really super special obviously um you know giving an angel as a present it is that time of year that your nearest and dearest you miss them the most and something like this is such a beautiful gift it really is i, I absolutely adore these are stunning really stunning and the actual these are super super busy the actual body of the angel it's a really big um uh, sort of what would you call that? Well, it's, it drop? is acrylic, but it's a it's it's a faceted drop bead. We we yeah. would call it. Well, we're going to say drop. We're on the right. Well, there you are then. <laughs> I'm just, I'm on the right, the right train of thought. Um, and it really, yeah, they are beautiful. They're beautiful. Okay, these are so busy. If you do want to get hold of them, and I don't know if you've seen as well. I mean, have a little look at this because you've got on here. Obviously, you've got all the beautiful beads, but look, you're going to have more little. Um, see so there's all these little butterflies in here as well can you say there's loads of little butterflies and extra em embellishments they're beautiful and look there's even these ones i can't remember what you call them but they're well nice you know the the, the, like the, the glitter clay beads yes they are. yeah 
Right. Shiny balls. Oh, well, yes, if yes. you say so, yes, Leonie. They're yeah. beautiful. I mean, <laughs> there's, there's obviously prettier ways of describing them other than shiny balls. <laughs> but, so what you see. Um, okay, if you want that, that is super busy. Um, honestly, that I bet, my money's on that being the first one to sell out. Uh, £22.99, that is 627.461. Now, shiny balls, look at this plate of goodness. This looks so nice. I just, I just love them. You can just roll them in your hand, and they just. Oh, I mean, anybody who does beading would just. Yes. They're just lovely to work with, and they feel nice because they're clay. They've yeah. got that coolness to the yeah. touch, haven't they? Mm. So look at these. These are working out at twenty-five pence each. I mean, they are just beautiful. These are the kind of things as well you think to make these. That must be such a labour of love to mm. actually make the things. Mm. That is so nice. And only £12.79. Ah, Maggie, this is a deal. They're lovely. And like with the angels, you don't need much to... to with these, no. they really make an yeah. impact, you don't they? You need one or yeah. a couple. I mean, you could just use one each and make a pair of earrings and they would really stand out. Yeah. I mean, on that beauty, I love that bracelet. That is so pretty. But that one extra bead on there, it's such a feature bead, but it looks yeah. beautiful. There is an example on the memory wire necklace with those beads. If you just go, go along, you can see. This one? No, a bit further along. Memory just, wire. A bit memory. further along there. You can see that. Oh, it's yeah. It's just very, very simple necklace, just with a few crystals in between it. Very, very striking. Yeah, that really does look yeah. beautiful. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. We have got the memory wire coming up. Uh, so uh, please add that to your basket. But they look beautiful. Um, okay, now, if you do want to get hold of this collection, um, only at 12 79 you are getting 50 of these. Oh, now, maybe these will be first to go. 20% of the stock is already sold <laughs> out and gone. 655-544 is your item number. Pretty things. Do you know, this is a lovely first show. <laughs> <laughs> All the shiny, lovely things. <laughs> look, I love shorts like this. It's so nice. Now, um, the awful links. These look beautiful because obviously with something like this, again, they make a real impact, don't they? Yeah, it's just something a little bit different. Very simple to use. Um, they're joined with what we call an S-link, which is a bit like a double jump ring but it keeps your work flat and right. you've got enough materials to make either two necklaces or you might decide you want a necklace and a hanger you could make oh, earrings it hasn't got earring findings in the kit but there is enough uh, there's, there's clasps so that you could make two necklaces if you want to or you could just make a little hanger you've yeah. got two of the lovely big oval crystals as well yeah. there's some really beautiful faceted beads Oh, these are lovely. Are they beating this kit as well? Yeah, yeah. Wow, this is a massive kit. Because look, look, all the beads are in the kit as well. This is a huge, for eleven ninety nine. Yeah. The, the, the beads are very different. They're, they're <gasps> faceted glass beads, but they're just different shapes. Oh, my God. eleven ninety nine. all these beads and that. Yeah. Good grief. That is amazing. Look at these beads. That is beautiful. Yeah, that is so different. Oh, well, my... Right, I'd abs this one I really, really would be multi-buying. I mean, I'd have a few of these. The beads are lovely. Some of these are glass beads as well. Oh, yeah, they are they? lovely glass beads, yeah. Oh, they are beautiful. Oh, you need these in your life. <laughs> Look at that. That is gorgeous. God, you get loads. Okay, so... All of that, all of that. I mean, they look beautiful. Whether and what I like about these as well, I, I think they look really stylish. They mm. look really elegant, don't they? But they're just so simple to make. Yeah, very simple. I bet they come together super oh, quick yeah, as well yeah. because I can show you in a bit. Yeah, oh, this is busy. I tell you what, we are going to have so many sellers. A quarter of the stock has gone. That definitely multi buy. Definitely. You've got so many findings in there. You've got all the beautiful oval links. Yeah, that is absolute. I mean, there's loads of beautiful beads. There's all sorts in here. Then um, you've got lovely little crystals in there as well. Look at them. Sorry, my awful fingers. Oh, you can tell I don't get my nails done. Uh, now, £11.99. 186132 is your item number. What a bargain. Um, yeah, do not miss out on that. Flying, absolutely flying. Now, next we've got for you a beautiful bracelet kit. 
and these are really really pretty again the beads i'll show you the beads on here because they're different again aren't they Maggie? yeah but well they're what we call limitation jade so they sort of got that fr frostiness to yeah. them um, and it, it's um quite a simple pattern to follow and they're just a little bit different you will also get a necklace pattern free wow that i'm going to include in with it because once you've done the pattern there's loads and loads of different things you can do that you can do with seed yeah. beads you get different shaped beads so and the necklace i'm wearing is done with that technique oh fantastic oh it looks beautiful it's only very necklace. simple but it's a nice technique to do yeah and it does it looks really really different it mm. looks like lace work doesn't it, it? does yeah I mean, it's stunning. And you can see the beads. So you've got that kind of ivory, you've got the white, and then you've got that beautiful sort of frosty blue. You've also, of course, um, got your, your little, um, the little space beads in between, the tiny little beads. Um, and then, of course, you've got your thread, you've got the beading needles. Um, I mean, this is a full kit again for just 24.97 and even i mean you're making six bracelets i mean even the clasps are really pretty mm, yeah. everything in the kit is just super super pretty yeah. even the clasps are gorgeous now have a look a look at that i mean look at that that is really pretty okay 24.97 you are making a huge 11 pound saving that clasp is gorgeous see the clasps it's interesting you know as as jewelry it, and you will know like i've noticed this a bit how much um you know the clasps they used to be kind of boring but mm. oh my gosh you get some incredible fastenings now don't you you can and interesting sometimes when you wear a bracelet it's the clasp that you see because of the way yeah. the beads yeah. sit you tend to find the beads sit underneath your arm yeah. and the clasp sits on the top yeah yeah so you want it yeah. to look pretty don't yeah. you and then you don't mind then you don't yeah. mind it spinning around because otherwise you're constantly doing yeah. that aren't you and yeah. Um, yeah they are beautiful 24.97 again if you are making gifts incredible and remember you are getting the pattern in there 632312 is your item number now next these are super pretty i remember us doing these before the lovely little ballerinas um, and these are stunning because obviously we've got the gorgeous little angels on the show but the ballerinas i mean look at these again if you're thinking of, of things for the christmas tree i mean they'd look absolutely divine on the christmas tree or a memory tree you know or my mum's fairy tree um or of course piece of jewelry beautiful for a little girl you know to, it's lovely for handbag clasps they're really pretty and the way these are put together again they're quite easy to put together they are aren't quite they, easy to put together yeah i love the flowers as well because that's a bit different <laughs> yes it is yeah and the little crowns look at the little crowns proper cute love love those they are so sweet and the little flower beads see so see these are the little feet look and the tiny little flowers i know they're well cute um now only 9.99 you're making five of those beautiful charms for 9.99 again if you're making to sell absolutely lovely uh, a quarter of the stock has gone eight eight one eight one eight uh, please check your basket so if anything's in your basket for more than 10 minutes we do refresh your basket which means you'll go to check your basket out and it'll be empty um i know a lot of people are probably waiting till i've gone down the counter i will be a bit quicker i'm rubbish at being quick um right next <laughs> this is one of them you you want to you want to play with that immediately don't you it's like one of them springies isn't yeah, it it's a bit like a slinky yeah, yeah that's the one. Oh my gosh that is it i won't stretch it and pull it but look at that that or you just want to wear it leone put it down um so you're getting tons here so memory wire for necklaces obviously for it so you've got eight of the necklaces you've got a hundred of the bracelet wraps and then six how many of the ring six six day of the ring steel this is superb now memory wire is one of those it is easy to use but it looks effective doesn't it it does look very effective um, and think, nickel free yeah and i think um i think i sort of worked it out that little hanger that you've got that's got a little the gem on the bottom yeah there you'd probably be able to make 10 of those because the, the wire stretches out so much 
That is obviously, fair. if you wanted to decorate with your own beads, oh, yeah. you can make rings with it if you want to. But obviously, I just I'm always coming up with home decory type things. That so is you might be stunning. have enough just about to make ten of those. And with the bracelet loops, because you've got a hundred. Because normally when I do a bracelet, you have three rings round you, round it. Yeah. So you'd have enough for twenty bracelets. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. The necklace, um, depending on how you do it, I normally do over a circle because you need enough to keep the weight yeah. round your neck. Because yes. obviously, if it's only just going round your neck, it'll fall off. Yeah. So you normally have a, a, a bit extra, but even so, you've probably got enough for four or five necklaces there. Amazing. I do, again, that is so pretty, because that's going to look beautiful hung in a window, isn't it? Mm. Like, with a light shining through that, that bead at the bottom, that is such a nice way of using the memory wire. Mm. Really, really pretty. If you know anyone who's into the crystals, they're funny actually. My little nephew this time is only seven, and they were like, Oh, yeah, I like my crystals. They were like, Okay, yeah. <laughs> it must be, it must be influenced by someone, mustn't it? Because it's like, You're getting into crystal art, kid. What's this? Which is really cute, but it's like, Oh, that'll make easy presents. Uh, but, um, but how beautiful are these? I love that. And the, the bracelets, I mean, See, things like that, they are really super easy to do, but they look absolutely exquisite. It's really, really pretty. And I love memory wire because obviously it's handy for different sizes. It fits, kind of fits everybody, doesn't it? Yeah. Which is super easy um, and handy. Nine pence, 99 pence. You've got so much in that one. And I love that we've got sparkly things, but then we've got your bread and butter. You know, the stuff that you need. Um, 670787 now, next. And these are so pretty. Um, and with this, uh, again, these are such a good idea. Because that, when you look at that, all the ribbon, everything, it's been done for you. All you need to do is decorate, don't you? Yeah, yeah. That, and it looks good. Yeah, very simple. The bale that you've got with it, you might need to, to push the bale on by maybe even loosening the jump ring on the end. Because right. the bale is one size and some of the loops, some of the little clasps on the end of the, the ribbon, you might just need to loosen one off and th to put the bale on the middle. Okay. That just because of they vary slightly. But yeah. that's very simple then to decorate. Yeah. And that's your little bale. Um, and the way that works, so obviously you've got the, the bale, the ring is at the bottom, and then the way you can decorate it is by adding something to the bale. Really, again, yeah, super simple, but they look gorgeous. Mm. They look so, so pretty. Um, now, in this one, how many are we getting in this one? 16. 15, 15, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, for just 12 pounds and 59 pence. Yeah, they look super effective. I mean, again, if you got that, um, oh gosh, there's so many. If you got the, the one with all the gorgeous big beads, I mean, one of them on there would look absolutely gorgeous. Um, 12 pounds and 59 pence, they're beautifully finished as well. Um, that's 402091, your item number. Nearly there. <sighs> Look at the colours. Now, aluminium flowers, these are really interesting. Mm, very Aren't lightweight. They? they are super lightweight. Yeah. yeah. Um, for jewellery making, but I mean, these will be beautiful for your card makers, for your mixed media artists as well. And it's the colours, because they're aluminium, the colours are sensational, mm. aren't very, they? Very, very bright, yeah. They're really, really pretty. So you've got different sizes. So you've got some little baby ones as well. You see those ones? So you've got your little baby ones. And look at that on your brace. Now that, so that's um, like a little wall hanging or something, yeah. isn't it? The MDF. Yeah. That's pretty. They make um, lovely little, you know, bridesmaid gifts and stuff, yes. wouldn't they? Yeah. Oh, I love those. And have a look at the earrings. Oh, now the earrings, you know that very first kit we had? That is on one of those. That looks super pretty. And how have you popped them on? Have you wired it um, on? Yeah, I'll, I'll hopefully show you a bit later. All I do normally is put a wire or a thread from underneath through the yeah. hole and then put a little seed bead. Yeah. And then go back through the hole and then that seed bead will keep the thread or, or wire in yeah. place and then you can thread it onto whatever you like. Then Amazing. Of course, I didn't notice the hole at first. How I didn't notice the hole. But that makes it, again, I know, right? I was just too busy looking <laughs> at pretty colours. <laughs> 
Um, oh, wow, you're getting so much for your money there. Oh, I like the black ones. I didn't notice them. That's rather nice. Yeah, they look well nice with your earrings. Uh, for earrings. Um, anyway, 9.99. Okay. Um, approximately 380 in there. Um, oh, and honestly, the price is 661.854. Okay, first of all, the over links, um, that is now limited stock. So less than 10% remaining on your oval. I am not support, uh, surprised. I'm not supported. <laughs> that <were> a weird one. <laughs> so many ways, that's just weird. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, limited stock, that's less than 10% remaining. <laughs> 186132 is your item number. I am feeling supported on all different levels. Please don't email in. <laughs> 186132 is your item number. Uh, even me tights. Um, now, if there is anything you want, please check your baskets out. The prices are absolutely phenomenal. Oh, and the angels. Now, the angels are also super, super busy. Half of the stock has gone on your beautiful little angels. And they are really, really gorgeous. We have a special tree for my sister. And I hung a little angel on and someone pinched it and it made me very... I know, right? Oh, I know. Well, it is a tree in public, you know, you can't sort of... But, yeah, it's well annoying. Whatever we put on for her, it gets taken off. It's proper annoying. But I was really gutted about the angels because I put a couple on and it was like, you know, I was really gutted. And you try and put them high up, but I'm only little, so I, I can't get them that high. <laughs> I'll have just have to chuck them up next time, won't I? Anyway, but they do look, for things like that, they're beautiful, you know, because they are, they're pretty and they look gorgeous mm -hmm. for for so many reasons, yeah, don't they? Yeah. Everybody the, likes the angels. Yes, they yeah, do. Yeah, they make yeah. the best gifts. Um, if you do want the gorgeous angels, 22 pence and 99 pence, 627 Four six one. I was going to put a bauble on it. This is a true story. I didn't do it. I was going to put a bauble on the tree with loads of pins on it. So if anyone ping, if anyone pinched it, they hurt themselves. But I thought it's probably not in the right spirit. Is that? So I didn't do it. Oh. Oh, but it will be funny. It will be a cheeky bit of karma. <laughs> anyway, moving on from my weird and twisted imagination. Over to you, lovely Maggie. Okay then. Right. <laughs> Okay, so let's show you how to make the um, angel and the butterfly keychain. Gorgeous. Kit. Um, so you've got um, your large um, faceted bead, you've got a head pin, so you pop the large faceted bead onto the head pin, and then you've got wings, and then you've got a head, and then you've got a little space of bead which we use as a crown. So that's quite oh. straightforward and yeah. simple. Easy peasy. Okay, now you'll need your basic jewellery tools, which are your wire cutters. Um, you'll need round nose pliers and then some sort of flat nose pliers for you to just hold things in place. So you don't have to be a, a fancy jewellery maker to create these. Okay. okay. So I'm going to cut this wire off at about a centimetre from the top bead. And then I'm going to use my round nose pliers. I'm afraid I'm very untidy, so we may get in a mess here, but never mind, we'll go for it. Um, <laughs> normally, inside. pop the wire just so that you can just about feel it through uh, your round nose pliers. And then I take the loop and I wind it round, pop the pliers in and kink it back before I then just finish by closing the loop. Beautiful. Quite straightforward. So that's the little angel done. Um, I've already put um, a large jump ring onto a piece of, this is six centimetres chain. You might decide you want it a little bit less than that. You might want to vary them when you're making them up. Super. So we'll just hang her from there and then we'll put some embellishments on. So jump ring here, just that I've opened already, just to save a bit of time. Hang her on there, hang her on the chain. Right, so that's that bit done. Now, in your kit, you'll get three different sizes of crystal beads, and you'll also get your gorgeous um, clay bead, and then you'll get selection of um, your th different sizes of your butterflies as well. So oh, you right. might decide you want, you should have a decent selection. There will be some little ones, but there will be some larger ones as well. Um, because I just think a variety looks nice yeah. and I, they're all different which is quite nice as well so there's a couple here that I've already put little jump rings on just to save a bit of time 
Um, now, it depends on whether you want to. Uh, some people like to measure where they're putting things. I tend to prefer, sorry, I'm just trying to find the hole at the top of this. Um, I, oh, there we are, it's upside down. Mm -hmm. uh, right, I like to just do things randomly. Yeah. I'm just afraid I'm, I like random things, right, so, so these are quite difficult for me to see, so. The nice little ones then, right, not they? Yeah, so we'll pop that on there. Um, do we, we don't get the chain in the kit, Yes, do we, we get the chain do in the kit as well. Do we even get the chain? Yep. Gosh, so it is literally everything. Everything, yeah, the only thing you don't get is the tools. Right, wow. Okay, and then normally you jiggle your jump ring just to make sure that it's closed. Um, like so I need another jump ring to put on. I've already put the little clay bead onto a head pin. You get loads of head pins in your kit. So I might decide I want to pop that a little bit further down, put that on, and then close the jump ring. Now you get mixed colours in your beads. You might decide you want to sort them out and sort of put them in colours. If you wish, that. there's loads of different colours there. Or you might just do random like I've done. Uh, so that's then taking a head pin and putting... I've put three on each, you don't have to do that. You might decide you want to put your own decoration on. Or you might want to put two beads on. It's entirely up to you. You've got that much choice. You've though. got loads of choice, yeah. Or you might decide you want to do, like I say, a colour theme. So I'll cut that off to about a centimetre. And then make a loop in the top. Very simple. Yeah. It's once you've got the the basics as well, it's just a lot of repeating the same it basics, is. yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Which is good. And I, I think, like things like this because yeah. they build up really quite quickly and it, even if you're a beginner, you feel really quite proud of it, don't oh, you? Oh yes, definitely. I mean, this is ideal if, if as you'd need your basic tools, but if you've not done a great deal of, of um, beading or jewellery making this is a nice thing and yeah. a lot of people I find don't want to do jewellery yeah. they want to do something a bit different um, but they don't want to make jewellery because jewellery is yeah. quite specific to yeah. people's tastes whereas these are very general anybody and everybody likes these yeah I agree absolutely and they make lovely gifts as well yeah. okay so that's it's a bit, it is random so I can then decide where else I want to put I think these as well are really good. Again, if you're you're starting out, these are lovely because they do. They kind of teach you principles on building, yep. building up on a chain like that. That randomness because that looks beautiful when you take that and do it for a necklace, doesn't it? Yes, but I'm 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 trying to do random. I think some people do find it very difficult yeah. to do random. Yeah. They much prefer to have a structure and they much prefer to have instructions saying put this here and put this there. Um, I much prefer to be able to look at something and say, I'll stick that there. Because <laughs> yeah. there's no real right or wrong. Yes. No real right or wrong about the order that you put them on the wire either. Because some mm. of these I've done them um, with a smaller bead at the top, and other ones I've done with a smaller bead at the bottom. Yeah. So you can then choose. And like I say, they all look nice together. So if you want they to just do. do a colour selection, I'm sure you can do that as well. Mm. I mean, when I'm looking at the finished samples, they all look so pretty because the colours just, they just go together. You know, yeah. they just look beautiful. So it's just then a case of adding, I'll put that one in that big one. Where shall we put him? We'll put him near the bottom. Oh, the little bottom. Very simple. Um, two thirds of the stock has gone. This is absolutely flying. Remember, you're making ten of these, and so simple. But it's one of those making these. It's just, it is a really nice. A, it's really mindful, but B, it just makes you feel good because they're pretty. Yeah. They look effective. Now, when you give that as a gift, especially as you've got the beautiful bag as well, you've even got the bag to give a gift for. I mean, that's going to cost you two pound thirty to make one of those. I mean, that's ridiculous. And honestly, the, the, it's not just the, the giving or the selling, but yeah, making these, it's, it's quite joyful. And that's it done. See, and very, very simple. That. 
I mean, if you wanted to, you could space them all out and count the numbers of holes in between. Yeah. If you prefer, but I just quite like the randomness. Oh, I love that. And I you might decide you just want to put butterflies on one and all the crystal beads on one of the other ones. Yes. Or just have one that's got the very fancy clay bead, which you might want to keep for yourself. Yeah. So you just put all the ten clay beads on the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you get into the clay bead kit, it's like, it's just clay beads. <laughs> and they're just shining. Um, thank you ever so much, Maggie. That is so, so pretty. Okay, they're absolutely flying. Our lovely little angels. 70% of the stock has gone. This is actually a new kit. And it's got a massive saving on it. You're saving £10. It's huge. Um, and yeah, the, the quality is lovely. The finish is absolutely beautiful. Whether you are using them as a bag charm, whether you are um, hanging them on a Christmas tree or a memory tree or your fairy tree, um, or of course, if you're, if you're going to be using these for a brooch, you know, there's loads of things um, that you're going to be using. They're just really nice presents. They're really lovely gifts. Um, 627 461 is your item number. Now, we've already mentioned those clay beads quite a few times because shiny things, but they are limited stock. That means less than 10% remaining. These are going to sell out if you do want to get hold of these. I mean, they are just exceptional. They are so super shiny. Our cameras will never be able whee, to do these justice because they're so, so super shiny. Um, if you do want to get hold of these now, they are limited stock. That means less than 10% remaining. If you want yours, you do need to check your baskets out. And look how pretty they look on a bracelet, a necklace, anything. It's just the way they hit the light and sparkle. Um, only... £12.79, pence, not limited to one per person. That's 655544, your item number. And you're getting 50 of those. Yeah, imagine loads of them with your, your gorgeous little angel. Oh. Um, now then, if you do want to get hold of them, uh, please check your basket out. First come, first serve. Once it's gone, it's gone. We have no extended delivery on any of these. Um, now, we need to remind you as well, this is super, super limited. The price of this is ridiculous. You've got the ovals. You've got those beautiful silver beads in here in different sizes as well. I mean, if I just bob a few of those out at the front, I mean, this is super limited, so I shouldn't really spend any time on this. You've got the link as well. You've got the little crystal beads. Sorry, I'm putting them out at the front just so you can see a few of those. You've got the crystal beads. Obviously, you've got the, the big link there as well. I mean, you're getting so much for your money. And then... And then you're getting all of these glass, beautiful glass beads. These are oh, sensational. The price of this, eleven ninety nine. You've got so much for your money. And look how beautiful they are. I love it. it's got that 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 frosting on it. That looks so interesting. Oh, these are so super pretty. And um, okay, if you do want to get hold of this kit, that is really limited stock if you want that it is going to be the next few people after that you're going to miss out one eight six one three two too late technically sold out if anybody's back i'll let you know so if you don't check your baskets out i am going to let you know however um technical seller the clay beads as well also technical seller again if anything bounces back we'll let you know but at the moment technical seller on both of those and um, now we've got all the goodies so when you're checking out your basket it's going to say hey would you like some of these now look at your prices here um so um these are amazing as well these are like um lovely little well you could use them and this is what maggie was saying how she loves um you know home decor goodies if you want these they make um a really really lovely um like um window chime you know something like that absolutely sensational if you do want to get hold of those um they are an acrylic in fact i can show you they're an acrylic and you can put your beads on the end have a look, a look. see so they look like look at that how pretty is that do 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 and that lovely so imagine that in your window. Uh, these are your end of, um, your do yeah, end of course. So when you're checking out your baskets, only £7.49 each. And they look super, super pretty. Catches the light beautifully. Um, yeah, check those out while you're checking out your basket. Now, angels, 
also limited stock. This is going to sell out. Um, yeah, check your baskets out, folks. Limited stock, that's less than 10% now to get hold of those if you do want to get hold of those. Um, 67, nope, 627. 461 is your item number uh, for those. And remember, you're getting so much in that kit, even, even the bags to actually give them as a gift. Ridiculous. That is such good value for money. Uh, 627461. Now, um, those beautiful alloys, th again, now these are flying as well. Um, half the stock has gone of these. Remember, um, it is going to be a mixed bag. However, everyone's going to get a big one. But then you've got, I mean, in this one, you've got such a beautiful selection. They really do make a statement. You know, they, they're easy to use, but they look super effective. Then whether you're using these for necklaces, again, maybe you're using them uh, for, you know, for window charms. Maybe you're going to be using these for earrings. Really, really pretty. And you've got such a massive variety as well there. Um, let me just show you that one again. I think that looks so gorgeous. Um, now then, 9.99. That's all you're paying. 105. Um, 999, your item number. Now then, our lovely Maggie. I know we've had to um, ask you to change the demonstration because it's a bit busy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm good at multitasking, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, it's like, oh, okay, we can okay, change. change um, so, what are you going to show us next, Maggie? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the ballerina. Beautiful. Um, I don't know. I don't know how many we've got left, but um, yeah, I'll show you her. We've got okay. a few, I hope. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> good. Um, right. So, I'm going to make her arms and her legs. So, I've got um, a head pin. We'll do the leg first. So, I'm going to put one of the little um, flower beads on followed by a selection, well not a selection, some of these clear beads, Lovely. little acrylic ones. The little flowers are pr really Very pretty. Very pretty, yeah. Also, I think we might be able to get another one on there. I like as well, Maggie, that in the finished samples, um, some of them have got odd shoes. Oh gosh, she's going to have odd shoes, <laughs> definitely, yes. Okay, I like that. so sorry, I didn't say that. So you've got six little beads on there. And I'm just going to make a loop on the top, like so. You could actually, if you wanted to, give her knees. So you could bend them a little bit, but I don't know whether she'll hang properly if you do that. But you could Sorry. always bend her legs if you wanted to a little bit. We're giggling, Maggie, because um, our lovely director, Chris, are about to take a shot, but all our little ballerinas will lie down. It kind of looked like we were looking at polar skirts. Oh, dear. Oh, we're not doing that. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is a family program. It is, definitely. Okay, so um, on the eye pin, which is the one with the loop on the end, we're going to put four of the little acrylic beads, then one of the flower beads, and then there's a little crystal in the middle, and then one of the flower beads, and then another four of the little faceted acrylic beads. She is very similar to uh, some of the other kits that we've done, actually. She's just got a different skirt on this time. So if anybody that's had any of my other kits, Poppy the Fairy or any other ones like that, this is very similar. Okay, so I'm going to cut the eye pin down to a centimetre from the end. And make a loop. Oh, Maggie, I do apologise. I've gone quiet because I'm faffing about with ballerinas. Oh, yes, now. Right. Yes. Okay. One of ballerinas has fallen off. Oh dear. <laughs> right. She's now, had too much mould. She's wine, had Maggie. too much something rather. Right. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to bend these wings round. Bend sorry, wings. Right. Bend these arms round so that they form a sort of a, a natural. Circle's not really the right word, but it's just so that they hang over her body. Yeah. Okay. A bit like that. Okay, there's some that I prepared earlier, but I thought I'd better make some more so I can show you. Oh, uh, right. Oh, I need a knife in now because I've got to <laughs> use them all. Uh, have I got one in there? Do you need me to pass you anything? Um, hang on a minute, I'll just make a knife pin. I don't know where I've put the other one. I'll make a loop on the end of that. Making it up as I'm going along here. Right. Okay, so the legs are then going to go on the eye pin. Okay, okay. So I open the eye pin up and just drop the legs on. Uh, one. 
tightened. Marvellous. Two. And then I close that loop back up again. Okay, then I'm going to stab this just through the centre of the little flower bead. You might just need to manipulate it slightly, like oh, so. Lovely. Right, then we have... Oh yeah, because then you've got your the lovely little drop crystal and that's, yeah. that makes a lovely bodice. And then we thread the loops of the eye pin through there. And we'll put a, bit, a cap on to stop things moving around. Oh yeah. Oops. Then her head. <laughs> the little cap looks fabulous. It looks like she's got a really nice posh collar on her dress, doesn't yeah. it? And then the crown. And then she should have a crystal on the top, but I don't know what I've done with it. So we'll just stick that on instead. If you don't put a crystal on, it look the crown will fall on one side. Oh, she looks oh, again. Actually. She looks like she's had too much sherry. Yeah, she does look like she's had too much sherry. <laughs> Let me just see if I can find one. You will have them in your kit. Yes, you've got loads of crystals. Shall yeah. I do? Oh, you've got one. Of course you have, Maggie. Okay. Like that. Amazing. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It does look like a little bun. It looks posh. And then we need to make a little loop on the top. And you've got a little lobster claw just to finish that off. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I love that. Oh my god. And it's so again, it's so quick to put together. Yeah. They're absolutely gorgeous. And they look really, really pretty. They're really substantial pieces as well, aren't they? Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's a big piece. Um, right, thank you, lovely Maggie. Now, these have been busy as well. 60% of the stock has gone. So, I mean, when you look at these, they could easily... I mean, yeah, on your tree... I know I keep babbling on about Christmas trees, but let's face it, everyone's got a Christmas tree up at the minute. Um, so, they look gorgeous on your Christmas tree, but they are the kind of thing that make beautiful little bag charms. They're lovely for a little girl's room. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful for a little girl's room. And again, they make such exquisite um, gifts. And they're just so pretty. You know, you could... I mean, they've got the, the lobster clasp on there. You could, if you wanted to, like with the angels, you know, if you wanted to to actually uh, combine these and make, you know, make a beautiful sort of embellishment for them to, to drop as well, you could definitely do that. Or, of course, something like this. You know, if you are getting your end of call, like, they'd look really pretty, you know, and added to one of them so they're actually uh, part of a home decor kit and now if you do want to get hold of these you've got a lovely collection of colors you've got tons of all your beads and um, obviously the beautiful little floral shoes which are exquisite and for nine pounds and 99 pence that is such a good price you're making five of them and um, 881 818 is your item number and um, the border blue one you can just see a dress <laughs> Poor blue one. She was like, oh, I can't do it. Look, she's... <laughs> Sorry. Poor little... She's had a bad time. Um, okay, next, um, the wonderful wires. Now, the memory wires. Now, half the stock has gone here. Really, really handy to have in your stash, quite frankly, because you get your necklaces, for starters. Remember, the way on Maggie does her necklaces, she does it so you have a little bit extra over the top there, which does look really effective. Um, so you get your necklaces, you get your bracelets, and these look beautiful. When um, You know when you've got a few sort of coils on there? decorated because they do look so so beautiful when they're um actually worn they look absolutely exquisite and i love the way maggie has used the the ring one obviously you can make rings but to make home decor how gorgeous does that look and again maybe maybe it's one of your your little ballerinas that you're popping on the bottom of that. How gorgeous is that? I really like that. And again, so achievable. Now, if you do want to get hold of this, such a good price. £9.99. £9 that has been really, really busy. 670 787 
is your item number for that one. Now, that gorgeous ribbon kit, this is another one. that It looks amazing when they're done, but the fact that you've got everything done for you. So you've got the, the jewellery cord there, you've got the actual ribbon, you've got the findings. It's already there. You know, so you're not having to attach a clasp or buy these. And again, brilliant beginner's kit. Um, you've then got the bail. Now, the bail, it's really pretty. It's really decorative. So you can see that gorgeous bail. But then you've got the loop on the bottom. So loop on the bottom is how you're going to attach your beautiful bead or your decoration. So it might be that you're attaching a beautiful... I mean, look how pretty that looks. That is so easy. You're threading the bail on and then attaching the bead because the ribbon is already done for you. And it just looks so beautiful on. Um, it might be someone um, who wants a bit of a change, you know, or who wants something that really stands out. The ribbon really stands out when you're wearing it. And you've got some gorgeous colours there as well. Uh, very effective indeed. See, they all look fabulous. Now, you've got ten of the coloured ones and then five of the black ones, 15 of these for only 12 pounds and 59 pence. You're literally just adding your embellishment onto the bills. That is it. Um, 402091, your item number. Now the aluminium flowers, these are really lightweight. You've got different sizes, but the colors, um, the colors are so beautiful and vivid and vibrant. Um, and obviously they feel really good. When you do that, they sound really pretty. Um, it's one of those things, multi-sensory. Um, now you've got your different sizes. So look Look, look, you've got your proper little wee ones in there. Look, then mummy bear, and then you've got daddy bear. So you've got your different sizes in your beautiful florals and the colours. Yeah, it's all about the colour for me with these. But again, because they are really, really lightweight, if you are using them for jewellery pieces, they make real impact but they're not going to be too heavy to wear. You're not really going to feel that, you know, that big embellishment. Um, so, yeah, they make an impact without making an impact on the, the weight. Um, only 9 99 and you've got over, well, approximately 380 pieces in there. Um, 661-854 is your item number. Now then... All of the ballerinas, they're now limited stock. If you do want your ballerinas, um, that's less than 10% remaining. 881-818, your item number. Um, I'm just going to remind you as well of the beautiful, beautiful angels. These are super limited now. Do not miss out on that price. Um, I have quite a lot of favourites in this hour, but the angels are absolutely a favourite, favourite. Uh, 627 Four six one, your item number. Right, how much time have we got? About just under ten minutes, Maggie. What do you want to share with us next? Well, I just thought I'd just make something simple with this memory wire. Um, just show you a couple of ways to use it because it is so so simple. So I've just nicked a few of these gorgeous beads from the oval link set things. That's all gone. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Um, and I've just literally I've made a loop in the end and I've hung a little heart, and I'm just going to string some beads on. Because yeah. that's just how simple it would be if I could find and the memory gold wire. wire because of the the form of it because obviously it's a hard wire. Yeah. Um, it makes it really easy to to string beads on, doesn't it's it? Just so easy, and it doesn't matter how big your wrist is, yeah. it will fit. Yes. Um, I've got three rings here, so this will fit anybody and everybody basically. Yeah. And there's just so many things you can do with it. Um, and I mean, they look, um, it's a shame that kit sold out. They're beautiful. Yeah. But, but literally any beads are going to look good on there. That looks so good though, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's quite satisfying doing this as well, because it's yeah. just simple. Sometimes, you know, beading patterns can be complicated and they're quite taxing. Yes. You know, whereas here you can just sit and watch the telly and, yeah. and do this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just I, I just quite like sometimes just to grab a bag of beads, yeah, and just sit there. And of course, if it's so simple to make that you can make yourself several different colourways of yeah. something. Um, now the only thing I would say about it is memory wire m remembers, so it tends to be a bit hard. So sometimes if you're doing a lot of work with memory wire, you might decide you want. Uh, to use your husband's pliers or some stronger pliers, you can actually buy 
proper memory wire cutters and pliers. Right. Um, so if you're going to do a lot, try doing it with a cheap set that you've got or see if you can borrow some from your husband or yeah. you could you could actually go out and buy fancy wire cutters yeah. to do it with if so you want to. buy some stronger. Yeah. Because it's tough stuff. Because it, it can be tough stuff. So that's, that's all I've done. One. Just very, very simple. Yeah. Um, simple and I've, I've also effective. got here, I'll just show you also. Um, when you get the ring, um, you can see here, all I've done is just pulled it out. Yeah. And then it sort of stays yeah. in shape like that. And obviously the more you fiddle with it, the more it will stay in shape. So yeah. what I've done here. Now, if you do that, if you pull it out like that, then you aren't going to be making rings with it because it, it no. remembers so it stays out, doesn't it? Yes, Not it, it will do. I mean, obviously, it, to a certain extent, it will it will go back, but um, that's obviously not what I want to do with it in yeah. this instance. So, and I've used one of the little roses, so I've threaded it on the wire with a seed bead, and then I just go back through the hole, pull the wire out, and that's now in place. Amazing. So How I easy. can then, I mean, they look quite nice on here. Obviously, I like my bling, so I always put little crystals on when I make these. <laughs> up, but there's no reason why I crystals can't. and roses. Crystals and roses. It's a lovely combo. Yeah. Oh, they look lovely on there. So yeah, and that's just dead simple as well. And very, you're literally just wrapping your wire round yeah. it, and that looks really effective as well, does the wire wrap round it, doesn't it? That yep. in itself looks really pretty. And that will also help it keep its shape as well, but the main thing to keep this in shape is this long, is the big gem at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it will shrink back, but you can, if you keep pulling it, it will, uh, it will stretch and keep in the shape that you want it to. Yeah, I love that. And obviously with that one, um, just as easy to, to snip a bit off and make it into a ring. And the thing is with that, if you are making rings again, it's going to fit different fingers. You don't have to worry about, about sizing it particularly, do you? No. And with the necklace, um, like I said, as long as it sort of goes round your neck and you've got some sort of down the sides mm. it will stay in place as long as the beads aren't too heavy the other way you can do it is to have it so that the wire is round your neck so you've got the ends round the front and then you can hang beads from ah. it and that will actually keep it on Ooh. so you can make like tassels round the front of what it what a nice idea well. so basically have it that way yeah but then have tassels, tassels. so where the the loop is at the front you have something hanging off that yeah well, that'd be nice yeah and then the weight of it will keep it on oh i've never thought to do using it that way how beautiful. I it's would probably spill my dinner down tassels, so I'm probably <laughs> not a very good idea. Yeah, for I'd me. dip them in. Yes. I'm not going to lie. It, it <laughs> is yeah, it's lethal. Yeah. kind of thing that gets dipped in everything. I've got yeah. a top with tassels on it, and yeah, me and tassels, yeah. not a great idea. Or else I'll shut the car door and realise my tassels still outside the oh car. Oh Stuff dear. like that. Oh, dear. And don't even think about going to the toilet with your tassels. Oof. Oof, no bad times and um, the flowers I, I really like them on there it looks super super pretty really lovely if you do want the flowers remember um, you're getting approximately 380 you've got your different sizes so you've got the bigger one you've got the middle one and you've got the baby ones um, Six seven zero seven eight seven. Okay, ballerina. Quick, um, a quick mention of those because they've now sold out as well. We have had so many sites. Have you got another show today, Maggie? No, love. Sorry, no. Well, it's a good job actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, you haven't got another show with our maggots, so you do need to check your baskets out because this is it, and those prices are phenomenal. Do not miss out on these prices. We have had so many sellouts. Um, I, I just think the whole counter is absolutely beautiful, but those big safe prices that you can get today are unbeatable. Uh, 670787 if you do want to go for this wonderful memory wire pack. Um, how's it looking, our lovely Maggie? Well, I just, I'll just carry on doing that. Um, how long have we got? Should, do you how long to... have we got? Two minutes. Oh dear, I was going to say I'll I could show you briefly how to do the bracelet, but I don't know whether I'm going to have time. Let me just see whether I can... Well, you get yourself together. I will just give a quick mention of those beautiful angels before we run out of time. These are now very limited. Um, 
For starters, they're beautiful to make. I mean, they come together really easily. They're that kind of thing that you can just have a nice, quiet moment, sit down, just put the colours together. Every part of making these is lovely. It's mindful. And it's one of those because you've got so many beautiful beads. Um, you can create so many different colours. But then, giving those as a gift, you've even got the organza bag. How pretty is that? I always selling them, of course, but yeah, that is just a stunning kit. Do not miss out on this. You are only paying £2.30 for one of these. Um, 627461. I don't know if we're going to have time, Maggie. We've okay. got about a minute. Um, right, well, it was only just to sort of say that the bracelet um, is basically a string of beads with your clasp on with a seed bead in between for your first row yeah. um, and I can just very quickly show you how you then build up the rows. I've done three rows on that one. You can actually do more. You won't necessarily have the beads in that kit to do more. 45 but, seconds. Um, how many? 45 seconds. Okay. okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so anyway, so i just um, just very quickly just show you then that you would then put um, one of the beads on, a little seed bead, a little crystal and a seed bead. 30 seconds. And then that, and then you just literally miss one of the beads and go through the next one. So you create these little triangles. And that's the, that's the second row. And then the third row, you just basically go through the middle beads. You, you get a pattern for the bracelets, but I'm also including a pattern for the necklaces Thank this time. Thank you, Maggie. Well done. Yeah, that were the quickest demo <laughs> ever. Uh, Maggie, thank you ever so much. Have a lovely new year. Yes, it's I hope you do. And happy so new nice. year to everybody. Uh, thank you, Maggie. Check your baskets out. And anyone who's got anything left from that hour, because it was so busy. Uh, next, we've got Glitter Greetings. It's your big safe. Then the wonderful Quilter's Trading Post. And then it's our Zero One Day special. Stay tuned. Did you know you can watch the Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Craft Store app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Craft Store app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, Follow the on-screen instructions to connect it to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do this, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select the apps from the menu that appears. Scroll to the Craft Store app and then press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Emma. I work with Cricut to help you get the best out of your machines. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. You can customise and personalise your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics. The possibilities are endless. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricut. So make sure you don't miss the cricket shows. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away.
A very good morning. Always need to check. Yes, it's still morning. I've been up since four o'clock today. It's almost afternoon for me, but it is great to have your company. It really is. And we've got lots of different shows for you lined up today, all about crafting, all about doing something in your spare time, or maybe doing something to make and create presents, or even making, creating, and selling. Lots of people doing that now with their skilled crafting with kits that they buy from us here at the craft store. But of course, alongside all of those wonderful kits that we have, we have wonderful guests as well. And we've got Julie with us this morning. Good morning. 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 How are you? <laughs> yeah, good, thank you. Did you have a nice Christmas, yes, Julie? Yes, thank you. Yourself? Yes, yes, I did. Nice and peaceful. Nice. Which means I was totally on my own. But I'm not going to, we, we, we won't go into that. <laughs> I, was with, I was with Jane. It was, it was just quiet. It was just a quiet Christmas. Um, but it is lovely to have your company. Um, my, we have got some lovely samples around us today, haven't we, Julie? What have we got to look forward to in the show? So, yeah, we'll be um, doing the, can I just show them that we're doing the poppy um, on the uh, glass bottle today. Ooh. So, just showing you the basics and the simplicity of how you, you can use the acetates. Yeah onto glass but yes. of course you can put them onto other um can you put them onto mdf yeah mdf paper? we've got ceramics paper wow. you're showing the samples of the cards so, so we can put them onto all kinds of different services to make projects yeah um my goodness we have got all kinds of different designs for you as well you can tell by all of these wonderful designs that we've got around us some of these bottles as well um have lights in which is a great idea to dress up your table for example uh or also just have like a little night light now we are in the midst of our big save uh, event so if your basket comes to 30 pounds or more you can use your five pound credit. 26.99, you've got a three pound saving already for your kit that we've got available right here. But if there's another kit you want to add to your basket, taking it over 30 pounds, that's when you can use your five pound credit. So, Julie, let's talk about what we're getting in the kit. So yes. first of all, you've got your images here, yep. which are on acetate. How do we take these from the acetate onto our project? You just simply cut them out. Ah. I'm not even fussy cutting. I can again show that throughout the demonstrations, but just to use my big scissors just for the simplicity of just cut them out with big scissors. Wow, how easy is that going to be? And the images themselves, you can see here with the snowdrops, you've got the main images, but you've also got the additional ones as well. So you can really start to build up the elements, can't you? Yeah, you can decoupage them as well. Yeah, beautiful. Now, if you do want the acetate individually, maybe you've got some ideas, maybe you've already got uh, some mediums to use with them, you can do. And the details for those are at the bottom of your screen, £14.99. pence. You get 12 designs, beautiful floral designs in this kit, Three, two. 23304 is your item number but it's not just the acetate that you're getting in the kit you're also getting your glue your anti-static bag and you've got your glitter as well why do you need an anti-static bag oh I'm gonna it's easier to show actually than yes. say when I come to the demo again that will all become cl clear because yeah. it would be obvious why you need your anti-static oh, bag. Oh, lovely. Um, now, it does come with some instructions as well. So when you get these home, you can have a read of that. You can have a peruse and also you can watch the shows again. Let me show you a couple of samples that I've got here that are already coloured in with glitter because it changes them completely. You can see you've got your acetate here, but then the flowers themselves really brought to life. Am I right in thinking the glitter and the paint go on the reverse of the acetate they or do. on top? Yes, yeah. yes. See, I remember. You did, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, look at those lilies. Aren't they spectacular? That's the fantastic. On the, on the vase, you said earlier, what do you put them on? It's not necessarily bottles, but a nice sample there is on the vase as well. Yeah, I'll grab that in a moment to show you. Aren't these stunning and brought to life yeah. with the glitter, with the colours? You've got poppies. You've got roses in this collection. You've got the beautiful style of a, I think that, that almost, I think that's a poppy as well with a rose. Um, because you can get lots of different style that's poppies. True, yeah. I'm kind of thinking that because of the mm. inner part mm. there. Uh, tulips as well, which are gorgeous, one of my favourite flowers. You've yeah, got your daffodils. <laughs> Aren't daffodils lovely? No, tulips yeah. is my sis, tulips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, So you've got 12 designs six glitters, your glue and your anti-static bag. Just hold the line cooler because I'm going to pick up that lovely sample. Here we go. Now if you like the beads that we've got around the top and the bottom, uh, we've also got some of those coming up as well. Doesn't that look professional? You, you won't be able to tell that that's acetate on there. 
No. Amazing. It's because the transparency, and it, again, it's, it's, the, it's because the transparency of the acetate along with the micro fine glitters yeah that you one you're seeing the lights come through when you're putting them on the bottle yeah but again giving that nice translucent effect on the candle as well so that's the key for the actual translucency of the yeah they're st absolutely stunning absolutely stunning. so that's beautiful I've got another vase here with the flowers on that have got the tulips on there I mean that is stunning isn't it you put some Even flowers in there on there as well crocuses <laughs> that's the one Tulips and crocuses. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, stunning, beautiful. Uh, 26 323 is your item number. Right, let me pop that back at the back there. Uh, we've got some Christmas favourites for you now, uh, which is quite difficult for me to say. Christmas <laughs> fra fra Christmas favourites for... Favourites. That's what I said. Favourites. Um, now, with your Christmas favourites, um, Christmas with crafters, lots of crafters start preparing for next year at the start of the year, don't they, Julie? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, while she's still in the Christmas spirit, of course. Yeah. Um, oh, lovely designs here. Some great little samples. Let me just turn that for you. Uh, look at your snow family on there with some glitter glaze and then you've got your lights on. Um, what a wonderful design that is for the centre of the table. Mm. Yeah, I love that. Right, let me show you uh, your different designs that you've got in here. You've got 12 different sheets. If you want to go for them separately, the details are at the bottom of the screen, but they are so super cute. Let's start with this one. You've got your little teddy bears, your little polar bear family. Aren't they lovely? They're absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't have to be Christmas. They could be for another occasion. Look at the detail you've got in here with your post boxes and your doorways with the reefs on, which are gorgeous. Are you ready for the next one? This is cuteness overload, everybody. Mm. You ready, Julie? Yes. And cuteness overload. Yeah, cute. yeah let's pop that the right way round so you can see that. I mean, they're, they're Things like even an anniversary, sort of around Christmas time for a wedding anniversary, we'll get the couples together, that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, that would be so lovely. And because we've got Valentine's Day, not yeah. far away, two, well, it's about two months, isn't it? Or thereabouts, somewhere in the region. Of that. It's not a leap year next year, is it? Is it? Sure, I wouldn't know. No. Is it a leap year next year? It's every four years a leap year. So what are we on? 2022. I think it might be a leap year. Yeah? Which, of course, on Valentine's Day means tradition... Oh, no, it's OK. It's the 24th. We're all right. I was going to say, <laughs> traditionally, on Valentine's Day, the lady proposes. Oh, <laughs> thank goodness for that. Of course, because it's me and Jane, it's double trouble, isn't it? But we're all right. We've got another two years to get away with that one. <laughs> I've got plenty of time. Uh, right, we have got your snow people there. I mean, so cute. They really, really are. And you also have the very traditional Christmas. Let me turn this around and show you. You've got your lovely baubles, which really do add themselves to colour. You've also got some po uh, poinsettias in there as well. Let me show you them coloured up. Look how gorgeous they look. Isn't that stunning? Absolutely beautiful. Um, and you could, I guess, Julie, cut these out and put them in the window of your homes. Yeah. Yeah. Which are a lovely idea. You've got your Christmas trees. Now you could make your Christmas tree decorations out of those. Uh, you've got your traditional Christmas trees there, which are lovely. And you've also got some holly and your mistletoe. Let's hope next year we'll be kissing under the mistletoe. Not me and you. <laughs> I mean, it might be me and you. You never know. We might meet some sunny day somewhere and decide to kiss under mistletoe next year. Just don't tell Jane. <laughs> we won't get into trouble. Uh, right, that's your uh, Christmas favourites. You can see by the uh, lovely decorations around the outside of the bottles just how cool they look. You get your glue, you get your anti-static bag, all of that will become clear, but you do get your instructions included the right way around with your kits. 26.99258110 is your item number. Right, you've got your favourites next. Um, now, are these your favourites, Julie? Yes. Oh, they? Well, why, why well do you... I have to say, again, yes, but there's certain ones in there, it goes by what the customers, to be honest, what the customers have chosen yes. as their favourites. Yeah. Well, we've got some gorgeous images here. I mean, first of all, you've got your mermaid, which is absolutely mermazing, mm. um, which, again, beautiful designs, and you've got the anchor. 
You've also got lovely, elegant lady as well. Could we make cards out of these? Could oh, we just yeah. use the acetate in a card situation? Oh, yeah. You've got all your sample cards to show as well. Yeah, I'll show you some of those. Um, these are absolutely stunning and absolutely beautiful. Let me grab another one. We've got the owl here. Uh, and this is interesting because you've got the wings only and then you've got the owls as well. So would we use the wings separately? Could Again, we layer them you, up? You, yeah, to decoupage that. They look stunning when you're applying them and doing it as a decoupage. As well. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that lovely? And it's that glitter as well, that fine yeah, glitter. Yeah, that catches that, yeah. That makes all the difference. Absolutely stunning. Uh, a beautiful collection. Uh, you've got your poppies there. And um, remember, if you want the acetate individually, we do have that available for you. So in this particular collection, you've also got, let me just pop that down there, you've also got some shoes. Rather snazzy, aren't they? <laughs> like those. Uh, you've got poppies, which are always popular uh, any time of year. Uh, you've got some are the daffodils in the yep. favourites. The daffodils are with the favourites because they are a favourite. You've got your lovely other flowers, which oh, this is the floral favourites. Floral favourites. Is it or not? Carry on. I think. Oh no, that's oh, no, 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 that's all your favourite. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh, look at the pussy cat. Again, you can see they are gorgeous. Look why at the they're so popular. Yeah, you certainly can. Uh, what else have we got in your favourites? Are you ready? Unicorns. Of course. Very nice. <laughs> Magical and mythical in there as well. And then we're back to the ladies. Yeah. That glitter on the dresses, absolutely superb, aren't they? incredible um, if you do want to get a hold of this particular set 26 99 you can go and have a look on the website at all the different sets that we've got available for you uh, but it does look absolutely incredible now the next one we've got is your cuties yeah love these um, some beautiful designs with your acetate and with your cuties you are getting a lot starting let me show you that one with the birds that's that's got to be my favorite that one just there at the beginning when you saw was the lovely dolphin and the, the mermaid but you've got the lovely um, owls here isn't that gorgeous love those and lots of images on these mm. yeah. plenty to choose from let me show you some of those images coloured in so you've got your helicopter catering there for because there's obviously we're talking about adults and children yeah so you know sort of the boys sort of age five on them will do the glittering hence why they like doing things like helicopters but yeah. creatures octopuses all favorites for them oh look at the birds aren't they stunning look at that little robin redbreast there oh absolutely funny a funny <laughs> yeah. i didn't mean absolutely funny i mean absolutely fabulous absolutely funny oh i don't know where my words are going um yeah. and then you've got your little mermaid and the beautiful alpaca or llamas llamas yeah you've got your llamas there don't be alarmed um you've got your lovely fairy ladies you've got your furry ladies there as well because you've got your pandas which are beautiful and you've got your toadstools what a lovely collection oh look at the ladybird mm. Oh, these are marvellous. They really are. 2699-640-370 is your item number. The full kit includes your antistatic bag, the glue and the glitters. And don't forget, you get the full instructions as well. If you want the acetate on its own, maybe you want to add some more, you're more than welcome to. 14.99. In fact, if you go for the whole set and then add some more acetate to one of your favourites, that will take you over the £30 so you can redeem your £5 if you want to. Right, let's head to the website. This is where you can see everything available to you, including those lovely fla uh, fine glitters. And if you want to get hold of those, you can also pop those into your basket as additional extras. Um, now, we've also got some bling for you on the show. This is fabulous. You saw this going around um, the top of the jar, um, and that looks great. You get, is it a metre? A metre mm. each of those yeah. fabulous colours. And you can cut those down and you can manipulate them. You get 12 strips in total. Um, but if you're, you know, you're putting your acetate onto MDF, you're putting it onto cardstock, so many different ways that you can use Use that so you might want to go and have a look at all the additional extras that we've got available for you on the show uh, right by the way if you've made anything created it with any of these kits before please email in send your pictures it's studio at craftstore.com right Julie what we're gonna have a look at first yeah cool so let's decorate so an example of this like the square bottle 
Um, so that, that would be our finished product with the poppy acetate. We're going to use the peel offs, then the bling, and the micro glitter. Okay. So, as we've got quite probably a few of these left from Christmas. Probably. And New Year's coming, so might have a few more. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That is true. We're allowed to celebrate New Year as well. Exactly. So, therefore, we can decorate with the acetates. Now, when you get your sheet of acetate, as you appreciate what Janice was saying earlier, the um, fact that you get more than one design on a sheet, you could do all the glittering on the whole sheet first of all, or just choose one particular one, or cut it out, and if a few of your friends are doing it in groups, cut them out. Okay. Uh, most frequently asked question is uh, which side do you do it on? In this case, it doesn't matter. And I've just glittered some just to show you exactly that because I'm going to show you how to glue and glitter. So this is, becomes the gorgeous but messy side. Yeah. The glue, and that's why I particularly recommend this glue that comes in the kit, because it dries crystal clear. Hence, when it's fully dry, you turn it over and all the colours come through along with, then you can see the design. Isn't that stunning? So if we can use that side, or if I chose to do the other side yes hence turn it over there you've got the choice of which way you want it to face wow that glitter it's almost like um painted on isn't it yeah and again I'm, this is why i've chosen to put it onto bottles other surface because you've got that flexibility yeah and the way it's just good it's the acrylic's just going to bend so that will help you decide which side again another example of that is with the lady that comes again with the favourites, glittered on one side, blue and glittered, crystal dry too. So she's going to face this way. Okay. If I do it that way, she's going to face that way. So mm. you can see you've got that choice. Yes, yeah, that's good. Again, the rabbits, glued and glittered. And again, oh. that looks quite nice because I think you get quite a few on that sheet one. So you could actually have them facing. Again, we're talking about romance and different like Valentine's. So you could have the rabbits and things like that when you want an actual thing to face each other. Are the rabbits in the favourites? Uh, in the cuties. In the cuties. The rabbits are in the cuties. We'll bring up the details for that. Sure. Um, because those rabbits look amazing, yeah. as do these beautiful penguins. So again, another example, glue and glitter. And that's what I'm going to come on to next, showing you the simplicity of how to glue and glitter. So my penguin would then face that way. Or if I do it on the other side, hit that way. And then, because look, you can have it a nice and joining little hands as well. Oh, cute. <laughs> now those rabbits are amazing because yeah. it's not just the outline of the rabbit that you're getting on the acetate. Uh, you're also getting, it's almost like a newspaper print if that makes mm. sense to you. You're getting the detail of the fur on the rabbits and then adding the glitter just brings them to life. Um, I'm just, I'm, th I'm thinking Easter. Uh, I think in a, anything like uh, vintage style as well because you've already got the print on there. If I turn that around, you can possibly, there you go, you can see that. So that has nothing on it at the moment, just plain, which looks brilliant. Or you can add some of the glitter just to bling it up. Love these rabbits. Mm. Aren't they mm. lovely? Mm. And little kids like the rabbits as well. So, yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, that's from your cuties. You can see a selection of the acetate and the cuties that you've got there. Uh, so you've got the llamas, the birds, the octopus. You've got your bunny rabbits. Um, you've got well, you can see from that picture you've got you've got a whole variety. They've all mm. they've all come together in that picture. <laughs> yeah. um, but you do have the separate sheets. We're just trying to show you as much as we can. Um, Six four zero three seven zero. Lovely. So we're going to glue and glitter. So it's going to be the combination of the green and the red and yes they will look on the messy side we we'll turn it over as we say and then it'll all come gorgeous and then we'll cut it out so we're starting with our three on the sheet we was asking earlier why do we need an anti-static pad yes so we're gonna I might as well wipe the whole sheet first of all then we won't forget one even though I might not be doing that one yeah. it's job done and I don't have so to what does the anti-static um, pad do. Yeah, Why so that's going to, again, once I put the glue on, I'll do a little bit and we'll just see that. I'll start off with a little bit just to show you that bit. So that's going to be my green. Again, with this glue, apart from the advantage that it's going to dry crystal clear, it's got that really nice fine nozzle so you can see where I can go on to intricate bits as well. Perfect. And I wiped it with the anti static pad and this will become reason why. 
if I didn't, all the glitter wants to stick to the acetate. Ah, and yeah, then that would mean would. then I, I've got to mess about trying to flick it off or get it off with a brush. If I use the anti-static pad, you're going to see now that all the glitter will now come away and only stick onto the glue areas, allowing me to do the next colour straight away. Got you. So that will go. And then that will look just look, fall off. Brilliant. That wouldn't happen if I hadn't used the anti-static pad. Because the static would make it cling. Got you. Makes sense. So, oh, look at completely. that. Completely. So allowing me now to go on to my next colour. Because it's on the back, I'm going all over the black lines, in this case of the poppy, because I don't want any other colour there. Okay. So I'm going to fully co colour everything that I want in red. So I can go from green or do all my reds, do all my greens or... Just, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter which way around, just like any colouring, you're going to go, you know, you're just going and to go from one to colour to the with other. With that precision tip, we're putting yeah. it on, we're going around. Do we need a lot of glue, no. would you say? Just I've, if anything, people tend to oversize or to put too much glue. This yeah. is showing you here, and so that's why I put actually even my dark piece of paper down as well to show, whoops, on the white. Ah, yeah. How very, I think that's very little amount of glue. Yeah. Too much, and it just, it could, you could, the consequences, it would dribble, or um, it Run would take down, forever it, to yeah. dry. And you don't need that much amount of glue. So you've got th this glue, then it's going to go a long, long, long way. way. Yeah. So once again, so even though I've got the green and I've only just done it, it doesn't matter if I do the red straight away. Even though the red... Yeah. Emphasise oh. the fact that it's gone over. I wouldn't need to go over, but yeah, I was going to say you've gone over the green. Doesn't though. matter because the green got there first, <sighs> and it's on the back. Hey, yeah, of course. There only is one stipulation with that, and I always put, and it's, that's why it's on the instructions, just for you to refresh yourself when you get your kit. Yeah, is to the uh, lightest colour last. So if I was to use white, yeah, as in the unicorns case, I'm going to. Use the white last, right? Because I want that right white white. If yeah. it was on the flowers and I used the white, didn't it wouldn't matter if I wanted a nice blend in another colour showing through. Got you. But in that case, I leave the white last, so you don't contaminate the white and it stays white. Yeah, that's lovely. So that's just the simplicity of the gluing and the glittering. And in the kits, you get. Do you get the set? You get different coloured glitters depending on the set yes. that you're going for, and so, all of yes. the glitter works really well with the particular kit that you're getting. But we do have some glitters available for you if you want to go for extra glitter. And it's a really nice fine glitter, isn't it? It is, and I can actually show you. You get eight to ten grams on that, and very quickly, I'll just because I know we you'll actually get just it goes a long, long way. Yeah. So you're actually going to get that amount all in one sachet. Okay, glistening. So wow. when you've got the 24 bags of glitter, is great for the set, or just your six bags in the kit. Don't think it's going to go a long, 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 long way. That certainly that is. Amount. And you can see if we just keep it there. Yep. Um, you can see just how fine that yeah. glitter is as it comes down onto the black card, uh, which means you know, you don't need a lot to you're get done. that effect. Wow. You really, really don't. Um, 24 bags of glitter. It's assorted colours. Um, I've got them here. Um, oh, wow. You've got some lovely coral, peach, pink, purple, gold, rose gold, copper, green, uh, turquoise, blue, black in there as well. Got some great glitters. Uh, and remember, there's a lot in each of those bags, which is going to go a long way because they're very, very fine. Love those. 24 bags, 19.99. But of course, if you're adding this to your basket and your basket goes over 30 pounds, these will only be 15, won't they? Because you can use that five pound credit if you've got that to use. I hope that makes sense to everyone at home. Everyone's got a five pound credit to spend every day up until the 31st of December as part of the big save. And uh, it is payment on purchases of £30 or more. And that can be a selection of purchases. T's and C's, that's tea and cake, on the website to go and have a look at. We're getting busy for the cuties. Oh. Mm. We're approaching 20% mm. got. Uh, do you know what? I think it was that little bunny rabbit. Yeah, the it, 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 it. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> and those penguins. If you do want to go for the cuties, because we're busy on that one, we'll bring the details up for you. Um, there you go. So you've got your octopus. 
in there. You've got your uh, ladybirds, you've got your unicorns, you've got your pandas, you've got your helicopters. Listen, helicopters are still cute to me. I love yes. helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got those brilliant birds. Love those. Now, if you want some more, if you love those designs, you're thinking, I'm really going to use those, why don't you go for some acetate? You've already got the glitter. That glitter's going to see you far beyond all of those sheets, don't you think, Julie? Yeah, yeah. So you might want to get some extra acetate. You can do, and uh, that's just £14.99 if you want to add those. That's at the mm. bottom of your screen. Just to show you how fine and beautiful that glitter is. Have you used it on the top of the bottle here? Yeah, and what wow. I've done there is jumping the gun for what I was going to do, but that's all good. All we've done there is literally directly with your glue from the nozzle on the pot, you can just spread with your finger, make it nice and smooth, and that is all I'm doing with the bottles, to so take it over. Hence, I'm not using the antithetic pad this time because I'm just going to put the one colour and then I can give it a really shake. I'm not worried about using another colour. Yeah. Would we use the antistatic pad on all kinds of different surfaces like glass, oh. like um, MDF and things like that? Yeah. Yeah. But I tend to don't need to because I'm not using more than one colour. It's sort of on there and stuff. But so once that's dried, I'm just going to wipe that off anyway so it's not necessarily but that's the simplicity of just using it with your fingers to put the glue on wow look at that on that uh, beautiful um lily of snowdrops the snowdrops <laughs> yes what i've done there is just use the white glitter yeah i've just let the uh, glue just drizzle down Ooh. and then applied the glitter on top yeah that's I like effective that. that's good you got and some again, of the I've done blue that with snowman but um, yeah but just let it drizzle Put on your glitter. Wow, that is gorgeous. And then you've got a little tag there uh, used with the acetate. Uh, the lights are very, the tiny little blue lights in there. Uh, do you know what? We're going to take the lights down because I've got a, a few. There's no one on ladders. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> now look at that. Just just the gentle little blue lights. That just, just amazing. And then if you have a look at the whole of the set that we've got here just at the side of me, we've illuminated most, if not all, of those bottles. How gorgeous is that? I mean, it's just, instead of throwing away that bottle, you've got a bottle now that you can decorate with the glitter, with your acetate, the acetate see-through, and then you've got something quite spectacular, not just on the inside. How about summer nights? Yeah. Sitting outside. That's exactly that, yeah. You've got one of these bottles on the table. Yep. Um, you've got another bottle on the go, ready to do a project <laughs> <laughs> the following day. Drink responsibly. Um... <laughs> It could, to, it could be to you, Kim. That's my sister. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it could be non-alcoholic. I'm into a. Uh, of course, I, it can be. It, it can. I no, I drink a lot of that. It's called. It's called water. Um, <laughs> but these are absolutely spectacular. I love these, and you too can make these. And it's just that wonderful addition when you when you're sitting outside in the summer, when you're sitting inside in the winter, and you think, I wish I just had something just to make me feel a little bit better. I'm not talking about what was inside the bottle. I'm talking about that lovely, beautiful decoration. Or a night light, you know, maybe for a little one's bedroom. Doesn't like the mm. lights going mm. out. You've got a lovely little uh, light here. I mean, that is so And for magical. the inexpense of it as well, because really you're looking yeah. at less than two pounds to decorate a bottle. Yeah, amazing, bringing the lights down again. No one on ladders, we're all right. <laughs> um, just ladders in our tights. Um, but look at those. They're gorgeous. Mag I would say magical, Julie. Yes. Magical. Oh, And to think that you've done it yourself very, very easily, and you could sit down with other members of the family and make these as well. Right, yeah. what we're doing now? So, again, look, um, how do we actually now get the acetate on? So, I was mentioning earlier, we don't have to fussy cut. Although, okay. if you do like your sort of little scissor more fussy cut, then that's entirely up to you. You can go as close as you want, but you can see there... I'm um, actually just for quickness and just placing on. This is when it's completely dry. How long does it take to dry? You may be asking yourself, well, that's going to depend on the room temperature or you mentioned like this is doing it in the garden on a summer's hot day. So that's going to depend 
on your temperature there yeah. and then so that it's easier actually just to say okay I'm going to do all my have the pleasure of doing all my glue and glittering one day yeah and then decorating the bottle another day yeah good idea so once we've got our acetate taken out so which one was the wet one so that one's already dry I might say at this point I can actually put my bling again exceptional offer sells that really well because you've got a whole meter you've got 12 meters and again I can cut that into even three meters yes and that's just the simplicity of just scooting that down as well so then you're going to actually have 36 meters I think is it how much is that one for 36 meters 36 within? meters 11.99 exactly that's see why you need to get that's that 12 strips approximately <laughs> one meter each so that's 12 meters isn't it that is just incredible and looks strong flexible again this can be sewn on as well if you're doing yeah, a project yeah you can sew this so on you can as use well. it for other crafts yeah Love all that. your other craft cake making looks stunning just can you can you pop it on the outside of cakes? Put on the outside of cakes, yeah. So it just doesn't stop Would here. Would that with be one food, food safe? To put no, that on definitely there? not. So no, you need to so take that off. So maybe just put it on a ribbon As a that is food safe yeah, on the cake. Don't put it directly onto the cake. Well, no, put it on directly onto the cake, but just attach it and then just remove it when you're ready mm. to cut the cake, like you would a ribbon. Yes, yeah. We can't clarify, deny or prove that it's safe in any way for food. But it's going to look great. Yes. Just have to get that covered. It's amazing. So again, I can allow that to dry and just keep on, either be brave and just go for it, which I often do because yeah. I think, no, I just want to get it done now. Or you can just do one side and allow it to dry. Yeah. But either way, you can use that as a singular or what I've done on the other bottle, used it as a, I think I'll double check. So I choose to do that singularly. Again, going back to my finished one, wow. then I use that as a two. It just it just looks spectacular. I was just having a look at the, the strips that you've got on the counter at the side of you in the demonstration preparation yes. area, just at the front of the counter that you can see there. Uh, which you, don't they look fabulous? And you've got all of those different colours, yes. almost like the colours of a rainbow. Um, oh, do you know what? With them dangling down like that, it reminds me of the caravan we used to go to when I was a kid <laughs> at Skegger. Uh, it used to stop the flies coming in and out. That was quite... <laughs> what and you could do that with that. that yeah, you thing. could. You could. You absolutely could. Um, oh, mind you, it would probably attract the flies because I think it's so fantastic. <laughs> um, right, so we're putting the acetate now we'll onto the bottle. Onto a surface. Again, I just appreciate the simplicity. Of that. I say the word simplicity because literally it is so s simple to do. So whether you're doing it on a flat surface, you're just going to mean that, that you can get these window oh, decorations yeah. just to put them on. So again, or because I was showing you earlier with the other ones that you've got that flexibility. Look, the, gl the glitter's not going nowhere. Yeah. Again, why I say that it's not going anywhere. It's all down to the glue. Is it? And it goes because it's a very, very industrial strength glue. Not only does the advantage of drying clear, because the industrial strength is allowing me have to have that flexibility. Yeah. So Love when that. I put it onto either a plain surface or I particularly chose the square to show that you can put it round corners. Oh. Now will the glue dry clear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, as always on that one. Again, so use the same glue yeah. for actually Again, you've got that. You don't need to put an awful lot on again because of the strength of the glue. Yeah. And because that fine nib, you can see, the, appreciate the fact that I can actually use that on my finer bits, but I don't have to be exact. Do we know how much is in the glue um, bottle? That's quite a lot. A lot. Yeah, can we just say a lot? Because oh, I, think sure. we can, I think we can just say a lot. A lot. I do use this. It, it just goes, it is one of those ones that just goes yeah. on and on and yeah. on. Again, you don't need to overindulge or put a lot on because if you don't need to, you're going to use it for all, all those other projects because, as I said, there's 12 sheets and yeah. then more than one item on which sheet so you've got lots and lots to do now a quarter of the stock has gone of the floral favorites uh, easy for me to say <laughs> um, the floral 
favourites and they are lovely because you've got various different images of the same flower on one sheet so maybe you are putting together a collection of items around your home and you want the same uh, particular flower on there or maybe you're doing something in the winter or the spring and you want the same theme but you want little flowers as well as the whole bunch of flowers look at those snowdrops aren't they lovely they really, really are. Um, you've got poppies, pansies, um, you've got crocuses, you've got your snow... Um, snowdrops, yeah? Snowdrops, yeah. I was going to call them snowbells. I don't know why. <laughs> I was thinking bluebells. Uh, your snowdrops. The pansies are absolutely stunning. Let me just bring those in to show you. Look at those. Oh, wow. There's a lovely little bottle one of that as well. Where did I see it's that? It's at the front morning? just here oh, with yeah. the lights in. How yeah. cute is that? Yeah, that is really cute. That is really cute. It's beautiful, isn't it, with your pansies? How gorgeous is that? These are absolutely terrific. You know, you might be a first-time crafter. Here's the thing. Mm. We've got lots of people, Julie, who do soft crafts. We've got lots of people mm. who do baking. And they're thinking of doing another craft because they've, they've actually said, you know what, I'm really good at this. I'm mm. good at crafting. And you are. You are good at crafting. So people are now having a look at other and different items that they can purchase and different crafts that they could put together. Um, it could be something in their home like a vase that they want to upcycle for example instead of throwing it out use it repurpose it it might be um, a bottle instead of throwing it out repurpose it rather than upcycling rather than you know people coming around to pick it up from your house using the fuel to take it to the recycling center for it to go through all of that why don't you repurpose it I think it's wonderful. You could sell it, you could keep it, you could gift it. $26.99 gets you the full kit, 12 sheets, different flowers. You've got those beautiful fine glitters, details in the glitter and the glue and the anti-static bag as well. 323-304 is your item number and you also get a full instructions as well. We're busy on the bling actually, 40% of the bling. That always oh. goes just so well. Has gone already, look. Now, it's easy to cut, and you just need, it's not self-adhesive, so we just need some glue. Yeah, use that the glue. Or, yeah, or yeah. So if you're going to apply it to obviously the material, is the, you can sew it on as well. Do you know what? I'm just going to... You want down. yours to look like mine, don't you? <laughs> I do, I do. I'm, I have got Bling Envy. I d I, I Those won. days where I could have just passed you this, we just can't pass it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. But look at that. I mean, these colours are gorgeous. You've got your sapphire blue in there, your light blue, your rose gold, your green, your pinks, your purples, the red that's just dropped on the floor, but don't worry about that. Um, I'm thinking, you know, if you've got like a, a faux leather bracelet, you could stick this all the way around and that faux leather bracelet would look amazing and if you wanted to go that, sorry, sorry but if you wanted to go that step further yeah. and um you can actually cut out little the little bits in between to to give yourself a pattern Ooh, so you yeah. wouldn't have to actually put it on a bracelet just put then put a clasp at the end and you and you can cut out your little bits in between i haven't brought them today so wow. apologies for that but yeah you're yeah. right it makes it great for jewelry making absolutely stunning uh, half the stock has gone now don't miss out on this only 11.99 for 12 strips uh works out to be a pound a strip which is incredible value for money when you think about how many gems you're getting on there if you imagine using these individually i'm not going to count them you want to count these when you get home you can do uh, but there's a lot on there there's a lot um now you've set me a challenge in my head maybe i will count them uh, 11.99 046 790 six is your item number stunning absolutely stunning and they really do capture the light we've got some beautiful colors for you lovely isn't it in it when all lester then uh, <laughs> zero four six seven nine six is your item number uh, right back to you julie yep yeah. so i've just to touch that with my first little bit of sellotape i'll say sellotape sticky tape um and then again i can just take that over just to keep it secure until it dries okay and that's how we stick acetate to glass. I'm laughing because people think it's going to be a bit more complicated than that. <laughs> and it's, it's that simple. Look at the way it's gone round. And that will dry clear. That will dry clear. This one I actually put on the sellotape ages ago. So, again, just to prove that that was fine. So I'll hold it down and then just like you do, just... When it's finished, because again, I make myself laugh because somebody said to me once, but I don't want a vase with sellotape on. 
I know. <laughs> the same tape comes I'm off. I'm saying that because there still might be people go, the same, thinking the same thing. And you go, yeah, there oh, might be. Oh, yeah. I was thinking that. No. Just rip, <laughs> take the sellotape yeah. off. If you've got the little bit of um, glue on there, so it's depending how much you put on and whether it oozes out, it's entirely up to you. It's, it really doesn't matter. But I can just use some um, wipes, whether yeah. they're baby wipes, facial wipes. I'm now a Nana Free, so I've got more baby wipes than I have facial wipes Aww. around me. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, the more you use it, the less you lose, yes. uh, you know, out at the sides, because you'll know how much glue to use. Yeah, so. you're getting that. Yeah. So, and again, I've got a bit of sticky tape here. If you did have that situation where you realise you didn't put a little bit of glue enough on there and it's still lifted, just go back, put a little bit of glue back with your sellotape. Let it dry. And let it dry Brilliant. again. Um, we are busy for the bling. And again, so 60 you can just... percent of your bling has gone, Julie. Always, it always yeah. does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, busy, busy, busy. It's beautiful. I was just counting, actually. I think an inch has got about 21 gems. So oh, if right. you add that up, roughly, how many inches are there in a metre? I don't know, 60, 50, 45? You can do the yeah. math at home. Yeah. Um, 39 inches in a metre. 100 centimetres, 39 inches. Yeah. So 39 times 21... 390 plus 390, 600, 780, 812, 39 times 21, 819, there you go, that was quick math for me, wasn't it, I was doing it all in my head, uh, roughly, 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 uh, on each one, um, Oh, it's still my throat in now. Uh, I, yeah, I am the one that did it. <laughs> roughly speaking, roughly speaking. Um, these are great. Love them. I love them. Beautiful colours. Look at the, those three together. The purple, the rose gold, the gold in there. You've got that lovely jade green, the sapphire blue as well. Jewellery making, card making. Popping these onto your bottles and adding a little bit of bling a ling -ding. My sister put them onto like a lampshade just to put a little tip onto the uh, her lampshades, which Ooh, again looks stunning. Yeah. Uh, you can put, she's put them onto the bottom of a blind. I'll Beautiful. put it onto a cupboard of mine that needed just sort of a bit of, on blend machine and just put the bling. So, you know, Blinging just classily put it there, you know. Yeah. Do you know what? You could put this around your mirror in your bathroom as yeah, well. Yeah, well, there you go. Great. So, I mean, all these other things, just to touch, make it classy, yeah. just to enhance it. Classy, not brassy. Uh, Eleven ninety nine zero four six seven nine six is your item number. Uh, is two thirds of the stock has gone though. Two thirds of the stock, it's going very, very quickly. Don't miss out on those because they are a fantastic deal. This is your only show today, isn't it, Julie? Yeah. Uh, we're not sure when Julie's back no. because we haven't asked her yet. <laughs> um, so don't miss out. Zero four six seven nine six is your item number. Uh, right, let's head back to the demo. Okie dokie. So as I say, that's applied. You can do it, when, as and when, take your sellotape off. Also what I love to do, and again that's on the show as well, I'm also well known from the um, glittered uh, vinyl, glittered um, stickers. Yeah. Because again, they're very strong. You can see that from there on there. And very thick. And that will look again classy if I'm going to put them on and in between. Sometimes you want them as a little infill. Yeah. And you can place them on as well. Again, Aww. on the finished bottle, I'll go revert back to that one as well. Now, we do have these stickers available for you on the show. Uh, we'll go down and show you them. They are available in the gold that Julie's using, and they're also available in silver as well. You're more than welcome to go for both if you want to. <laughs> they're 14 99 If you want to add those to your baskets alongside any of the kits you're getting and use your £5 credit, it takes them down to 9 99 which is an amazing deal. It really is. Uh, so gold or the silver, you choose, you decide, and you've got a plethora of designs in there. Really easy to use, and my word, these are going to go a long, long way. I do, I love, sorry, I didn't try, but I do, do love using the silver stars with the unicorns. Yeah. Some of them just look nice just on the bottles alone. One of this example is, and you've got one, I think it's right on the end, the square bottle. This, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, it's quite heavy. It, look oh, at that. Wow. Just with those ones on there. No. So I have given you... Is that 
For that reason, because I love it so much, and I know the um, customers do as well. Are those I've... birds on the stickers? Yeah. No. These two here. That's why I've actually put um, the two in the set, so you can do your four-sided. Look at that again. Look at the inexpensive it as well. You know if that doesn't go home with you today? Is that, <laughs> will, that, will that be just the most terrible thing that happens in the world? No, because I'd known I'd give you a nice Christmas present. Oh, <laughs> do you know what? That's, you know these bottles that you get that are very, very expensive, decorative, um, whether it holds perfume or anything yeah. else, that looks to... I can't believe that that's a sticker. That looks yes. like the glass, does it not, at home? Can you see that? Yeah. That's absolutely And you're stunning. going to get these bottles over your, over your Christmas, New Year period, yeah. honestly. So this is just how wow. I'm just so, you know, pleased. Everybody, again, with the customers, when they do that, their friends are going to be so impressed. Like, did you do that? Wow. And, but they're, hopefully they're not going to tell them the truth and say, yeah, but it actually only took them 10 minutes to do. <laughs> um, that is absolutely... And it cost them less than £3. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Remember, you've got your choice of your silver or your gold. Absolutely stunning. Don't miss out on these. They're only 14 095459. And when I say that, I'm not being disrespectful to your money because I know mm. money is very, very tight at the moment. Uh, but 1499 is a good price. It's entirely up to you. But that, for me, that's mm. done it. That is just is. absolutely sensational. Zero nine five four five nine is your item number. I love those, Julie. Mm. Love those. Uh, right, let me pop that down over there. Uh, what we're looking at now? Okay, so we've covered everything there. Just uh, again, how easy that was to do. But once you've had a little go and you start to play, we all like to sort of then think, okay, and especially on the flowers yes. and this particular with the lady with the ball gown, yeah. we want to start bringing other colours into it and do shading. I couldn't Ooh. think of that. You know, we said about one simple shading, well, yeah. I couldn't think of earlier, but that's the word. But that's what we can do now, is actually do our shading with our fl uh, florals. Just with glitter? Yeah, and you've got nice, again, samples on that card. You might want to just uh, go through that yeah. and I'll pick out ones that maybe that I've shaded there as well. Yeah, uh, we've got some beautiful cards here and a couple of these have been shaded. So that one, that's your really nice bright reds and your greens. On your snowdrops, got a bit of shading going on there. So that's really subtle and beautiful, which look absolutely amazing. Again, using the glitter to place on your acetate. See, those were shaded. Uh, you've got your shaded flowers here. Look at that. With glitter. And that's when you start to wow. enjoy, well, you're enjoying the, the colouring, but it's great because you don't really know what it's going to look like till it's completely dry. Yeah. See I how love nicely that. they look shaded? Yeah, they are. They are beautiful. Aren't they lovely? With the blue around the outside and the lighter blue. And then if you want to go for those techniques, you can use them on, well, any of the flowers, any yeah. of the designs that we've got available for you as well. Uh, you've got your poppies there. This is a really nice, interesting one because you've got your acetate each side. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm sure you've got sentiments at home that you can add. Now, £26.99, and pence. that's for your floral favourites. Three, two, three. 304 is your item number. Uh, a beautiful set of designs in here. So you've got your poppies, you've got your pansies in here as well. Your pansies are gorgeous. We've been busy for these actually. 70% uh, of the stock has gone. You've got your snowdrops. Those are the poppies. Be I just love poppies. Absolutely love poppies. Uh, you've got your beautiful, I think they're poppies as well. Yeah. Um, remember, poppies can be any colour. Uh, beautiful daisies there. Gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. Again, you can have any any colours in those. Um, the lovely lilies, you can have tiger lilies, lilies of the valley, uh, beautiful poppies again. Do they look nice shaded they as are, well. Yeah. I don't know if I shaded those ones, not so much. Not but I know, so much, but a little yeah, bit at the I, top know there. I have previously got carried away and I love, I love shading those California poppies. Yeah, aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely sensational. So uh, your roses as well. Uh, which are just such a statement piece. They really, really are. Whether you are using these on any surface, they are going to look absolutely fantastic. So that's your floral favourites, 26 99 Absolutely stunning. Of course, you will be deciding the colours because you've got your acetate. If I hold it the right way, that's the snowdrops, not up yet. Mm. Um, there you go. Absolutely Superb. 323 304 is your item number. Now, the bling has 
Oh, we're approaching limited stock for the bling. Oh, it's amazing. Um, and you get a lot of your bling on your uh, ribbons. Uh, which are great. You can cut these up, you can use them individually, or you can cut them into blocks. Uh, it's an amazing deal. So many people are going for this. Some people are multi-buying. Eleven yeah. ninety-nine. It's an absolute bargain. And if you want to use your five pound credit, because we are in the midst of our um, big save, if your basket comes to thirty pounds or more, you'll get a fiver off just by using your credit. Which means if you've got one of the acetate kits in your basket you can add one of these at 11.99 it'll only be 6.99 because you use your five pound credit limited stock's going to go any minute oh, i just love it even if you just stand there stroking it <laughs> uh, these are absolutely marvelous quality as well julie yes quality limited stock though 12 meters and you've got your variety of colors love that uh, now we have some other kits for you remember you can get the acetate on its own if you want to your winter favorites uh, lots of you creating for christmas already and your winter favorites well these look amazing um, if you've just looked around your home at christmas and thought to yourself do you know what i wish i had more decorations i wish i had some lights by the fireplace i wish i had some lights you know just in the hallway as somebody comes in um, this is going to give you the opportunity to make that with your fantastic bottles that you've got left over or on any surface really which is lovely um, and you've got lots of different images you've got snowmen in there you've got your poinsettias in there I've got some here that I'll hold up for you so you've got your poinsettias in there which can be any color which is amazing so you've got your points do you know poinsettias need 15 hours of darkness no I didn't mm, to grow so when they're out growing they have to cover all of the light so they sit in the darkness. Oh, it's fascinating, isn't it? Aww. And they're a leaf, not a flower. Who'd have thought it? Yeah, um, yeah, you've know. got your baubles and your little tiny, you've got your lovely uh, fairy there, little Father Christmas. And again, it's the glitter that brings these to life. And I've chosen to use those as the baubles on that, you know where it's the pink bottle in front Ooh, of you? Yes. I haven't stuck them directly onto the bottle, but used again the bling. Yeah. I've put the bling with the gorgeous peel off bows Oh no, sorry, the one right in front there. That's this, with the eye the pink. The the, pink. The, sorry, the holly. Oh, yeah. That was just the nearest oh, one I could grab. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, the pink one is at the front. I'll grab that in a moment's yeah. time to show you that. And again, you, you could, so you, where I ha just another example of not putting it directly onto the surface, but making it fun and letting them dangle. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? You've got to have a bit of fun and let them dangle Doesn't every it? now and again, have <laughs> Let you? them dangle. I mean, it is Christmas. <laughs> It is Christmas. Uh, it's almost New Year, so you really will be letting them dangle. Uh, 2022, the year to let it all dangle. Why don't we do that? Uh, so you've got some wonderful images here. You've got your penguins, your snow families. Oh, they're just so, so super cute uh, and proved to be popular. You also get your glue, your glitter, and your instruction sheet and static bag as well. 258110. Uh, right, the favourites. These are your favourites. Yeah. These are your favourites, all brought together in a collection and you've got a little bit of everything a little bit of florals a little bit of cutesies a little bit of whimsical uh, these are your favorites let's take you through some of those favorites you've got your snowmen which are super duper cute aren't they I would look great in that white uh, glitter you've got the ladies that we were working on just there which are lovely you've got your floral designs again a beautiful design there uh, oh, there's some more of the ladies, and they are all glittered Again, up. Again, where they've been shaded, you see, bringing the two yeah. blues together and the two purples together. Fabulous. Um, you've got your owls, I'll be seeing you, mm. and your owl wings. You've got your mermaid, amazing. More fl look at these daisies, look at those. Aren't they stunning? Absolutely stunning. These are your favourites, all brought together in a collection. You've got some snowdrops in there as well. You get the acetate, the glitter, the glue. You get your instructions and the anti-static bag as well. Ooh la la. 2699 339 679 is your item number. Right, now we've got some cuties for you. Yes, we have. This is, this is uh, the ones that have the bunny rabbits in. Uh, so let me grab these. Let me show you those bunny rabbits. These really are terrific, Julie, aren't they? Mm beautiful design and if I just bring that forward you'll see that the design is on there on your bunny rabbit already so add a little bit of glitter to that and uh, it's a great way of showing off you've also got your um, helicopters 
which in my opinion are very cute are very cute let me turn these the oh, <laughs> I knew that would happen I knew that would happen uh, there you go uh, you've got your octopus what's plural octopi, octopi. So we knew that, that's why you asked the question. Octipi. Because <laughs> we're so Opti clever. Octipi. Yeah, which we are. <laughs> that's your octipi. Um, oh, I just love that. That's my favourite. Is it? Yeah. Again, uh, it's a lot of people's favourites. Yeah. Favourite, that one. Love that. Oh, let's have a look. We have got your mermaid, the queen of the sea, and your dolphin. Aren't they cute together? And then you've got your little fairies as well, which are gorgeous, gorgeous that really lend themselves to your glitter. You've got your panda bears. Oh, they're having a good time. And you've got your toadstools as well as your little bugs. I think I've shown you all oh, the unicorns. Let's not forget those. They're spectacular. Of course, um, you could do a nice combination of both. You know, mixing these sort of putting together the toadstools yeah. as well as the fairies at the same time as yeah. well on your cards or your bottles. Love that. Just needed to show you each and every one of those. So you choose twenty six ninety nine. You get all 12 with your glitters, your anti-static bags as well. Glitters have been busy. Oh, my days. These are beautiful. You've got a whole array of different colours for you to use. And you get a lot, don't you, in yes, each one? between yeah. 8 and 10 grams, as we mentioned earlier, and yeah. showing, yes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go a long, long way because they're so microfine. Yeah, I love them. Uh, you can use these with your estate. You can use them for other crafting as well. 1999-887-105 is your item number. Uh, we do have two-minute queues on the line, so don't miss out on any of these deals because it gives you a chance now just to sit there have a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun crafting, isn't it? It's relaxing, it's yeah. fun, and it's rewarding and yes. inexpensive. All the things you want for this particular. Absolutely. Uh, your bling is hanging on by a thread. Um, almost sold out, but you've still got a chance to get hold of these. Beautifully displayed, by the way. Love that. Uh, gorgeous colours. And if you want to get them, there is a metre a bling on each one, eleven ninety nine, and then your foils. These are the or oh, your stickers. These are amazing. Just to show you the bottle there. That's been made by those stickers. I just find that I just find that intriguing. Whose bottle is it? Uh, that bottle is my bottle. It's your bottle. That's coming over me. <laughs> uh, Julie, thank you so much. Well, you've had the fun drinking it. Do you drink responsible? It's with, we Julie. should nicely. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you so much. Um, are we going to see you again soon? Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. Uh, maybe we could bling up some of the screens that we That's have to it, have between exactly. us now. And all your, or make it all your visors and your boring things that we can put all that around there as well. Great idea. What mm -hmm. a lovely idea. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Thank you for watching, everyone. But do check out your baskets. Don't miss out. Right, we've got Quilters Trading post big save on next. Zuri One Day special after that, and then we're back with your springtime crafting with the Dreamies. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations, as a company, launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, 
trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012, I'm never really sure. At one point we nearly became the cushion company because we've churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. And welcome, lovely to have your company. Uh, we are continuing with our fantastic Big Save event. We have got so many incredible prizes. We've already had sellouts. Uh, we will tell you as we've been going down the counter. But it's a lovely to have the ladies in the building. It's our Emma and Pam, and it's been ages since we worked together. It is. Oh, it yeah. only has. Hello yeah. again. Hello. Yes. Happy Christmas, ladies. Happy Christmas to, to you. Everybody. How are you? You're both looking so well. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah, not bad at all. Not at all. No. Hairy, hairy journey here, but we're here. Oh, was, oh, was it horrible weather? It was yeah. really wet. I did mm. a bit of aquaplaning and it was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, yeah, yesterday when I drove back down, it was horrible. Yeah. It's horrible, isn't it? Cause it's, it's, it's horrible. Very, uh, Much better to stay in and watch this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> stay in, watch, tell her, get yourself some bargains. Yeah. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> That's, it. That's <laughs> it. That's the way to go. Like, now then, ladies, it's already been very busy. Um, we'll go down the counter. We have already had sellouts. And I tell you, big save, but the first one is actually brand new. And yet, you've got a £10 saving on this. Oh, the fabrics are just adorable. Um, so you've got your beautiful, um, your ring of roses. Ring of ring of roses, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. And actually, if you look behind me, this is so pretty. Ladies, this is gorgeous. And you get all the material and it's um it's yeah. beautifully put together. It's it. nice, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Yeah. My favorite, mm. It's yeah. stunning. I like your fabrics as well that you've picked to go with this. I know. The the border was just a revelation. We got all the fabrics from the middle put together and then just went, Ooh, oh, I like that. That's pretty. <laughs> yeah. Came out of my stash that did. Yeah. I had to I had to grab one that mum had hidden away. <laughs> Back from uh, her. Uh, yeah, you said that a little bit. Oh, mm. that were my stash. Yeah. That yeah. were mine. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, it's already getting busy. So, as ever, ladies, we're getting all the fabric. We've <laughs> also got the, the full instructions. You've got the templates. You've got the binding. You've got everything you need, don't you? Yeah, all yeah. you're going to have to add to it is some wadding and backing of your own choice. So then Perfect. you can make it make it as you like. But yeah, we've, we've done kits like this before and we haven't included included the applique pattern you've had to buy that separate this time you've got it in there yeah oh I love that yeah and I mean like I was saying the fabric collection is beautiful you've got some really really pretty colors in here um, and they work together I love these that you have noticed you've used the it's kind of I don't know how to describe that. It's almost boutique without being boutique. It looks like water's been splashed on um, yeah. a watercolour. It's, it's called fossil, fossil fern. Yeah. Oh. So it's a particular range, and they've all got the same pattern, but using different colours can make it look completely different. And it is very boutique like. Stunning. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous. stunning. Like they're stunning. They're my favourites. Yeah. yeah. Dad, you've used it quite a lot, haven't you? Yeah. Dad, yeah. I really, really, really like them. I'd have a dress in that. They're beautiful. Um, gorgeous quality fabrics, as ever. They all feel stunning. Okay, go on. <laughs> um, it's brand new. However, 80% of the stock has already gone. Told you, yeah. it's going to be busy. How many shows have you got still, ladies? Two. Ooh. Oh, it is a different show later. Mm. However, have a look on the website, you know, just saying. Um, it's <laughs> still part of Big Save event as well. So if you've got £5, your £5 credit. Is that is that the thing? <gasps> so your £5 credit, you're still getting... Oh, yeah, we're not new, yeah, yeah. So it means um, if you haven't spent your £5 credit, if you're spending £30 today... That five pounds will come off. Okay, now this one already gone. I am so sorry. This one has already sold out and gone. 
and it were really pretty, but it's gone. <laughs> Next. Now, this is cute. Our little unicorn is over there. I love <laughs> that you've got such a mixed bag of goodies. I mean, the yeah. unicorn is cute, isn't it? It's really sweet. I couldn't resist. And doing it in the, the rainbow colours as well. Yeah. Oh, nice yeah. and bright and fun. Yeah. yeah. I love that it's in the rainbow covers, yeah. colours. Mm -hmm. I think that's quite marvellous. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'd want to make this for, for our lovely Nigel. He'd appreciate this, no doubt, um, because it's got that fabulous rain, rainbow. Oh, yeah. he'd love it. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Oh, oh, that price. Ignore the price. So, $74.99. It is not $74.99. OK, he's getting rid of that. It's not that, my friends, uh, because obviously we are big save events, so it does mean that price is absolutely um, been slashed to £49.99. pence. I mean, that is a huge saving, a £25 saving. Again, you're getting all your different fabrics. I love that you've got the touch of gold in there. Oh, well, it's got a horn, hasn't it? It's got to be gold. <laughs> yeah. It'd be rude not Unicorn. to. Unicorn, oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. And look at the rainbow fabric as well. Stunning, absolutely. Oh my gosh, look at it. That is ace. And that's a massive piece of fabric as well. Yeah, I it. can't see which one you've got there. Oh, yeah, 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 borders. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. And you've got, can you see? See? Oh, that's lovely. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Yeah, a bit of binding there. I love a stripy binding. That is ace, absolutely ace. Oh, this is such a good kit. Again, value for money full instructions and of course your applique patterns and then all the fabric that you need uh, to create that and it is just joyful and i love the little unicorns are absolutely lovely the yeah. top oh it's approaching limited mm -hmm. i'm not surprised Ooh. they are lovely and the thing is once you've got the quilt you've got the pattern to do those unicorns again on other things haven't oh, you oh yeah yeah you put them on bags cushions all sorts anything you can think of really they're so yeah. pretty yeah they're so pretty um okay if you would like to get hold of that really really busy but you need to be quick limited stock less than 10 percent six seven four three two the next one just sold out <laughs> so we've already had two sellouts one limited stock this one has technically sold out please check your baskets out if anything bounces out of baskets if you don't check out within time if it bounces back i will let you know but that is another technical sellout next wow ladies it's well busy it's a good job you've got different stuff this afternoon yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay now uh my seashore one now am i picking up the right one here I do believe I am. Is it this one, ladies? Have I picked up the right one for uh, seashore quilt? No. That's the wall hanging. Is that the Close. one after it? Yeah, that's the one. Ah, the same thing. Yeah, one. similar. It's bigger. Now, have a little look there at that. I'll just pop it over at front. So, oh, oh, there. Look at, oh, that's so pretty. I love that. It's so it's gentle, summer, isn't it? I yeah. love it, yeah. In the, in the real sort of seaside-y beachy colours yeah yeah it's one of my favorites mum's done i had a lot of real shells and i got those patterns from those real shells when i drew those yeah uh, beautiful yeah. and the colors and the colors yeah. yeah yeah it is it's proper seasidey colors yeah. But yeah. just, it's one of those that, yeah, it's got a real calming influence. Really, really pretty is that. Um, if you would like to get hold of that, again, the, wee! <laughs> again, the choice of fabrics uh, matches. It just blends beautiful. And you've got, now look at that fabric. Because, and this is interesting because you pick, you're doing shells. But that looks like mother of pearl. Yes. It is, isn't it? It's a yeah. pearlescent fabric. Yes. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, yeah. that. Yeah. You've been wearing really your stash again. <laughs> no, no, I didn't let her take that one home with her. That is lovely. <laughs> no. It helps that she lovely. doesn't. She lives with me now, so I can keep an eye on her. Yeah. <laughs> no more, no more piles of fabric hidden. No, no. Oh, she's, <laughs> no. she's ruined all the fun. Yeah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, if you do want to get hold of this one, again, it is another big save. Now, you've got a sixteen pounds save, and you do have flexi. You've even got flexi on this. It's on twenty eight ninety nine. Which means your first payment is only fourteen pounds and fifty pence. Six six two nine three nine is your item number. Now next, uh, the beautiful wall hanging again. Those fabrics. Oh, you've got some nice fabric. Oh, I love fabric, isn't it? We, we do love the colours, yes. don't we? 
and yeah. that again the border fabric that you've used on here is beautiful isn't it a stunning one that is a mode of fabric that one i know that one it is so pretty wouldn't that, that be nice in a bathroom oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, on the wall really in the wood. bathroom. Because yeah. that's it with something like this. You could use it as a wall hanging. But, I mean, something like that, that would look really pretty on the floor, to be fair. Yeah, it yeah, would. It really yeah. would. Or on a yeah. picnic at the seaside. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, um, we need beach huts for this as well, don't we? Oh, if someone's yeah. lucky enough to have a beach hut, oh. Oh. that's so pretty. Oh. Yeah, that yeah. would be fab. Yeah. Oh, love it, absolutely love it. Um, if you do want to get hold of that one, again, proper seaside summery, just relaxing. It's one of those, it's just, you know, for the garden, you know, if you're outside having those either on the table or just, it's one of those where you just want it sort of draped on something, isn't it? Uh, but beautiful for, for your tables as well. Um, £22.69, and pence. you're saving £12.30. and pence. Five six five six three five is your item number. Now, next we've got for you the cushion. And, oh, this is limited stock as well. Okay, now that goes beautifully, obviously, with that first, um, the first beautiful quilt that we've got. But, to be fair, I mean, that's going to go lovely with the blue one as well. Oh, it's a colours yeah. on blend, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah do... they're all seasidey themed colours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really yeah. nicely. Like, if I pick up the blue, I'm going to show you. Because if you put it with blue, oh, oh that'd be yeah, really, nice. really nice. Blue and green, you can't go wrong. You can't. No. It's again, and all the, the soft pinks that you've put together and the peaches. Mm. But yeah, it's such a lovely, lovely way of using your colour palette. Now, if you would like to get hold of your gorgeous cushion, um, even the, the fabric they're using, this is always a bit harder to show on telly, but the, that is wonderful. You know that beautiful small white print? Yeah, it's a really nice turn on tone, that one, and it just mm. lifts it a little bit, mm. I think, when you're mm. appliqueing onto it. That's so nice. Mm. And I was going to say, so I, just, I did say it's so hard to show on telly, and then I looked at it and it was like, no, you can see that really easily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever I just said then, rubbish. Uh, you've even got the zip in this. Um, if you would like to go for this for £19.49, under £20. And I mean, ladies, I mean, there's a lot of work goes into your patterns. Oh, yeah. There really is. And actually, with all of these projects, with these seashells, you're getting the full pack of all of the seashell patterns in there. That's actually part of the kit. So you can choose whichever shells you want. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And you've got them for other uses as well. It's a oh. clip full of patterns. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you re and I tell you what though, it's gone. I love oh. it, Chris in my head's going, yeah. gone, gone, gone. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's just so excited. That's what it is. <laughs> um, that's another sellout. How many sellouts have we had so far? Three sellouts already. Um, okay, um, keeping in the, the seaside mode, look at that fabric again. Oh, oh. that's so nice. Isn't it yummy? Yep. Look at, I'm terrible. I've just gone straight <laughs> to the fabric. I haven't even looked at your finished sample, just straight to that fabric. <laughs> oh, but that fabric. Oh, it's it delicious. Let me show you what you're actually making. Oh, isn't that cute? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love them. Those colours. Yes. Aren't they fab? We go, like you went a bit brighter, didn't I you? I did, yeah. One? yeah. You can have them brighter if you want. I'm oh, thinking yeah. on the back of your deck chair. Yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Again, outside, it's just going to yeah. be really nice, yeah. isn't it? Oh, when you're, when you're laying on your towel, that behind your head, yes. sorted. Yeah, <laughs> yep. absolutely. I really like that. Summer's coming. Yes, yeah. it is. It Looking is. Forward to that. We have. We've had the. We've had them um, thing. You know, haven't we? Yeah. Our our longest, shortest day. So, oh yeah. yeah sh shortest, shortest long day. day. <laughs> shortest day. <laughs> our winter solstice. That's what I'm trying there to say. You go. Yeah, that is pretty. It's flying out the door. That is lovely. Oh, in fact, it's limited. You've got a really big zip there as well. You do get the zip in there. Yeah, mm. limited. No wonder it's sixteen quid. Sixteen pounds, nineteen pounds for that, and again, again, the instructions. See, this is the thing; those instructions, it's like a mini book. You've got so many. I mean, look all your applique patterns. It is worth the money. It's incredible. Uh, sixteen pounds, forty-nine pounds, four four nine seven one six. Next, um, we have got for you. So we've got options here. So with e either got the um, the Jacobean uh, floral daffodil, or you've got um, the floral stitch it. So you've got the beautiful wall hanging. Now with these ones, 
Ah, these are lovely because so it's your pansy or your daffodil. These are interesting. I haven't seen these before from you ladies. They, we've had them for a while. Really? They've been hiding. Yes. Yeah. I went through to see what we could pop in the cell and went, oh, I didn't know I had them left. So, yeah, <laughs> they, it's been a while. They weren't, didn't hang around for long. So I will say there's not many of them. So it's get them if you yeah. can. But you've got the stitchery or the wall hanging. And that's the wall hanging. That There's is, the stitchery. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Isn't, isn't it, it lovely? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, really pretty. And it's simple because it's it's all back stitch pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Instructions on how to do it, and you get in the pre-printed panel as well. Oh wow! Sorry, I've come from one thing to other. <laughs> ah, and threads. oh my gosh! So if you're brand new, this is a cracker to get you yeah. going. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. It's faintly printed so that yes, it won't show. Yeah. If when you, you miss out it. a bit, it doesn't yeah, show. Yeah, it doesn't show. <laughs> but it's there, and it's on that that tone on tone as well. So again, it adds an extra sort of style to it I really like it on the tone on tone yeah that is really pretty mm. and I do love I mean these designs because obviously we've had your beautiful books with yeah um, the, the designs but they're exquisite because they look so elegant don't they? Do. they're beautiful yeah. um, you've got again you've got a lovely selection of fabrics you've got your thread you've got the needle and um, obviously full instructions here that I got carried away stopping looking at because I got a, a like you know scroll there's more to look at um <laughs> that is really for 11 pounds and 99 pence what a bargain yeah now you have got your choice so either the beautiful daffodil which is limited stock now so if you do want that less than 10 percent remaining or of course you've got the beautiful pansy as well um and yeah that is just absolutely gorgeous and even the fabric to do the wall hanging with that price it's incredible because you're getting a lot of fabric there as well yeah yeah because it's got quite a bit of piecing in it it means that you get more fabric yeah yeah mm. i mean and look at the fabric again look at that mm. fabric Oh, that's different. The purple with that green looks amazing. Yeah, it really worked, didn't it? Doesn't yeah. it? It looks so rich. The proper jewel tones. I love yeah. purple. Yeah. Green and the wall hanging, the yeah. style of it, it does look quite regal, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it does. It's, it's, they've taken from Mum's Jacobean um, applique designs. They've obviously been reworked so yeah, that reworked you can stitch them. them. Yeah, sure I redid really them to make them into stitcheries <laughs> rather than appliques. Yeah, yeah. But they're just beautiful designs. I'll give Mum full credit for that. She's very good. She's very clever. Mm. You're getting full credit, Mum? Oh, yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> we, we're a good pair. Um, now then, <laughs> Daffodil sold out and gone. The pansy is limited stock. So, zhink, gone, but limited stock. It is a not, wow, so busy. Um, now then, that is 953253, but only if you're quick. Um, <laughs> okay, so next, oh, look at this fabric as well. Um, so this is the Jacobean uh, cushion kit. Now, you've got your three colour options. So they're the ones up there, are they? Mm. Yes, so there's, Ooh. there's, well, there should be about five of them, but there's three in the Jacobean set, and then there's two Emma's Baltimore's. Amazing. Yeah. So. And, and this is, so where we were talking about the other one being a stitchery, so this is more of a, a plique, isn't it? Yeah, a plique, yeah. yeah. Proper, absolutely a plique. Yeah. Um, oh, we will. Yeah. Hold on, I'll show you one of them. Yeah. So, so there you go. Oh. See, now this is what I was thinking of when we were thinking at stitchery. Yeah. Because this is, oh, it's so elegant. Isn't it beautiful? So again, yeah. you've got that swirl shape in there that were in the stitcheries, but in the applique mm. instead. Yeah. That is really, really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. So you've got your choices. So you've got evening primrose, water lily, a tulip. Which one is that one, ladies? That one is evening primrose, That's I believe. Evening primrose. Yes, yes, it is. Yes. Amazing. We'll a demonstration for one um, of them. Yeah. We will get, well, you look at that, how subtly. <laughs> that is one of the Emma's Baltimore ones. That is stunning. Right, and I think that's Baltimore popping one. daisy. Oh, it's okay though, that's the next item. Yeah. So, I'll just do this for a second. Um, well, I'll show you all this, I'll get them in a sec. So, that one is 495681. Remember, you have got those choices. You will be able to see those um, on the website. They're only £14.99, pence. your price there, if you want to go for those. Um, <laughs> and then, we have got for you uh, the beautiful, in fact, I can show you. So, which is that one, ladies? That one is the... Water Lily. Water Lily, yeah. Water Lily. That's the one I'm demonstrating. 
frustrating. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? Absolutely adorable. Yeah. Oh, we might have a wrong website. That's the Baltimore design. That's the Baltimore design. So that one. Which means, oh, look at that. Oh, they are beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Really are stunning. Look at that. So Look within this collection, uh, we're even getting the fabrics again, are we? Yes, you're getting all the fabrics. I'm pretty sure the only thing you're going to need is a piece of wadding and your cushion insert. Amazing. Yeah. And I tell you what, again, your fabric collection is stunning. Yeah. Because it's so rich, again. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so if you want them 40 99 however, the next one, has it just sold out? Oh, you lucky things. Look, look, look. And that is just ridiculously gorgeous. Isn't it mm. lovely? That's one of them. Yeah, that's, that's one of mine. Yeah. 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 Are you going to give her full credit? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. You should, yeah. <laughs> it's gone. Hey, I tell gone, you what, surprised. that is absolutely mm. stunning, stunning. Really yummy. Um, okay, folks, we're going to give you a peek. Which is this one then, ladies? That is Daisy Crossing, I believe. That's another one of mine. So that's yeah. an Emma's Baltimore one. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. It's Daisy that's Crossing. Gone as well. Yeah. Oh, was it gone? Gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh well. Gone. well. Gone. Uh, we've had Great. more sellouts. I'll give you some pictures and numbers. So, first of all, the unicorn quilt. Sold out! Oh. Whoa! Don't know what you're going to be demoing. <laughs> um, the unicorn quilt, how's it gone? Um, also, the Ringa Ringa Rosas, that are sold out as well. Mm. Wow! We have very few things left, if the truth be known. Um, you know what to do. Check those baskets out. It is super, super busy. You've got some amazing savings. We'd love to hear from you. Um, do you love the ladies' work? You know, how many kits have you got? Um, our finished, um, beautiful photos of finished samples. We always love seeing what you've been creating as well. Um, but the most important thing is do not miss out on these prices. Um, obviously, check out the website for everything that we have got left and a sneak peek at the stuff the ladies have got coming up later on this afternoon. Um, in the meantime, however, over to you ladies. Yeah, what do you want to fun. share with us? Well, as long as we haven't sold out, we've got the water lily cushion. We're all right for water lily. Well, yeah. Thoughts it's limited. It's, it's limited. limited. Okay, we better do this quick then. Well, <laughs> the thing is, it's, it's the same way of doing it as some of yes. the other things that we've got. The, all the applique things are done in the same way. Yeah. So the yes. demonstration still applies. So yeah. We're going to do some satin stitch which is your main yes. thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Satin stitch and tell you all about how to start Ooh, it. Oh, I am, aren't I? Better than me at doing it. Okay, so there, <laughs> there's the key Team. for that one. Yeah. As you can see right in front of me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check what we're doing. So for anybody who's not done um, this kind of applique before, we do a an applique called... Oh, it's a sticky version. Yes. I can't remember. <laughs> fusible fusible <laughs> applique. Fusible. There you fusible. go. The word slipped out of my brain then. I'm so, sorry. Ladies, sorry, we've right. technically sold out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we've technically sold out. Okay, sorry. we'll move on. You will get full instructions. Beautiful. You do get full instructions, everything in there, and it's the same for any of the cushion kits that are left. Oh, that's handy. Well, so. we're going to, we're going to, let's get reset. We're, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a minute and have a look at freedom. If you Ooh. don't know anything about freedom, I'll tell you what, it's worth joining because you don't have to pay a postage on anything. And while we've got savings, I bet you might be shopping for more than one day. Well, I hope you are, you know, obviously. Uh, but anyway, enough of me. Here's Freedom. So, have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Now then, um, we haven't got much left. We're going to go straight to the ladies, just in case this sells out in the next few seconds, uh, because it is. this is also really quite super limited. But yeah. again, so the seashell ones, so um, same kind of concept, is it? The, the, it is. The, the, all the, yes. the different seashell kits that you've got. Yeah, there's yeah. a little bit more to this than there is the ordinary um, PK that we do. It was putting the, the lines and the, the places you do your 
your stitching on the top yeah because you can't do that when you cut it out and stick it down but there are ways to do it and there's quite a few ways to do it so Emma's going to tell you a bit about that yeah she's got the thingies there so the yeah useful. this applies for all of the seashell kits and as I said you're going to get this full pattern with all of them so that means you've got all of these seashell um, patterns and per seashell you get a sheet with the finished pattern and the trace down and this is the trace down we, we only do one usually you have two patterns you have a tracing pattern and a positioning pattern but because these are encapsulated all in one piece you only really need the one so you're going to take your sticky stuff which is paper one side shiny glue a bit rough on this one on the other side use your own personal choice we like um, heat and bond but there's lots of others out there um, you, you lay it on there and you trace out the shape and with these seashells you it's worth tracing out all of the lines as well although you're not going to cut those inner lines once you've done that you trim it out so that you've still got the line you're not trimming on the line you're trimming outside of the line um, mm -hmm. don't go too close to the line about an eighth of an inch no less than that quarter of an inch is fine anywhere between there once you've done that you're going to iron it onto your fabric so you nice. get your fabric fabric of your choice you're going to grab your iron board and your iron which i've left down there Ooh, my iron <laughs> now back of the fabric <laughs> always remember the back of your fabric don't iron it on the front because you've ruined it and you'll have to start again back of the fabric i'm going to get quick press because it's been folded now with these fabrics you can kind of choose where you're going to put your shell if you like i haven't got the space to do that and i don't want to waste fabric right now so i'm going to get it in there where it fits Beautiful. straight on so you can see the pencil lines on the top or the pen lines and you're gonna just give it a press okay. just press it until it's stuck you don't need to keep pressing it if you press it for too long sometimes the glue can sink into the fabric and doesn't stick very well then right. so just press it until it's done but don't be scared of it it's fine once you've done that you're just going to cut it out on the outside of the lines um, simple as the better you cut it the better the shape will be but nobody will see it if you do it a little bit wonky <laughs> and I say this because I'm probably going to do it a bit wonky because I'm going to do it really fast and the thing is it's a shell so it's natural so it's allowed to be a bit wonky exactly. of course it doesn't matter exactly. Exactly. somebody's probably been nibbling on it <laughs> and they're and all different shapes and they sizes are. shells they yeah. are they're fab like that right <laughs> I've done that let's pretend I've done that and it's miraculously changed to this I think it's a conch shell <laughs> wow <laughs> amazing wasn't that amazing that, that was amazing Whew. Now, you need those lines on the back onto the front. Because most of the fabrics in our kits are pale fabrics, if you pop it on a piece of white paper, yeah. and you might not be able to see, but you can see through the fabric enough to just mark it. Okay. And mum's used a pen. So you're going to be stitching over these lines, so you don't need to worry too much about them um, being, being taken off. Right. Use whatever you, you feel is, is good for you. It's yeah. a very, very fine pen, that one, or yeah. pencil. I you think used I a would pen. use a fine pencil, but you can't I see would, that actually. on the television. Right. Yeah, yeah so. of course. Okay. Yeah. So, pencil on there would be fine. We've just used a normal lead pencil. Mm. You can use your fabric markers if you want. There's no problem. It's entirely yeah. up to you. So, well, it's you're just going to be stitching over the top anyway, Ooh. aren't you? Oh, this is it. And again, nobody's going to see where the line should have been. If you go a little bit wonky, it's not a problem. Yeah. The other option, is of course use a light box or failing that a window to see through the fabric yeah yeah okay. and if, if you're struggling if you do it with a window a pencil's best because it draws easier yeah when it's up. Oh, of course yeah yeah, 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 yeah. pens can run out when yeah. they're up yeah. so again this one very easy to see through because we've got a nice pale fabric same yes. as that one so that's Perfect. however if you're on a darker fabric and you can't see through it there are other options other than the light box you can and i've not done this before so we've got mum's cut it out yeah. you haven't cut it out for me have you all right <laughs> i'm going to cut this out oh, really mom. quickly and then when you peel the paper off the back you have like a template on the front yeah. to make it on the front so bear with me just a minute it's not going to be the best cutting because i'm doing it quick that's okay and this is why you keep the paper on as well around the outside, isn't it? So yeah. it makes it just a bit easier to keep that. It does. It makes it quite thick and, and sturdy to cut through. Yeah. Then pull the paper off. So give it a flick in the corner. Peel the paper off. So you've got a shiny side now, which is the glue. Ah, yes. Pop it back over. Now you can see that this because it's quite see-through you can see the lines although I'm having to put it face down you have yeah. to do it the other way up yeah so now, when you trace it you really need to use a, a good 
dark pen yeah, yeah very fine yeah. to trace it and then you can see it on the other side because ah, it's quite okay. see-through that paper yeah, yeah. and yeah. what we're going to do i'm going to move it sorry everybody and then take off the first end layer because the most of them are in kind of stripes ah. just take that off pop that back on so see what you're doing you can see where i'm going with this can't yeah, you yeah 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 there we go get Ooh. it first line in there i'll just do one more in case i'm not making myself totally clear but i'm sure you've got it yeah it's smart also cookies goes here. with any um, applique that you're doing from our box and patterns yeah, yeah. If you, want you can to have do a go that, with that i mean you can you can um guess it yourself but if you're not confident with drawing yeah. this is a much easier yes. way to do it some of yeah. these are quite detailed to so doing that by eye i mean the starfish has just got lines down each middle of the star so you, just draw them, so you can matter. draw those mm. there you go there's the cushion with the starfish i don't know oh, where that yeah. pattern is it's quite simple but these other shells they've got more to them I've so starfishes here. once you've got those pieces mm. done and all marked up you're just going to iron them on your background block and it tells you where to do them on the kit on the Oh, projects that's the word Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so mum's got one she's got that cushion but that's just because that's the one she made up yeah yeah it doesn't matter that we sold out because it's the same concept same well they're the same patterns yeah they are so, yeah the, yeah um, so the same starfish. patterns within the kits but yeah. obviously different yeah. finished results yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so okay, okay there you go mum over yeah. to mum yeah well, Round the edge, I would normally put my normal um, satin stitch, which I'll show you in a bit. But yeah. down the middle, those lines that we just drew, that's got a fancy pattern that I did on my um, fancy sewing machine. Ooh. Now, most of you will have a fancy pattern on your sewing yeah. machine. Yeah. Um, if you haven't, then just do zigzag down the middle like yeah. you normally would. Yeah. But I looked at this and I thought, well, I've got to try it out first. So I picked a pattern that I, want, I think might go yeah um and i've done a little bit i didn't like that first one that much nice. but i like that one better the second one so it's worth so, testing it out yeah, isn't it for size when you're doing something like this okay. i mean this is a new machine to me oh is it is it a, yeah. oh. it's a jukey yeah. was it was it christmas no, just before Christmas. Oh, this nice. is a moving sell in my house present. Yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. And a juke. It's a juke. It's a lovely oh, machine. Absolutely nice. love it. It's just the best machine I've ever had. Is I'm not it? just saying that. I mean, no, we were discussing yeah. it on the way yeah. here. Yeah. We want yeah. another one when we move move business. We're well, gonna... I was just decided Mum bought me one as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going, well, I've got one for work now, but I need one at home. Ooh, <laughs> I'm going to work that. <laughs> You've got to wait, Mrs. until yeah. we're sorted. Anyway, so I'm just going to go down with that. that. Down my line. You don't have to worry too much about the line. There you go. The one thing... you, oh, sorry, Kevin. You turn it gently as you go because... Um, you steer it, you don't push it or pull it through the machine and the same with all the satin stitch that I do you steer it gently through the machine, you don't put your hands up here and, and um, try and push it because you won't, you'll just get it messy yeah you've got to be really yeah. careful with these stitches because yeah. if you move it too much you're going to distort the stitch yeah. shapes of course yeah so, so I'm just going to go around the machine that one. do That's its it. thing don't be too yeah, yeah. and it. i suppose that it's been patience isn't it and just it is and that's not my best thing that <laughs> <laughs> i'm not the most that's why your person. mom's doing this bit <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> now the other thing and this is my machine she's not allowed <laughs> she does thunder on the machine emma does I She's love so that you're both getting new machines. And I mean, it, it, it is a testament to the machines because obviously you both must have used so many machines oh, yeah. in your yeah. uh, in your, yeah. your sewing career. Yeah. I must have 15, probably 12 to 15 machines. Wow. Mum's got a lot of machines. Wow. She's a bit of a machine-aholic. I mean, I've been, I've been machining for 60 65 wow. years. Amazing. See, I don't know why she's looking at me because I wasn't alive when she started <laughs> machining. <laughs> yeah, I I don't remember you don't that. remember those first few years? No. <laughs> but these lovely new machines, they're a different thing altogether. I learned yeah. on one of these windy ones. Yes. Yes, yeah. it's amazing, isn't it? The technology that's now oh, in the machines yeah. is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. It's lovely. I just love machines. I'm a bit of a machineaholic. Yeah. 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 I have to be yeah. careful. I like printers. Yeah, I've got I a know. lot of printers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so I'm going to show you a bit of satin it's stitch now. Okay. If we've got we've got time, haven't yes, we? Yes, we've time. Right, so I've set my machine up with an open toe foot. I always use an open toe foot when I'm doing this sort of fancy work because you can see where you're going. You can't if you. I mean, even one of those plastic feet. 
Yeah. They say that you can see, but you can't as well as you can with real open. I mean, you can use an open toe plastic foot. That yeah. doesn't make any difference. Right. Just not okay. having that bar in front of your you, needle. You can't see where yeah. you Because even the, the clear ones distort the fabric a little bit in yes. your eye. Yes, yes so. of course. Mm. Of course yeah. they're going to do. They, yeah, mm. you'll right. get a kind so. of magnification, won't you? Mm. I've got this set up for 2.6 um, width width and the point four for the length of the stitch because it's the length of the stitch which makes it satin stitch right okay yeah. if you if it's a zigzag then it's um if you've got a satin stitch on your machine they mainly come up with that kind of standard yeah, they setting do. don't right. they yeah. so it's worth always trying the standard setting first because yeah. that's supposed to be the ideal yeah. if it's then not working quite right for you that's when you want to start tweaking it yeah. Yeah. yeah and again it's best to try this out on a, a practice piece before you yes. do it so you know your machine's doing what you want it to do yeah yeah and don't make the stitches too close together that's a big mistake that people make and then it clumps right. it looks okay. beautiful but it gets stuck under the machine because yeah. it's not right. moving fast enough yeah 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 now so set it, the machine up oh, gets in a knot. so mm. that the needle on the right hand side as you can see on the edge is right on the edge okay yeah and then you just you just steer it round. Now I don't use my glasses normally because I can't see as well on the glasses. <laughs> so I shall take them off there. That's better. And then you can whiz down the you can whiz down the straight bits. Okay, okay. Just steering it round nicely. You get to this here corner. Now you stop on the outside of the curve. Always the outside of the curve. Beautiful. And then you go a few stitches, stop on the outside of the curve, move it round. So move being it round. really careful. Mm, just yeah. taking your time, Take isn't your it? Time. Getting round that corner. I just love doing this. It's one of my favourite things. It does look so nice. It does look good when it's done it does, like that. It? Yeah. And it's that little bit of a challenge getting around that corner as well. So it's yeah. It's one of them that it looks good and it's still got. You know, you have to think about it. Yeah, it's not. It's not boring because it's too yes. easy. Yes. Now, when you get to this bit here, now you can see that the outside of the curve is on that side now. Yeah. And you turn it a little bit and come round. That's if you want to stop. Now, on this, if I've got a nice steady stitching going, I wouldn't need to stop, but I'm just showing you that so you can see what happens when you're on, when you've got a curve the other way. Of course. It's still on the outside of the curve. Yeah. But it's, um, it's on the other side of the applique. I can't see as well as I should be here. If you do get a little bit too far over to the left, then you can cut it off with your scissors. You can shave it. Okay. Oh yeah, so I've we done don't, that. If, even if it goes a little no. bit skew with you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's very good actually for these sort of shapes because it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're saying they're or they're organic natural shapes, so they're not yes. perfect. No. The nice thing about these shells, I find, is that they're there's some lovely long swoopy lines, mm. so you you've got a chance to just go, yeah. which is fun. I really like doing that. Yeah, I like that. It's yeah. Just, yeah. A lot of them have got long straight, not straight lines, but straightish lines. Yeah. yeah. And it wouldn't take you long to do this. I mean, to make this, these shells are quite easy to go around. On some of them, I've done wider stitches yeah. around these to make them, I don't know, a bit more shaped. Yes. I've gone up yes. in, in the width of the stitch. Yeah, to as, make you're, them. as you're stitching, yes, you're up and down stitching. again. Yeah. And I find that really does give it a really nice look on these yeah. seashells. You'll see that in the pattern actually on that picture that I put with the trace down picture. You can see that the, the satin stitches are, are altered on some of them too. Yeah, you to just look turn more realistic. It up, you turn it up a step or two at a time and then just do a few stitches and a, a few more and you'll see where it's um where it's going. You could you do a bit of that. No, mm. no, I'm not doing any on this. No. That looks really effective. I could do, but I won't. Isn't it just... And it's yeah. so satisfying. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. And it's just getting used to your machine as well, isn't it? Yeah. You know, yes. being slow, controlling it. And yeah, obviously definitely. seeing what you can do with the machine as well. Um, I'm just going to give, while you just go zooming back up yeah. that side, I'm just going to give a couple of reminders yeah. uh, because we've had sellouts, sellouts, sellouts. Okay, so first of all, we have got the beautiful cup. Remember, everything matches as well. So if you manage to get the cushions which have sold out, uh, but if you manage to get them, everything matches beautifully. So that's that first one. 
the lovely quilt. Hopefully, I suppose it doesn't matter if it's whichever which way it is either. Does We've never really worked out which direction that goes in. No, yeah, it, it, it doesn't matter, does it? No, no, no. It just doesn't matter. So that's your beautiful quilt. It's only twenty eight ninety nine. And it is flexi as well. So today you're saving sixteen pounds, but your first payment is only fourteen pounds and fifty pence. Uh, that, however, is a limited stock. Six six two nine three nine is your item number. The beautiful wall hanging, and this is approaching limited. I love this. It, it's that um, that fabric right outside for me on this one is my favourite. I just think that is so pretty. And again, remember, with the patterns, you are getting all the different shells, so you can mix it up. You can put your different shells on there. The choice is yours. And again, whichever which way you do it, it looks good. Kind of looks different as well, funnily enough. Um, if you do want that one, really pretty. Um, £12 saving there. Well, over £12 saving. Only £22.69. Remember, you get the full fabric, you get the full instructions and the applique um, for just £22.69. Uh, 565-635 is your item number. If you'd love to go for that one, please do not miss out on that one. How are we doing, ladies? Mum's just sit stick. Now, she's, having having a lovely time. Time. she's just having a lovely time. Yeah, yeah, something different now. If you yeah, want. do that. Okay. Yeah. That's so pretty. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, the quilt's just sold out. So remember, the cushions have gone, the quilt sold out, you can still get the wall hanging. Okay. And that one's the one that's my favourite with that material. I mean, just look at that material. That is absolutely beautiful. There you go. Oh, that is so pretty modern. You can tell it feels amazing. Um, five six five six three five is your item number if you'd love to go for that one. Uh, do not miss out on anything. We have put new things on the counter just because it's been so super busy. Uh, so we are going to have a look at them, but I would urge you to get on the website and then you can see exactly uh, what we've got left. <laughs> because, let's face it, there ain't much really. Um, now, <laughs> Would you like to do another demonstration or am I going down counter? Okay, we're going to um, we're going to do a little bit more counter at mm. some of the other goodies that we haven't seen yet. Uh, that wall hanging has now gone limited stock. So if you did want to get hold of that, that is now limited stock. I tell you, it is super, super busy. Um, I know I keep saying that, but yeah, it's what? just um, ridiculous. But, you know, so those perfect. prices, amazing. Um, now oh, then, um, we have got some goodies, again, that you might not have seen. The first one, now, if you missed out on the beautiful oil hangings, the stitchery. Now, look, look, that's one of the stitcheries. So, these are the ones that, obviously, um, you had your beautiful applique, which we've all sold out on. But this is the one where you've changed your pattern so it becomes a stitcher. Yeah. And this is, a, it's so effective. And I love that you've got the printed fabric because it does make it super easy. Yeah, you can get started straight away. No, no having to trace it or fiddle about. You can get that in your hoof and get stitching. I love that. So, so pretty. So with this one, now this kit um, for your, your stitchery with the bonus wall hanging. So what you've actually got for £10, um, you are getting the actual printed fabric. You've also got your, your fibres. You've also got the needle. And then, of course, you've got your full pattern with this one. Uh, so with this one doesn't come with the fabric and everything. This one comes with the printed fabric. And then it's up to you uh, what colours you put with this. Uh, um, obviously, you've got your finished, in fact, I can show you, you've got your, your ID, you've got a concept there at the back, but it is up to you what you want to go for. Now, your choice here is the pansy or the beautiful daffodil. Um, and remember, I mean, the daffodil sold out first last time with the other kit, but this time, uh, the pansy or the daffodil. And obviously, um, it's then up to you what you do with it. Because, I mean, with this one, beautiful for your, your your wall hanging well that's going to look good on a cushion it's going to look beautiful on a bag I mean, there's loads yeah. you can do with it oh you really can yeah yeah it's not just a, a wall hanging no that's really pretty and it's all hand stitched that one isn't it yeah yeah, yeah i did those yeah, yeah. and i'm not a hand stitcher so really? they're not difficult 
But do you work it in um, a frame? Do you put it in... Um... I always use a hoop. Yeah. I use a, quite a small hoop. Yeah. And I'm probably about... Six inches. I best. might have even done a four, but it's six inches six is inches a good best. size. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I like to keep it really nice and tight. Yeah. And that gives you the tension. It stops your threads, sort of, all your stitches pulling tight and yes. getting all wonk, 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 wonk. On a wonk. wonk. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can't, there is a word, but it's, words are not my friend today. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I much, much prefer to work in a hoop, but quite a small hoop so that you can get to the middle of it without having to stretch too much. Amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's really pretty. Nine pounds and 99 pounds, absolute bargain, saving five pounds of brilliant, brilliant prices for gifts as well, aren't they? Six, four, three, six, two, five. Think is with all of these if you're buying them for for presents you can literally put them away and they're not going to go off you know they're not going to go out of fashion um i love that i love getting gifts at this time of year but i never know where i put them uh, now this one this is really 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 cute it's limited stock i'm going to show you that straight away that is really cute isn't it nice yeah. i love a bit of nautical oh and the fabric you've picked is well lovely they're happy things i like happy yes. cute things so yeah i think it's great great for you going to the beach great yeah. for going on holiday great for just going out really and you want a bit of a sunshiny yeah. day yeah and, and that's the thing if it's a, a holiday bag a holiday beach bag should be joyful i it think it should so. be happy and yeah. that you have nailed it that fabric is lovely <laughs> tell you what though you need to be quick with this um so you've got your happy little crabs you've got your your wonderful little cuddlies the little bird the seagull um, and then oh that dotted fabric is amazing and then obviously the lining is beautiful as well you get your full pattern there of course and um, that is your nautical quick and easy charm pack bag 14 pounds and 59 pence bargain um, 589491 is your item number now next is just sold out <laughs> sold out I do apologise. I'm going to show you what you're going to... Oh, my gosh. It's sold out. That's what you could have got. And that's what you could have won. <laughs> but some people... That is beautiful. I won't yeah. talk about it anymore. Because that's gone. Oh, that is lovely. Um, the nautical charm pack bag that we've literally just shown, that has also sold out, I tell you. So what am I going to do again now? <laughs> We're going back to Pam. Yeah. We're just going back to you too. Just going back to Mum. Emma and Pam, go, just going back to you so we can go. <laughs> have we got any seashell? No <laughs> hangings left. <laughs> I think. Seashells left. I, we have, got I, have we got seashells? I, 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 no? Has this sold out as well? Not all of them. That's sold out. All the seashell right, ones that's have all right. now sold out. No, none out. left. No, 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 all no. the seashells sold out. That's all right. Wow. What have we got left? Oh, well. I've We've got, got Easter panel. basket. I haven't got a demonstration for Easter baskets, <laughs> but I have got a demonstration for a panel. Well, well, yeah, demonstration for a panel. Easter baskets are really simple, though. These are lovely. Oh, yeah, they're so yeah. simple. They are really cute, really quick and easy, because I wanted something that you can make. They're a bit, a bit crumpled in the box when they got sent in, so I'm sorry about that. They do iron yeah. <laughs> out nice and flat. But they are a quick and easy project, because you don't want to be spending hours and hours Easter, because it's, it's been and gone quite quickly. Yes, yes. But oh they my are gosh. something different. That I fabric. Know. Isn't it fat? That's ridiculously cute. Oh. Look, look, it's a little rabbit pretending to be an Easter chick. Yeah. yeah, I think there might be some chicks pretending to be rabbits somewhere. Oh my gosh, I'm yeah. going to show you this. Yeah, I'm, there are, yeah. I'm opening this up because that is absolutely adorable. Look at that <laughs> fabric. I mean, oh. I know, I loved it. I couldn't resist that range. I had to have it. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that is well cute. If you are, I mean, if you're making a little Easter basket to put um, someone's Easter eggs, but I tell you what, not just for Easter eggs, this, this is beautiful just for putting out an Easter for decoration, yeah, the isn't decoration it? decoration would be fab, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's something that you could put your bread rolls in, or, you know, it's Ooh, yeah, get, yeah, yeah. like I do that. I don't, <laughs> I've never done that in my life. But I'm sure if I had something like that, I'd be tempted to put bread rolls in I it. I think so. Or just, you know, I'm thinking Easter eggs, though. Yeah. Chocolate, really. Kids yeah, could yeah. use those yeah. for an Easter egg yes. hunt. Absolutely. Yeah, could. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Down, it? Yeah. That is just... A, I tell you what else these would be lovely for, which is limited, the green. The green option is limited. These would be beautiful. You know when you, um, you give, like, your daffodil? A daffodil gift, oh, and you yeah. could sit that in there, couldn't you? you? Could. Obviously, take it out because yeah. you don't want to. But, but as a gift, that would be a beautiful yeah. gift. You that. could put a pot plant in there. Oh, 
they are yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Even the ribbon. I mean, look at the ribbon. Mm. Yeah, oh, they're no. <laughs> cute. Uh, £14.99, pound 777635 is your item number. You need them in your life. They're pretty. OK, <laughs> now, panels. <laughs> yeah. Phew, we've got some fabric panels. Um, OK, <laughs> pick a mix, any three for these. So, ladies, I mean, I'm going to show these. I can spend yeah. a, a good hour showing my fabric panels. Don't you worry. Ooh, <laughs> these are nice. I know. Yeah. Isn't that just fab? Now, that's, that's one I've got to well do That's well cool. Isn't that great? So those now, are... who's the artist for this? Because that looks familiar. Lorelei. Oh, Lorelei, yeah. yeah. That looks yeah. familiar. I'm trying to think, is it Lorelei Harris for Lorelei Designs? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Mm. So this is the big bells. Oh, so something like this. No, it hasn't gone. Has it gone? Oh, don't tell me it's gone. This one's okay. Okay, good. Oh, thank goodness. This one's okay. <laughs> so something like this then. You'd be appliqueing over the top. You'd be doing all your beautiful fussy stitches and fancy stitches, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you can do so much with this. It's so versatile. I've got a couple of ideas. Let's we'll see what Anne's done with it. Oh, oh really? Let's yeah. have a look. Let's yeah. have a look. Okay, so I took my panel and I stuck that sticky stuff on the back. Oh, yeah? On the, stuff. I actually stuck it on the whole panel. Yeah, because okay. you loved it. Because so I loved it. <laughs> and I'm going to do stuff. So I've then gone and cut out. First off, I went and got a, a pair of jeans. Yeah. Now, because I'm not the slenderest girl, I've got nice big jeans, which is really good because <laughs> I've got a really big bell on one of the. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes, on one of the gosh. legs. That's well cool. Isn't that brilliant? I haven't stitched round it yet. I haven't got around to doing that. You're going to satin stitch round it? No, I'm no, going to hand stitch hand it. Hand stitch. Yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to yeah. do the legs. Yeah, you? I'm yes. not going to take yes. it apart. No. I've also popped. Oh, that's so cool. A flower on the pocket. Amazing. There you go. And then, if I open them up, I popped another flower on the back pocket. Oh, that's so cool. So that, I'm looking forward to wearing those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, They'll look amazing. And when fun. they're all stitched as well. Yeah. I mean, there's a there's a designer clothes that, um, or a design of clothes that I love, and they use a lot of stuff on them, and you know, yeah. and honestly, they're so expensive. But yeah. actually, you can do make it yourself your and make it look so <laughs> super cool. And that nobody else is going to have these. Yes. Nobody no. else is going to have them. Mm. So the nice thing about this panel is you've got these big bells, but you've also got a lot of little motifs oh, yeah. a lot of little flowers so i've cut this one out shiny on the back because i've got my glue on it yeah and i've just gone mm, what can i stick them on last year in the sales the january sales i think it was i found these tea towels yeah and i went oh they go with those Perfect. so i'm going to make them they don't go in my kitchen mind you but they're so fab <laughs> i don't care <laughs> i'm not sure what i'm going to use them for um I thought just cutting out one of those, yeah. popping yeah. it on, or you could do a whole motif across. Yeah. And it would be a case of ironing it on once you cut it out, then you could satin stitch these. Yes. The way Mum's done all mm. those, you could hand stitch them, you could just top stitch them. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you put some stitch and tear on the back. Because you could do like three motion yes. stitching over the top could. of that. Yeah. Yeah, you could. That would be fab. I, I never think remember to do with that. This, stitch that and tear would on the really back. suit free motion because it's got that sketchy look, like, hasn't it? Sketch. I was going to say scribble sketch is the word. Yeah. It definitely is. It's a really good panel for that. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I, I love that. That is Isn't that fun? proper cool. cool. You found, found one of my favourites. Shall I show you some other panels? Yeah, go for it. Um, okay, because you're only paying, you're choosing three, you're only paying £17.90. Oh my gosh, that's lovely. Oh wow, either which way looks good. <laughs> that's beautiful. There you go. It's a little family tree, that oh, one. That's so pretty. That's children at play. Oh, that's going to make an amazing family wall hanging, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Stitch all the names it? in. That's for granny and granddad, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that is yeah. adorable. So that's that one. I obviously won't fold all these up proper just because that's of time. Oh, yeah. I'm loving these. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, that's amazing. So this is Corey Dantini, <gasps> one of my favourite. I think she started with scrapbooking. I think that, I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure she started scrapbooking. So you can see that there's a definite yeah. sketchy style to her work as well. Oh, my gosh, I adore that. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. That yep. is beautiful. And the double, um, you've got, um, you know, one of each. No, two of each. Two of each, So, yeah. obviously, you know, you could, um, oh, you could get loads out of that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, next, next. I tell you what, it feels lovely as well. Yeah, it's oh, beautiful no, fabric. I want to show you all of these. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have got another, what time's your other show, ladies? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Yeah. So, we can see these at two o'clock if we've got them left. 
These, I'm not going to lie, I adore these. I can't see what I'm showing. <laughs> oh, Christmas stockings, they're beautiful. Yeah. Sorry, I'm peeping over it. So they're gorgeous. I'm being quick. I'm not going to. Oh, my gosh. You yeah. need that in your life. Look at them animals. Adorable. Next. Oh, look, it's another one of them. Quick, Cleone, quick. Yeah, this is a this is the smaller version of that big one with it's lots gone. of different bells. Right, that oh, has gone. Yeah. Oh no, look at it. It's amazing, but it's gone. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't so want that cool. one, really. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Show you this one. How much time have I got? Three minutes. I can Ooh, do this. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Isn't that These great? These are so funky. Yeah. Again, so Argentini. Yeah, beautiful. Sold out. Oh, oh I love that. Yeah. That's sold out. Okay. Christmassy one, Christmassy one, bear with. I really like, ladies, you, your panels are so different. Mm. Wow, yeah. that's mega. That's a big stocking, a big stocking, isn't it? Every time I think I've sold out of those panels, I find more of them. So if you've seen them mm. before, it's because I keep finding them. Oh, these are well cool. Aren't they sold brilliant? Out. Yeah. Sold out. It's beautiful. I yeah. love panels. I do. I think, I just think there's so much you can do with them. And for someone like me who doesn't sew, but it still, it really inspires me because there's so much you can do. We've yeah. got this, but yeah. there isn't many left. That's proper nice. Because look how much stuff is going on that you can do. Oh, you're stitching and have buttons oh, and have bells and have lovely thread. Ooh, glitter. Sold out. Oh, oh. sorry. Yeah, you're thing. not even getting time to talk. <laughs> I'm not Next. complaining. It's lovely. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> oh, the ladies. I love every single one. Look at this. Quickly, oh no, I can't find the hand. Look, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, another Cory Dantini, oh. I'm a fan. Oh my gosh, that's another one of my favourites. Hello favorites. world, isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's sold out. That is beautiful. Mm. That's my favourite, favourite. <laughs> it's sold out. Oh my gosh, I would have that in my house. I'm no, I never grew up. I did. Oh, I st overrated. In it. Yeah. Well, isn't not growing, growing up, up yeah. brilliant. Have they all gone? Oh, I'm still showing you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just show that one because I want to see it? It's sold out, but oh my gosh, look what you've bought. That's yeah. well cool. <laughs> we Literally you. showing you because I wanted to see it myself. There's one more. But uh, we have got the Easter yeah. bonnet, so if you do so want, I'm just showing you what you bought. Oh, this is ace. Sorry, I really shouldn't do this because we can't put anything on the screen. But oh, but there is some at left. Oh, look what you've bought. That's amazing. Sold out. Sold out, sold. <laughs> um, what about that roll of fabric? I don't know what. In that theory, is. that's next hour. Next hour. It's a little. You've got to hide it. Slight. Two o'clock. Yeah. Easter baskets, so. though. Oh, yeah. Um, 55 seconds, ladies. Why do they need Easter baskets? Because who doesn't need an Easter basket? Everybody needs an Easter basket. Look yeah. at them. They've got bunnies on them. Oh, you have an yeah. age. You've got rabbits dressing up as chicks. You, can't you need not. that in you your life. Do. Everybody do. needs that. No, you don't. Even rabbits. if you're not having them for Easter, they're just going to make you smile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, totally. eat the hat. That makes Easter every day the best thing ever. Oh, ladies, thank you ever so much. That was ridiculously <laughs> thank busy. Thank you. Um, thank you. We'll back up with two. Hopefully, we'll have some stock. Uh, yes. We yes. have got a whole new counter. Thank goodness. Yes. Quite a lot sold out, ladies. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Leanne. Thank you. Oh, it was right. so nice to see you both. <laughs> um, don't go anywhere apart from to check your baskets out. If there's any of them panels left that you didn't manage to get, get them. Get the Easter baskets. Cutest thing ever. Um, don't go anywhere. <laughs> okay, cookie. So we have got a Rizuri one day special coming up next. Then we're springtime in it. Crafting with the dreamies. And then it's us girls again um, for the second count of the big day. Hi, I'm Petrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching.
great town. Everybody has been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows. Shopping online with the craft store has just got easier with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan. Spread the cost of your basket, whether there is one item or many, with three interest-free payments. Simply choose Pay in 3 at checkout and pay for purchases between £30 and £2,000 over three equal instalments for the next three months. No fees and no interest. Spread the cost of your shopping with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan at the craft store. Hello, I'm Hayley. I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our Winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. Now it is the penultimate live hour of the one day special and we have lots of different options for you. Good afternoon again Catherine. Good afternoon Alex. Ah uh, right then. <laughs> so this is nice isn't it the way that they've done this. Yes because it if is. you just want one or two you can pick and choose what you want. You definitely can. not We don't often see this. I think part of the big save event that's why we've got this here. Yes. So savings across the board but as you say uh, you can pick out those individuals and sometimes you know we see certain bundles when it comes to a one day special and not everybody wants everything yeah. it's nice to have the option to go for those maybe those items that have been missed that's right like that uh, and we've got some good prices on the show for you so each of these you are saving a quarter off the original price because each of them are just 18 pounds and 74 pence let's take a closer look then First off, we have got the beautiful enchanted carriage. I cannot help but think Cinderella. It's just the thing. It just yeah. is. Even though it's not pumpkin shaped, it's still very, very <laughs> grand. So we've got this here. Uh, and as with all of the Zuri moles, aren't they so incredibly detailed? They really, truly are. Yeah. Do you, know, you, you think of Cinderella, so do I to a point, but I always think of wedding carriages. Definitely. Really posh ones. Ones for, you know, William and Kate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if I just wing this in, there you go, you can see all of that detail. It's a really pretty sample, this one. Yeah, that's one of Leanne's. Mm. Um, I think she's used uh, dry clay there with some of the wax as well, but team with the flowers, very pretty in colour. In fact, there's lots going on there. I've there just noticed there. the background as well, beautiful. But lots of ways, of course, that you can create that, that, um, that actual piece, because whether you're using resin, whether you're using different colour clays, whether you're using metal effects, mm. you can establish many, many different versions of this. Nice. Right, so then uh, a real favourite is the butterfly wings. Now, half the stock has gone, and you could put whatever you like as the body. I mean, I know that a um, good couple of the samples have got the perfume bottles that I think is so cute and cool and, yeah, funky. Yeah, I mean, you could make it very steampunk. You could have cogs down the centre of the butterfly there, which would look perfect. I know some of the machinery mould, which is in one of the other selections, has been used in this one as well, which works beautifully. I am just going to plug, actually, Viva yes, Decor for oh, later, because yeah, yeah, we've got Viva at five and then again at nine with some mediums that actually if you love the look of that sample and the other one we've got as well oh, the butterfly, yeah, yeah. we've got goodies that you can recreate those certain effects with later on excellent have a look at this yeah, one I love this one isn't that cool isn't that the most beautiful perfume bottle in the center there oh, I love it love it right then so that is your butterfly wings then the next one we've got is our fire dancer 
um, and she again has so much detail. Her dress, I just want her outfit. I want her outfit, Catherine. There you go. I know so it's glorious, isn't it? Actually, yeah. I didn't use a dress in the earlier show. Oh, did we, you not? Yeah, I'll show you back at demo how I've used this one. I also used the butterfly wings that we've just seen as part of a demonstration with air dry clay that is still drying out. But the two together, mm -hmm. you can make a, a completely different sort of character. She doesn't have to be a dancer. No. She can be a fairy. She yeah. can be whatever you want her to be. Excellent. And then, speaking of those perfume bottles earlier on, so you've got the two perfume bottles and then you've also got the atomizer in there. Um, and again, we've got a fabulous sample to show you, so let's bring this one in. Lovely. Love the colours. Yeah, the very vintage. The pinks and the creams are gorgeous. Then, coming down to the bottom, we have got our astrolabe. That's right. Good. I don't know why I have difficulty <laughs> with that. Uh, and it's, an, it's a big piece, isn't it? It is huge, huge. And, you know, these components will all work together. Mm -hmm. But, of course, you can use them individually as well. Yeah, why not? And then you can see on this sample, that looks really cool, doesn't it? You could make that look pretty steampunk, too, I think. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It works perfectly, again, with the pipe work, with the cogs that you'll see in other moulds that we've already got. Or maybe you've already got pieces that will work in conjunction with that one. Um, this one, again... Ian, I know you were speaking with Ian last night, yeah. uh, uses his, motor, his motors to make them motorised as well, so you can have those components actually working mm. if you do want to do that. Or just fasten with a, a brad or some sort of paper fastener so you can turn those yeah. dials separately. You do get the lens included in with that, so right. when you've used that lens, you can recreate your own using resin or just get hold of some cabochons because yeah. they will fit. It's good. And then we've got our Sagittarius coming up next. Uh, and it, they, they, these next three have poems with them as well. They do. Yeah. And a different frame in each. I want to point that out as well because obviously it's not just the, the star sign that is different. The poem is different for each one and the framework around the poem is di different. I love using the frames individually as well. You don't always have to put the poem in there. So yeah, definitely different ways of working with these in particular. Lovely. Then we go on to Aquarius. There it is. Aquarius, the water carrier or the water bearer. Right. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have got Scorpio. Now, nearly half the stock of Scorpio has gone. Uh, £18.74, and, and you've got a £6.25 saving. Item number is 823966. Then we go on to the smaller options. Uh, the first one we start with, oh yes, these absolutely beautiful gates they could be gates for a church they could be gates for a, I don't know I'm trying to think a stately home some the pearly gates yes, even yeah yeah a magical kingdom it uh, could be the, the church door it could be an ornate door it doesn't have to be gates yeah good point we haven't got the sample. I don't know where it's gone. We seem to be lacking some of the samples again today. Yeah, but I can't I've see taken any. the turrets from the top of the gates there yeah. and used those embellishments behind other things. Medusa was one that I used. We haven't got her on the show anymore, but um, just use them as embellishments. They look amazing. Mm. So again, once you ca start casting from them, and you can see the ways that you can break things down. Yeah, it's incredible what you can achieve. Good stuff. Uh, now we're approaching limited, so that's very vulnerable at the moment. Then we've got our violin magic. I love this one. Oh, it is it's gorgeous. Stunning. You've got some beautiful florals within that one as well. Mm -hmm. And then moving along, we've got our beautiful lady, butterfly woman. Ah, oh, good. I've got a little sample here just to pop in so you can see her, all of her detail. Isn't her hair magnificent? It really is, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, you don't have to have a, a butterfly lady that you can no. take the wings away or, you know, cut them out or don't make them in the first place. I adore her dress. I love mm. her dress, especially that leaf that's in the centre. Yeah. I often take that out and use it as an individual item. You could too. And then we've got our swan, I believe. Yep. Now we are nearly 40% of the stock gone here. Isn't this a stunner? Look at that. And that was easy to do, um, was Alex, it? because, yeah, now what I've done there, I've taken a cast from the mould, then I've recast the flowers to sort of make them a little bit more pronounced, okay. and recast one of the wings, so I've put them as though they're separate rather than being close together, right. so it just gives it more of a three-dimensional feel. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. And we've got our rising phoenix as the next one. Now, the rising phoenix, a third of the stock has gone. Last one on this row, uh, then we've got our lovely fancy symbols. Uh, you've got the ampersand, the exclamation mark and the question mark. And I'll show you a sample in a sec. 
we move on to our letters now we've sold out of which one the one with k in it we've yes, sold out of that one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we do have this one here where you have got your o p q r s t now that one is limited so that's probably going to be the next to go following on here we have c d e f g h that one's also limited oh okay and moving along once more u v w x y z and then we go on to our numbers here you've got one to five and then you've got six to naught so well worth getting the both of those i feel and then we have got uh, this lovely uh, scrapbook page really with i mean the detail and i think have you used a bit of uh, gilding wax? There's wax. That's one of Leanne's again. That, uh, yes, wax has been used over there. And if you look at every individual letter, you'll see that although they match, the detail is different. It's not kind of a replica mm. each time that you see a different letter. The way the detail has been used is different. Yeah. I just think they're absolutely stunning. They are, aren't they? And I love this sample as well with the K on it. Let's bring this in. And uh, she's in bit. K is, is also, this is K has gone. Yeah, oh, K has gone now. Oh, I forgot. Oh. K has gone. <laughs> uh, now we have had a, another sellout. What's gone? What's gone? O P Q R S T. <laughs> that one has now gone. <laughs> right. So we'll we'll pop that one off. I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. That one's gone. Now the ornate gates. They have now gone limited. So do be quick on that one. Uh, they're all in this bundle they're all 16 pounds and 50 pence with a five pounds 49 pence saving so that's saving a quarter off the original price one three nine six four three then we go on to the large ones uh, and you've got five options here and I can see we've got a few more samples behind here to show so that's so cool so some of these samples, well they're all absolutely brilliant first one this one is the machines so you've actually got machines written and then you've got all sorts in here it's a little bit steampunk as well yes um, it, this is a fantastic mold Alex now the lower part of the mold if you look where the owl is the woodpecker the pipe work and the dial that is actually all one piece but you can separate them out so mm -hmm. obviously with your air dry clay it's very easy to do that if you're using a resin which yes. is self leveling you need to create a little dam with something like a plasticine or um, that sticky stuff that you put posters up or if you did manage to buy it I've used the Medina air dry clay before as well just forms a little stopping point so you can take individual areas out that piece you've got actually yeah. is resin and you can see the owl isn't attached so that's exactly what I did there yes. I formed little dams to stop the the resin flowing into areas I didn't need it oh I love what it's been coated with as well that's just, just mica is and um, resi tint in the resin so that wonderful. was mica dusted into the mold first love that okay so that's your first one your machines the one in the middle is the Mariner's Jewel. I think I've got... A, yes, I do. Ah, oh, right, right, right. Hang on then. Let's bring this in. Because it's... I'll tell you what, it threw me because it's got the... Oh, have I got the wrong one? That, actually, I think the back of that one is from the Astrolabe. I might be wrong, but there is a Mariner's Jewel sample there. It's the clock right in front of you, Alex. Oh, that's it. Can't that's see the one. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> There we go. Oh, now that, let's bring it did in. used to light up, but I don't know if the battery's gone on that now. But it's mm. a, it's yeah, the battery's yeah, it's gone a clock sadly. That has been recycled. That is awesome. Isn't that it's clever, clever, isn't it? Wow. Yep. Very very nice. Um, and then moving along, we've got a little bit of everything, and it really does. You've got crowns, cameos, uh, fleur de lis. There's clocks. There's cogs. And again. So this is this one's a mix, isn't it? That's got a mix of lots of different things on it. I think you've got some of the machines in there. Yeah. Let me have a look. We've got yes, we've got the goggles from the machines mold. Mm -hmm. You've got cogs on there, which I think I think have come one. from that one. Yeah. The flower I know is from a past mold that was sold out, but I mean we've got other florals within other yeah. molds if you want to recreate that. Uh, there is some wording on that as well, isn't it? What words been used? Oh, hang on. Is it, the, the is it steampunk at the top? Yes, it is. Yes. So that yeah. again is part of the machines mold. Good. Okay. Um, now the little bit of everything 60% of the stock has gone and then we come down to our faces of darkness uh, yellow and red oh this one okay got a sample here let's bring this one in that's cool isn't it I've got another sample behind here actually one moment 
this one here. Yeah, awesome. And then, have I, right, Catherine, is this one from the faces or is this one from that the That one is the uh, faces. This one's the faces. How cool is this for a tissue it, box? It, it is confusing. The reason, right, if it's the faces of darkness, you've got the yeah. jack, queen, king, yeah. If oh. it's the aces, they're all aces. So is this, so this is the faces? Yes. Good, okay. Amazing. And then the aces of darkness is on this one. It's cool. I <gasps> love both of those. They are brilliant. And you can just take out those inner areas if you want as well. You don't have to do the whole of the, the playing card. There you go. Look at that. Can you imagine if you're making to sell and you had a stall with all of these gothic things on? I think that would be amazing. Now, each of these options is $21.99 and you've got a really good saving of £8 on these. 436932 is your item number. Now, if you do want to stock up on clay, now we've had lots of sellouts of clay. The Medina's gone, some of the Hearty's gone, but we have got this one, which is your twin pack. Uh, it's 400 grams in total, 17.99 is the price, and your item number is 040721. If you do want a single pack of clay, we've got that option as well, uh, and they're 200 grams, and it's 9.99. 907887 is your item number. Right then, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to you. Which model okay. are you going to do today? Well, I think because we didn't get a chance to do the resin again this yeah. morning, we're going to do it. Well, I love pure resin. enough to um, demold for four o'clock, but we will talk about it. But I do want to just bring in the sample that I did earlier on, because we were talking at the beginning of the show with a one-day special, of course, the fire dancer, and also the wings from our butterfly. So now this isn't finished. Obviously, this is still drying out. If I can hold this to the front, do you know, this worked out better than I expected. What I was actually going to do, I didn't want the whole of the skirt. I wanted to change the skirt. And I was actually going to apply something over the top. But I really like how a little skirt is just there. Cute. It's like a little tutu. It is, isn't it? And then what I've done, if I just bring in the butterfly wings and show you the butterfly wing mold, I've just taken the top section of the wings out to make them a little bit smaller. So she's now a dancing fairy. So we'll, we'll probably finish her off and use her a little bit later. Might use some of the mediums from the Viva Decor show as well, but nice. she's currently drying. Uh, we did sell out of the clay bundle with the mixing chart, but we've still got the colours available in a pick and mix. So all I used for, co for colouring the skin tone there was a tiny bit of yellow and mm -hmm. an even tiny bit of red and some of the white clay mixed together. And by applying that into your mould, you don't have to worry about painting the skin tone afterwards, which is the hardest thing to do. Right. Quite often, that's where you kind of spoil things a little bit. It's quite easy to add colour to wings and skirts and that sort of thing, but when you try and do the faces, you can also fill in the detail. When she's got very fine features, like the nose and the eyes, if you apply lots of paint over the mm -hmm. top, you're going to fill those in. So okay. uh, you can watch that back from earlier on. So uh, what we will do, we're going to mix some resin, Alex. We've got the Elichem on. I know there's a slight delay on this because I think they're just close for New Year, actually. Yeah, uh, 5th of January to come from. Is it wrong of me to have a favourite medium? Because I love resin. I don't know why I love it I so much. I don't think it's wrong at all. Mm -hmm. I, do you know, I often get asked, do I have a favourite medium? It's a tricky one because it depends on the job that I'm doing. But okay. I will say, and yeah. I'm going to show this with the demo actually, um, there are certain moulds that if you've got the resin, it really comes into its own. I will explain why when we get up to it. Okay. But if you're new to the moulds, if you're new to the mediums, I always think air dry clay, the hearty clay, is a good way to go because right. it's... It's nice to work with. It's very lightweight. You can use it on your cars, on lots of different projects. Um, just to get used to the moulds and start to work with the detail, it's a good way to start. Okay. Res resin, for detail for me, mm -hmm. you will not improve on. Right, because it okay. finds every tiny little crevice. And the detail is superb. Now, I have got, I'm going to bring out my bigger bottles because I've already started these. Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> the <big> Whoppers. <laughs> and this shows how much I love the resin as well. So it's a one-to-one. -one. So these are a kilo each, so wow. two kilos in total. That's good. And this goes further than you would first imagine. We do have other sizes as well. I know we have got the 250s, so... If you want uh, to dip two, your Yeah, so that's mm. 500 in total. So you've got 250 
and 500. Uh, right. 250 and 250 make 500. They both do exactly the same thing. Um, you want... If you haven't got weighing scales that are working, then <laughs> make sure <laughs> that you have got some measuring jugs because you do want to measure this out as accurately as possible. I am going to mix some clear to begin with. I'm using a silicone jug. These are really, really handy because any residue left in the jugs, when it cures, you just kind of scrunch it and mm -hmm. all the bits fall out. Don't ever put resin down your sink. Not a good idea at all. So it's one part to one part. So I'm going to, it doesn't matter which one you do first. I try and take one lid off at a time because you don't want to get the lids mixed up. Otherwise you might seal them on top of each other. I've got some little markings on the jug that I can see. So I'm just going to put one part of the resin in. And then straight into this we'll go with one part of the hardener. And then we, ideally you want to give this a stir for about three minutes. Um, if you're not completely accurate with your measurements, the larger the amount that you're measuring, the less it will matter, to be honest. Okay. But you want to try and be as accurate as possible. The last couple of shows we've had, we've had the Hydroflow, which is a completely different type. It's water-based. It's not really a resin, although we did refer to it as a resin. But it's very, very different. And you could play with that a little bit more. You can make it more liquidy. With this type of resin, you want to be as accurate as possible. Now you will get bubbles in the resin, um, you're not going to avoid that. There are different ways that you can get rid of the bubbles. When I'm on air I tend to sort of over stir which creates more just so I can show you how to get rid of them. But a few little tips, if you've got a bowl of warm water, not hot, don't have boiling water, but warm water, as you stir or once you've stirred, sit your little pot in the warm water, that will help bring the air bubbles oh, okay. to the surface. Yeah. You've got quite a nice open time for working with this one. You don't have to pour it straight away. Also, rather than whisking, which I'm actually doing at the moment, just to speed it up a little bit, um, more fold it together, but you want to make sure that you really mix those two components nicely together. If you've got a slightly larger jug and you want to mix more, obviously it would be better as well. But, you know, there's times where I just mix very, very small amounts. Now, I am going to add a colour in a second, but before I do that, there's something I started earlier that I just want to show. I have shown it before, but if you've never seen the resin and you've missed the earlier shows, then it's quite an important step. So with all of the Zuri moulds, they are a matte finish. If I bring one in that looks a little bit cleaner, we'll look at this perfume bottle here. Sometimes when you see moulds, they look very shiny and glossy. Right. When you pour resin into a very shiny, glossy mould, the resin will come out looking clear. Got you. These are a matte finish. These are exceptionally high quality silicon. You get different standards. I actually prefer the matte finish because for these types of um, projects that I create or the work mediums I want to add, it's almost as though it's giving you a key to that. Even if you use a clear resin, I, I've done in, in the past demonstrations here where I've used a clear vase mm -hmm. and then wanted the frosty effect applying <coughs> to the vase so you've got the best of both worlds. Yeah. But earlier on we demolded the carriage and Ooh. if I turn this to the back, let me just put that on the back of this mould. This is what we did last night, yeah. Alex. Um, so it was already part filled, so I filled the rest of it. It had already cured. That's if you it. ever use resin and it cures, you can still continue to add layers. Now I put some galaxy flakes in there. From the back, you can really clearly see those. Mm -hmm. Because the back of the resin isn't touching the mould, but as soon as I demoulded ah, from ooh. the front, although, yeah, you can see the light there, but you've got that frosty effect. Yeah. If you want it to be nice and clear, mm. all you need to do is mix up a small amount of resin once it's cured. I'm just going to use a fingertip for this. If you use a paintbrush, you probably are going to end up throwing the paintbrush away. <laughs> but if you use a gloved finger, and I'm only going to do a certain amount, and then hopefully we'll be able to see on the camera. How does it do that? You're filling in, because it's a matte finish, you're filling in those little gaps. Right. Although you can't see them, they're there. And it makes it become clear again. Huh. So if I just put this back onto the mould, hopefully we might see it again better from the front camera, I'm not too sure. But some of it... Oh yeah, yeah, can yeah, we yeah see you it? can see that. I am going to turn it around to the front as well. And then will it dry clear? It will dry clear. See, I like it clear. So it depends on the project that you're doing. So should we do the rest just to make sure you can see it there? So that's all you need to do. Obviously, you need to let that resin cure again because you're adding another layer. 
Uh, the resin is fantastic if you want to build those layers, or even if you want to do different colours, you can do. You can do marble effects. You've got the best of everything. Now, what I would do with this is, once it has fully cured again, I would go over the top to bring out the detail with some wax, but it's kind of now I've got a glass carriage. Yeah, I so love that. So that could be Cinderella. So now you can see that's gone very transparent and it's really brought the shine out, the sheen in those flakes. I don't know if that will be cured enough to put any wax on at four o'clock. If it is, we'll do it. If not, cool. you won't get to see it this time. But just to, uh, yeah, you just leave it out in the air. Mm -hmm. Just leave it out in the air. Now, if you want to do a bit of a recap, I'll have a rummage yeah, sure. around for some colour and we'll use the rest of the resin cool. in a different mould when we come back, if that's all right. Amazing. Right then, uh, one day special time, you've got options. You've got choices to pick your favourites. Now, the carriage is just beautiful. So the one that um, Catherine's just had, where, where's my carriage? Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's detailed. It's magical. It's romantic. It's all sorts. Just look at that. And if you wanted to, you could just use the wheels on their own. There's the crown on the top. Um, or the, oh, that's it. Oh, Meg's just come out with a brilliant idea. If you use the middle bit, that could be some sort of crest or shield. Especially, actually, in this colour. Good idea. Uh, <laughs> and then, moving on, one of our favourites, the butterfly wings. So this one has been very busy. And then if I bring this in. So you can pop for the body for the butterfly anything that you like really but uh, using the perfume bottle works really well the next one is our fire dancer I love this sample that I'm going to bring in it's absolutely beautiful um, what's the best way to do it this is so pretty oh I think I think I might have to ask you to come up to me there um, so we've got her beautiful dress sort of blowing in the wind uh, she's got such a lovely poise Oh, there's a little bit of glitter been added to, to the, her hair. Have you That's noticed gorgeous. How you can even see every little toe? Yeah. That's how incredible the detail is. It's amazing. Good stuff. We've then got our perfume bottles and the atomizer. Got some separate here. So I can bring these in. So we've got these two. Whoops. Let me just grab this one. Hang on a second. Got this one. And we've got this one. And of course, you've got the atomizer there as well. Coming down to the bottom, we've got our astrolabe. It's a big piece, this, so you can layer them up, you can use them individually, whatever you fancy. Uh, do what Ian does and get it motorised, which is yeah, really cool. Definitely. So just over here, we've got the sample. And I think you're right, there's like a cabochon or something that's there. Yeah, or you, you do get a, a lens with it, but yeah. I, th I have to double check the measurement. I think it's two and a half centimetres. If you've, You can buy cabochons that will fit in there Good. once you've used it. Okay. Uh, we're moving on to our astrology signs. First off is Sagittarius. Good. Did I show you? There's a. There's another. Where's the other sample? Uh, oh yeah, the purple one I showed, and I don't think this hour I've showed this one. That's very cool, isn't it? That really does look celestial. So that is your Sagittarius. Then we move on to Aquarius. Each of these have got that uh, poem, that text. And then finally, we have got our Scorpio, which um, that one, I think, is still in the lead out of those star signs. £18.74, saving a quarter off the original price. 823966 is your item number. Then we go on to our small moulds. Now, the first one is the ornate gate. Have we got any? Oh, it's gone. Well, I mean, thank you. It's beautiful. So that one's gone. Take that one down. Move that across. What's the next one? Oh yes, the violin magic is the next one with loads of detail. There's florals added to it, which is stunning. And then we have our butterfly woman. Her, it's her hair. I love her hair. It's just billowing in the wind. Gorgeous. The swan dreams is next bring this in I love this it's so um, shabby chic it's beautiful now nearly half the stock of that one has gone the next I think it's our Phoenix good stuff Phoenix is there and then at the top we start going on to our um, ordinals isn't it I think or fancy symbols anyway 
Oh, ordinals are the... Okay, yeah, I've got that one. Anyway, you've got your question mark, you've got your exclamation mark, ampersand, and then, coming down here, because we have had sellouts of our letters as well, what have we got left? This is the one with C, D, E, F. Oh, this one's gone as well. Okie dokie, let's move that. I'm getting quite bare. Then the next one, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. We've still got some of that. And then I think, yeah, we, all we've got then is the numbers left. One to five, and then six to zero. And here is a sample. Yeah, very busy for these. Because that's the thing, you can personalise. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's they're what perfect, we like. They're perfect, aren't they? And like you said earlier, Catherine, they're all, they all go together, but they're all different. It's really beautiful. £16.50 for any of those moulds. You, again, you've got a quarter off the original price. 139643 is your item number. Then we go on to our large moulds, and the, yeah, especially with the A4 ones, you've got so many elements in there. The first one is your machines. And it does even have the word machine at the top. But you've got um, the goggles, the owl, you've, uh, the, um, what do you call it, like the piping down at the bottom. Did I have a sample with this one on? Oh, yes, I did. Of course I did. You've got this where Catherine's taken elements. I just love the colours to that. I think it's beautiful. And all the cogs on there. And in the middle, we've got our Mariner's Jewel, which... I just think this is amazing, this one. The clock, look at that. And then to the side, a little bit of everything. You've got a crown, uh, there's clocks, there's keys, fleur de lis, a cameo, star. Wings are on there. Where were my samples for this one? So this one, again, has got a mix of a bit of everything. Right, now, for this mould, we are 70% of the stock gone. I think this is a cracking mould. And then we've got our Faces of Darkness and then the Aces of Darkness, two different moulds. Now, the faces are Jokers and Kings and Queens. So, again, I've got to show this tissue box. I just think this is amazing. How cool is that? And the papers that they've used as well. I recognise those papers, but I can't remember which brand it is. Anyway, that's so cool. And then the aces, here we are, you can see those. So all the different aces and they're all skulls again. There's just, <laughs> Meg just said, that's so you. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Meg just said she thinks it's ace. Boom, boom. £21.99, £8 off. Item number is 436932. Now, you can shop by brand if you want to look for Zuri, Zuri Designs. And here's the website, so you can go to thecraftstore.com and see what else we have got in stock. Do we still have a few of those pastes left, or have they gone? Oh, good, still got some of those. Um, what other moulds have we got? Um, oh, the what, the mini... Oh, the mini Bat King, that's cool. Ah, uh, that's what I saw a sample of, that makes sense. Uh, graveyard is there. I haven't seen these ones, Catherine. Oh, that was the last one day special. Graveyard is amazing. Mm. I've just spotted we've got Libra on there as well, oh. so we've got another star sign. Is that in stock then? I didn't realise that we've got that one. Yeah, Libra's there. Good. Just not on this particular show, but you can still get it off the website. Which moulds? Which okay, ones are you going well, for? I'm going to use probably the Astrolabe, but I'm just going to mention one or two other things as well. Um, <laughs> I am known, you know, when I'm doing the shows, with especially the curing time when it comes to the resin, that we can't always demould everything. So sometimes things get left in my boxes. So we've got a little bit of uh, resin in this one that is totally cured. I think this might be about three months old. I did pop out the centre of this one. Now, what I've done in here is just use some coloured resin and almost just wipe that in with the fingertips. I didn't want to cover the whole area. This just goes to show again that you can do that, let that cure and then build up in those layers so another colour would go on top, giving a lovely, lovely effect. I'm just going to pop that back in because I do want to sort of leave that in there for another time. Um, so definitely think about building those layers. So any residue that you've got left in those pots when you mix, do not waste it. If you haven't got a, you know, a mould that's small enough to take it, just part fill it. You can always top it up at a later date. Now, two moulds that I just want to bring in are the Astrolabe and also Mariner's Jewel. 
Do you think now, they go together well? They work beautifully together. You could kind of interchange a little bit. A couple of things I will point out. You get the lens with the astrolabe. Mm -hmm. And the little hole in the centre that is created, you've got the little uh, knobbly bit there that, you know, it will form that hole for you. Okay. So you could put a brad or a paper fastener through there. If we look at the Mariner's Jewel, that hole is a little bit bigger. So if you are interchanging things, you might have to drill out into the astrolabe. Okay. But with this one, you don't get a lens. There's nowhere for a lens for it to go. But you do get the Chicago screw, which is the component that will fix the three layers together, allowing them to move. Obviously, they're not going to be motorized. You'd have to buy a motor separate if you're doing that. But they will create those wonderful holes in the center there for you. So yes, you can definitely mix them around. Just coming back to these two briefly as well, and I think it applies what I'm about to say, more with this one. With the air dry clay, I said if you were looking for a mold, if you're just starting out, air dry clay is a great place to start. You will struggle with this piece. Okay. The reason being, even if you're clay, you can do it, it's not impossible, but as soon as you try and flex the mold, you will find that that distorts a little bit. So you'll have to sort of replace it, make sure it's sat right before it dries fully. Right. With resin, these come into their own, they really, really do. So what we're going to do is pour the resin that I mix, but before we do that, I've got some of the Resitin Max, which Ooh. is the powder. And uh, this is absolutely fantastic. You can use other mica powders. I don't know if we've got the Resitin Plus on the show. Well, that's what the powders are. We've got the What's Max, the which is the... Well, the Plus is the powder. Right. The Max is the liquid that I'm going oh. to mix into the clear resin that I've already mixed. Right. But as I've got this here, sometimes these are on, sometimes they're not. You'll probably find them in the brand shop for Elichem. I think they're there. So we'll just add a little bit of the powder in. Um, just to create those colours. So I'm mixing three, the gold, the silver and the bronze. Don't be shy with it. <laughs> you know how much yeah. I like shiny things. Yeah, just, you don't really have to think about it. I like the two-tone or the triple-tone effect in mm. some cases here as well. I'm just going to keep, I won't be able to demold this today, I'm sure of that, but I will keep these for next time perhaps. Definitely. I'll stay within the moulds until I can demold them on a future show. So just to add a little bit of colour in there, first of all, ideally tap out any excess and then we will start to pour. Let me just put the lids on these before I lose all that Actually, powder. Actually, you just said something about, oh, you'll, you'll leave it in the moulds until you, you're ready. So does that mean like you could leave it in there for years and it wouldn't ruin your mould? No, it wouldn't. Once it's started curing, it's not going to do any harm. What I will say, though, is if you want to shape something around a jar, you need to demould. Um, after about, usually I leave it about eight hours. I say six to eight hours. If it's a warmer day, you might get away with six. So this piece here, we actually poured last night and I demolded this morning. That is still very malleable, so you could shape that now. As soon as you can get the, the resin out of the mold yep. without it distorting, it just pops away from the edges, you can shape to something. And then once it's shaped, yep. it, will, it will fully cure in that position. That's so bright, it almost looks glow in the dark. I know, and would you believe with the same pour right. that was done as well. Now that doesn't look anything like no. as bright, does it? No. Let me flip that? that over. You can wow. see it's the same. That is because I put some of the powder ah. into the mould first. Just right. a little bit of the gold and a bit of the silver. So it's kind of dulled that down. We're going to use that again maybe at four o'clock. So there's more I want to do to it. Cool. But let's go back to the resins because they have been stood for a while now. I've actually split them into two different parts. Okay. Um, they've already had a good stir. As you were doing the counter, just carried on stirring for a while. I'm going to put two different colours in. Now the Resitint, which we, I know we do have, are the Resitint Max, are the liquids. Now a little goes a very, very long way. These are resin based, they're meant for these resins. So don't think about using acrylic paints. You can't, you shouldn't really put water-based products into your resin mm -hmm. because they don't like each other. You might get away with a tiny little bit every now and again, but okay. it has to be the tiniest amount. These are very, very highly pigmented. All I've done is stir the pot. Yep. With a paintbrush, you can use a wooden stick or something. I split, we've got about half a pot of uh, silicon still in there, which is nice and clear. But as soon as I add that color. That's a tiny amount really tiny amount. Now obviously you can mix the colours together if you're going for a pick and mix or more than one selection. You can add colours together so maybe you're going for a yellow and a blue so you can make different greens. I always get asked what are my favourites and I do say for me 
my first two choices would probably be the black and the white right simply because they make the best base to work from if you're adding you know your colors of your waxes and things like that but it depends what you're making you might you know you might want this one is turquoise which is another favorite of mine mm -hmm. that tiny bit has created that color it's amazing the next one I'm going to mix is a different color as so I split the clear down into two jugs as I say so this Ooh. one is the maroon which is a really really strong rich, red of course yeah. so I'm taking off as much of that as I can just leaving the residue on the brush and we'll go in and we'll mix that as well this is a fabulous color lush yeah more favorites and we're going to do a, a little pour where we're mixing the two together Alex that's what we're going to do cool so which is very easy to do and you never know quite what you're going to get because what you see at the back isn't going to be what you see at the front when you demold yeah which is really interesting. Oh, I wish we could demold these today. Do you know, I will have another. We've been looking for samples in between shows, yeah. and we keep finding one or two extra bits. I still think somewhere I've got the astrolabe that has been precast in the same method, which hopefully I can find and bring in for four o'clock. So what I'm going to do now is start to pour. Now you can pour them together, or you can pour them separately. You can kind of blend them as you go, Ooh, yeah. and just allow them to find their own level because they are self-leveling. Uh, if you need to give it a little bit of a helping hand, you can. The fact that I've put powder in there will also help form those little air bubbles, so trap those air bubbles in there. So we will get rid of those in a little while. What I like about the consistency of the resin is if I go into this top area, it's very, very fine there. You can literally just drizzle that in. Now, if it does go over the top of the mould, don't worry, it's not a problem. I'll show you how to sort that out in a second. So we'll just drizzle a little bit more of that. I probably won't pour it all at the minute. I've still got some more of that left. I've, I think I've got enough mixed here to do the whole of this mould. Oh, it's so satisfying. Oh, it really is. Now, you may see some of the powder, the mica powder, lift into the surface. It looks like a planet now. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a pity this one isn't cured enough. It's, I really wanted to do this in the early show so we had a chance of uh, demoulding at four o'clock. But it's, yeah, it's, we've not got enough hours, I don't think. I don't think it's going to be ready. But I'm just giving this a helping hand to the edge there. You can also use a stick, a cocktail stick or a, you know, a paintbrush, if you want to sort of marble that further. Now, some of the powder is lifting, but not a lot of it. And it doesn't matter, there's plenty going to still remain in the bottom of the mould to give me a really nice finish when it comes to demoulding. Now the areas that I've really got to watch out for are these fine areas because quite often, although you can't see them, air bubbles could be trapped. So use a cocktail stick or something just to pop into those areas just to make sure that if there are air bubbles in there that you have dispersed them. Can you see that big one there? That I can see, I know it's hard on the camera to pick these up. Sometimes the front camera is better, sometimes the overhead. I think with the bubbles, the overhead is probably the best one to see it. Now, I'll try and point out, I don't know if we will pick it up, there's an enormous bubble there. There's hundreds. Oh, yeah, I can see and, that. can you see yeah. it? Just where the paintbrush is there, yeah. yeah. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of little bubbles in there. So, what you want to do is take your heat gun. And these moulds will withstand heat up to 240 degrees centigrade. My heat gun at its very, very hottest yeah. will only go to 230 and it has to be on a long time to really get hot to do that. So I'm just going to let that go a minute. Hopefully you'll see, you may not. I'll go for the big bubble for, oh, it's just gone. It's just hot. <laughs> now, I can literally see hundreds and hundreds of little bubbles bursting. They're so fine. It looks like it's fizzy. And as they burst, the resin looks much clearer. I wish you could see what I can see. It's very difficult to pick it up on the camera. But if you add the heat to the resin, it will make it more liquefied as well. I can still see a little air bubble that's trapped there as well, so I'm just going to use my stick just to get into that. There we are. You can see I think it moving as well. It becomes more liquefied. But that is going to help remove all of those air bubbles that are in there and of course move those colors around a little bit as well and that's all it takes so that would now just be left to cure make sure it's on a nice flat even surface you don't want it on a slope otherwise 
your resin will want to slope as well. That's true. <laughs> Lovely. Do you want to see a picture? Oh, yes, please. Uh, this is from Eric. Hello, good afternoon, Eric. Let's have a look. Ah, so you've done a fabulous plaque. William's room. Oh, look oh. at that. Oh, that's the king. Oh, he's saying, um, he just wanted to say how great Zuri moulds are. Uh, you'd recommend them to anyone. And... Oh, bless. <laughs> he said, um, here's some pictures if you think they're good enough. Yes, they most definitely are. Oh, and he says, Happy New Year to everyone at the craft store. Oh, Aww, you have a good one as well. Happy New Year, Eric. Yeah. That's Thank lovely. You. Thank you for sending that in. That is lovely, isn't it? Really mm. lovely project. Yeah. Now, I'm just using a spatula to scrape out as much residue as I can from the the jug there and i've still got some of the maroon left so while i'm here i just don't want to because i'm gonna have to move this out of the way um i am just going to fill this up so i don't want to waste it alex it will be demolded another time i've still got some more left i've still got the ham to do but just to show again this particular area on this mold you've got really fine detail so if you have got a cocktail stick or something just help the resin just flow into those areas Everywhere there is small detail, and especially when you put the powder in there, it will form those little areas that will trap the air. So although it looks they're not there, sometimes they will be. So just give it a little bit of a help in hand. If you overfill the mould, don't worry. What I usually do, for this area at the top, actually, I didn't really get any on there. But if it does drizzle over the edge, just take a plastic spatula and scrape over. Any thin residue will just break away when you demould. Right. You don't have to worry about it at all. So, yeah, same if you overfill as well. I could probably take some of that and scrape it into there, look. Okay. And that way then... That's going to expand on that a little bit more for me. It's giving me a different effect as well because it's almost mixing those two colours mm. together. So just as I finish this off, Alex, make sure I've not wasted any resin. Yeah. I think you've got another recap to do, and then I'll I'll try and find somewhere to put this so it's on a nice level. Yeah. And uh, we can keep it for next time. Lovely. Right then, uh, probably the last look for this hour, and do make sure that you are joining Catherine at four o'clock. Uh, let's uh, go through all of our different options for the one day special. Starting off with. I've forgotten. Oh yeah, the carriage. How can I forget? <laughs> You're starting off with our beautiful carriage and then if I bring this in again, there you go. That's what it looks like when you demold. Get a bit of gilding wax on there or do a bit of dry brushing with some metallics. That's going to look absolutely beautiful. So that is your carriage. Then we've got our butterfly wings, which again have been busy for, since we launched this one day special. We are nearly 60% of the stock gone. And following on, we've got our beautiful lady, the fire dancer. Let's go back to this plaque. Isn't she stunning? I love the colours that have been used as well. So vibrant. I just love her pose. She's so elegant. And then last one on the top row, we've got our perfume bottles and the atomizer. Like so. Excellent. Then coming down to here, we've got the Astrolabe. Uh, so that's the one that Catherine was just working with. Lovely. Big pieces. So you can layer them up should you wish. There, it looks really cool in those colours, doesn't it? Nice, deep, rich copper colours. And then we go on to our star signs. First one is Sagittarius. Where's he gone? Oh yeah, there's one at the side. That's it we can bring him in. I love that because I love the background has been made really celestial as well. That's cool. Following on we've got Aquarius and last but not least we've got Scorpio. Each one £18.74 and pence with a £6.25 pence saving. 823-966 is your item number. Then we go on to our smaller designs. Now because the, the gates have gone Ah, oh, yes, we're starting off with that violin, that beautiful, magical violin. The detail in it is amazing. I remember seeing some, not here, but previously some samples, and it's just beautiful. So we've got the violin. Then we've got our butterfly woman. Stunning, isn't she? Because that looks metal. You, you turn that one around, Alex, and look at the back. 
that oh, wow. was the turquoise resin, the same as I've just poured, huh? Huh? and that is literally just wax on the front of it. It looks like it should yeah. be. It's Rather it's than just picking out the main detail, yeah. the embossed area, I've co covered the whole of it. It looks almost. gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, gorgeous. And next one on the top row, what have we got again? Oh, our swan, that's it. Swan. And here it is. I mean, I could just see this in a gift shop, totally see this in a gift shop. Phoenix is next, our lovely rising phoenix. And last but not least on the top row, you've got your fancy symbols, exclamation mark, question mark, etc. And then, yeah, the bottom row is looking a bit sparse. Have we still got the last of the letters? Ooh, hanging on, W, X, Y, Z, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And then we've got the numbers. You've got your one to five, and then your six to zero. And let's show you one of the samples. I don't have any with numbers on, but still. There we go. Got some of those letters left. Lovely. So pretty. Again, those, those look metallic as well. Uh, £16.50 pence for any of those. And you've got that £5.49 pence saving. 139643 is your item number. Then we've got our large designs. This first one is the machine. And you've got all sorts on here, really quite cool and steampunk. There's the owl, the steampunk goggles, which I adore. Uh, what else have we got? I'm just trying to read. Uh, yeah, you've got two sets of goggles, I think. Nice. Then the next one is our Mariner jewels. Again, those could be used with the astrolabe. And following on again, you have got the little bit of everything. You've got cameos, clocks. This one, this sample, combines a bit of this mould and a bit of the machine's mould. And then finally, down at the bottom, you've got our Faces of Darkness. It's just too cool. Faces of Darkness. King, Queen and the Joker. So you've got kings and queens on this one. And then... There's the Joker on the other one. Where is he? He's just brilliant. He really does look mischievous. He's skipping along. He's probably just nicked something and hiding <laughs> it somewhere else. <laughs> it's brilliant, that. So those are the faces. And then you've got the aces. Brilliant ideas, these. And this is your aces. Got so much detail to it. Right, £21.99, and, and they are super moulds, aren't they? And you've got an £8 saving, 436932. Back to you, Catherine. Thank you very much. Right then, should we talk about the waxes again? Because yeah. we've got, oh, these are fantastic. Three different colours here. Uh, I've just turned them upside down so you can see, of course, the colours that we've got. And I'm going to bring in a couple of things that are already cast. The waxes work on air dry clay, they work on your resin, they work on wood, on plastics, on tin, they work on all sorts of different surfaces. Um, something I did do a little bit earlier, and I wasn't going to colour it actually, but I've decided I am now, and that is the sun and the moon. This is from the little bit of everything. Now I did put a small amount of mica powder into the mould. Remember this was that really vibrant lime green pour that went in there. You can see where some of the powders yeah. just come to the, the back surface there. But let's bring out a little bit more detail. Because I've got Viva Decor this evening as well, Alex, with lots of different mediums on, what I'll probably do mm -hmm. is keep some of these castings that I've done Definitely. from Zuri and use yeah. them with the mediums from Viva. So we'll see some paints and things later. But one of the waxes we've got I need to remind you these names again. I've forgotten again what they are. This one, this lovely sort of fiery bronze is oh yes phoenix blaze that suits well doesn't it Fair phoenix thing. blaze yeah so i'm just going to pick out a bit of the detail around the sun there the sun is the female um and the moon is the male character so the sun and moon together are wonderful of course now these would make a great background mm. in fact i've got a background i was given this yeah I've got one or two of them. Oh, with the that looks like yes, with the paws, and I thought this would work really well on there. Mm -hmm. If you know, just to bring the colours out. Yeah. So, yeah, we may get to work more with this a little bit later as well. So, think how you can work with these together. The little bit of everything works beautifully. Um, 
which this mold is from or this casting is from yeah the astrolabe is all about planets aligning and the zodiac signs so any of the zodiacs go with the astrolabe this would work beautifully as well you know if you want that steampunk feel you've got it as well because of course you also have the cogs in there a little yep. bit of everything um, then you've got the machine so do have a look at the whole range while well, we've got these discounts mm. well worth really sort of looking at everything actually I'm gonna use a bit of green on his hair yeah if you haven't spent your voucher oh yeah even we're, better. Still, we're still doing that up until um, uh, New Year's Eve uh, so basically if you're spending over 30 pounds you have five pounds that you can redeem very good you have some a little bit of the green just so I can use all the colours here into his hair so if you only want to catch the top then just almost dry brush this in place I think I'm saving the gold because I'm going to go over the whole of their faces I'm just going to wipe the brush clean so I'm not mixing it too much just want that little tinge of a different colour in his hair there you can always add more you can always put more layers on afterwards build it up steadily there is something else I want to do to this to sort of really differentiate between the two areas, but I'll say that for four o'clock because I know we haven't got long left. Just go with a little bit of the gold. And again, I'm taking quite a lot off. I don't want to, to overdo it. I just want to sort of brush over the top and that is going to pick up those raised areas. Now, I love doing this because such as the nose, the forehead there, the lips, this is, these are the areas where the wax is collecting. It's just, you know, really just skimming over the top there and leaving those lower areas more like shadows. If I just tilt that a little bit, you can see what I'm talking about. Isn't that a lovely finish? Mm, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So although I've already got the powder there, you know, I'm working with what's there. I'm not totally hiding it. I'm working still with it. Yeah. But just accentuating everything a little bit more. But I am trying not to put too much on here. I don't want to sort of totally cover it. So use a brush rather than a fingertip if you want to be a little bit more delicate. I think you've got more control that way. I might add a little bit more green to his hair afterwards. But I'm really going to bring that cheek out just to sort of give it a nice gleam when the wax has dried a little bit more mm. and it doesn't take too long just give it maybe 10 minutes or something like that then you can polish up with a dry cloth as well and it will really make everything gleam but look at that isn't that fantastic oh, I wow. love 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 that yes when you tilt it love back it. like that that's just amazing and don't they just look again so real I mean I have to say he's got very handsome features hasn't he he's um, uh, got chiseled features really nice Gorgeous. So blend the colours together, use them separately. You've got those three wonderful colours. A little goes a very, very long way. Mm. Gorgeous. Yes, if you Nothing. do want those three, you've got a £7 saving. £19 and 97 pence. 941166. And then last but not least, we'll just finish off with the one day special and just uh, whiz through those options. First option, we've got the carriage, that beautiful, ornate carriage. Moving along, we have our butterfly wings. And you can put whatever you like for the body. And then we've got our lovely fire dancer. And on the top row, we've got our perfume bottles and atomizer. And then coming down to the bottom, we've got our astrolabe which I, I just so would love to see the reveal, <laughs> but never mind. And then we go on to our star sign. Would you have one sample with Astrolabe on? Oh, that's true, but it's because I wanted to see it in the resin. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you've got the Sagittarius, your Aquarius, and then your Scorpio. And I'll just finish off with a few more samples. Let's go back to this one. We've got one with the wings on. It actually says wings. Now That's the word cool. wings has been spelt from the machine's mould. Oh. But using the M the other way up. That's clever. And the G has been adapted from the C. Ah, that's very clever, that one. Um, so you can see those wonderful butterfly wings. Let's bring one more in then. And then I'll give the details. That gorgeous carriage. I feel like I want to go to a panto when I look at this as well. <laughs> yeah, it does make you feel doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, eighteen pounds and seventy-four pence for any of those. You've got that six pounds and twenty-five pence saving. Eight three? No, it's not eight two three nine six six. So we'll see you at four o'clock, Catherine. You certainly will. I'll Excellent. see if I can find some more samples as well. That would be very nice. Right, don't go anywhere. More coming up after this short break. <laughs> 
We have got Springtime Crafting with Dreamies, followed by Quilter's Trading Post Big Save, and then later we are Paper Crafting with Funky Fossil. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop at the craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hello, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I bring my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities, so I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate, um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. I hope to see you soon. everyone thanks to Alex and Catherine for the previous show it's great to have your company this afternoon here at the craft store we are live all the way through until 10 p.m. every single day but we don't stop there our shows are repeated all the way through the night until we go live again at 7 a.m. which means we are 24 hours a day seven days a week crafting and when we are 24 hours a day, seven days a week crafting, we need crafty goodies to craft with. We have got a terrific show lined up for you from the Dreamies. And if you've got your £5 credit still ready to go, you will be able to spend it within the show of a purchase of £30 or more. That could be various different purchases all brought together into your basket. As long as it's over £30, you can utilise that £5 credit. Right, talking about utilising people, uh, let's head over to our lovely Carol. Now, we're not going to use you in the hour, Carol, but we are going to utilise you. Um, how are you this afternoon, yes. Carol? I'm fine, thank you. Are you? Yeah, yeah, good, thanks. Uh, lovely show this morning with you at 7 a.m. Yes, yes. Uh, well, I have I have been and had a little sleep in between. Have you? Oh, bless you. Do you know what? We're all, we've all just said, oh, we're so jealous. We're so jealous. <laughs> um, Carol, for anyone, if there is anyone out there, and, you know, we do get new customers joining us all the time. Um, if there's anyone out there that's not heard of the Dreamies, or they've heard of the Dreamies, and they're thinking, well, hang on, I thought there were two. Can you tell us a little bit about the Dreamies, yourself and Hayley? Right, so Dreamies was started in 2010. Um, and Hayley started that straight out of um, sixth form. And she, she said, like, oh, I want to do this as a business. And, like, me and her dad thought, oh, where do we go from here? 
<laughs> but uh, yes, it's just gone from strength to strength. We started with stamps and CDs, and then gradually, you know, we've built up the business, thanks to everyone out there as well, uh, that we can do dyes, MDF, pearls, embellishments. We can do everything now, Aww. which is amazing. What, yeah. What, what, so what, Hayley, Hayley at the moment is is moving house. So she's she's a bit off and off. She don't know where she is, sort of thing. You know, <laughs> a bit like all of us, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's why she's not with me at the moment. But she, as soon as we get back in the studio, she'll be there as well. Aww. And when she gets in a new house, she'll be doing the skates if needed as well. Oh, lovely! Is it going to be a big mansion then, like a castle or oh, something like that? No. <laughs> no it, it, there's no airs and graces with us, Janice, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what? Lots of talent, though, lots of talent, Carol. Uh, we have got some items that we're going to run through, then we're going to go ahead in over to Carol for our first demonstration. And, uh, Carol, will let you get ready for your demo. And within okay, the demos that Carol puts together, there'll be lots of different elements coming in. So here at the side of the screen, you've got information for the product that we're looking at. So if that changes throughout the demonstration, that's because Carol will be using another element. It could be a paper pad. It could be some lovely gems. So that will change in corresponding to, uh, in corresponding, that's bad English, that will change, uh, I'm going to say it again, to correspond with the demo. There you go, thank you very much. Uh, just to let you know how it works here. Uh, right, our first item, this proved popular this morning. It's a beautiful set of dies. You're getting all of these for £29.99, saving £7, and there are 13 dies in total. Let me show you what they look like, actually, because they've been cut out onto some black paper. These are gorgeous. You'll see by the daisies themselves proper daisies do you know what i mean by that proper daisy it really is isn't it um he loves me he loves me not she loves me she loves me not you know how it goes do you know what i've just noticed about this one actually saying that a little love hearts yeah. if they bring if you bring them together they look like little of hearts. You could do that. You could do that if you wanted. Um, but beautiful, beautiful daisies. You've got the stamens inside as well. And you'll see underneath that flourish. That's there in the die set together. Let me show you uh, another example because that wreath is also beautiful. Now, this has got snip ability. I'm going to turn this around that away. There you go. Um, this has got snip ability. So you can snip into this. You can put some little accents on there or maybe some of the pearl embellishments that we've got. So you could turn those into beads, which would look amazing because we do have a Christmas collection that's got some lovely reds. They would look amazing. Can I just lean back and grab those? Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? I don't, I don't know why I'm holding that there. <laughs> I'm trying to stay there. <laughs> um, yeah, your little embellishments on there will turn those into forest berries. Um, the pearls are at the bottom of the screen, 1999. 4,750. That's your festive. And then you've got your essentials, which are your gold, your silver, your cream, and your black as well. So they'd look good on there. Something to consider. Uh, one more board to show you. Look at that. All of them brought together. So you can start making and creating your own flowers. They don't have to be daisies either. You could actually make some fantasy style flowers as well. $29.99. It's phenomenal. Do you know what I love about this? I love the detail that you're getting, but it's it's also the centerpieces, those stamens. I think they're wonderful because you've got lots of dotty detail in there to make it look texturized, to make it look real as well. So a great addition to your crafty stash. You're saving seven pounds. Treat yourself. 915-8836 is your item number. We're approaching third of the stock gone, though. A third of the stock gone. Now, remember, if your basket comes to 30 pounds or more, you can actually have five pounds off by using your credit if you've not used it already. It's one per day. T's and C's are on the website. That's always tea and cake, isn't it, right? Uh, right, now you've got your lavished layers. It's like, it's like an exercise for the mouth. Lavished layers. There you go. 32.99. Oh, look at that. It's over 30 pounds, everyone. So take your five pound credit off this. That will bring it down to 28 pounds. That's an absolute bargain, it really is. And these are beautiful dies because you've got your outer part of the die, your inner part, and then the main focus, which looks amazing on your projects. And you could be using this to make and create cards like that. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? I went right, Lester. And that's using the daisies as well. And using the daisies after they've been cut out. 
Mm, as well as the delightful sentiments. Um, so that's a sample for that particular one. It's beautiful, isn't it? But you've also got on that one, because you've got one, two, three dies in there, if you didn't want the detail on the inside, you just wanted the shape, for example, then you can cut out like so. And that's the same for the other dies that you've got in this collection. 16 dies in total, 32 99 So you've got your oval shape there, you've got your circles, and you've got your other shape, which isn't a circle. It's not an oval, it's a kind of, well, it's, an, it's, a, I, it's one of those shapes. I'm sure there's a name for that. An obtruse angled oblong. No, that's to I'm just making that up to make myself sound better. But it's beautiful and it's a great price. 631 694 is your item number. Brilliant. Uh, one more item to show you before we head to the website. Uh, we had a sneaky peek of these in the previous hour a sneaky sneaky peek now let's have a look at them um, these are gorgeous to make and create some gift boxes or just boxes to have out that just look fantastic you could put some lights in here as well you have got your square and your circle and they are hinged so you can open it up and you can close it they are boxed frame collection pieces, 14 pieces in total to bring together, and it's an 8x8 size, um, which means if you're going for the papers that are on the show, which are also 8x8, you can put those in the back, you can put those in the back, and they will look amazing. This is a piece of acetate on the front there, or a bit of parchment. There you go, there's one of the papers. That's from a, a previous collection. But the papers we've got for you on the show, you've got some beautiful lilacs, and you also have some peaches and greens as well. So think about that when you're making your purchases just to make sure that you've got everything together to start creating 14.99 you can make the circle or the square now let's head to the website this is where you can see everything we've got on the show we've got discounts 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 and discounts for you so it really is a dream this show really is a dream uh, we were busy this morning and we're getting busy today. We're only nine minutes into the show, but have a look at all of the uh, different items. Now, something that we are always busy for, we were busy earlier on and we're now busy for the spring embellishment stash. That is brilliant, $14.99. Go and have a look at everything. And by the way, go and have a look at the glues as well. This is the go-to glue. You need a glue. So go to this glue, uh, which means you can use it for various different projects. We have got stamens for you on the show, which are beautiful, uh, and embossing folders, which are absolutely incredible, I must add. Um, they really, really are. And don't forget, you've got those pearls as well. Uh, right, so we're going to head over to our lovely Carol, who's live on Skype in Nottinghamshire. And we're going to do our first demo. What we're looking at here, Carol? Right, so what we're going to look at is the box frame, the 8x8. Eight eight. So you do get one that's a circle aperture and one that is a square aperture. Yes. Obviously, I've put mine together. You do get, if I can just show you this on the side, that is your hinged part. So putting them together, it is obviously a box, but what you need to do is put your two straight pieces in first, then your two inch pieces, but before it's completely dry, just ease this in so that it is inched. Okie dokie. Okay, so that, before all that is set, because otherwise, if you glue set on that, you won't get it in. Okay. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? I do, yes, so yeah. you get that. Yeah. Okay. Can, I, can I just say as well, well uh, Carol, um, the screen is a little bit blue for everyone at home at the moment. We're going to see if we can rectify that. Don't rectify. Super. Ah, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't want you fiddling with your. I didn't want you fid fiddling with your TV knobs at home. Everything <laughs> is fine. We've done it. Carol's corrected it. Well done. Yeah, the the guy this morning said, "Can you put the light on?" And then I thought, after yeah, it probably needs to be off now because obviously it was dark outside. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. It, right. So we've got we've got our box um created now and what i do is i i do if you're decorating it inside i put all this on before i put it together but not going over the tabs and same on the outside and also with the inside of the aperture so you can see where that is going to be and then when it's all together then i put that sheet in there which is an eight by eight obviously fantastic right so we're just going to pop this in the center to start with so i'm just going to pop a little bit of go to glue here so this is the heart doily uh with the nesting hearts 
centre. I'm just going to pop that in the centre. I'm not going to do too much in the centre because it's more about the the outside. Okay. Okay. Now those and papers then, are gorgeous. They're from the lilac pad, aren't they? The luscious lilacs. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And I've got a little bow, so I'm going to do this first so that I'm not faffing, <laughs> faffing to get it done after we've done the front. Okay, so that's just that little bit in there. So I've just gone with gesso just around the edge because you do get a little bit of an edge uh, after the 8 by 8 So I've just done that and then I have cut my paper out. Just place that over the top of the circle out. Oh, that and then lovely. I've got, I've got some vellum here. So I'm going to put that, I've just cut that a little bit shorter than the square. And then I'm just going to mark, just so I know roughly where I'm going, just with a little pencil. Now those papers, 12 98 for two pads. That's the Luscious Lilacs and the Sweet Peach. And they yes. are very, very busy. They are, they're gorgeous papers. So I can just see four little marks on here. Once it's on its um, on the box, you won't see that anyway. Right, so then I'm just going to emboss the sentiment, you're amazing, because I think that'll look quite nice into the centre. So just ink this up with the first mark. And this is part of the delightful sentiment stamp collection that you've got, the stamp and die collection, so you can create those yes. drop shadows. It's a fabulous set, $19.99. You'll see now when we stamp it and we see that beautiful font, just how desirable these are, 431360. Love these, Carol. They are, they're so gorgeous. And like this, this one, I'm using it on its own, but you do get the dies as well. So if you want to cut it out, uh, you can as well, you know, and use it as a sentiment that you layer onto uh, your card or project. Right, so we're just going to tip this off. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, and then we'll just heat that up. Let me just pop this back into there so we don't get it everywhere. Now, the perfect daisy dies that we've got on the show that I know you're going to add to this particular design, just while we're heat embossing there, um, we're busy. We are busy for those, and we're over 40% of the stock gone. Over 40% of the stock gone, proving to be very, very popular. Uh, 29.99. There they are. 29.99. They're absolutely stunning. Those daisies are, are proper daisies. Do you know what I mean by that? Proper daisies. Uh, 915-836 is your item number. Uh, perfect. Uh, right, Carol, I think you were heating your uh, embossing yes. powder there that we could hear. So let's have a yeah, look. So I've just done that now. So that's nice, just in the silver. So I'm going to pop that onto there now. And that does look so amazing. This, yeah, it is nice, isn't it? I was going to put happy birthday on, but I thought, no, let's have your amazing, because you know, like, if you put it in your hallway or wherever, then it would look nice every time you walk by and think, yeah, I am. <laughs> I am amazing. Not that I am, I don't mean that, but, you know, people, uh, let's just pop that up and make sure it's flat. Okay. And then we've got this one that is going to go over the top, which is going to cover all that vellum. Make sure it's the right way. That's it, and then we just see that through the centre, and then you can put something inside your box as well if you want to. A double-sided tape and a circle as well, just so that is going to add. Sorry, this is going to take a bit, isn't it? That's all right. Um, your daisy dies. We're busy, busy, busy for those. Just to let everyone at home know, as you are taking that tape off, we're approaching half the stock gone. Wow, we're busy for them. You won't be disappointed. They're absolutely oh, fantastic. Good. Yeah, they're definitely worth getting. They are. And it, daisies, you can use them all year round, can't you? Yeah. And same as we say, they don't have to be daisies. No. They can be whatever flower you want them to be. Absolutely. That might be fine. Right, let me just check this for the, yeah, so that's going to pop onto there. Oops. So you can see your circle here. Yeah. So that is where it's going to go round, okay? 
then we've got that nice on there and then when we open that you've got that inside Aww. put a little gift or something in there if you wanted to right and then the daisies again i'm just going to use the wreath that is with that but again you can cut into that if you want to it's not a problem you know use all your extra bits that looks so lovely I'm just going to use the go-to glue on this just in little bits just so we can get that onto there 60 percent of the daisies have now gone carol oh, oh gosh. yeah oh, cracker. i want i think once i get to making the flower that i've done as well that that will be it because <laughs> <laughs> i've not done a traditional daisy yeah on what is going to go onto this one right so we just place that onto there okay uh, and then I'm just going to pop this one. So this again is the daisy flourish. So I just manipulate that a little bit with my fingers. I'll just put a little bit of hot glue on there. Okay, so that's just going to be where my big daisy goes. Right. And also what I'm going to use is two of the hearts. Aww. So I've done one in the pack paper and one in the plain paper that is in the set, but just done that with the quilted embossing folder oh i love so that then, embossing folder oh it's gorgeous isn't yeah, it yeah it really is right and then we're just going to pop a little bit of foam tape under there so we put the patterned one on the bottom if you want the quilted embossing folder that you can see there on the heart, it is wonderful. And it's at the bottom of your screen for 9 99 Or if you add it to your basket and it takes your basket over £30, you can use your £5 credit and get that for a fiver. Just saying. And there it is. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it, Carol? Oh, it is. It's one that you'll go to time and time again, whether it's, whether it's male or female that you're doing. It would work either way. Right, so I'm just going to place those two hearts on there, and then we're going to create some flowers. So, this, this is the one that I was saying is not a traditional daisy. It reminds no. me of a little bit of a chrysanthemum. Yeah, you could, so, you could make an osteospermum out of them. Could you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a flower that looks like that <laughs> and they're beautiful right, okay. <laughs> okay that's that's fine then right so i'm just going to pop these on the reverse and just uh, wait a minute is that the wrong way yeah we want it on the right side sorry i'm bringing all those in just with a ball tool or you can do it with your fingers whatever um you know like if people's not got ball tools just do it with your fingers yeah. it's quite easy just curling those petals up they curl up really so, well don't they yeah yeah they do right so i just do it on these because i want the four layers i can't wait for the spring to come and the summer and all the flowers to come back in bloom carol i really can't oh, I know. It just makes you feel nice, doesn't it? When the yeah. daffodils start coming out and the tulips and everything. Right, so we're just going to pop a little bit of the go-to glue into there. Just offset them a little bit. You don't have to offset them completely because obviously with us putting four layers on, it will cover up the gaps, if you know what I mean. Every time you say that, I think you're saying upset them, not offset them. And I'm thinking, why do you want to upset oh. your flowers? <laughs> offset, sorry, it's my it's my uh, slang not <laughs> coming through. <laughs> no, it's not, not at all. Uh, right, so then I've got four of the slightly smaller ones, which yeah. is going to go in the inside. So we're just going to bring those in a little bit further. Oops. Just on all four. Obviously, you could do more layers if you want it a bit fuller. Yeah. Just get all these done. And then we're just going to cut this together so it makes a bit like a bud. Obviously, if you wanted more of a bud in the centre, then go for the smaller daisies, which would make your bud tighter. Right. So, 
sorry, this is a bit tedious, isn't it? No, not, you know, you, not at all, because what we're seeing here is a way of just turning these daisies into beautiful flowers. And that's why so many people are popping them into the basket and checking on out. Now, stock-wise, Carol, we've got 70% yes. of the stock gone oh wow so mm. we've been busy in the first 20 yeah. minutes of this show i think people are just getting the idea now of springing forward having flowers that are so versatile as well and that saving of seven pounds it's very attractive 29.99 yes. 915836 it is very attractive isn't it right so just going to pop that into there and same as i say you could just use these as they are as a small little bud that one or that one but now I'm just going to let's just spring that around a bit just to make it maneuver a little bit there we go. and then I'm just going to use the hot glue in here just for speed okay. so then we're just going to pop that into the center of there and then I will go to the one that I've already done so once that's dry we can scrunch it up a little bit and make it into this one this one's been done probably a week or so. Lovely. But then you can see. So this is the one we've just done. That, that's the one that oh. I did earlier. Do you know what? It looks absolutely amazing. And you can see here with the boxes that I've got in front of me just how beautiful they look and how they really do embellish. And I was thinking to myself as Carol was doing that particular demonstration there on the box, do you know what you could do? You could have that parchment on the front, the acetate at the front, and it's kind of mysterious, isn't it? You wonder what's inside. You could open that up. You could have a little scene in there. You know, you could have some little um, animals foraging away. You could have pictures of people as well. But it would be really nice. It could be a little room or something. I think that would look really, really nice. Uh, the boxes are proving to be really popular as well. 8 by 8 in size, which is the perfect size, actually, to put one of the papers that we've got for you on the show if you want to go for those but I'm sure you'll agree the daisies that we've got here that are surrounding those frames look absolutely wonderful whether you want to have them flat or whether you want to manipulate them that's absolutely fine but the boxes themselves you can just simply open up and again you've got the circle or you've got the square to work with you get both of them for 14.99 something else I'd like to mention and I happen to have with me just here are you stamens these are great these are wonderful now if I just take this particular bunch I don't know if you can get closer in on this but you'll see the stamens themselves have got lots of lovely uh, texture to them sorry I cut my finger there just ignore me uh, I'm all right I didn't cut it here um, I cut it on a soft coat hanger don't ask me how I'm the most clumbiest person in the world um, they are brilliant they are brilliant and you've got lots of different colors in there to use as well so those are all individual ones that you can take off uh, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence 16 packs in total 254197 is your item number for those but I've got some news do you know what I'm gonna say you know the days is technical sellout which means they're all in people's baskets um, so they're all in baskets if any come back if any pop out of the baskets we'll let you know uh, but if they're in your basket now check on out so they don't pop out you don't want them popping out and someone else taking them from you that would be Terrible. Uh, 915836 is your item number. Right, um, that's recapped a couple of items for you. Let's head back to our lovely Carol, who's continuing the demonstration with the box. Right, so I'm just adding a few of the uh, stamens in here now, Janice. So yes. I'm just popping them on there, and then that is where our flowers are going to go. So what we'll do, we'll get the larger daisy over there. And you can see this is just, there's not really any layers or anything on the actual box. So it is easy to do. And then these two are the slightly larger daisy, not the smallest one, the next one up. And then these are just layered together. So we'll just pop those onto there in certain places. That looks so pretty. Want... <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, I think the papers as well just lend themselves to the daisy look, don't they? Yeah, they you do. You know, your lilacs and pinks and... Oh, and that, do, you know, yeah. do you know what, Carol? Those, those papers are absolutely beautiful. They really, really they are. They are. 
Yeah. We we get so excited when we get our papers come through. Oh. Um, right, so then, I, oh, and I'll put that one on, that's a bit big. So then we're just going to add a bow near the, we'll put that at the bottom of the hearts. And then we'll just add a few of the pearls. I think we'll go for silver, because obviously we've got silver embossing on there. Good choice. Just get... So, just get a few of these out. Now, the set that you're using there, they come individually yeah. packaged in little bags inside those containers. The containers themselves are all sealed, so they're not going to get mixed up when you're walking around or moving them. And you've got 4,750. Um, the collection there that Carol had was the essentials. So, you've got your gold, your silver, your black, your um, pearl colour, cream colour, and then your white. Uh, there it is, there you go, 1999 And then you've got your festive, which, do you know what? Festive turns into floral for me, because you've got your blues, your reds, your greens, your burgundies, and your whites. Um, um, I guess with the whites, you might be able to get some alcohol markers and pop them on top and colour them. You might be able to. We'll ask Carol when we go back. Um, but there you go, that's the details for your festive or essentials, 1999, 4,750 approximately, because we've not counted every single one, have we, Carol? Uh, not every single one, but I've started <laughs> every single one of one colour. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, seriously, yeah. Um, right, so I'm just adding these pearls into the centres of the daisies now. Obviously, on the days, mind you, I still need to tell you that. No, it's all right. They've sold out, haven't they? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the daisies have sold out. <laughs> but we're not talking about them, then. No. <laughs> right. So then that is your box complete and so as i say it, you don't have to do too much if you don't want to no you can paint it you're not forced to use your papers but obviously the side of the paper there i've ah. used like the set, I like so that. i thought that would look nice very um, good and then obviously we've got the little doily inside there oh carol that's wonderful thank you so much for that demonstration and showing us all the different items we will be heading back to carol in a few moments time but let's show you some other items that we've got on the show that you've already found actually um you can't stop the seasons you can't stop the seasons and spring is coming uh spring with all your different elements that you've got here uh 14 pounds and 99 pence uh, for your dreamy spring embellishment stash. Our Carol's just getting ready for the next demonstration in the background there. Uh, but if you want to go for your spring embellishment stash, you've got them right here, $14.99. You've got approximately 137 So let's have a look what we've got. We have got some little robins. Oh, have you seen the little robins? Got have got little wings or love hearts. They're like hearts, but you could have them as a wing, a winged love heart. You've got your plant pots, your dragonflies. You've got your half whiskey barrels or other drink barrels are available. Drink responsibly. Um, you've got your butterflies in there as well, uh, which are really nice. And then you've got your hexagons at the top. Uh, don't forget, when you pop all of these out, so they're MDF, you're left with like mini stencils, aren't you? Think about that. You could draw around them. You could um, stencil with your texture paste or with your paints. You've also got your lambs and your goats, uh, you've got your ducks, or they could be geese. What's good for the goose is always good for the gander. Uh, you've got your cockerel in there as well, you've got your little chicks, and you've got your hens, so you've got your chickens, your full family. You've got your bunny rabbits, you've got your little bunny rabbits and your big bunny rabbits. Oh, we love bunny rabbits. Um, it works out to be 11 pence per element, it's brilliant, isn't it? You've got your two jugs there, which are brilliant. Uh, you've got your two bird houses, you've got your butterflies, your bunting, your Easter eggs, and you can lay your Easter eggs up if you want to. And you've got your little tags, look at that, handmade, with love, uh, with love, handmade, handmade, with love, with love, handmade, uh, but in different fonts, which is lovely. Oh, and your bicycles, and then you've got your archway, or your horseshoe. It could be a horseshoe, actually. It could be an archway or a horseshoe. Uh, right, that's fabulous. Busy for that. 1499-636-302 is your item number. Now, we have got a large storage box for you. Yes, we have. Uh, and our floor manager, um, Holly, built this. I tried earlier and I failed and Holly's told me not to touch it. Which is very, very wise, Holly, but you know what I'm like. I can't help 
myself. I really, I really want to pick this up and show you how deep that goes. I'm just going. I tell you what. I'm just going to put my hand in. There you go. Look at that. It's 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 that deep. There you go. A hand. I'm going to pick it up. Oh, Holly, shall I? Okay. She says. Um, she she she. You don't want to know what she says. Okay, this is like, you know at the fate where they have all the bricks and they have to compress them and they have to pick up as many bricks as possible. Have you ever seen that? Oh, I used to love that. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. I've got this. I'm all right. Let's put those to the side. Don't worry, Holly. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so I need to put pressure on this side. I need to put pressure on that side. Who knows what's going to happen on the bottom? All right, here we go. There you go. Look at that. You see? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's put that down. Oh, I've, I've got to let go. I've got to let go. Let it go. Okay. Should we do the same to the lid? Just to show you at home. Nine ninety nine. Okay. Just don't touch the box. There you go. Look at that. Could I put the lid on top of the box? Oh dear. Let's see. Let's see. I'm applying the pressure. This is like one of those things at the fair that goes bleep 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 bleep. Yes. Yes. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh, that's just because it's not glued into place. But when you glue it into place, um, there you go. That is a fabulous box, isn't it? Isn't that wonderful? And now I think we're just going to have to stay here for the whole show. Uh, 9 dollars 99 zero is your item number. We were so close. Sorry, Holly. There you go. Those are all the elements together uh, that you've got right there. 843-460 is your item number. I think I did really well there. I think I did really well. Okie dokie. Uh, right, we've got some tags for you. Now, you've got five sets of three times two. Oh, that's too much math for my head. Right, let me tell you, you've got 30 pieces in total. This is what we're calling one set. So you've got the back plaque and then you've got the nice uh, frame border and then you've got the extra plaque like that. That's one set. You've got five of those in the large, the same but in the smaller. Do you know what I like about these? Let me just show you. You know if you're going for the papers in the paper pad, you could actually start to frame and look for different areas of the paper that is going to look pretty cool to go on your frames, which should look really nice. We've got the papers coming up in a moment. Details at the bottom of your screen. Right, so that's a lot for your money. 30 tags. Remember, these are in sets of three, so you could divide them all up and just start using them separately if you want to. Uh, it's a great little deal for 9 99 And then you've got um, some... MDF to start playing with into the new year. Um, by the way, is this direct? Are we dispatching like in the next day or so? Or yeah, wow. Poor old Haley, she'll be unpacking boxes for a house, packing boxes for you guys. Unpack. Let's hope she doesn't get it mixed up. You might get some of her. I don't. I don't. Uh, crockery. She, it won't. You won't. You won't. Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, right. Don't get your boxes mixed up, Hayley. Right. OK. We have got two paper pads for you. Luscious Lilac. And we've also got your um, Sweet Peach. Sweet Peach. Let's pick these up and show. Look at that. Now I am Janice Paper Hands. That's me. Aren't these beautiful? They're double sided as well. Double sided as well. So you've got your peach elements. So double sided. Great for matting and layering. You've got 48 sheets in each pad, 120 GSM. That's your peach. Shall I bring the luscious lilacs into the same place as the peach, Mr. Director? Hugh's directing, by the way, everyone today. He is fabulous. There you go. And then you turn it round that way. And then you turn it round that way. Look at that. Beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? 849-808 is your item number, 808 being the state of Hawaii, if you didn't know. 849-808. £12.98, and, and that is an absolute cracking bargain, it really is. Uh, now, let's spread some positivity. <laughs> let's spread some positivity. Um, <laughs> Here we go. Uh, we've got some stamps for you. 
and these are lovely these are lovely stamps now what we like about these they're clear stamps so placing them on your projects is going to be really easy to get them in the right place to get them in the right place which is always important um, let's read out some of those positivity um, every day may not be good but there is something good in every day sometimes you forget how truly amazing you are so this is your reminder you matter to me no one else can be you Oh, uh, attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. You're doing your best and that is always enough. Life is too short to let negative people change you. Too right. Um, right, let me show you the size of the stamps. This is what I mean by their, them being clear. Um, it means that you can place them onto your project areas really, really simply and nice and easy as well. So good size stamps, which will give you good size sentiments as well nine pounds and 99 pence 12 stamps in total brilliant deal that four five seven five five one um, now we have got some more for you and these are reasons to smile and reasons to smile for me are flowers who doesn't smile when they see a beautiful blooming flower in front of them I do I always do love flowers and you've also got some sentiments in here as well and you do have your reasons to smile there you go and you've also got happy birthday but you've also got those beautiful flowers um, these also look like love hearts don't they 999053476 is your item number if you want to go for those we've got one more item to show you then we're heading back to our carol live on skype somewhere in nottinghamshire um right these are lovely you saw this in the demonstration with carol um it was inside her box when she opened up the lid you saw that beautiful doily um love heart these are your doily die duos your treat in fact when you when you give us a call on 030 1755552 just say can i have the dream is doily die duo because it just rolls off the tongue dream is doily die duo love that just love that um, these are absolutely gorgeous this is one die in total so you can see there so that will go through and you've got all that detail in there uh, so you've got your floral design going around the edge and your little dots like pointillism beautiful isn't it and then your next die set is a selection of layering dies so you could Got my finger stuck there. Um, you could layer all those up, which would look absolutely beautiful. You could get a bit of depth as well if you go for the thicker cardstock. Or you've got one, two, three, four, five, six separate hearts. Um, and I love the way you've got that little mini one in the middle. They didn't have to do that, but they did. And that's where the value for money comes in with the dream is 289, 527, 19 pounds and 99 pence. The daisy dies. One has bounced back. This is why we say check out your baskets. If you forget, go for a long comfort break, come back, it's gone out your basket. Um, so there's one left. Next person to get that, do check out, you'll get it, $29.99. Right, let's head back to our wonderful Carol, who is live on Skype. Carol, what are we having a look at now? Right, so we're going to have a look at the tags now, and I'm using the pink peach papers this time. So this is one of the layering tags. So I've got my solid one, and I've got my, what I call, open one. So that's going to uh, layer onto there. But equally, you could use them separate. It's not a problem. Um, right, so then I'm just going to pop a little bit of paper down this side of the tag. Oops. So we'll come in a bit because obviously the edge of the layer that we're going to put on. Then I have got my, this is the script one. You can see it better on the white, what we did earlier. Okay. So that's got the script embossing folder on there. And I'm just going to bring a bit of the Tinky Inky in on there. Just a little bit of the chocolate syrup just to enhance that script a little bit so again it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely embossing folder carol uh 9.99 the details are on the side of the screen for that and when we say 3d i mean it really does stand proud doesn't it from the paper oh, it, when it you put does, it through yes uh, obviously you can't see it too much on the peach but oh, it's yeah. just an accent but if you look on the white wow just look at that that's terrific you know, if I show it, yeah it is it's amazing Right, so then we're just going to pop this onto 
this side of the tag now. Oops. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's pop that onto there. I'm not bothered if it sticks out a little bit. That all adds to it. And then we're going to pop this to one. Oh no, we'll put this out first. Let's just cut. Carol, scissors. can I yeah? ask you why do you like your go-to glue? The go-to glue is uh, well. The thing is, we were using everybody else's glue. Well, yeah. And we thought. We thought, well, why don't we have some of our own? So we sourced our own glue, and I must say, it's the best glue that you know that we use, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but it is your definite go-to glue because you can use it on anything. Yeah. Like there, you've seen me use it on the papers. We use it to put the MDF together. You know, I'm going to use it now on this just to get this together. So, just a little thin layer around there. And then we we'll just pop that onto there. Obviously, you've got to wait for it to dry a little bit, but it's, it doesn't take too long. But that will be secure on there. Within a minute or so, that will be all secure. Um, and so I say, it's just a, a go-to glue. That is in the name. It does what it says. Brilliant. Uh, and I think I, it's really yeah. handy, just like you say, to have the one glue. You're not swapping and changing and getting your glues mixed up, which which can be disastrous. So to have the one glue that's going to help you all the way through for your home home crafting, for your paper, for your MDF, is absolutely perfect. You get five. You get five of those that's bottles. It. So if you're anything like me, um, you'll have one bottle in one drawer, you'll have another bottle in your craft room, you'll have another bottle. So you've, you've always got one at hand. You'll never lose them. £10.99 pence. 754066 is your item number. It's a great idea, Carol. Yeah, it's it's nice to have that, that glue that you can use all the time. Obviously, you see me use the hot glue. That is purely for speed when I'm on TV. Right, so we're just going to use one of the adorable oh, ones. Oh, look at the bunny. <laughs> so I've just stamped him out ready. I've got one already cut, but I just want to show you using some of the dinky inkies. So I've got this on my messy mat, which Ooh. is obviously messy. <laughs> I think you've got these <laughs> I think you've got these on the show as well. So yeah. I'm just what, using What is a messy mat? Apart right, from a, a mat that mat. belongs to you that's messy. Messy, yeah. So you've got two layers yep. of your MDF, so that's two layers of four mil. In between there, you've got a two mil, like a like a spacer, I'll say, yep. which just goes around three sides. Yep. Uh, let me just kiss. Yeah, it's that side. So you layer that up with the go-to glue, so yep. that's three sides that would be solid, so you can't take that anywhere. But then the other one is open oh. for you to slide that in and out. And this is the Mylar, so you can use it for inking. You can take that out and actually just use it on your desk if you want to, if you don't want it into the MDF. But it's just handy to keep there. I leave all that on, and then I just uh, put a little bit of extra water to it, and it... Uh, rejuvenates my ink again. Excellent. Right, well, so we've, just... we've got the Sparkle Complete Dinky Inkies collection on the screen at the moment. Now, this is a very, very special deal. And if you've been thinking to yourself, do you know what, I'd really like some inks to take me through into the new year to do some crafting. And I'd like lots of colours, please. But I don't want to spend £72.90. pence. Don't tell Carol mm -hmm. this. Let's just turn Carol off for a moment. <laughs> Hopefully Hayley won't be watching either. But you see that discount of £38? Do you want to take that even higher? Here's the thing. If you want to make that £43, if you only want to pay £29 for that complete collection, use your £5 voucher that you've got in your account. Don't tell Carol. Don't mention it to Hayley. She'll be dropping her boxes as she packs. Okay. <laughs> We'll go back to Carol now. Um, it's a fabulous deal, this is Carol. Oh, it is. And you will use them all the time. We do do a storage uh, unit as well, which is so handy to keep it all together. Uh, right, so I'm just using the dinky inkies. And as you can see, I've got it on my messy mat and watered yep. it down really a lot. So you can use, um, you know, you can use your ink straight out of there or water it down a lot do you have a little so, do you have one of the little dinky inkies there can i see that just on the corner of your screen uh, just to, just to yes. let people know what it is Oops. if they're thinking well what is it um but it is an ink yeah. pad and it's, it's a refill as well isn't it 
Oh, sorry, what did you mean? The, 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 the ink pad. Yes, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, sorry, I thought you wanted the actual unit. Yeah, so this is your dinky inky. And then you do get the inks as well, which Fabulous. once these cut, they do tend to come fairly dry because we had spillage on the first lot we ever had. Uh, so we just thought, right, add those very limited ink into there. So at least you know which colour it is. It's all labelled. And then you just need to put a little bit of your ink in there, about four or five drops. Also, with your dinky ink is, you will see on there, can you see the difference colour? Yes, yeah. What we've you got... need to do is mix that, because that is where the mica is. So what we tend to do is yep. just wiggle it about in your hands you warm hands and then you'll see it start to come up oh. and then just give it another little shake and it will all mix look at that well i've okay. got the, i've got the, the board of colors here carol to show everybody yeah um because this really is an astonishing deal and in all serious you can use your five pound credit uh, to further your discount but look at that all the colors to head into the spring into the summer absolutely beautiful and you do get the ink pad which is going to last a long time anyway and that refill i mean look how much is in there as a refill and you can could, if you wanted to use that separately with a brush as well only 34 pounds or nine and uh, 90 pence or if you use your five pound credit it goes down to 29 pounds and 90 pence uh, six four two three eight six is your item number definitely worth going for those you can see yeah look at that you see that shine of the green absolutely beautiful right let's head back to carol right so i've got some of my ink onto here, that's what you were saying, that, that's where I've put my ink on my messy match, use it straight from the bottle. That one is darkish, and then I've gone just using it off the brush. Obviously, you would do it all the same colour. I'm just showing you the, the different techniques here. And then just keep going. You've got loads of ink on your brush. I think we have got the water brushes on the show as well, Janice. Well, right, have so a look that's for you. Just, yeah, so that's just showing you the different colours. Yeah. The, the one straight out of the bottle and then watered down a little bit. And then if we just go on to the one that I've already done. So I've got my bunny here. I've just popped a little bit of pink in his ear. ear. <laughs> and then I've got another one. So I've just re-stamped that. I'm just going to layer that up. Okay. So I'm just going to go in. This one was been done, you know, a few days ago. So I'm just going to bring some dark ink onto there. Fabulous. So it just brings that little bit extra in there. Just to let you know, Carol, we've got eight minutes left on the show, just in case you needed uh, right. a little time check for okay. you. Right, so we can start to get this together. And as you can see, that's that's solid now, then, you know, with the go-to glue. So that's, that's all okay. So what we're going to do then is we're just going to manoeuvre him about a little bit. So he's going to pop into there. So Aww. let's just have some foam tape they're so obviously spring like as well Janet. yeah you know, the bunnies yeah because they're all oh. fluffy aren't they fluffy little bunnies oh yeah yeah obviously everybody knows that Hayley loves the bunnies you know that's that's why there's such a lot of bunnies uh from dreamies right so well we like all pets to be honest yeah we do right and then the the middle i've just covered uh, colored in the chocolate syrup okay so we're just going to pop that onto there again do that with the pot glue just for speed i'm just popping that on the top there and then that will just layer up there that looks like a so rebecca get... a rebecca flower <laughs> beautiful does it <laughs> <laughs> you know i don't know what you're on about <laughs> right so then we're using some of the embellishments yeah. So we're just going to we'll pop that there, I think. So these are the spring embellishments. Oh, I'm just like popping that. these on. And I've just got these with just gesso. I've just got a bit of gesso on there. I will just pop that up there as well. We're not mentioning where that's from. <laughs> right, and have I got time just to show you this? Go on. Um, with the, so this is one of the little tags out of the spring embellishments and it has been engraved yes. so it's got handmade i think some's got love or whatever some you know different ones but if you just use that on your first mark and then we heat and emboss this i'm going to use gold this time oh i bet this is going to look fabulous 
But what I'm what I'm going to say to you is the embossing. It for some reason, and I'm not sure why, it doesn't go over the writing. Ah, uh, that's probably because it's so, etched in. Yes, yes, it must it must be something like that, Janice. Yeah. Um, so let's just have this, and then we'll just heat this up. That's gone straight onto your MDF, and you'll be able to still see that wording. Wow! Can you see? So wow. you know, like if you, if you want to do something, and it is just a a, a little sentiment on there, you could put a little bow. We will put the little bow on there. Ah, uh, we're doing for time, Janice. Are we? Time-wise, we have got four and a half minutes left, Carol. Oh right, we've got enough then, I think. So then I'm just going to pop a little bow on there. Yeah. But just that little handmade yeah. makes it look quite nice. That's beautiful. And then I've got some, as you can see, these embellishments are new. So they've been on every project that I'm doing at the minute. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of bunting on there. And then we've just got a little flower. I'm just going to scrunch that again just for time. So this is the um, A Reason to Smile. Uh, stamp set so we'll just scrunch that up pop that on there so again with the flowers you don't have to manipulate them too much if you don't want to just scrunch yeah. them up and you make a nice fantasy flower as we say okay so he's just going to go onto there then we have got some bunnies oh the little bunny rabbits from the embellishments these really are yeah. fabulous they are aren't they I like the so fact that got, you've got little bunnies, big bunnies as well. Yes, yeah. And then we've got a couple of little birds, which one is going to go on the edge of there. Obviously, I would have inked these if we'd got more time. Yeah. But it's fine. It's fine. I'll pop that one down there. And then we've just got our sentiment now. So this is one of the positivity stem, uh, sentiments. Be kind to yourself. And I think, you know, if you walk by somewhere and you see that, you just think, yeah, I'm going to be kind to myself today. I'm not going to stress out. I'm just going to do what it says. Yeah. And let's be Have that extra calm. chocolate biscuit. Oh, yes. <laughs> Have <laughs> that last bit of kind. cheese and crackers. <laughs> oh, dear, yeah. Right, so we'll just get a little bit of hot glue on there as well. And um, we just, oops, pop it the right way or it would be an advantage, wasn't it? And there we go. I would put daisies on, but obviously we've not got those, so we'll just leave it there. That's beautiful. And then, then I would just put a, a bit of ribbon in the top to hang it. Carol, that's Next. absolutely lovely. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for that. What we're going to do Thank is we're going to let Carol um, give her enough time to turn the camera around so we can have a lovely wave goodbye from Carol. But we do have a couple of items that have been busy I want you to know about. Your embossing folder, this is my favourite. I just love this. Um, it is a 3D embossing folder. I'm going to bring the sample in for you to show you. Can you see that? Can you see the detail that you're going to get? That lovely quilted look. It's going to turn something quite ordinary into something extraordinary. You could put some little beads if you go for the beads, um, which is really nice. And those beads are going to look amazing. Almost like a Chesterfield sofa. Other sofas are available. Um, either that or a padded cell. You know, you can go from one extreme to the other, can't you? Well, a posh padded cell anyway. Uh, 999-441-011 is your item number. Brilliant, isn't it? And that's going to work tremendously well with the different paper pads that we've got on the show and you've got both pads coming to you one is your luscious lilac and the other one is that beautiful peach your sweet peach they are double-sided so you've got lots of different ones to choose to choose from but they're going to look absolutely fantastic in that embossing fa uh, powder D powder embossing folder Woo! Uh, 849808 is your item number for the paper pads let's have a look at the website so we can go to see all the items we've had on the show today this is the last show of the dreamies this year i think uh, let's head back to carol to say goodbye but only goodbye for now. Carol, thank you so much for today.
Thank you, it's been lovely. And yes, we are back in the new year on the 3rd of January, I think it is. Fabulous. Well, yes, this is the end of 2021 with you. Give our love to Hayley, yeah. won't you? I will, of course, yes. And uh, we're looking forward to the big barbecue party round at hers uh, when she's moved in. <laughs> Yeah, all right, I'll tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'll look forward to that. Oh, thanks, Carol. Thanks, Hayley. Oh, thanks, Dreamies. Thank you. You've been an absolute dream. You really have. Uh, and if you want your dreams to come true with all the discounts, you best go and have a look on the website and check out your baskets. But don't go anywhere because the dreaming continues. <laughs> Right, Quilters Trading Post, big save is coming up next. We've got Paper Crafting with Funky Fossil, and then we're back with Catherine with the One Day Special. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now, and a designer for just over 10 years. We aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free, using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Craft Store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select set up connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Welcome, it's lovely to have your company again. I tell you what, we haven't got much on this counter. It was so, so busy. Um, I'm not surprised, we had incredible bargains. Um, and we have still got bargains. We've still got bits left, but be quick. Because seriously, a lot of these have sold out as well. Ladies, it's been, yeah, that look at the face, it's like, oh, oh. <laughs> It's yeah. been so busy. Yeah. It's great. Thank you, everybody. It's yeah. mad, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Everyone wants a bargain, though. Let's face it. They are a bargain. Yeah. Yeah, they are really good bargains. Because mm -hmm. as we keep saying, we are clearing out. And this yeah. is kind of one of the last massive clear outs we're yeah. going to do before we hopefully move. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, fingers it will be crossed. Well. Yeah. Soonish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, I mean, when, when the ladies move, it doesn't mean that that's, that's it. I mean, you oh, come no. back. Oh, no. We're, the, we're, the, with more ideas, more yeah. inspiration. More things. We've got some really exciting things we're just yes. waiting to do, but we need to move before we can start. Yeah. 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 Wait so, and yeah. see. Just wait yeah. and see what we can do. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so <laughs> lovely. Are, Honestly, because I love your kits. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, it's, I love it because there is, this is the 
whole thing about crafts, you know, whatever craft, there's always something new, isn't yes. there? Oh, there yeah. has to be, there has to it be. Does. You can't keep it the same all the time. People yeah. want something yeah. different. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And we do yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. It if keeps us creative, interested and excited. Yeah, if you're creative, you you find it very difficult to do the same thing over and over. Yeah, no, yeah, you absolutely. You're always yeah. ready for it next, yeah. next, aren't you? Next thing, yeah. Next, next. Um, well, we better show you the fabrics because these are already really busy. Okay, <laughs> right. Oh, oh. Um, okay, so now this is up to you. So any six, so this is your pick and mix. You get in any six. These are fat quarters. And you're getting a pattern as well for the lovely frill bag. Um, all of this for £14.99. Well, all six, you know. Um, right, we're going to show you what we've got. However, we will let you know as we're going through what's sold out. Like that one. <laughs> I'll just pile them up at side. First one sold out, so that one's gone. Next one, our lovely little dino. I'm opening that up so you can see the size of your fat. I'll only open one of them up proper probably uh, but that's your lovely dino i tell you what that's beautiful it's double-sided properly double-sided it is it's, it's a true batik fabric which are double-sided yeah it's, it's true pretty i fun. love i don't think i've ever seen a batik with dinosaurs on no. i've never seen one since <laughs> no. you're not going to see it again either it's sold no. out Oh, well, um, so well, that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> there you go you're yeah, not getting that one either um carrots they've sold out that's another one gone. I love <laughs> this. This is okay. We have got some tools now. These are really cute as well because they're really bright and bold and gorgeous. They are. Yeah. I tell you, I bought that range to make my brother a bag with. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the whole range. I got the whole range because it was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. He got a bag. He didn't get a bag, but I got a lot of fabric. So <laughs> this is the last bit of it. I love that. Yeah. Um, and I like these because. Obviously beautiful as a full piece of fabric, but they're easy to cut out. So if you want yeah. to do little applique with them, you could easily do that, couldn't you? You could yeah. do that, yeah, and then nice, good, defined shapes. Yes. So it would be easy to do. Sticky stuff on the back, cut yeah. them around them, and they're done. And you're done. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Bright and beautiful. They I are. like that. You've still got the tools. Yay! Yeah. Um, the next one, the cogs. Oh, now this is nice. I like that a lot. Um, a, the colour palette on that is lovely. Yeah, it is good, isn't it? It's not a true bright, sunshiny yellow. You've got all different sorts of yellow there, golds and, and bright yellows as well. But yeah, yeah, really nice. Not girly, not particularly boy whatever you like. Yeah, yeah, it could be steampunky, that one. It's got a kind of a rust look to it. Mm. Our next one, we've got to see, we're OK, we've got these as well. Um, our lovely little bear stripe. Now, can you see our little teddy bear? I am going to just take that out so you can see him. Oh, that's yeah. really cute. He is cute, isn't he? In fact, I had a tiny weeny little bit left of that and I put it in my teddy bear on the table's ears. So oh, there you go. We're falling down, poor teddy. Oh, bless him. So he's in little stripes. Yeah, that's really we'll sweet. That in a minute. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so we like that. Ears. Teddy bears, we've got some stock of that. Now, how's this one doing? This is lovely. This is all right. Um, that is beautiful. So that's called your blue rose stripe. That's really interesting. It almost looks block printed. It really does. It's a part of the Downton Abbey range, oh, Lady wow. Rose. Wow. Yep. Beautiful oh, fabric. I like that. Yeah. And remember, I'm in this any six. So if you wanted to, you could get six of the same one. If you had a favourite favourite, the choice is yours. Gats bit, that one has gone. Oh, that's a shame. That's well cool. But it's gone. Um, oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. That's gone. The bird one, gone. The brown one, gone. <laughs> we have got, and what's this one called? Roses and triangles. Oh, that's really different. Yeah, again, another Downton Abbey one. Ah, yeah. Do you know what? For some reason, I thought it matched quite well. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's I think it's really the same, same lady rose. Of course, yeah. yeah. It's a lovely one. Is that? I bet if I hold it that way, it'd look even more effective. So it looks really cool. I'm going to try it that way as well, just to see what it looks like. Oh no, I like it that way better. 
It's one of them, isn't it? Whichever mm. way it looks different. Mm. Yeah, it does, and you can put it whatever way you want. Yeah, it's really interesting fabrics. I just want to point out the names I've given these fabrics aren't the official names of the fabrics. I just gave them a descriptor name to make it easier. <laughs> so, yeah. thank you. Sure. So, so the posh name wasn't roses and triangles. No, no it did have a fancy name, and I, oh, I went. If I do that with all of them, I'm never going to know which one's which. <laughs> say what you see. Yeah. Say what you see. Um, next, the pink knit, which does look like. That is a clever fabric because it looks like it's got the and um, the texture on there. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. I love that. It, I mean, you can see it. It looks it looks knitted. So that's your beautiful pink knit. The next one that we've got, ooh, that's gone. So that's your vintage chemist. That's a shame. That's mm. lovely. Um, we've got vintage lace. You have got this one. Now I am going to open this. I'm making a right mess. Uh, but I'm showing you this because have a look at this because they're kind of, they're panels aren't they on they, that oh yeah I, I I never got a chance to use them in the way I wanted but there's so much potential with those yeah to do all sorts of things with them they're really pretty mm. I tell you what if you're into mixed media and you're doing lovely little art journal books they'd be gorgeous as panels on your pages they'd be fantastic yeah. they'd make nice little collars or things for dolls there's yeah all sorts of uses for those oh yeah of course yeah. wouldn't they Oh, that's lovely. That is so different. I bet that when you buy the material then, do you have, do you have it sort of earmarked for projects, but you just yeah, run out of time? I do. Sometimes they just never get done. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I do. We do have a mind of what we're going to do with fabric. Mm, yeah. So much fabric, so little so time. Much, Frogs, yeah. sold out. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I Frogs, love that. that one's gone. Oh, sheep. Have we actually got this? Oh my gosh, look at this. That's well cute. That is lovely. Isn't it fun? Yeah. yeah. Sheep. Sheep. I love yeah. that. Sheep. Black and white sheep. sheep. You can't yeah. go wrong with the sheep. No, I really like that. That is proper, proper cute. You need that one. That's your little sheep. We've still got that one. We've also got the hens. Oh, that's cute as well. Hold on. Let's have a look. I'm going to hold that up. Look. <laughs> that's really cute as well. I like these. We've made them into a hen, haven't we? I like yes. it because your choice of animals. Then um, you do like the quirky ones as well, don't you? I do. They've got to be happy. Yeah. And quirky's even better. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Quirky chickens. Love that one. Next. So out. What a shame. Mm. That is is. Oh, you've got some cool fabric. <laughs> um, piggies. Have we got this? Ah. Oh my gosh. If you're going for your sheep and your hens, you need the pigs. Look at them. That's amazing. Isn't it brilliant? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, that is well cool. Again, they're very happy piggies, too. Very happy <laughs> piggies. Wallowing in the mud. That is it. <laughs> Do you know what, as well? I mean, the, you can actually, in a small area, you've got quite a few little piggy faces, haven't you? Yeah, you have. You're going to get a lot of use out of that. It's not too big a print. Yeah. Oh. Mm. It's brilliant. So, <laughs> if you need your pigs in your life, red vine, that's gone. Oh, it's beautiful, that as well. Blue that's rose, like that's sold out. Look at our little pile, though. Sold out pile. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we'll go to the bottom and we will tie. I'll, I'll tidy up. Are they going to slide? No. It's okay. Don't panic. I'm, I'm not panicking. I mean, I'm not panicking. I probably should panic, but I'm not. Because, you know, life's too short to panic. Okay, so, a red barn, that has gone. Okay. That one, sold out. Ooh, there's the flowers, look at that. You're not going to get that. We've got this one. Oh, little bears. I didn't see the bear at first. Oh, yes. There. He is gorgeous. That's your little bear. Sorry, Holly, I've made a right mess. That's a gorgeous little bit. And again, now that's an interesting print as well because you can see the pattern in it, can't you? Mm. You can. It's got a lovely sort of overall look when you're looking at it at a distance and you get close and it comes out of itself. I've made yeah. a bear in that. I'll show you that. Ah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Because you've got I to make a bear that. out of it. I love that. You're Kate as well. <laughs> so that's our lovely little bear. Then, oh, more sheep. These are your sheep dip. Look at these. Bear with, bear with. Let me make sure you look. Oh, my word. I mean, if you're getting your other sheep, bear with, I mean, hold up, hold up. You ha if you're getting that, you have to get that. 
Oh, yeah. sorry, sheep dip sold out. Right, if you've already just got this, you need that. If you haven't already bought that one with the sheep dip, because sheep dip sold out, you need to get the other sheep one as well, because they work beautifully together. It's the same sheep. Um, just a different thing. Okay, next. Oh, now, this one's interesting, because look, that's another one you can easily cut up, isn't it, your sweetie jars? Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. I've put that in my bag. If I get a chance, I'll show you my fruit top bag, and I've put that in it. It's quite a narrow strip I've used, and you can still see a lot of detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's so nice. Get quite a bit on it. Yeah, it's lovely, that nice colour Pretty. as well. So that's your um, sweetie, um, sweetie jars. Um, you've then got, no, these are still in stock. So you've got your beautiful pink alarm clock, which is lovely. And then the cream alarm clock. See, they're handy because you'd be able to make so many things for those, wouldn't you? Yeah, mm. yep. I like them and they go together beautifully. Um, oh, what's the sold out? Okay, that one sold out. If, if you were getting that, definitely get the, the sweeter one because they match beautifully. Um, this one we have got, however, so you've still got, oh, look at that cake. Isn't it funny? Over Christmas, you think I'm never going to eat any cake again, and then today it's like, oh yes, I could. <laughs> um, so that's your wonderful yeah. cupcake. <laughs> oh, the bunting fabric's lovely. That's beautiful. That's so parting, but it's not too bright, is it? No, it's yeah. subtle, isn't it? Isn't it just pretty elegant almost? But it does. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pretty much go with that beautifully, actually. Would it yeah. go with my sweetie jars as well? I think it will, won't it? Oh, yeah, go nice with my sweetie jars, won't it? Lovely. Okay, so a cheeky bit of bunting, if you'd like to go for that. Um, oh, I love that one. That's really nice. So what's that called, American? Jane. That's an interesting name. That's the designer. It's a, it's a style, the, the, is it 30s fabrics, yes, isn't it? 30s yeah. fabrics. I um, love that. Mm. The girl that works for us, Jane, she uses a lot of 30s fabrics. Yeah, that is so we seriously cool. A lot of that. Yeah, that, that's nice. my favourite. And this next one, obviously, because yeah. this is the, the blue version. Mm. Oh, I love that. That is seriously is cool. Yeah, special. The only reason yeah. we've got that left is we had such a huge range to begin with. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah. Don't miss out on that. That is gorgeous. Now, the next three have sold out. Sorry, yeah. American Jane children, the lovely, and that, all gone, all gone. Okay, so, oh, I have made a mess. Um, go onto the website, and you can see what's left. There isn't much. I tell you what, do not miss out on them American Janes. They're beautiful. The sheep, we've still got the sheep and the pigs. And the pigs are amazing. If you're going for it sheep, don't forget the pigs and go for the hens as well, because they all go together wonderfully. Remember, you're choosing any six of those and obviously the price is amazing uh, do not miss out on those and obviously it might be the one that you're going for you might be going for three of them if you've got a favorite favorite um so do check your baskets out there okay now we did see these in the first hour but it's all we've got left um literally it's all we've got left so you've got your two choices here so what you're getting with this one you're getting your fabric that's got the print on you get your your threads you get in the needle you're also getting the actual um the instructions this is really interesting because mm. It is, like, if you're completely beginning, I bet you'd be able to pick this up and definitely yes. go do it, wouldn't Absolutely. you? Yes, it's backstitch. It is backstitch. And, um, it, and anything more complicated, which isn't complicated, is in there with instructions. But it is, it's backstitch, basically. It looks so effective. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Putting it, that extra bit of detail in, extra lines and things. I've, as I said earlier, I've souped it up from Mum's applique pass and made it more interesting because you need a bit more detail mm. when you're doing the backstitch. Yeah, yeah. And I love that it's printed. And like you were saying in first hour, it's it's a really light print. Mm. It's a light grey. Yeah. So you're mm. going to stitch over that. You're not going to see that at all, are you? No. No, not at all. No, if you're a beginner and you do go a bit wobbly, it doesn't show. Yes. Mm. Yeah, we need that, don't oh, we? Oh, we do. Because, let's face it, beginners are not, it's easy to go a bit wobbly. Um, that is so, and obviously the pattern is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, so you have got, first of all, you've got your choice. So you've got either the pansy 
or you've got that gorgeous, gorgeous daffodil. And the daffodil, in the, the first kit that we had with the fabric, the daffodil did sell out the first. Uh, but you have got that choice, so please do not miss out on that. And actually, I reckon, I'm not going to faff, just in case that is right. Uh, now, £9.99, pence, that's your price, okay. really different. And obviously with that, once you've got that pattern, um, you know, you're because in the, in the instructions, let me show you in the instructions, because you have got with the instructions... Do, do, do. Um, the daffodil has now gone limited. See, so it's showing you what you need to actually make um, that gorgeous wall hanging. And you've also then got, let me just show you the instructions. Because the instructions alone, and we said this in the first hour, you know, your instructions, you put such a lot of work into your instructions. Yeah, we do. We spend mm. a lot of time on those, getting those right for you and putting as much detail as we can. Um, covering everything that you really need to know yeah so so there are a couple of other stitches in there french knots and things but it's basically simple straightforward yeah backstitch work and what i love about this mm. you've got the fabric with the actual print on it but then you've actually given mm. um the the design again obviously color coordinated so you know what but it means you'd be able to do that again and again and again mm. yes yeah I, I think you've paid for that pattern, so you should get that pattern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. Mm. It's not it's not a one one it wonder. Um, now, if you'd love to do that, please check your baskets out. They're limited, however. Uh oh. Um, if you did watch the first hour, as you well know, everything more or less sold out. Uh, these are now limited stocks. So if you do want to get hold of those, uh, please check your baskets out. It's another I've made a right mess of. I'll just do this and then walk away. Um, <laughs> six four three six two five is your item number. Uh, we've got Easter baskets, and these are adorable. The green is very limited. I'm going to show you that fabric again. Because this is beautiful. Mm. Look at this. You have got bunny rabbits dressing up as Easter chickens. I've never seen fabric like that in my life. <laughs> you don't see much Easter fabric, do you, no, either? No. But the fact that it is just hilariously quirky. <laughs> it's just ridiculously it. cute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Isn't it? We Absolutely like gorgeous. We do. Mm. Look at him. Look at bunny rabbit. I mean, I was, and look at the one... Um, hold on, where's me? Where, I... It, it, yeah, the, the one, hold on, where I've, I still, that one, that one there as well, hold on, that one's cute, with little chicken chatting to the rabbit, oh, come on, Leona, there, look, he's got his little rabbit ears on, oh, no, are they cute, <laughs> he's, what are you doing, I don't know, what are you doing, that's so cute, <laughs> that's absolutely adorable um <laughs> if you if you want to go for them um beautiful such a beautiful design um you have got gorgeous ribbon you've got enough um to make the lovely basket um and either i mean both of them look sensational if you if you've got two kids in family you're gonna have to do two anyway so you might as well go from both because one can't have without the other and to be fair if you're just having these out as display, if you're not giving them away where Easter eggs in, they do look beautiful. Yeah. For spring display, they yeah. just look mm, adorable. They'll be perfect, mm. aren't they? Yeah. Little stuffed toy in there. Little yeah. stuffed bunny rabbit in there or a chicken or <laughs> both. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're just adorable. Um, okay, if you do want to get hold of them, only fourteen ninety nine. Such a good price for that. Um, that is seven 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 six three five. Right. Well, we haven't got much for you to demo, ladies. But we do the frill top bag since. Uh, if there's any fat quarters left that is available. <laughs> We've got some left. We've got, got some, some left. That's all right. Oh, do you then. want to show us the teddy bear as well, though? Yeah. You know the teddy bear that you now, said. No, this you one's made? sold out. Oh. Hey. oh, she jumped. It wasn't me. She jumped. I couldn't help it. She went for it. So that's that teddy bear with that teddy bear print. I just thought it, it works perfectly. Yeah, that is really cute. And then I had a little bit of that blue teddy bear striped fabric. So that's his heels, oh. heels his feet, and his little ears. Oh my gosh, he's absolutely adorable. Isn't he great? And yeah. then we thought all that farmyard fabric. Now, obviously, a couple of these fabrics are gone, but you can see we've got the little piggies there. Oh. And we've got the chickens. Oh, that looks so good. So, and choose the, another two that would go for the body and the wings, and you've got farmyard on the yeah. body. Enough to a chicken. I tell yeah, you what, like the way that that works is amazing. Yeah. Like, the different fabrics, they blend together, but even, like we were saying, the piggies. Yeah. On mm. the 
it works, doesn't it? It does. I had a, a good fight with Mum about the pigs because she wasn't sure. She came <laughs> round to my idea in the end because I was quite forceful. But until you get it on there, sometimes it doesn't look see. right, but you get it together. That's mine. I want that one too. Yeah, she loves it now. It's all sold. That's mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she loves it now. Mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We made all these yesterday. Yeah, yeah, we did. No way, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh and my gosh! We've got all this other stuff. That bunny that jumped out. Oh, here she is. Oh, poor bunny. She's bunny fine. Back. She doesn't hurt. There you oh. go. Now she could go in the basket, couldn't she? Oh she yeah. Could. So she's oh, got that she... knitted fabric in her ears. Oh my gosh, that's a that mm. There you go. That is absolutely beautiful. And you made them yesterday. Mm. Yeah. That's fantastic. There I you love go. that. See? When you can sew, you can just make stuff like that. <laughs> I've made a lot of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm very yeah. practised with them now. I bet you don't even need a pattern, do you? Do you just know oh, what yeah, to we do? do? I need the paper pattern to oh. get the shape, but no, I don't yeah. read the instructions. Oh, <laughs> I've made a few. I made 13 of them in one day once. <gasps> oh, my good career. Yeah, from our shop window. I tell oh. you what, the more you practise with sewing, the easier it gets. It's ever so quick. Yeah. 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 To yeah. learn to do it. If you get on and do it, Yes. And you can always unpick it if you make a mistake. Yeah. That's another good thing. You can't do that so much with paper if you make yeah, a mistake. Yeah, no, I will admit, no. the bear's Fabric legs went on back to front yesterday. Because <laughs> I, I was doing it a bit quick. <laughs> Turn it through and went, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. And that happens. It Poor does. It does a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you want to share with right. us this time, so ladies? You're getting the frill top pattern. And in the frill top pattern, you're obviously getting all your cutting instructions. Because we're patchwork and quilters, we write them for rotary cutting. However, I've given you all the sizes. You can cut them out with a ruler and pencil if you want to do, draw them and cut them. But it's going to tell you how many pieces to cut, all instructions there. And then you also get the paper pattern. Seam allowances are included, it does say that, to make the bag base and the frill. So Beautiful. I've already cut those out because, well, <laughs> these are my really old ones from one of the first patterns we've did, <laughs> my old versions, but, and I've used them a lot. So they'll mm -hmm. cut them out and I do suggest cutting them out first before you cut your fabric. Right. Dress patterns, you tend to put the pattern on and then cut out the pattern with the fabric, not with these because the papers are a lot thicker. So it right. makes it a bit harder. So okay. Tissue, tissue needs, you can cut round yeah. um, dress patterns because it's tissue paper. Tissue yes. paper. Yes, yeah, this, is, this is heavier weight, which is of also why they've lasted so long as well. Exactly, yeah. they are better on that score, much better. Mm -hmm. Tissue paper patterns, if you get a cat in the room, no <laughs> good. <laughs> oh gosh, shredders. no. Do love it. We had one, yeah, that did that. <laughs> we like to play with those. Dive into it and it's no more. <laughs> no. I think my dog would be doing exactly yeah. the same. Yeah, it's just Not a tantalising. <laughs> Right, so I've cut my strips. You'll see that I've chosen some of the fabrics that have gone and some that we've still got. Lovely. And it tells you how many strips to cut. I'm going to do one side because you have two sides made up of two lots of strips. And I, what I do is I lay them out and I, I actually go sort of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So what I'm going to do is just give you an idea of how I do that. It's not that it's difficult because you can see it's not. So that's that. So Beautiful. I try and I personally like it so none of the same ones touch each other. Yes. So I've just laid that out. And then all you're going to do, it's this simple, this is a good bag, this one, is just sew those strips together in one big piece. Okay, okay. So I'm going to get Mum starting on that, but it, we can move on because she's going to be doing that for a while. Yeah, okay. quarter inch seams. Quarter inch seams yep. throughout the whole pattern. Um, if you do them bigger, you'll have a smaller bag, but it's worth doing your quarter inch. It's a good way to practice. Yeah. Your quarter inches on a bag like this. Yep. Okay, okay. And I haven't then. got a quarter inch foot on, I've got an ordinary foot on, but I've got the needle moved over to quarter yeah. of an inch, which I like. Beautiful. Yeah. While she's doing that, I'm going to show you the next step, okay, which is okay. the base. So you'll be putting these together and then you'll quilt them. We'll talk about that in a minute. Move out of the way. You're going to cut your bases out. So you only need one of these. Yeah. So there's your base piece already cut out. And then it's always to cut your wadding piece, and the wadding piece isn't cut out because you're going to lay your base on top of that, and then you sew all the way around the edge. You don't have a backing fabric, you just put it straight on your wadding and sew it as it is. It's worth pinning it because sometimes the, the machine can push the fabric, especially when you're going around, cur around curves, you can see even doing it with the finger, it pushes it. So it's worth pinning it round, um, and I don't put a lot of pins in, just maybe one in each of the curved corners. Yeah. Those two together, please. Oh, I we'll like something to do. I know you do. We're just letting her do that to keep her out of mischief, really. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so, sew so around the edge. 
and then you're going to quilt this and you can quilt it however you like i mean in theory you don't really need to quilt it because it's quite a small piece yeah. but i like it i like some quilting on my bags so with this one i've already already quilted this one what i did was i went actually there's lines in this oh, so yeah. i quilted Perfect. down each of those curved lines i missed that one but <laughs> no i didn't do that one <laughs> I but i just thought that 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 yeah <laughs> Other than that, you can do straight lines. Mostly, I usually do straight lines on a bag like this. Yeah. And I'll either mark them or I'll use my long sticky tool on oh, I won't talk about that. Unless you know what it is, it doesn't matter. But you can mark them or you can do it by eye. So this is on the base, so it doesn't really matter if it's not perfect. Because yeah. nobody will see it. Now, I've just demonstrated what you do if you make a mistake. Oh. Right. Now, I've just unpicked it and I can start again. What oh. I did was not put, not put the right sides together i had one right and one wrong ah uh, mm. oh it's easy done that's very easy done and a load of yeah. well patchworkers usually do that at some time in their life some point yeah yeah i bet it happens a lot doesn't it, it? does it if does. you're in a hurry you know i yeah. tend to pick up two pieces of fabric at once sewn together and i've got then three pieces joined together and oh it's annoying yes right yeah I'll quickly show you for anybody who's not done pressing in the where's my ironing board in the patchwork quilting men method if you're a novice to this kind of sewing so mum's sewing that together. I do tend to give it a little quick press on top when it's folded. Okay. And then push the top over and we're going to press it to one side. And there's a reason, definite reason you have to do that in this sort of project. Don't press from the back, press from the front and press it over. Right. I just sort of nudged it over. You get then, a pleat if you don't, don't you? Yeah, you do get a pleat. Then I press it on the back. Personally, you don't have to, but I like to do that just to make sure that seems nice and flat. And I've actually wrunkled it up instead of making it flat. <laughs> oh well, you don't call it, have you? I wrunkled it. Wrunkled it. Those two together, please. Mm -hmm. So, Mum's got another one, another strip set. I'm getting her to do them in pairs because it's quicker that way. Okay. Ordinarily, I'd probably press this one. I've got all my pieces together so that all the seams go in the same direction. However, it doesn't matter again. Nobody's really going to notice which yeah. way the seams go. So that isn't. Yeah, that's not. It's strict, not strict hard fast rules to get the seams all the same. No, not in a project like this. When you're doing a quilt, sometimes you need to butt your seams, so you're gonna to need to join your your seams together. Yeah. And then you want one lot of seam lances going one way and one the other because then it matches, but you're not doing that on this because we're not piecing it more than the one strip. Right. So you don't okay, need to worry. Okay. Right. And I'm trying to work out that's the order. There we go. Um, can I Next just tell please? people we've had a few oh, um, house one? baskets. So, the ABC stripe, we've got a few of those left, not many, but a few of those left. Um, that's, and it's lovely, so it's bright mm. and cheerful and fabulous. Uh, remember, you're choosing any six for only 14 99 and these are fat quarters. Nice big piece of fabric for these, and any six, you're saving £10.50. A few of those have bounced out. And they are well cool. Remember, that's a batik, and it is double-sided as well, like a true batik. It is a true batik. Okay. Yep. Uh, carrots did bounce back, but they've gone again. <laughs> so they're bouncy carrots. Um, but, yeah, they've gone again, they've <laughs> bouncy carrots. Uh, we will take you through what we've got left in a few months' time, but we want to give you a heads up on those ones, um, just in case you were gutted because you missed out on them. OK, deal! Right. Now that we've got them all joined, to, or all in pairs, I'm going to get Mum to join those two together. Mm -hmm. I just need her to get this bit done because then we can move on to the next bit. So I'm going to rush you along. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going. Hang on, I've got two these. pieces the same there, so I've got to turn them round, haven't I? Oh, well spotted. Uh, yeah. Oh. I'm not going to worry too much if you don't get on her, aren't you? Yeah. You have. Yeah. I'm not going to cry <laughs> if she gets them in the wrong order today. Hey, what do you mean? But... You handed them to me. How dare you? <laughs> That's so rude. You have, to be, you have to be a bit straight here sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She just doesn't like to admit that everything I say is absolutely wonderfully correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard today. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> that uh, like the face oh. there, we're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It didn't take me long, but I did teach my mum to call me a genius every time I said, what am I? She went, genius! I thought of that, it was brilliant. Well, we do laugh. We, we have done a, that for a while. Laugh, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> it's very yeah. difficult when your role changes yeah. in life. Yeah. And yeah. ours has. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting, isn't it, really? Yeah. I mean, it, obviously, it happens, but yeah, it is very, it is interesting, isn't it? I think the weirdest one was when you suddenly realised that when you were in a, in a restaurant and somebody comes up for the bill and they <laughs> hand it to me instead of mum, and I'm going, what? 
No. <laughs> I don't want to pay. No, no my mum's still, she's there. Yeah, that's me, me she mom. pays that. My mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. You know, I haven't yeah. seen that one on occurred yet. Hasn't no, it? Or no. you've got a way to go yet? Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that one. We're obviously <laughs> done right for meals morning. enough. That'll be what it is, That'll yeah. Be it. We've actually reversed roles again now, though, because um, she pays now because I can't pay anymore. I haven't got any money. <laughs> <laughs> That's your mum. Skin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I pay to work for Emma now. She does, yeah. Well, she uh -huh. lives with me, so she pays for the food and I pay everything else. Oh. So it's, it's fine. It all works. Yeah. 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 And that's it. Oh, it does all. Mean. It all works itself yeah. out. Oh, it yeah, it does. does. Yeah, it's all fair. Yeah. Right. So I've got two lots of... Oh, can you, can I, I, I didn't know whether that was finished. No, so. no. We've got two well, lots of four. There's a lovely little there button is... here where it cuts it off. Quick. Lovely, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Such a posh machine. Oh, I know. It's really fancy. <laughs> yeah. So we've got, it's basically made up of eight, I couldn't remember how many strips I know now because they're right in front of me, eight strips. <laughs> So are they all joined? No, they're not. No, nope, you've got one more one seam more to seam. do. <laughs> it's just it's satisfying to do this. It's it's about as much as I'd want to do over and over again, I think, me. You've got two pinks to go. Oh. I had it right. You've uh, separated it. Oh, I don't no, care. I just it's turned fine. it round. It's fine. I didn't separate it. <laughs> it's fine. Just join it. <laughs> You're both geniuses. Thank right. you. Oh, Thank I you. don't know about that. <laughs> I've never been called a genius. No, okay. but we're being nice to you today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> I need you to work quick. Christmas, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. isn't it? You've you got know. to at some point. You've yeah. got to. You've got to for Christmas. I've got to practice because it's a birthday in February and that's coming up fast now. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Um, oh. What are you doing for birthdays? Have you got surprises? No idea. Uh -huh. oh, no, yeah. with everything going on, I haven't even thought about it. I think yeah. today, just then, was the first time I thought about it. I Probably don't have birthdays anymore. No. no. It gets to that point, doesn't it, where it's good. like, especially when you buy nice fancy machines and it's not a birthday treat. Yeah, that is true. That's I mean, what else I mean, get, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that could have been a birthday tree. Yeah, yeah. And what, what do I want now? Because I've got everything. <laughs> yeah, this that's does what we need it, it to do. Like, yeah. This machine does what we need it to do because we do make a lot of bags and it's really good for really sewing good over for thick bits yeah. on bags. It just takes a minute to So it's, it's an absolute, it, it's a game machine. changer. It yeah. really is. Mm. Right. You found the one. Mm. Right. Okie dokie. What's she got? That's where she's unpicked. That's annoying me. There we go. Right. <laughs> it's got some tufts on it. <laughs> You're going to be cutting the wadding to the right size in the pattern, as same size as the bag. I don't usually do that, but on this occasion, I found it to be the best way of doing it. Now, you will find, if you've got, this is a cotton poly, so it's quite stretchy, and it doesn't absolutely fit perfectly, but the nice thing about wadding, most waddings, is that it stretches out. So ah. I will stretch that out to the corners, and again, I will pin that, and... I found with this small bag, because it's not huge, yeah. it's a lot easier to sew around the edge again, the same as you did with the base. Yeah. Make sure that it goes, the wadding goes all the way to the edge when you're sewing it so it's even all the way around. Right. And then, even if this is a little bit rumpled, when you're going to quilt it, and I'll show you how I did that, it doesn't matter because it's going to flatten it out and the quilting's going to hold it in place. Of course, yes, so, of course. Yeah. Normally I, when you make a quilt, you start from the middle and quilt out. Yes, you do. Yeah. And you go around the edge last, and you have the backing and the wadding bigger than yeah. the top. Yeah. But with this is different with this yeah. bag. You don't really right. need to do that with this because yeah. it's quite and small, as I said. Is that that's just because it is smaller? Yeah. Is it's that just a little bag. Yeah. And it's yeah. worth getting a wadding that's got a bit of give in it as well. I use yeah. scraps that I have left over from quilts. Um, yeah. But if you haven't, just a half a meter of wadding. Will That'll be fine. job. Well, yeah. I think you do yeah. this with table mats and table runners yeah, and things as well. Small. Do it like that. Yeah. yeah. But no, a table runner might be too big, but table mats wouldn't. And yeah. Mug, mug rugs. Depends. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mug rugs you can just. Yeah, mug rugs you can do anything easy. with. Easy peasy. Easy. Yeah. Right, lovely. So. Imagine we're sewn all the way around there. What you you can then quilt it again. You can quilt it however you like. So I, as I said, I did all sort of wonky quilting on this. Yeah. However, this one kind of is screaming for you to quilt down the lines. Yeah. Now, if you're quilting down exactly in that line, it's called stitching in the ditch. Yes. yes. So that is why you need to have pressed your seams to one side. Ah. If you press your seams open like you would when you're dressmaking, you can't. Yeah. You're then stitching in between those two fabrics. You're just stitching on those stitches. You're not stitching on ah, the fabric. Of course. And those stitches are a weakness. You're right, of course. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so that makes absolute it sense. It does, doesn't it? Mum taught me that one, and I went, oh, yeah. 
Yeah. When you stitch in the ditch, you've got a ditch in the bank. You have. A ditch in the bank? A yes. ditch in the bank? Yeah. That was if the next thing. If you stitch up the bank, fabulous. then it shows. If you keep them on the ditch side, yeah. it doesn't yeah. show. And the ditch is the side of the fabric that hasn't been folded. Ah, There's okay. one here, so if you can just about, I don't know if you can just see what I'm talking about. That there's the blue fabric has obviously been folded. You can just yeah. see the folded edge there, whereas the pink fabric is flat underneath it. So of the pink course. fabric is the ditch. The blue fabric is the bank. The bank. So you course. want to be stitching on the pink fabric if you possibly can, as close to that line. And this is what I tried to do on this. You will see if you really looked closely, which you probably can't. <laughs> um, I have kind of gone up the bank in a couple of places, but this oh, is yeah. me stitching in the ditch all the way down. It's good to choose a thread. That yeah. matches your fabric. I've actually gone for a pale sort of pinky colour here, so it doesn't show much. That's and it didn't show a lot when I went up the bank on the blue. <laughs> so we won't worry about that. So that's the easiest way to do it, and that's as much quilting as you really need. Beautiful. However, if you want to go to town, mm -hmm. oh, I need that. Like this one, I actually decided to use some fancy stitches on my sewing machine. Oh. There's a couple of reasons for this. I've done this before. This is an S-shaped one, and it, obviously it depends what your machine's got on it. But this is really good if you're having trouble staying in that line. Oh, yeah, as I like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. as long as you keep it sort of vaguely over that middle line, you're okay. Zigzag similar. You can yes. go bigger or smaller. I did that with zigzag. That was deadly easy. Really easy. And it looks really cool. It does, doesn't and it? And you don't need a walking foot. You don't need a walking okay. foot. Mm. If you've got a walking foot or anything like that, when you're doing stitching in the ditches, it's a lot easier and it's going to not oh. push your fabric so much because you're going to need to put a bit of tension on your fabric when you're stitching it to stop mm -hmm. it from the top from moving from the bottom because again right. I haven't got a backing fabric I've only got wadding right. however these stitches the machine will pull it all through and stitch it so you don't want to be messing with that and pulling it or pull, pushing it because you'll lose your, your stitch we've got little diamonds and daisies there these are really tiny stitches oh they're really cute S shapes with little bows kind of like a, a kite string Oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? Yeah, they're beautiful. Oh, it's so pens. nice as well. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. Like when you buy these machines, all these fancy stitches, because yeah. I bet a yeah. lot of people never use them. It's no, so no, nice no. to actually see them used, isn't it? Yeah, I rarely mm. use mine, so yeah. I really went to town on this. I had a great time choosing ones that work. You want to choose ones that don't have a line on one side, right. that are central as well. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, you can have a good time with those. But my Jacobean patterns, the, the um, applique patterns, I've done fancy stitches around the edges of those. Yeah. You do yeah. them yeah. to the side of the satin stitch, yes. don't you? So Good. there's all sorts yeah. of things you can do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's beautiful. Right. Um, shall I give? Yeah. Right. I'm going to give a refresh, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of sold out. Oh. Um, you do need to check your baskets out. Remember, after 10 minutes, we do refresh what's in your basket. So if it's been sat it's there for too, too long, yeah. we'll chuck it back out again. Um, okay. So. ABC strike, gone. Okay. Uh, what about a lovely dinosaurs? Sold out. <laughs> gone. Okay, again. Um, tools, gone. Cogs, gone. That, gone. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Still got the triangles. We've still got some of the triangles. It looks really modern and fresh, does that? And yet it's got um, it's got um, Art Deco look to it in my mind, does that? Really like that. Still got some of that left. Pink knit, we've still got some of that left. The little bunny ears. Pink knit, still got some of that left. That beautiful lace panel. Okay, those really interesting lace panels. You can still get hold of those. Our hens. The chickens, yeah. I am so surprised you can still get your lovely chickens, but we have got some of them, the pigs. No, I didn't think so. Uh, now, if you've got your pigs, you need the chickens. Um, our lovely little teddy bear stripe, that's gone. The sheep, oh, I knew it. They had to go. That's the, that's the best. The teddy bears, gone. Cupcake, gone. The sweet, sweetie jars. <laughs> Next person, you're gonna get it. Uh, your mate won't. <laughs> um, Bunting gone. A long clock can be, yeah, you can get that. And you can make a lot, no, it's <laughs> like alarm clocks. Um, you can get both of those still. I think your alarm clocks would make a really nice um, going away bag or a little wash bag. 
You know what I mean? A little travel bag for all your smellies and stuff like that. I think that would be lovely for the alarm clock. I think that would be really pretty. Oh, both of my favourite favourites have gone. Absolutely. Yeah, they're my favourite. They're beautiful, but they've gone. OK, we haven't got much left at all. Um, that is literally it. Because this, this is ridiculous. So if you do want any of those, please check your baskets out. Remember, you're choosing six. Um, it can be the, the same one multiple times if you wish to do that. Um, so please make sure you check your basket out. Yeah, I think the alarm clock, a really nice overnight bag or a pyjama bag. You know, something like that. Your PJs in them. That'd be lovely. Um, even a little wash bag, you know. Ooh, time to wash. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Maybe not. That was my weird imagination. Uh, £14.99, pounds. you are saving £10.50 there. 636833, your item number. Okay. These are both now limited stock. Oh, and do remember with that one, you did get that pattern. Uh, both of these are now limited stock. Um, both available, but limited. So you have got your choice. You've either got uh, the beautiful daffodil or you've got the pansy. Remember, these are the stitch kits that will give you that effect. I mean, it's a big finish that you're doing. It's a beautiful panel. It's a central panel that you're obviously stitching. The pattern will show you how you can make uh, the beautiful wall hanging if you want. But remember, you not only get the fabric that this is printed on, but you also get the pattern for that. So it's just an incredible value for money. For £9.99 and pence there, that's 643-625, your item number. And then we've still got some Easter baskets left, but we've only got the blue. The green has gone. The blue is actually limited stock. It's not just the cutest fabric ever, but you've also got uh, the lovely lining, which is gorgeous. And then um, you've got that, um, it's like a stabiliser, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, it's Decaville. Decaville? Decaville. So it is made for making sort of lightweight bags and things. Yeah, keeps so it's got, it stiff. Yeah, yeah, it keeps it stiff without it being too firm because I wanted it to have some movement in it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just love. It's perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Honestly, get hold of that. That is absolutely exquisite. Um, my mum, I've talked about my mum quite a lot today. Um, she, um, she has a lovely little fairy tree at Christmas, but then at Easter, obviously, she has an Easter tree. And the bowl for the Easter tree would sit really nice in there as well. And then the, oh. rather than seeing a pot, that would look well pretty. I, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. Fourteen ninety nine. That's all you're paying. Um, do not miss out on that. That's gorgeous. Seven 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 six three five. Okay, back to you, hey. ladies. Right. So I've taken those two um, quilted pieces. I've popped them right sides together. Good, good. And sewed. Had mum sew down each side, the short sides. Super. And then all you've got to do is pop your base in. Now on the pa paper pattern, you had four marks on the base. <laughs> on this one, my one didn't have it on, <laughs> so I forgot to do them. But you can either snip them, or I've marked them with a... I've actually done it with a water erasable pen, because I don't want this to show after I finish the bag. But if you keep it sort of small, then it should go in the seam anyway. However, okay. anyway, so we've done that. What you're going to do is you've got the central of the two sides, which happens to be, because there's eight strips, is the central quilted line. So That's I'm going to line that up. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Line that up with that, right sides together, and I am actually going to do some pinning... I don't do pinning often, but when you need to do it, you have to. Yeah. And it makes sense with this because you're going to have to kind of you manipulate it, aren't you? You do. You don't want your bag twisting as you're sewing it. And you are going to have to get around because this is a curved sew now. Mum's going to love this. She wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I've not made Surprise! one of these before. <laughs> you have. <laughs> I don't remember. It's your pattern, so yeah, you have. A um, <laughs> long time ago. I've made a lot since oh, then. Oh, it is my pattern. It is your it's pattern. One of the first. <laughs> yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I think this gosh. is our first bag pattern we ever did. I think did. it went before the carryalls, didn't it? Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm. So, how long ago would that be then? We've been going t over 10 years now. Oh my God. That's over 10 years because we've well been going over. about 15 years yeah. now. That's yeah. incredible. Maybe 16. 16. What yeah. I love as well though, a pattern like that, it's never going to go out of fashion. No, it's oh, just yeah. such a nice little bag. Yeah. It fits your tablets in, it fits your e-readers in, yeah. all that sort of thing. Yeah. Right, so I joined the side seam 
with that mark on each end and then all you're going to do is sew round and you have got enough leeway that it is going to go all the way round mm. without having it too tight round the corner right okay, okay? and I'm going to pass it over to mum to do that amazing and while she does that you're actually going to cut the lining as well and the lining is in the same size as those two quilted pieces and a base exactly the same it's a bit crumpled because I made it yesterday yeah. and you're going to sew it up the sides exactly the same put the base in the same <laughs> and as long as you don't forget like I did you leave a gap in one of the side bases for turning or if you do it all the way around and realize you haven't then you just unpick a little gap <laughs> I have done that. that was yesterday's job as well, wasn't it? It was, yes. I was doing it again very quickly. <laughs> so that's done exactly the same, and that's your lining. So I actually used the alarm clock. Hey. Hey. I like one. the alarm clock fabric. I do. I, I think, think it's, it's a great cool, fabric. And, and they, I, I mean, I know I say this a lot with your fabrics, but they all feel lovely quality, like that alarm clock. It feels beautiful. Yeah, they are all good. Anybody stuff. that knows their fabric designs, this is, a, I believe, it's an Annie Downs fabric. Right. So she's a very popular designer. It's not something you would probably look at and go, oh, that's Annie Downs. Yeah. But it went with yeah. a range that was yes. quite a big range, and it's just a cute one. I think it was a a, a day in the life of or something like that's a long time ago now that I can't remember it yeah and it was just one of the mixes that went with it and I loved it yeah loved it I really like that yeah I and I think there are a, a lot of a lot of uses I mean it doesn't have to be specific for anything no. but if you are doing some specific I think that would be very cute oh, I mean yeah. if you're doing um if you're doing pajamas for teddy bears Oh, we have a lot of clocks. That would be so lovely. That would be cute. Ooh. I like your wash bag idea. That would be brilliant. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it really Something good? like that. Yeah. A little travel, like, you know, when you're, you're sticking okay. stuff in your, your suitcase in yeah. a little bag like that, that would be so Perfect. cute. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. Love it. Um, okay, then. All right. How's Mum getting on? She's, Ooh, she's getting there. there. She's getting there. Yeah. Oh, while she's doing that, we know that it's going to turn out like this. Okay. Okay. Perfect. It is. Because that's the lining. Because that's the lining, so it's got a curved base. This will go probably back inside out because it's a lining, so it'll be that way inside the bag. Yeah. But the next thing you're going to do, I might as well move on before she's doing that, is you're going to make the frill very important for a frill yes. top bag. So you've got four pieces like this. This is obviously the wrong side of the fabric. You're right. going to pair them into two pairs with the right size together. So I've actually got two pieces of fabric there. And you're actually going to sew all the way around all the curves, but leaving the top open. Right. Okay. Okay. And then, because we're going to turn it through and there's curves into points, you're going to need to snip right into those points as close as you can get without snipping the seam. Oh, we have ah. to hold there. Oh, sew it up. Because I'm doing it quick, you yeah, see. Yeah, no, you're right, Mum. You carry on. Mm -hmm. So okay. if you do snip your, your seam by mistake, you can go in and just make it a slightly bigger seam because you don't want that coming undone. Okay. The other thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to shave a little bit of that fabric off coming into that point. It just makes it turn through a little bit easier. You don't have to. Yeah. I didn't used to do that, but I do like to make it a little bit easier. And it doesn't sort of ruin the, the actual shape of it at all, does it? No, it doesn't. The thing about these frills is because they're not going to be any kind of weight-bearing frill. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you've got it turned through and pressed, then you're, you're done. You haven't got a problem with having a smaller seam allowance or anything. And because it's on the seam allowance, it doesn't come into the, the sewn part of it or the seam part. Okay, yeah. I just, I just put all them bits of fabric I cut off in, in my trolley here that's made a mesh. So they all <laughs> fell on the floor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. Um, and then you're going to turn each frill through. And I kind of push through my thumbs to get them out, but they don't want to stay like that. So the best way to get them to stay nice and smooth is either a turning tool I, or a pencil or something. I've got a couple of different methods. If I'm turning long thins, legs and arms and things, you tend to use a pencil. So you can use a pencil. And I've used one that hasn't got an end on it. Yeah. One yeah. of them pencils, every time you, you sharpen it, the lead falls out yeah, and yeah. it's then useless. They are really good for stuff like this. <laughs> so knitting just, needles are good. Knitting needles, yeah, yes. not too pointy, yeah. yeah. Perfect, you use push. You use a knobby end. Yeah, push right into that seam. I also have been known to use scissors that haven't got a sharp point. Right, yes, yes. And they go nicely. And it's just to push into that seam and it's kind of is creasing that fabric as you go out as far as it'll go. Yeah. And once you've done that, you can press it, and once it's pressed, it'll stay. Perfect. But it's it's well, making sure you don't mess it up. Yeah, that's really working the seam out, isn't it? Yeah. 
and then it just presses. And that, because I've snipped it right really close, you haven't got any bunching on those little creases there. Oh, yes. If you get in bunching, it's because you've not clipped your seam enough. Right, there you see. You've done a good job on that. Yay. You've done a perfect <laughs> job, Mum. Thank you. So we have mm -hmm. a bag, we have a frill. We actually have another frill here that I've made earlier. Amazing. And then we need to make handles. I'm going to show you how to make the handles really quickly because I've already done them mm. as well. The handles, you have two pieces of fabric the size it tells you, which is that size, <laughs> and, uh, and two pieces of wadding. I've only got one because I'm going to show you. I only need to show you one. Okay. Um, right sides together, fold it in half, long lengthways. You don't yeah. need to press it. I'll just give it a quick push down so it doesn't bounce back. Pop your wadding on the top. And then, actually, I prefer it when I'm sewing it to have the wadding on the bottom. Right. I think my, my wadding's a bit... The wadding does stretch as it sits there <laughs> for some reason. Don't worry about that because you can always snip it down to size. Sure. But sew it, one seam, quarter inch from there all the way down the side, making sure that you've got your fabric and your wadding at the edge. And once you've done that, um, you're gonna, you'll have a seam. And I just, I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to get Mum to do it because it's taken for too long. Up to that seam, I just snip the wadding away from the fabric, right, just up okay. to the seam. Just yeah. means that when you turn it through, it's that bit um, thinner to yeah. at that on that seam. So it's not as chunky to That's get through. That's it. Yeah. So do that, turn it through, and then you have a tube that you're going to press. Okay, okay. Oh, I've done something I shouldn't have done there. I did maybe both of these. So you end up with a tube like that. Yeah. Once you've pressed it, you want to make sure you've got the seam on one side, but that's kind of just wiggling it until you do, and then sew about an eighth, between an eighth and a quarter inch on each side all the way down. Right. Okay, okay. Okay. The last yeah. step on the handle is to fold the handle in half and start two inches from the end, sew along that side and stop two inches from that end. Right. I actually sew along that way as well, but you don't have to. That's just to reinforce it. That's mm. just me because I, I find it annoying. Do you like it flat and neat? I do. <laughs> I do. And then that handle's ready to go in the top of your bag. It looks like a proper handle then. Yeah, yeah. it does, doesn't it? It looks it like a, a posh, posh handle. Yes. Yeah. Well, like a posh. Mm. So, last but not least, I'm going to tell you how I do this. Now, you've got your bag. I'm going to turn him right way out for this because it's easier. Because left any holes in it. She yep. Ah. You have to try and remember this because I haven't made one of these up to this point in a while. Do I put the frill on first or do I put the handles on first? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> decisions, decisions. You Sorry. Put frill on first. I mean, I could look at your pattern, but I won't be able to help you. Oh, right, so I've got the frills on the bag, yeah, place the handles on, on top. Yeah, frill on hey. first. Hey. Hey. Sorry about that. You get um, the pattern. <laughs> you get the pattern. Right, the frill, you'll notice, is a little bit wider than the bag it's supposed to be. So what I do is I make sure that middle part there is in the middle of that seam. Amazing. Pull it and I go round the edge on one side, pin that. I love the colours together, don't they work? Isn't it brilliant? Yeah. yeah. We love choosing colours. We don't do, we, we do. Yeah. We don't always agree. No. <laughs> no. So I pin the middle on one side. <laughs> no, we don't. We didn't agree on this one. This is the second iteration of the fabrics we chose. But there we are. Um, I and bet then those discussions are fabulous. Oh, oh. they're great. Yeah. <laughs> they don't end up in fisticuffs, no. hopefully. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> the same on this one. Pin the same end. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fold that one over as well onto the top Lovely. from the back. And I like them to go round in one direction. So that one's already pinned. I'm just going to pop that on top of there. Take Lovely. that pin out and repin it. Beautiful. And then you just got left with the handles. Now the handles, I know that when the handles are down, they're going to be that way when they're up. This is the front of my bag. Ah, yes. These are my handles. I want my handles to look like that with that piece on the inside. So yes. you want it the opposite way. And I'm going to line up those handles really cheekily with that bunting strip of fabric there. Yeah. I can't see what you're doing. Because it's the same width as the strip. I'm actually going to pin it that way this time. Ah, lovely. So it makes it easy to line up again. It does. And also, I've got a bunting piece on that strip there because it's two pieces in the middle that aren't the bunting one, so mm. therefore the third Perfect. strip is the bunting. So it actually works. Yeah, mm. that is lovely. That just is lucky. It doesn't always happen like that, but it did. <laughs> and then you know exactly where to put the other side. And all you're going to do... And actually, this side, we haven't got the bunting then, we've got the other one, but it doesn't really matter because it's just still the positioning. Yeah. Nobody yeah, yeah. can see that between you them and the You can still frame. line it up. We've got two minutes. Okay. All you're going to do is then, I'll just show you the last step, and then we're done. I'm not going to get Mum to sew it. Sorry, yeah, Mum. You just try it. Just you take it. the lining. 
Oh, of course, I forgot about that. No, one. not that. Oh, yeah, that way. Yeah. Shush, mum. Mm. And you just put the bag into the lining, lining inside out, right sides together as normal, and line up those side seams because you can see the inside of that side seam. Yeah, yeah. And then just repin the whole thing together. And all you're going to then do, it's so simple, is sew around the top. Yeah. Turn it through that opening. Yeah. And then you're going to sew around the top with the frill up and handles up. Top ah. stitch it. Okay, yeah. Fold the frill down. Amazing. Done. And yeah. that's it done. Yeah. Beautifully that's made. The bit, that's the bit when people are bag making that always messes with my head. But it absolutely, it well, works. Yeah, but it you does. have to think about it, don't you? You do, read those you instructions. See the instructions, read them through, and as you're doing it, you'll understand what the yes. words mean. Yeah. But until uh, you do it... Yeah. Yeah, then it's like, whew, no, that is lovely. Uh, thank Simple. you ever so much. Really, Bye. really quickly, we've had so many sellouts. Um, we've still got, with this one, the best way is the website. Because that's going to show you exactly what's there. A couple of bounce bites, so someone didn't check the web, um, the uh, doodads out. Um, so <laughs> do have a little look, um, and obviously get in there quick. If there's anything you want, check your baskets out, because it has been busy and um, ladies thank you ever thank so you. much thank you. it's been so nice uh, when are you back with us 11th at 11 and 2 amazing two yes. so yes. in the new year yes. yes fabulous oh have a lovely new year ladies thank you. Yes. You and too. i can't thank wait to uh, to see what you bring us in january as well oh, something different yep yep we've lovely. got something new exciting yes. stuff yeah. uh, thank you ladies happy new year happy thank you new happy new year to everyone yes. take baskets out everyone <laughs> Coming up next, we're paper crafting with the amazing Funky Fossil. We've then got Zira, your last chance for one day special, and then Big Save with Viva Decor. Stay tuned to the craft store. Shopping online with the craft store has just got easier with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan. Spread the cost of your basket, whether there is one item or many, with three interest free payments. Simply choose Pay in 3 at checkout and pay for purchases between £30 and £2,000 over three equal instalments for the next three months. No fees and no interest. Spread the cost of your shopping with PayPal's Pay in 3 plan at the Craft Store. Join us here at the Craft Store for the Big Save event starting Friday the 17th of December at 6pm and will continue for the rest of December. Every day existing customers will be given a £5 account credit to spend against their first purchase of £30 or more. So don't miss out. Make your savings even bigger with the Big Save from Friday the 17th of December at 6pm. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012, I'm never really sure. At one point we nearly became the cushion company because we've churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter.
Join us here at the Craft Store for the Big Save event starting Friday the 17th of December at 6 p.m. and will continue for the rest of December. Every day, existing customers will be given a £5 account credit to spend against their first purchase of £30 or more. So don't miss out. Make your savings even bigger with the Big Save from Friday the 17th of December at 6 p.m. Hello, good afternoon. Now, super happy because I'm with Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello, Alex. Hello. Happy in betwixtmas. Indeed, yes. That's what I like I to like, call yeah, that I period. Like that. Yes. <laughs> I kind of call it no man's land, but I prefer that. So I'm going to go with that. <laughs> a bit more festive. And it's so nice to work with you because we were saying earlier that we had a stint where we were together all the time. And then I know we've been just kind of pulled apart anyway so it's good to have a, a Christmas uh, reunion reunion exactly <laughs> lovely what we've got for you in this show are basically the best sellers so if you um, missed out on them last time then now is your chance to snap them up and remember the big save event if you're putting more than 30 pounds in your basket you can use your five pound credit so we're going to start off with some of the paper pads that mm. you have already found at home as well we're doing basically three for two so you're choosing any of your three favorites or of course you can go for two sets if you want to and pick all six um, and it's only 11.97 so I'm gonna have a little flick through in a second but you've got your mixed media kaleidoscope merry and bright we've got the textures so I would say there's something for everybody Sarah absolutely in fact I think these are all these sets that we released this year yeah I think I do one probably once one every other month mm -hmm. so this is kind of my years worth of paper pads. Ah. Um, and absolutely, I've gone, I've gone from things which are the textures for your MDF and decorating um, backgrounds through to that really kind of bright and funky mixed media uh, pad. So yeah, I think, I think something for every taste really. Yeah, lovely. So this first one I'm starting with, uh, your mixed media kaleidoscope. You have 36 pages in each one. Oh, it is lovely and bright, isn't it? It is, it is. I mean, I think when we, we said when this one came out, it's like every page is like the perfect gel print. Yes, it is. Yeah, you know, it's just lovely, bright, strong colours but that kind of layering of, of prints and patterns as well nice so here as I said we've got 36 pages you've got 12 designs and it's 200 GSM acid and lignin free so that's your first one now we're already a third of the stock of that one gone because you've been shopping before then let's go to the merry and bright uh, I think we're still we're still in a festive mood I don't think we want to let go of it yet no, and, and I mean, this, this one's full of really kind of beautifully crisp reds, greens and whites, uh, obviously. But actually, I very deliberately, when I put this pad together, made sure there are no specifically festive patterns in there. So Definitely. it's stripes, it's polka dots, you know, great for um, festive designs, but actually all year round too. And those greens are great for kind of spring and garden type um, you yeah. know, images. So, yeah, I've, I've used that one a lot for non-festive cards yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so this one is... Merry and bright uh, quarter of the stock gone. Then we've got our monochrome. Let's have a little flick through this one. But of course, you could add your inks to this if you wanted to. Absolutely. Yes, it takes inks really nicely. So I have in, in the past sometimes kind of coloured them to go with whatever the, the focal image is. But equally, I, I wanted a black and white pad because mm -hmm. that black and white anchors everything. It's yeah. a great kind of contrast so if you're using a really bright and vibrant color to have um, just a touch of black and white in the in the overall design uh, can really kind of calm it down and keep yeah. it and keep it cohesive so um, yeah this this one gets used a lot actually excellent and good for gents cards as well as ladies yeah, then shall I come down to this one okay this one is your neutrals and so maybe have you got some sepia tones in this one as well yeah it's kind of um the main colorways really are like kind of craft papers yep. and chalkboard so it's it's kind of uh, a really kind of soft palette like whitewashed look there as well oh, so yeah. all abstract patterns quite small patterns as well so again great for um different sizes of project but yeah in those kind of grays and browns mm, nice nice one okay so that one is your neutrals Next one is your textures. Oh, I'm going to like this one. It's, it's the gnarly, gnarly peeling it's a paint. Fab one, yeah. I mean, I, I love this one because, as you say, there's the designs for kind of every occasion. I love the cracks and the wood grain and the kind of music paper. Mm. It's it's a really versatile um, 
set. I mean, I use it quite a lot for decorating MDF pieces. Yeah. But actually, as backgrounds on anything, it's it's wonderful. Oh, I love that. Isn't it great? That peel paint. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wood grain. Yeah, lovely. Uh, so we're a quarter of the stock of your textures gone. And then last but not least, let's see. We have got the spring geometrics. This, uh, this is cool. Yeah, it's the, one, it's the one we started the year with, so it oh. feels like a long time ago now, but it's really nice, bright, poppy colours with, with that contrast of the of the black as well. But that zingy, yellowy green yeah. and pink is just, yeah, the, and the, the geometric style of them as well makes them really useful. Again, male, female, yeah. any, any kind of recipient, they, they work great. Yeah, lovely. Now, we have some news already. Uh, because our kaleidoscope, well, gosh, that was quick, it's gone limited. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Loving that one. So, limited stock for your kaleidoscope. Do pop it into your basket. You're picking any three, if you wanted, if you're really quick, you could go for three the same. Uh, £11.97. Remember, that is three for the price of two. 933-890 is your item number. Then we've got the washi, and of course this, it's the same sort of patterns, isn't it, that the monochrome pad's got? Yeah, I mean, uh, three of the washies um, mirrored the patterns in the monochrome pad, one of them from the neutrals pad, so the, the washi tapes were bought out at different times of the year, um, but the, um, the black and white, as, as, as I was saying with the papers, is just really versatile and, and a great accent piece. You tear, that's, Four of them are 30 mil wide, yep. and one's 15, so they're great for tearing into or using as, as kind of solid pieces. But yeah, they'll go perfectly with your monochrome, and well, I say black and white, you can't go wrong with it, can you? Yeah, there you go, you can see that one matches at the end. Uh, there you go, there's yeah. the grid there, yeah. that matches. And then so that's perfect. Matches, yeah. yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, uh, if you want those washies. And you've got so you've got a thinner one and then some fatter ones. Okay. Eleven ninety-five. You get all five of them, and your item number is four six two three zero zero. Right, that's gone. Technically Ooh. sold out the kaleidoscope one. That was very quick, wasn't it? It was lovely. So thank you very much. Okay, then <laughs> the pugs. <laughs> These make me chuckle. We used to have um, a producer that worked here that had a couple of pugs, oh, and she'd bring them into the office. They're adorable, aren't yeah. they? They are just, they've just got such a soulful look, but you know, they're, they're both kind of, uh, you know, almost kind of, just so cheeky. There's yeah, just so are, much expression they? in their faces, and, and these <laughs> illustrations from uh, Zinsky are just, I just um, could, could work with these all day. Yeah, amazing. So you get, um, Mr. I mean, look at this sample. It's <laughs> 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 so cute. So you're getting your little MDF, um, um, what do you call it? Like kennel doghouse, yeah. Couldn't yeah. think of the word. You're getting your little MDF kennel. Um, you've got a couple of stencils because you've got the bones um, and you've also got the little paw prints. And then, of course, your main event are your pugs. So let's take a little look at their faces. They've all got such really cheeky, chappy um, looks to mm. them. They're very happy. They're all very, very happy. And they've got uh, certainly the one in the stripy top has got that look of you know when when that one. you get yeah, when you get dressed up by your owners that kind of what are you doing to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, why? Yeah. <laughs> all the other dogs are going to laugh at me. <laughs> right. And then let's have it. You've also got some sentence as well. Pug life. I have the bestest human being. Isn't that so sweet? <laughs> Sending birthday pugs. That's a good one. Uh, lots of love and pugs. And then you've got hugs and kisses down there. Right, so here we go. That's nice in the monochrome. And then using the um, stencil outside. Yes, and, uh, and you can see as well just the touch of the um, black and white paper in the background as the base as well. So, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, again, they're very easy uh, to colour in, but equally just left in that black and white looks mm -hmm. brilliant. Nice. And then here he is with his kennel. That's a brilliant use of the paper pad from That's the textures right. one. Lovely. And then here he is. Here he is. He's, he's like, he's like, oh. He's had too many sprouts, hasn't he? He has. <laughs> <laughs> too many sprouts. Love that. Oh, he, he's, he's just chilling out. He's chilling. That's after he's had his Christmas dinner. Yeah, absolutely. And all the little paw prints on that nice clean bedding as well. <laughs> he's been <Chilling>. outside. <laughs> oh, now. This is another uh, set that's coming up in a second, but that's hilarious teaming it with, Isn't the, it? with the headphones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. And then let's see. <laughs> now, because it's in the black and white, he looks like he's in jail. 
<laughs> well, I think when, when I and, and all the design team first got uh, got this set, we all saw them as a little convict in the black and white stripy stripy top. So yeah, <laughs> that is funny. Right, uh, eighteen pounds and forty nine pence for that lovely collection of your pugs. Item number is one six nine nine three four. Then the wired for sound, so that's where the earphones come from, or headphones, I should say. So you've popped some dies in for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in this set. set, and they're all they're all they're sort of separate, so you can piece it together how that you want, which is great. So there you go. You've got a stencil down there, and then of course we've got the uh, main event, which are the stamps. Uh, who's the designer for this one? Uh, it's just a set that I um, bought the license for oh, okay. by yeah, a company that actually does quite a few, which do it bro broken down almost like into a technical blueprint style. So uh, I've got so the, the actual illustrations almost kind of have the, have the lines and arrows as if it's kind of from a, um, uh, instructions yeah. booklet. So I, really, I just really like that, that kind of slightly slightly unusual look to them it's very cool and then if i bring this in here which way around here we go so we've got all of the, i mean the cassettes i've still got cassettes at home i will not throw out no. although um, although everyone immediately as soon as they saw the cassette went talked about kind of getting the pencil to kind of wind it all back in. yeah <laughs> oh and didn't it used to be heartbreaking when you've got a favorite cassette and then the the tape snapped Spooled, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> memories <laughs> okay so some more samples for this one let's bring this in um, so that's nice the sort of watercolor effect going yeah, on yeah absolutely so i mean all i did was stamp the headphone stamp sprayed spritzed it and then stamped back over to give the line detail again yep nice and then this one that i like um the way that the colors have been done as well beautifully blended isn't it yeah perfect and i love the font of the retro vibes sentiment from the stamp set i think that's got a really great mm. great look that's gorgeous and then we've got this one ah and that's using one of the other stencils on the website i believe it's using one of the a7 stamps oh the, i do yeah, apologize the background stamp so it just really showing um it's really easy to line up and all i did was oh. wipe bits away so it looked distressed but yeah it's just the little circuitry stamp oh repeated looks very cool um and then we've got uh, this one with the happy birthday wired for sound that's cool that's like it's like taking apart the earphones exactly and we've got to show the cassette there you go <laughs> yay right uh 21 pounds and 73 pence is the price for all of those your item number is 109874 then we've got the hedge hugs yes hedge yes. hugs <laughs> which are very sweet um they've got a lovely style to them they are they're, they're designed uh, by donna so donna gray who, who i think pretty much every release this year has, has come up with a fantastic stamp set yeah um and this is another group of her kind of uh, really cheeky characters um and they just uh, they've got the two hedgehogs which are kind of um reverse so you can have them facing each other when you when you uh, stamp them out but it's just full, full of so many lovely little details this yeah. stamp set love that and you've got a nice little wreath little toadstool oh he looks so happy oh and you've got a squirrel there as well and then down at the bottom you can see you've got some stencils and uh, so you've got the heart stencil with the acorns and everything in and then the other heart it's almost like falling hearts isn't it yeah well, I think, obviously, I think when we first look at this stamp set, we see autumn, and obviously it's got references to autumn on it, but equally, when I was putting it together, I was also thinking of Valentine's Day, mm. so it's that kind of nuts about you, oh, and sending yeah. a hedgehog, so I thought adding some um, heart stencils into the bundle made it really kind of easy to adapt it to, to Valentine's, which isn't that far away now. I know, right? <laughs> be here before you know it. Uh, have I got this right, the round, round the right way? Hang on, let's turn this around. So, yeah, the nuts about you. I really like that. Yeah. And more samples. Cute as this. Uh, so, leaves are falling, autumn is calling. Yeah. And I love those autumnal colours. How, how's about this? What about thank you cards? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, the, I mean, the hedgehogs just, well, and the little squirrel work with so many other images all year round, really. Yeah. Nice. And then here's our squirrel, nuts about you. He's, he's going to make a leap, I think, for that. He's slightly manic, isn't he? <laughs> How many has this one got? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. No wonder he's smiling. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then this one's building up a nice little collection. Let's get another hedgehog one. Oh, look, they're hanging bunting up together. 
so sweet. And it's got one of the uh, Neutrals paper pad actually as the background ah. for them as well. There. Yeah. Yeah, that's so clever that one. Uh, we've got this one here, last one for now. Isn't that sweet? Isn't it lovely? Yeah. Um, and I mean, obviously, there are ways of doing reverse stamping, but I think sometimes it's nice if you get those images provided in the stamp set yeah. so you don't need to, to kind of think about it. Yeah, excellent. Right then, 15 99 for that set. 521251. Then we've got our delightful divas. And these are really quite quirky, aren't they? They are. They are. They lovely. are. Very distinctive in style. Yes, who's done these? So they're from uh, Zinsky Art from okay. Eleanor. So she did the pugs and uh, also this is another of her stamp sets. But yeah. again, um, her kind of character was full of attitude they and are. really kind of always have um, some, you know, Maybe lots of people that you know that that remind you of them, but equally they always kind of come with some sentiments which are just a little bit sassy. Yeah, love that. Uh, look at their little faces. Uh, yeah, they are definitely sassy. And you also get the uh, stencil, the moi stencil. Um, and some of the sentiments, I do this thing called what I want. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm a diva and I like it. No more cake, you say. Oh yeah, funny story. Uh, they're really good. You make uh, you make my face smile. What's the other one? If the crown fits. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. <laughs> okay, and then let's show you some samples. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I'm using some little um, gems as the uh, cheeks yes. as well. Yeah, and, cheeks. and she's got the falling heart oh, yes. from the previous bundle. Uh, stencil uh, in the background there. Nice. I, lo I love her with a big kind of candy floss hair. She's great to colour in. Yeah, gorgeous. And then we've got this one. So they're all in the spotlight. Brilliant. And <laughs> this lovely lady. That's nice with those colours. Yes. Her, her is her hat a cake? Yeah. Oh. So, so I, think, I think the idea is that she's almost kind of put her head through the plate to yeah. get to the cake. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, I see <laughs> that. That's fun, isn't it? Great imagination. And then there's a bar humbug. Let's do one more. We've She's got, got washi tape all around the outside oh, you have? of that yes. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great, that is. And then last one for now, if the crown fits. And it's lovely and sparkly. Blingy. 13 99 Item number is 248333. Now, if you do want any of the stencils, we've got a pick and mix for you. There's so many on the website. Do check these out. Um, picking, picking and mixing. Is it any, any four? Oh, that's it good. Is any four but there's again something for everyone and all different types of occasions uh, brilliant backgrounds gosh still going i think there's probably more pages to be honest so do have a look um, and pick out your favorites good stuff okay uh, let's come to you sarah well, I thought we'd um, we'd have a uh, look at the pug set first of all, and with the uh, with the kennel because um, the the dog house, the MDF uh, hanging decoration is is one that I've added in new today. Mm -hmm. Just because when I was starting to play with the pugs, I was like, oh, he needs a little little home home to sit in. And the decoration that's um, provided in the bundle comes in four parts. So you've got a base part, a solid base, obviously all with the holes in the top. You've then got a um, top layer, mm -hmm. so you can see there. You've got a roof line that goes with it as well to build it up again. And I haven't got it with me as well, uh, here, but a little dog bone MDF embellishment oh, as well. excellent. So, of course, you could break this apart and make more than one kennel if you wanted to, in terms of you could just have... The, the two top layers or just use the base layer but obviously if you layer them up you've got quite a nice chunky little um, em embellishment and, and uh, a bit of home decor. Now there's so many ways you can decorate these uh, these little kennels and, and that, that is where the kind of the endless fun comes in particularly if you go for um, some of the paper pads it's really easy just to draw around I just draw around the, um, the MDF onto a piece of uh, patterned paper and then we've got options so we've got there for example the neutrals um, paper pads um, to give it a, a kind of a bit of a rustic look yeah uh, and of course the textures paper pads are, are just super mm. lovely so although mr g was a bit concerned that the kennels looking a bit run down for the pug so <laughs> he, he was worried about neglect there but i really neglect. like that crackle look um, or there's the, the brick yeah, uh, the brick effect one that uh, we have in the textures paper pad. So it's so easy to cut this this um, 
uh, this shape out that yeah. uh, you can then do it with anything that you have to hand. You don't need to gesso it, um, as I've done here. It's literally that I just gesso loads of things in one go in mm -hmm. case I'm going to use paints on it right. rather than papers. But you wouldn't need to gesso it if you're going to if you're going to paper over the top. So let's let's give him some a uh, crackly, a little crackly house to live in. And um, again, you could do this with matte medium and, mm -hmm. and really kind of get a, a good solid bond. I'm just simply going to put this over the top. Cool. So as you can see, I think I've painted the base in like a dark grey colour. Again, you could decorate the base as well. Sure. So just ensure that you, you know, you, the, the bit, the only bit you're going to see really is through the doorway if you use it as a as a bottom layer. And then what you can do, and you'll see many uh, many people. Um, do this with MDF is just literally sand, uh, sand around the edges, just burnishes the paper mm. to the shape that you've uh, attached it to. Um, and I'm not going to spend a long time doing that, but it's quite a nice way just to get that neat finish, particularly if you're cutting out like mine is a bit dodgy <laughs> on occasion. Um, you can then, of course. Uh, ink around the edges a little bit with sure. maybe some archival ink just to give it some definition as I think I've done on a couple of samples. But there we have a little home for him to live in and, mm -hmm. and literally um, they, they take minutes for me to do at home but I just, um, I, I'm really quite partial to them. And I've got lots of different uh, hooks here. So I've got, and, and one of the things that I thought was night, really just nice to point out is uh, obviously, as you were saying Alex, yeah. The black and white pog, you immediately kind of think of convict or kind That's of prison it. outfit. Yeah, he's um, doing his time. But uh, you can paper piece him and change the colour, so I've got him in blues here. And then uh, yesterday when I was colouring in, I decided I was going to make him a little bumblebee. Yes. And all I did was draw on a few little, ante uh, oh, these yeah. little antennae and cut those out as well. So that's a really, really cute one if you so, really want to dress him up. So basically the yellow and black one, he's the bumblebee. The blue and white one, he's a sailor. And the other one is a jailbird. <laughs> Absolutely. So there you go. All sorts of career pathways that yeah. are available to our pug. Yeah. Three pugs walked into a bar. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to just um, stamp him out to, um, to give you a, a look at how quickly and easily we can, um, we can bring him to life. Now, I'm going to use my stamp platform for this, and one of the reasons why I'm not using, I'm not using the stripy one. I would use the stamp platform potentially for the stripy one, because it's nice to be able to go back in and out a few times and get that solid, solid stripe. But you'll have seen on the illustration that uh, Ellen has given us some really kind of detail, kind of cross hatching and line work around the, is it the snout? Around the mouth and the yeah. eyes. So it's, and I'm, I'm um, stamping here onto, uh, it's fairly smooth but still a watercolour cardstock. So sometimes I might want to go back in just a little bit. I mean, that's stamped out really nicely, yeah. but just to give a little bit more depth to the colour just around the face. Uh, a stamping platform can help you do that. Um, but I say it's, uh, you can just see just slightly more definition yeah. around, that, around that face. His little, his little nose area, it's almost like um, it's been drawn with a crosshatch effect. Really, it's really fine. Really fine, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, it, I think as we saw with the black and white sample, it, it doesn't need a lot of colouring in because no. she's added so much definition around the face and eyes that actually even if you just put a bit of colour on the eyes, yes. it, it, it would bring him to life. So I'm going to just put a little bit of brown on his body and I'm using um, my uh, new Jane Davenport oh. uh, watercolours that uh, Leonie sold me before Christmas. Yes. <laughs> 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 um, but actually, I got this is a neutral set, and uh, of course, I saw that and thought, "Oh, that's a perfect, mm. perfect set for for the pugs." Yeah, that's a great colour, actually. Yeah, it is, and uh, for the for the hedgehog set as well, it's a lovely, a lovely set of colours. So, um, so all I've done is given the given the um, the pan a spritz mm -hmm. before we went live, and I've actually put a bit of the watercolour onto a kind of an ink blending mat. Oh yeah, um, just to reduce the um, likelihood of me picking up too much intensity of colour. Yeah. 
on my um, water brush. But again, watercolour markers, mm. any sort, and, and you know, pencils, alcohol markers, whatever your preferred colouring medium is, mm. um, these, these pugs will, will come out absolutely lovely. Mm. And he's got this, such a nice little glint in his eye. He does. <laughs> uh, and with this this one, I'm going to um, add the kind of little bandana scarf type thing that comes in the set. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so again, in terms of his middle portion, it mm. doesn't really matter how um, much detail you put into that because it's going to get covered up by his scarf. But that comes as a separate stamp on his size to fit. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I just didn't want all of them to be dressed up in case you just wanted... Um, him au naturel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got a few more samples here, just while you're finishing that bit. Here we go. So I have the bestest human being. That's so cute. Isn't it? Yeah, he's just chilling out. It's their little legs as well, might you be chuckle. And we've got this one here, using a bit of washi tape as well, and the hearts. Uh, we've got... This one with the <laughs> it's the tilt of his head. Yes. I think that's what it is. And then we've got this one. Oh, he's got his head on the table. He's like, Oh, please give me some Christmas turkey. <laughs> Lovely. Cool. Uh where's the MDF one? Here's our jailbird one. Like so. And here he is with his headphones. Good stuff. They are fun. So I won't um, colour them all in because I've got one already, but you can see the difference that um, oh, yes, occurs when you, put, nice. when you put the kind of blue around his eyes and yeah. just, they just seem to get kind of twice the size, don't they? They do. Um, and then this is the little um, bandana scarf that oh. is in the set, in the stamp set. So that fits him perfectly um, if you want to kind of put a, put a little scarf around his neck in this kind of chilly weather and then he fits just perfectly in the doorway to yeah. his kennel so really easy to put together mm -hmm. uh, and you've seen lots of great card samples but actually then as an additional kind of uh, gift or something to to keep out all the time yeah. then uh, yeah a little little dog house for him that's cute thank you very much sarah okay uh if you want the pugs You've got the stamp set, of course, but you've, then you've also got the two stencils, the one of the dog bones, and I love the one of all the, all the paws. They could be dirty paws that he's just come in from a muddy outside. Plus, you'll get the, um, the kennel in MDF form, and there's even, there you go, there's a little bone you can pop there. Uh, but yes, he's got the bandana, which I wonder if you could turn it around and have it as a hat, maybe. You've got this one with the crown, He's chilling out and he's just looking forlorn. He wants to be picked up and cuddled. That's what he wants. <laughs> I've got a few more samples. Um, and this one's got the bar humbug. He's sulking. He's sulking. I love this one, especially because it's used that sort of peeled paper. I think that's great, that one. Old dog house. There we are. And we've got this one too, with all the paw prints surrounding him. If you would like this collection, it's £18.49. You've got a £5.50 saving. 169934 is your item number. Now, one of the stars of the show are these paper pads. Now, we've already lost one. Really? So you're going to pick any three out of these five, or you could go for multiples of the same one. First off, then, let's go for the Merry and Bright. Now, we are over 60% of the stock gone. I'll just have a little flick through this. You've got 36 pages, 12 designs, it's 200 GSM, and it's acid and lignin free. And there we go. And as Sarah said earlier, it's not overtly Christmas. The colours might be Christmassy, but you've got things like your stripes, your plaid, polka dots, stars. So you really could use this for any occasion. You can use it throughout the year, which I, I like about that. So you could make it Christmassy, or you could just leave it... Um, at I mean, it could be spring-like, really. Actually, merry and bright, over 60% gone. Then we have the monochrome magic. Half the stock's gone here. See, you could colour areas in. You know, I'd get my gel pens on that. Mm. Ink round the edges. 
There's the grid, you know, that all, all, always reminds me of school when I see grids like that, maths books. And I love that one with all of those circles joined up. It looks like you could think of that like a Petri dish or something. <laughs> yeah, frogs born Meg said. I love frogs. Anyway, that's by the way. And then you've got some swirls and squiggles on here. So that's a lovely one. That's your monochrome. And then if I come down to here, this one's your neutrals. Also, half the stock has gone. Um, we've got small ditzy prints. Again, you could ink these up. Think about looking like craft card, your brown papers. So this is a good neutrals one. Lovely. Next one. This one's the textures. Right, two thirds of the stock has gone. See, look at those. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Then we've got the crackled paints. You've got the um, lined pages, musical notes. Bo Brummel waltzes, March of the Toreador, Dreaming Beauty waltzes. <laughs> if you can, if you can um, play, that would be nice. You could follow the music. Uh, this one, old, old fashioned um, paper. That's cool. Th I think this one might be my favourite out of them all. Yeah, I really like this. So I'd probably, I'd probably go for two of the same because obviously you get through them, don't you? I do. I mean, I've been through of the, of the textures one as you say because it, it whatever project I've got um, some MDF suitcases which I bought on form and we'll be bringing back on but they're oh, cool. great for those yeah you know, but you easily go through a, a mm. pad when you've got lots of projects on the go absolutely so you might want to top up and the last one we've got are your spring geometrics nice and zingy well it's dramatic with the black backgrounds or the bold backgrounds yeah I think I've, I've got um I did have a sample where here it is it's almost kind of got a bit of a, um, I don't know if you, you can see, but oh, a, bit, yeah, we'll come to you. a bit of a, a kind of 80, 90s vibe, you know, yeah. that, that, that kind of against the black background. Oh, it does, isn't it? That kind of um, bright yellowy green kind mm. of really pops and that's quite a zingy look to it. So, yeah, yeah a bit of white splatter and, uh, and die cut shapes out your pattern paper and you've already got a card front. It's good stuff, good stuff. Thank you, Sarah. You're choosing any three then uh, for just 11 97 so basically it's three for the price of two. Item number is 933890. Uh, what do you fancy demoing next? I thought it'd be good to have a look at the, it's a very different style of uh, bundle to the pulse. Yes, but the, it? Yeah, the wide for sound, right, so, so the, the kind of the, the music, uh, the retro music um, style stamp set and the headphones, which I absolutely adore, this head, these headphone dies. Um, they're big enough to be a focal point on a project and of course, you know, headphones, um, I've got two teenage boys who really like their gaming, they're yes. perfect for gamers as well as for kind of music, so um, yeah, they're really, a really versatile set of dies. Mm. Um, and what I've done here on this sample and uh, again on the, the one that I'm going to use on my card is I've die cut the, um, the what are they called, the headphone Headband. bits? Yeah. The bits and the top, <laughs> technical words, uh, from the... Oh, from the kaleidoscope paper. Oh, I see. Right. Sorry about that. But you can use right. it. Use it with any any of the any ones. Of but as you can see, how because the uh, die set comes in separate parts, mm. you can build it up and have different different um, elements good. with patterns on. And I've created quite a a um, abstract background here, and I've done that by uh, stamping the headphones stamp, the the deconstructed headphones from um, the stamp set in uh, in grey. Yeah all over the card base so very quickly and easily um, kind of becomes visual interest without mm. necessarily being the focal point yeah and of course the joy of it is because of the way we're using it is you can get a couple of impressions first and second generation mm. and this is a I, this is a challenge for me because I'm quite a yeah, I, I like my stamping to be quite crisp. Yeah. So when I'm doing this kind of background stamping, I'm like, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Just let it go. Yeah. I'm the same <laughs> with stamping off the page. I yes. struggle with it. Yeah, it's so way. funny. It's that sense of, well, you know, can I see all the detail? Well, it doesn't really matter. It's no. not, that's not the purpose of it. But it's so kind of upside down. And then, and it, because it's overlapping and the lines and the, um, 
the kind of the gr the uh, graphic illustration nature mm. of it. it 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 really very quickly becomes something that your eye doesn't try and make sense of yeah and doing it in the gray of course is just trying to ensure that it doesn't end up fighting too much with your main focal point in terms of I'm getting into it now Alex you so are there you go you're Just on a roll. Go for it. <laughs> so um, very quickly cover a card base and then I've used one of our A7 stamps, textures and backgrounds which I think is on the um, on the, the website. Uh -huh. uh, it's a pick and mix of A7. So this is a, the music one as you'd imagine with this with this theme um, and again I'm freehand stamping this so I've just got it held in my hand on the, on the acetate it comes on right. because I'm not looking for a solid um, solid impression or something that's going to cover the whole of the paper I just want some little bits of music to pop in around the edges mm -hmm. and of course the more you use it the better it is because what you don't want is to get you know, very straight lines mm on the um on the background it's quite nice in the greys so will we find this music stamp on the web i think we should do okay um the a7 pick and mix yeah just that little extra detail it does and, yeah. it, and again it just breaks up the headphones a little bit as well so again you you, your eye is now just moving around the pay, the card rather than trying to um, trying to decode it. Yes. And so to add to add to the general background mayhem, <laughs> um, I'm going to add some uh, of the stencil, the um, broken mm -hmm. radius stencil that comes in this bundle. Yeah. Uh, and this is a, a lovely one because again, it's got a kind of bit of a retro feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, the kind of circular nature, it kind of is reminiscent of record players, etc. But Again, a lovely abstract design um, for, for loads of projects. And I'm going to use a bit of a change for me. I'm going to use Distress Ink rather than Oxide. Okay. And my reason for doing that is uh, the ink tends to be slightly more transparent than the Oxide, which obviously has that chalky finish to it. So mm. one of its great qualities is it's slightly more opaque. But of course, if you want your background stamping not to be uh, completely obscured by the stenciling over the top, this will give you the colour, but it won't completely kind of take away the lines and it's just something I've, I've had to do recently is just remind yeah. myself of the benefits of distressing because I think we've all moved to, to oxides and and you know for lots of very good reasons but the inks also have have lots of really good good uses so I'm just using my blending brush there and can you see it's not overpowering the no and it's nice to have a, that little pop of color as well yeah absolutely and all I'm doing um, which is my typical approach to any of these kind of slightly more abstract backgrounds is just coming in from the edges yeah because the lighter the more kind of lightness you have in the center then mm -hmm. you've got somewhere for your eye to land and for your focal point definitely I'll just show a couple of samples again while you're yeah, doing that do. bit um, this is a really cool one and again, it's got that circuit stamp in the background, but it just all works together and the wired for sound and the, that deconstructed um, set of headphones. Actually, let's hold it that way. That's really cool. Uh, and then we've got the old fashioned cassette recorder. And then the vinyl, which is coming right back into fashion. My other half sport oh, himself yeah. rebought a record player. Oh, yeah, my, my yeah. other half collects vinyl. Yeah, we've, we've got a record player and that's that way nice and then i actually bought him one of his christmas presents was a personalized um record case oh how wonderful yeah with his name on oh it makes just saying did he love it yes he did that's good yes um how cool is this one so this is using the retro vibes stamp part that is really cool oh, where's yeah, the this di from? The disco ball oh. so the disco ball is one of our stencils oh and uh, on the, this one i cut out the actual central ball and put it on top of another stencil called linear i think yeah. they're both in the pick and mix but yeah, a disco ball. You could have a disco ball, don't you? Yeah, love it. Cool. Is there, is there, is there, I think there's a sample there with the disco ball with the headphones around it. That's, this one? Yeah. So that's, that's the entirety of the stencil, the, the rays coming out from the disco ball. Oh, amazing. Should we come back to you? 
Oh, yeah. I thought we were going to enjoy <laughs> looking at the sun. Oh, no, no. Not at all. <laughs> um, so you can see now when we, um, one of the nice things about that stencil is it doesn't have any straight lines, so you can, you can kind of blend ink through it, and you've always got that nice soft, um, soft fade out. So putting it against a black, black base always helps to kind of give your, your design a pop. And we've got the, um, the, um, the headphones here, but it would look equally fantastic in the monochrome paper pad as well with some black and white mm. uh, details around the, the headphones. And what I did differently to my original one is I stamped and uh, white heat embossed the Retro Vibes on black cardstock, but this time I kind of used a heart die to, to cut it out just to give it a slightly different look yeah but what i think well really and this is this is where I, I just love my washi tape and how it just adds that finishing touch to things mm. is where for example here i'm feeling well oh, it just looks a bit bare i haven't got any pink in there um is just tearing a little bit of the washi and just see obviously take all this off just seeing how that black and white really holds its own and what I typically would do, let's just cut a bit more there, is um, is kind of try and put it into different into different corners. Mm -hmm. So it's again letting your eye travel around the card. Yeah. And here I'm using our grid, layering those up. And you can this this is one of those where it's you. Know, when to stop really yeah I, I could, know, I could add, yeah i could add washi tape uh, all over it once i get going like this um but there's 10 meters on a roll so this, oh thank you so, so when you so when you're cutting or tearing it up you know, don't worry about um the fact that you feel you may be not making use of every last scrap of it because there's quite a lot mm, to go at and we'll put just some more bits here just um because they can, they can provide the base for our sentiment. Mm -hmm. So when that goes on, you can just see how those bits of black and white are kind of forming a, an arch around the design. And all I, I would potentially do at that point is just add some of the um, enamel dots, monochrome enamel dots, which I think are on end of call. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, other than the fact that they're always a challenge to try and pick up a position live just that little bit yeah I like it because it gives it just a bit of textured element as well when you add these yeah little finishing touches and that little bit of just that that gloss gloss finish of the enamel dot just yeah. I think always has a really nice feel so there you go we've got two nice. got two different fun. different colorways but pretty much the same look yep that is super cool liking that thank you very much sarah okay so if you would like to go for your wired for sound you're getting the stamps you've got the stencil and then you've got those dies um, and you can build up your i was going to say earmuffs it's definitely not that <laughs> headphones you know what it is it's because i wear earmuffs <laughs> anyway 21 pounds and 73 pence and you've got a six pound fifty saving one zero nine eight seven four bestseller this hour paper pads let's have another flick we've already lost one of them um, but we've got five to choose from and you're picking any three. First off then we've got our merry and bright with all of these paper pads 200 gsm 36 pages and you've got 12 designs acid and lignin free uh, and of course do use the um, front cover as well those strips don't waste anything um, not overtly Christmas, just got those nice greens and reds, but you've got stripes, you've got dots, stars in the background, and then we go into the greens. There you go. <laughs> I look at that and see Brussels sprouts, I literally do. <laughs> yeah, I can't help it. So you've got your merry and bright. And then this one, you've got the monochrome magic. Same again, 36 sheets yes 36 pages You've got the grids in there some wiggly stripes <laughs> frog spawn <laughs> um, there's some little teardrops good stuff that's how i like to doodle when i doodle that's how i like to doodle right so that one is your monochrome 
and this one is the neutral they're six by six paper pads i'm sure we've worked that out but i just thought i'd say um we've got that nice little distressed look to these and into sort of like your craft colors there we go get an idea with that one and fourth one we've got the textures look at this it is so cool isn't it i love that one it's dreamy this one i love that page it sounds like you're lying down looking straight up at the sky isn't yeah it? seeing shapes in the clouds love that because it's all crackled where's my paint where's my peeling paint somewhere here see that looks all rusty you've got the brick wall there it is love that okay that's your textures and last but not least spring geometrics oh this one is uh, hannah our director's favorite likes the colors it's very retro isn't it nice designs which one meg's just talking to me oh anyway she's liking this one is this your favorite meg yes as well cool all right so you're choosing any three for 11.97 which works out at three for the price of two nine three three eight nine zero here again is the website must show you these stencils these are also really busy you're choosing any four for 12.75 you've got what have we got loads of circles there's presents you've got pumpkins yeah you've got different seasons as well as different occasions uh, you've got splashes hearts on there you've got a bit of steampunk or oh, is that coffee beans did i just see yes oh, yeah. is that coffee beans yeah Sarah? coffee beans oh nice oh meg's asking any if any stand out to me yes um you've gone past it oh bats definitely bats <laughs> that was up again up a bit up a bit that's it there's, your, dis there's your disco ball alex oh yeah i'll have the disco like, ball yeah. yeah and then there was a steampunk one right down the bottom <laughs> Meg's just said you would, wouldn't yeah, you? Going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> she she said she'll be there now. <laughs> she said she'll scroll down for me. It's that it's one of the vintage keys. keys. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I really like that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got to choose two, haven't I? Two more. Did you put the coffee beans in? Coffee beans? Oh, they're not us. It's zigzag circles. I'm so sorry. From here, this is oh, my eyesight. Oh, yeah, I have had coffee beans on before. Oh, so. that's why. Uh, and I've, uh, the disco ball would be great. Have I got four now? <laughs> Amazing, she can't tell. Anyway, you get the idea. You'll have as much fun as Meg's just had scrolling for me. <laughs> you pop these into your basket. Okay, we've got ten minutes, Sarah. I think we can uh, just about do this uh, Delightful cool. Divas card, if that's okay. So um, I'm wanting to use... Um, a bit of uh, masking and stenciling on this card. Now I'm using one of the 30mm uh, washi tapes as my mask so I'm being a bit naughty and using it just really to cover over and, and I'll be taking it off so uh, you could use masking tape for this. I just happen to have the washi tape to hand. It looks nice while I'm doing the rest of the uh, rest of the inking. So I'm going to, now this time I'm going to use a distress oxide, I'm going to use worn lipstick. Okay. Um, and I'm going to blend, so what effectively I want is this band here that I've got the washi tape over. I want that to stay nice and white mm. and crisp so it will break up. Where I've got quite a, a lot of pattern and uh, detail in the background, I'll have that nice single kind of band across the centre where I can put my sentiment and yeah. focal point. And I love doing this with, um, doing that kind of masking with... Um, on card bases because mm. you you could you could attach a piece of white card over the top of course and, yeah uh, you know, i mean there, there are lots of other ways of doing it but i do quite like the neatness of having it all mm. as one one layer and i always think it's satisfying about the reveal yes you're like oh crisp white line well that, that's what we're going for isn't it <laughs> you'll be fine let's hope <laughs> so you can see how that's just kind of covering the covering the um cards and one of the nice things, I mean, again, you could get coloured card for doing something like this, but one of the nice things of covering, colouring it with your ink is you don't always get that kind of completely flat colour. Mm. So when you're stenciling over the background, you've just got another little bit of background interest. So just 
There we go. So that's all. And of course, the washi tape's holding my card down for me very helpfully, which yep. is nice of it. Good. So there we go. So this is the, the stencil I'm going to use with this particular diva, uh, because she's the one wearing the crown, is the um, hearts and, I can't remember what it's called now, the hearts and crowns, but I did see it was on the pick and mix okay. there. So um, it's, uh, it's on the stencil pick and mix, because I think I bought it the last time we had the divas in town. Ah, cool. So just add a little bit more washi tape because I'm going to use um, some stencil butter through this. I don't typically uh, tape down stencils when I'm using inks, but with a little bit of texture paste, I like just to have that extra security that it's not the stencil's not going to move around on me mm. too much. Mix just said with this particular stencil, it'd be lovely on ribbon. Like yeah, straight across. Yeah, because, that'd be lovely. Because it's yeah, it's it's a nice it's a nice linear one, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, you could uh, get the right width of um of uh, or or um, blank washi tape, I think, or Good creative point. washi tape. Yeah. So you can make your own match matching washi tape to go with it. I'm looking at my table because I'm sure I just put the um, what were you looking for? The palette knife. Um, I was going uh, to. Where is it gone? Yeah, is it I, I had it out. It probably is. I've already made. Oh, Hannah's, Hannah's having a look with the camera as well now. Because <laughs> I can't come over. Hmm. Hmm. Is it in with the blending brushes? No. Let's have. If you sorry, we've got a spare one. Shall I show have... some samples? Yes. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Alex. Okay, so these are our divas. Here we go. She is, she's got attitude. I like her outfit actually. And her little shoes. <laughs> Santa, I can explain. <laughs> and wait one moment. Here's another one. See she's got the um, she's got the cake on her head. Love that. No more cake, you say. Oh yeah, funny story. <laughs> then we've got this one with the hello. Oh that's lovely. She's just like sticking her head in. And here we've got um, a really sparkly one. If the crown fits, I reckon she's going to a disco. New Year's Eve party. Uh, in the monochrome. Like so. And I'll tell you what, Sarah. Uh, our lovely Catherine is next door. Miss Catherine. Is she? Hello, Miss Catherine. Do you happen to have a spare spatula, palette knife? Palette knife. Oh. <laughs> We're all on it now. <laughs> okay. What have you got there then? A little it's a lolly stick. So I'm sure. I can. We've got one. Oh, thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Oh, brilliant. Cool. Oh, posh one. Right. Oh, posh one. <laughs> yeah, the posh one. Let's go back to you then, Sarah. So sorry about that. I'm sure Don't I'll worry. find it in the next uh, in the next five minutes. Yeah, I know. We're just when we've come off air, yeah, we'll get it. It'll just appear. Um, so I'm going to use some stencil uh, stencil butter. It's a lovely, Ooh. glorious um, golden yellow. Yeah. Um, and it is, it is one you, you you do have on the the. Uh, on the web? On the, yeah, on, on the channel quite regularly, whether or not cool. you've got it in stock at the moment, but it's from Crafters Workshop. Mm. It's a lovely one. So I'm just buttering my toast. Uh -huh. Looks like mustard, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I could actually have mustard spread on toast. Could you? <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, they've just gone, oh, in my ear. Oh, no, Hannah agrees. Meg is not a fan. I do like mustard. I'm not sure I like it that much. <laughs> so there we go. So, so I very generously applied this yeah. stencil button. We shall see how much made it under the stencil as we go. Oh, that's looking pretty good, actually. Cool. So, of course, the the, um, the thick of the application, the nice thing with stencil butter is uh, it it really holds its, it holds its shape, holds its body, so you're yeah. going to have a nice depth of, um, of pattern. Oh, carefully does it. I know. But one of the nice things about washi tape is it's quite oh, forgiving. Fantastic. Now I'm not too worried about um, the little bit of uh, overspill. Over, overspill because yeah. actually, in terms of the um, the sample that I've got finished, what I did was trimmed it down. Mm -hmm. 
along the side so that I could have some washi tape. Oh, that's cool. Across the side, just again, to because all the colours are quite bright and light. Just mm -hmm. having that bit of black and white along the edge. Yeah. Well, I just remove the stencil We've got butter. Just two minutes. It's gone quick. It has. Uh, I don't think I'll get the um, diva stamp. Look at this stencil butter. Uh, seems to be multiplying rather than being wiped away. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> so um, that's, we'll have the Save project. the messy one for the end. Well, that's I right. know. I always do this. You do. Real, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> um, so the nice thing, let me move this one out of the way and go with the one that we've already got, um, is we can put the sentiment in the white space yep. that we've got here. So we've got the background there. And if we go with, if the crown fits, which works nicely with this particular diva. Uh -huh. I'll just, I'll be hosing myself down from stencil bottles, I know. I think, between shows for the next. Well, that's just where it's nice to be able to. Yeah. That's cool. Perfect timing. Perfect. Yay. So there you go. We've that is cool. That is super cool. She's amazing. So that's the Divas. It is. Um, details are on screen. You're getting with the Divas your stencil with the, oh, it's the kisses. I love the lips. They're mwah. brilliant. The moi. Uh, you've got a four pound saving. You've also got lots of sentiments on there as well. Things like, I, um, I do this thing called what I want. Uh, no more cake, you say. Oh yeah, funny story. Uh, if the crown fits. I'm a diva and I like it and you make my face smile and all those divas are on there. Just 13 248 So Sarah, you're back at... 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, yes. lovely. Thank you very much. Nice working Thank with you, you again. Lovely to see you. Good. So, uh, yes, please do join Sarah back at 7 o'clock, but obviously you can order after the hour. Uh, right, 4 o'clock, which means it's final call of the one-day special. Yes, we're talking Zuri. Uh, after that, we've got a big save with Viva Decor. Yeah, we're working Catherine hard today. And later, journaling with Studio Light launch. Exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Donna, and this is my brother Simon, and we're Pearl Inks Craft Supplies. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion, and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire, and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire, and I think other people would be too. Our kits are really easy, and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. We've had a great time. 
Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're well. It's time for our final call for our one-day special. What does that mean, I hear you cry? It's the last final... No, it's not. It is the last... <laughs> I'm very bad at English today. It's the final live hour, not the last final hour, um, of your one-day special. The prices will be going back up at 6 o'clock tonight. It is a fabulous one-day special. If you've not seen Zuri before and the moulds that they bring, you are in for a wonderful show. And if you already collect them and you want to add more to your collection, normally on a one-day special, we'll have two or three moulds brought together at a great deal at a discounted price. This one-day special, you get to choose which moulds you want. So you could actually bring your own one-day special and collection together. They're £18.74 each. You're saving £6.25. That's a discount of 20% for your one-day special. Uh, well, over 20%, is it? It's 25% off, sorry. It is saving over 20%. Um, I've not got my glasses on, can't read properly. Anywho, we've got the lovely Catherine Sturrock with us today. That's two times I've said you're lovely. Ah, oh, thanks, Chandler. She's treating me well today. Yes, I have. Well, I have to. We've been spending lots of time together today, so I just, I've just i had to treat you nice because in between the shows, we're together as well, and my life won't be worth a living if I don't. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, Catherine, it's great to work with you because you know so much about resin, you know so much about clay, and you know so much about the Zuri Moles because you are an ambassador, aren't you? Well, do you know... It was such an honour to be asked to represent Zuri right from the beginning. Um, I know there's much more in the way of exciting things to come as well, which is I'm looking forward to 2022. But yeah, what a joy to work with moles of this quality. Mm. That it's so important to speak about the quality because there are variations out there on the market, you know, and no expense spared. But when it comes to the detail, I don't think we've ever seen anything quite as detailed as the moulds we see from Zora. It's quite extraordinary, isn't it? It really is. In fact, let me find the sample for that particular one. OK, so there's the mould, and you're looking at that at home, and you're seeing the detail that's in there. But when you see... Wow, what comes out of that mould? And this is made of uh, resin. You'll have the same effect if you're using air drying clay as well because, of course, the detail is going to be the same. But that is absolutely stunning. And the beauty of it all is that you get to make two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could just keep making these. In fact, if I wanted to make these and sell them, Catherine, would that be okay? You can actually, yes. As long as you're not just making casts and selling the casts, as long as you're making the finished product, then yes, you can certainly sell them. Love that. Detail is extraordinary. And as we've said before, you could actually just take the wheels off that and use them as a decorative part to your design if you want to. Absolutely stunning. Shall we go through all the different uh, moulds oh. so you know what you've got to choose from? Right, so that was your first one. Uh, that is your Enchanted Carriage. So, in fact, actually, just taking a look at that again, we've got a very special year coming up next year. Well, not me and you, Catherine, but <laughs> it might be your Diamond Jubilee. <laughs> it it's might not be. Mine. Who knows? Um, but it is Her Royal Highness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, I'm not talking about Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So that would be something quite spectacular to have and make and create some keepsakes. It really would. You, can you imagine having one of those street passes for real loud next year oh, as well? You know, as yeah. table decorations. That would be amazing. Or maybe at the top table on a Ooh. wedding would be beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Right, you can make some boxes with that on. That. There you go. That's yeah. That would actually, forget great. that idea. That's mine. I'm going to buy that. I'll do that. Uh, right, next along, you've got your butterfly wings. Now, 60% of the stock of your butterfly wings have gone. Um, and these really are amazing. <laughs> they were in front of your hairs, Catherine. <laughs> I don't think it's one of mine. <laughs> this is nice. Uh, we, <coughs> we have got uh, your butterfly wings here, absolutely stunning, and um, that's flat. Oh, it's <laughs> is that, no, it is the right way around. It's not a swing; it's wings. 
<laughs> so that's flat to the actual design. Let me just pick this up because I want to show you another one. Uh, using the wings and something else we have on the show, you can see how you can manipulate them and bring them forward. So don't think of it as um, a flat design. You can also manipulate those um, moulds when they come out as well, depending on the material you use, Catherine. The material you use on that, though, this is one of Leanne's. It looks as though, actually, we've got Viva coming up next. Yes. And I've got the rusty stuff on there. So Have I'm you? probably going to use some of the Zuri castings with the Viva. I think that's what's been used there. It looks like it's, uh, some sort of gilding wax. There's paint to give that patina effect. Um, well, that's I not the question I asked. Oh, you what though. did you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> this is what materials have been used. Yeah, that, no, that is, that is, I was saying you can bend it forward, can't you, depending oh. on, like, the clay and the resin that you use. Yes, you might need some supports under there. Yeah, you might, you might. Um, right, your <laughs> next option. Don't know what I heard. <laughs> Didn't hear what no, you asked did. me, You gave a great answer there, and <laughs> Viva Decor is coming up next, uh, in the next hour. Then you've got the Fire Dancer. You started a demo with this on the show earlier on today. Yes. Um, to make it look a little bit different than the mould, and uh, I'll be interested to see how that turned out. But this is your Fire Dancer. Isn't that quite extraordinary? It really is. And I think this one must have been made um, either of your resin or your air drying clay. Eighteen pounds and seventy four pence if you want the dancing lady just there. Eight two three nine double six. And then Catherine, you did something a little bit different this morning, didn't you? Yeah, she's not finished because obviously the clothes got to fully dry. But I took the main part of the skirt off, leaving it almost... I was going to put a little tutu on made of fabric, yeah. but actually I really like what she's left Aww. with there, that little, that little skirt. But I also used the top part of the wings on the butterfly wings that are also part of the one-day special. So just t taking the top section there, make them a little bit smaller. So she's now my dancing fairy. Doesn't that look different? Yeah, it does. Now, obviously, it wants some more colour, but what I did use was um, the hearty clay. When we had the bundle, we did sell out early, but I think you can get on the pick and mix the colours. So I mixed the flesh tone to create the whole of the cast with the flesh tone, so I don't have to worry about painting those colours in. And at some point, I will just paint in a hair, a skirt, a little top there, and we'll put something on the wings. Amazing. Um, if you want to get your fire dancer and you want to make Catherine's, uh, Catherine, uh, Catherine's <laughs> fairy when you get it home, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, then you've got your perfume bottle and your atomizer. Um, these are fabulous. I've got another sample here to show you with these on. Again, it's the level of detail that you're getting on here, which is quite extraordinary. It really, really is. Those are the three that you're getting. Beautiful embellishments for any particular design. Uh, 823966 is your item number. Right, so let's move on because we've got more for you to choose from. You choose any you like. If you're going for two, by the way, it takes you over £30. You can use your £5 credit to bring that price down even further. Now, this one here is your astro Astrolabe. Astrolabe. What is an astrolabe? It is a, an ancient instrument. It's all about aligning the stars and the planets. So uh, this is a great addition to go along with any of the zodiac signs that you've got. Mm. In fact, if you look very carefully, you can read the signs. You can see the symbols and you can read the wording within. Yeah, if we, I don't know if I can come in close enough to see, but you, you'll probably. Sp what are you? What star, star sign are what you? What am I? Yeah, what star I'm sign a human are being. you? An Aries are you? I'm an Aries. You'll be on there somewhere then. And what star sign are you? I'm a Leo. Oh, you're quite stubborn then, aren't you? <laughs> Apparently so. Apparently so. Um, I have Leo rising, so I must be very stubborn. Very stubborn. Can't tell me anything. Uh, a third of the stock has gone. A third of the stock has gone. Also, with your astro... Is it Labe or Laid? Labe. Labe. Also, with your astro Labe, you get your... Um, like a camshon. You do. A glass it's, So you can put a lens in there. I mean, that one is fixed in position, but if you want to put a, a paper fastener or a brad through the centre, you can... Un have those elements moving, of course, or if you want to motorise them, as Ian has done, we have shown videos in the previous shows, then you can have those as moving parts as well. Wow, amazing. Look at that. Uh, right, your next one is Sagittarius. Again, another star sign. I believe Sagittarius from November onwards. Um, so you've got Sagittarius here. You don't have to use it as the star sign. You've got the description of the star sign there. Uh, doesn't that look amazing? There you go. Beautiful detail in that. Absolutely extraordinary. The archer. The archer and then the horse coming together. 
absolutely incredible. £18.74, but you also get your description of Sagittarius. Now, is this Sagittarius? I think this is the one I've got here in my hand. I think that's Sagittarius, just there. Uh, yes, yeah. it is. That's amazing. But it's the frame that you can use separately from the wording as well. So that's great value for money. The next one is Aquarius, the water carrier. Yes, carrying the water to water the land, to bring life, you know, to add life. I think that is amazing, don't yeah. you? It is. Yeah. It's fantastic. And you have your description of your Aquarius just there. You can see the water coming out of that carrier that yeah on there's shoulder. a vessel on the shoulder there's one under a ram at the other yeah. side unfortunately we haven't got a finished sample of this one this is one of the molds i wasn't actually given in previous shows so i've not been able to do any samples with it myself i'm sure you'll find images online though to help yeah and you can see that water just pouring down and then finally you've got scorpio a little bit of a sting in the tail here don't mess with a scorpion um, and there you go, beautiful design. Catherine's used the pincers to create flowers and different floral effects. So you can really do a lot with that. So when you see your moulds, don't just see the image that is there. Think about the different elements that you can build from that. And that's that beautiful design of the scorpion. You've also got the framework and you've also got the description as well for scorpion. Um, amazing deal. 823-966 is your item number. Oh, and then we've got the small ones as well. We've got a whole collection. They're classed as the medium ones, and then we've got the smaller ones as well. Is there any dis difference in the depth of these, Catherine? They will vary a little mm. bit. Some are a little bit deeper than others, depending on the design of the moulds themselves. Um, but the quality is there consistently, right through everything, so you don't need to worry about that too much. They're just amazing, aren't they? Every one of these selections here, if you haven't got them already, now is the time to get them with the savings. Let's go through your options that you've got here. The first one is the Violin Magic. Beautiful this is. Uh, we didn't, did you have a rummage around here? Yeah, doors? I didn't find the violin. No. I found the gate, but it looks like we sold out of the gate now. Ah, yeah, we have. Um, this is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. And remember, you can use these for cake decorating, but don't then use them for your clays and your resins. Buy two if you want to. They're £16.50, so it's a great price. Buy any two. It takes you over your £30. You can then have an extra £5 off from your credit that will be in your account as part of the big save. Now, next to that, you've got the Butterfly Woman. She's beautiful. Shall I bring in the Butterfly Woman? Just so you can see it against. There you go. Look at that. Absolutely sensational. That is amazing. And that look, I mean, it's made of resin, but look at that. It looks like metal. That is, that's an amazing effect, Catherine. What medium did you use on there, Catherine? If you turn that one around, you'll see that is the resin with the turquoise resin tint in it. And it's literally just wax on the front, different colours of it? wax. Yeah, building the colour up. You see a little bit of the turquoise through there, but I've yeah. covered a little bit more heavily. Um, it isn't the wax we've got on today's show, as they were launched after I did this one, but it is just a gilding wax. Stunning that is, absolutely stunning. The next one is your Swan Dreams. Uh, we're approaching 60% of the stock gone. You've got the beautiful wing of the swan. You've also got the beautiful uh, flowers at the bottom as well. Absolutely incredible. And what Catherine did is take that wing and um, molded it, took it out and connected it to the swan so it looked like it had two wings. I don't know if you've got that with you, Catherine. Um, it should be in front Oh, is it with you. me? Yeah, the two wings swan? The two wing swan. It's on the stand. It is on the stand, and that was pointed out to me in the last show, and I still <laughs> didn't get it then. Uh, there it is. There you go. Uh, so that's the two winged swan uh, for you, and that's been developed by putting it into the mold and then taking it out. The next one is the rising phoenix. Love a phoenix. Approaching 40% of the stock gone of your rising phoenix. Was this one of the first ones? They I did? believe, thinking back, this was on the very first one day special. I think it was, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I remember that. I remember just being blown away by that. Amazing. And then finally, you've got your fancy symbol. So you've got your and, you've got your question mark, and you've also got your ex... I can't say that. Explanation mark. Ex Explan ex Explanation. I can't say it now. Exclamation mark. Ex ex Exclamation mark. Excla it's me, I was saying exclamation, which is going in the Janice Dictionary for next year. <laughs> Exclamation mark. There you go. And there's your and. And your question mark. I'll just uh, bring that in. There's your question mark. You can see that. Right. Uh, we have got... 
uh, another row for you to go through. You have got your U to Z, which are the letters, and 80% of the stock of that has gone. I do have a U in the sole. Uh, just to show you those beautiful letters and Catherine was doing some demonstrations this morning it looked amazing as well with the resi tint uh, beautiful detail in there so they're great for putting together letters of people's names um, you could do you know what you could turn that into an N if you, you wanted could. to Very you could clever. Do, you could turn it into an N or a W right <laughs> clearly impressed Catherine let's go on to numbers <laughs> try my hardest I, actually, I was looking at that and thinking, what else could you do with it? I think you, they would make great embellishments. If you sort of overlap them as well, you could make your own shapes. Oh, up. do you know what? Hang on. Can we do this, this? Look at this. Sorry. We'll just have a look at the U because it's interesting, isn't it? Um, if you have a look here, what else do you see coming down there and around there? If you were to cut this off down there. Oh, a, a J for Janice. There you go. Oh, yes. And you could turn that into a C. There's all kinds of things you can do with your letters. Right, let's go to the numbers. You've got the one to five, which is great. You're one to five, so you've got a high five just there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Don't know what else you could say about that. One, two, three, four, five. One to five. And then the last option is the six to zero. Six, seven, eight, nine. And 10 and the 6 and the 9 are different, so you don't need to turn that upside down if you don't want to. So it just makes it really nice if you put all of those numbers together. Great if you live at number 76 or 67. Great if you live at 89, for example, or number 80. Because um, I think these would look really nice as house numbers. Definitely. Definitely as Thank house you. numbers. Thank you. I used uh, to live at uh, house number 347. And That's a long road. 347. Yeah. It is. My in-laws lived at 415, so it was even longer when wow. you got to their house. I've lived at a number 90, number 24, number 6. I can't think of anything. No, that's it. That's all I've lived at. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> uh, right, let's go over to the large moulds. Am I walking? You're uh, gliding. Right. I was kind of lunge. I was lunge striding. Right. These are the. These are the large ones, and you've got a little bit of everything on some of these. Right. Shall we start here? Um, do like this. I remember uh, doing a one day special with you, Catherine, on this one, and it is an amazing mould because you've got so much on there. You've got mechanics, but look at that. You've got those individual letters. And I remember on the one day special, our Meg worked out that she could spell at least 52, if not more, words by using those letters. I know. It's because amazing. remember, yeah, you can use M two times if you want to. You can use A three times because you can just use them as separate um, You can letters. turn the M the other way up and have a W. You could. Yeah, you absolutely could. Don't think you could do it with any of the others, though, could you? Could you? Uh, Leanne did turn the C into a G. Yes, or a, or a zero. Yeah, yeah. You You've got attach little elements from some of the other letters, break them apart as well. Good idea. Yeah. Uh, now you've got fourteen impressions here, and I'm not talking an impression effect Spencer. <laughs> I'm talking about impressions. <laughs> We're almost there. Don't worry. Last hour. Impressions. Anyway, <laughs> right. that's a sample. That's what I'm trying to show you. You don't need any words. You just need to look. And there is an owl's head on there as well. But you could cut out those um, impressions individually if you want to. So that's a great one. Moving on. Moving on. Now the Marion jewel. Uh, Marion, as in uh, maritime. Mariner's tool. Mariner's tool. Yes. Yeah. As in marin. <laughs> Did you just say then? <laughs> Is it wrong? I, I'm, I'm not going to repeat what I thought you said. I'll what tell do you, you think later. I said? <laughs> I might have misheard it, but I can't. I'm not going to say it. Is no, not that bit. The other bit. Tool. No. I <laughs> Over forty percent of the stock has gone. Look, you can turn it around, which is lovely. Twenty one ninety nine four three six nine three two. I didn't do the schedule. That's all I'll say. Uh, your next one. 
It's a little bit of everything, just like Catherine, a little bit of everything for you. And you've got 22 impressions, don't worry, I'm not going to do it, um, on that particular one. And that's £21.99. And then your final two uh, that we've got for you. Uh, we're going to this one. These, are, do you know what? I love these. Look at these. These are your playing cards, but playing cards with a difference because you've got your different images in there. You've got your love heart in there. You've also got your, that's your love heart, your ace of darkness. You've got your heart, your clubs, and your spades. And you've got some skulls in there as well. They are amazing. In fact, I've got a sample here. Is that sample for that one? There is a sample over here. Yeah, look at this. Love this. Doesn't that look amazing? Doesn't that look amazing? Um, and you can use that time and time again. Just keep, if I just move that out there. I really like these, Catherine. I really like them as well. They're, you know, they're more versatile than you realise, I think, because you can take the impressions from the centre of the playing cards individually as well. Yeah. One like of the moulds that you get, I can't remember which one it is. I think it's the Faces of Darkness. Do you get the little symbols in there? The Faces of Darkness. Um, the four. When, when the you say the symbols, which, what do you so mean? Individually, the lips are the heart, the diamond, yeah, the I think club, you do. and the spade. Uh, uh, no, you don't. You get you get the J, you get the Q, and you get the K for the K. Now you'll see what I mean. If you look at the moles, one of them's got the four little. Ah, right. Yes, on the on that one you do. Yeah, that's the your face of darkness. darkness. The one. That's your face of darkness. So uh, this is your second choice for you here, and I do have a sample. Yeah, I've got a sample here. Um, this is pretty cool. Want to get? Mind you, it doesn't. Ri I don't. Uh, yeah, that's the right way up. There you go. So you've got the Joker, just there. Uh, you have got the King. You've got the Queen, and you've got the Jack, just there. Wow, They're, they are effective, aren't they? Four three six nine three two is your item number. Twenty one pounds and ninety nine pence, saving eight pounds. You choose, you decide. You can mix it all up as well. That's the beauty of the show. You can have a small, a medium, and a large. You can have a large and a small. You can have a large and a medium if you want to. I know it sounds like a drive through, but it's not. Uh, right, let's have a look at the website. This is where you can go to you can see all the different mediums we've got on the show. If Catherine uses any of the mediums, she'll reference some and then we'll bring the details on the screen for you because you might want to go for them, uh, seeing what Catherine does with them. Um, we've got some resin for you on the show. We've got some air-drying clay. We've still got the air-drying clay. We've got the pick and mix on the air drying clay. So we've got your mediums to go alongside your moulds. Remember, these are food grade safe, so you can use them with food if you want to. Chocolate and ice and fondant icing or marzipan, as we thought this morning. You can use them with your hot glue guns, for example, your air drying clay, your resin. Uh, so all kinds of different mediums you can use within your moulds, but don't mix them. And when I say that, if you're using them for food, get another set of moulds for your crafting. Here's your hearty, soft uh, air drying clay. Pick a mix. So, Catherine, to choose three, which three would you recommend? I would say, well, obviously, if you've got your uh, primary colours, you can mix endless colours there. But to me, the black is very, very important because you'll never mix a true black in with your white. If you're trying to add a pigment there, you'll always get grey. Same goes with a red because you'll just get a pink and actually the green is a very strong green so very very useful i'm so sorry to have to do this to everybody but i'd need two lots because i need them all well do you know what it's not a bad idea because they're at a great price why don't you uh go for the whole six go for the whole set of six it's a great idea um that whole set of six will be 26 27 28 pounds 28 pounds so if you add a couple of more items to your basket, you can get five pounds off. a 200 gram block of the white hearty because you, you always that? want your white. We've got the individual blocks, I believe, left. We haven't so, got the big bundle, but we do have the individuals. Well, that will take you over the 30 pound mark. And then if you've got your five pound credit, you can use that. That is a great idea. It's like getting your batteries with your Christmas gift. You're good to go. So you've got your moulds and you've got your mediums. It all comes to you at the same time and then you're ready to go. And these are instant dispatch, aren't they, Catherine? They are. They're here yeah. in the warehouse. Fabulous. Right, Catherine, what are we going to have a look okay. at? Okay, well, we'll start with the one-day special. So you've got a number of different choices there. 
I think the most popular throughout the time, and I'm not surprised, has been the butterfly wings. I do know that when we first brought this, it was part of a one-day special. It was a bundle of three, and it wasn't available individually. Really? So I think this is why this has been so popular. It is beautiful, but people are now able to pick and choose which ones they want. So absolutely perfect. Um, I am going to go back to the air-dry clay for this. Oh, we did resin earlier on, and if I pour any more resin this out, we're not going to see it anyway. So because it, we can't demold it straight away. So just a little word again about the air-dry clay. I'm trying not to break into a new packet because it will be very, very fresh. And uh, when you take the clay straight from the pack, this has dried out quite a lot. So it's not as soft and flexible as it would normally be. This is more the consistency that I like to use it into the mold straight away. But when you do take the clay from the pack, always condition it first. So give it a good stretch keep moving it you will feel that moisture disperse within the clay when it starts to go more rubbery you will see again how it starts to break apart more but definitely worth giving this a, a good time to condition it first to make sure that the clay is nice and smooth now from that point what i would normally do is roll out the clay as i say this is more rubbery than it would be if it was totally fresh let the air get to the top surface there flip it over after about five ten minutes let the air get to the surface on the other side and then usually it will depend on the humidity and also the temperature in your room but normally if you give it that little bit of drying time when you come to pop it out of the mold you will find a marked difference by that what i mean is if your clay is too wet on the butterfly here obviously i can see where the vulnerable points are straight away they're at this point where you've got those thinner sort of areas, the breaking points. So if you're ever flexing a mold, whichever mold it is, and you find that the clay is stretching with the mold or splitting, your clay is too wet. So you want to allow it to dry a little bit more. Now, a good tip as well is to use a corn flour or a talcum powder in this case. As long as you're not going to eat anything, then the talcum powder is fine. Um, this one's actually got a little bit of sparkle in it, which is quite nice. So if it stays on there, it looks very pretty. I've also had some mica powder on this brush, so I think there's a bit of gold just gone in there as well. So this will probably pick up a little bit of colour as it is. You can pre-colour the clay. I am going to do a little bit of a blend again in a little bit later through this show, actually. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go straight in with the white. Okay. So, this is a lot firmer than it would be if it was straight from the pack fresh, as I say, so it should be nice and easy to release. It is a case of just pushing this into the mould using your fingertips you can use tools in smaller areas or delicate areas or those areas that are very very fine don't worry about going in with more than one piece you don't have to put one great big lump in you know you can do it in lots of little pieces if you prefer to make it easier now Catherine here's a question so I've not used moulds before I'm okay. using clay yeah does it matter how hard you press no, not on these okay. moulds. You're not going to do them any damage whatsoever. In fact, I'll just do the one wing for now because they're both the same, obviously opposites, but um, I've got dozens of butterfly wings around me now. If I get the rolling pin yep. and really oh. press down on top, I mean, I'm really putting some pressure on there, that will n do a number of things. So first of all, you can see how that is spread over the top of the mould, so you can see where the excess is. Yep. So I can just pull that away. Because these are silicon, they will clean up very, very easily. So if it's only a small amount, you can just pull back with your fingertip. I call it just tidying up. That's what I'm doing. I'm tidying up the clay. So any real excess, take it away. If you've got any low areas where you've rolled over the top and it's dipping down, then just top it up a little bit further. Could it is put, worth spending a bit of time doing this. I'm thinking with them being uh, food grade safe, so you might want to buy a couple, one for your crafting, one for yeah. your food. How about cookie dough? Cookie dough, yes. In fact, um, if you saw the Karen Davies show not so long ago yeah. with Karen's moulds, she gave everybody a recipe for cookie dough that doesn't spread and it tastes delicious because normally what happens when you make cookie dough or you make a sponge, yeah. it spreads, doesn't yes, it, it? Does. when it goes in the oven. You want something that's going to keep the detail. So if you didn't see that, you'll still find it on Rewind. Get that recipe, mm. try it in your Zuri yeah. moulds because these will go in the oven up to 240 okay. degrees. Cookies normally, I would say, what, 120? Something yeah, like something that. like that. They're How not too high, are they? Here's another thing. For the deeper moulds, the deeper, um, well, I don't, I don't suppose it has, yeah, quite deep moulds that we've got. How about jelly? You could do jelly. Um, I quite like the idea of putting jelly in some of them mm. and then making a bowl of jelly. Maybe if it could be the butterflies or insects that you've got in the past or anything on the show today. I'm thinking, what, what could it be? Um, some of the elements from the... 
a little bit of everything would yeah. work very well or the machines maybe yeah. a steampunk party or something like that you're having and have the jelly pieces within a jelly oh yeah that what about soap idea. within soap don't forget soap wax they will all work in the molds as well yeah, hot glue a good idea. Yes. so soap, it's soap yeah would be amazing and it would encourage people to be clean <laughs> I've done that before. I've cast little pieces in soap and then put them, them into a clear, oh, larger block candles. of soap. No, Candle, yes. Would it? Yeah, candles. Yeah, it could be what, quite thick. Yeah, if you've got, um, it might take a little bit of practice, but if you've got a wax candle or even one of those artificial ones, but they really still have wax around the outside, so they look really authentic. If you pour matte wax into your mould, and almost let it set it's still quite malleable yeah you can actually get the wax to stick onto wax oh that'd be a nice idea so you could burn yeah. the candle and it could be decorative i've had some good ideas haven't I, you have thank you very good you're doing really well janice today thank you. i'll try right <laughs> okay now remember if the clay was very very wet this would be the the area that's going to split easily but because this clay is much more rubbery now because it's been left out to dry longer this is literally going to fall out of the mold as you can see so no splitting no problem whatsoever and every bit of detail has been wow. picked up and it's at this point now that if you want to shape this mold it around something do so before the clay completely dries so i haven't got a bottle a clean bottle i've got some uh, resin here which i can just show you if it's the air dry clay just manipulate that around the bottle and let it dry and it will keep that curve. Don't go putting elastic bands around there or cling film, not with the air dry clay because you will squash the detail. Okay. And likewise, if you've got a butterfly and you want to position the wings, I mean, you could even put a little cut down the center there and make two different types of wings. Prop with bottle tops, with paint brushes, with rolling pins, until that has dried enough to stop moving and then it will hold its shape. That's amazing. That really is amazing. And it's something that's achievable and doable at home. I mean, imagine some of these moulds in chocolate as well. Maybe that's your business. Maybe you've got a coffee shop. Maybe you sell chocolate. You know, you've been selling different shapes online. Do something a little bit different. You can make some really cool effects with chocolate as well. You can get some really nice dusting and finishing on there. So sometimes they look like metal, but it's chocolate. And sometimes it look like ice, but it's not. It's chocolate. So, so many different things that you can do. Your one day special. Remember, the price is going back up at 6 o'clock today. This is your final hour. So any questions, email in. It is studio at thecraftstore.com. You have a choice. You're building your own one day special. If you just want one, you can have one. If you want two, three, four, it's entirely up to you. You can choose <clears throat> excuse me, which ones you go for. We've got butterflies, we've got carriages, we've got lovely dancers, we have got your perfume bottles, you've got your star signs as well. In this instance, you've got your scorpion, you've got your aquarius, and you've got your Sagittarius. You've also got your astrolabe in there as well that comes with a glass like cavachon to go in there uh, which is just there 18 pounds and 74 pence saving six pounds and 25 pence you're saving over 20 percent 25 percent saving now we have had a video sent in if you'd like to see this at home we'll play it for you um, this is absolutely incredible and it's a working model and this one's been sent in by Ian Ian that is quite extraordinary and to think that you can make something like this at home. Do you know what? I s Lara Croft, other movies are available, and superheroes and all of that. Tomb Raider, they had something like that in Tomb Raider. And it had to start turning and twisting and turning and twisting. And all kinds of things happened. Was it, was it the, golden, the golden compass? It was amazing. That's just what it... Th there's going to be no Lara Croft falling from that, unfortunately. Other heroes are available. But not in my world. Catherine. <laughs> okay, right, I'm just going to stick with the butterfly again for a second because Leanne's lovely examples where she's used the perfume bottle. I've got these wings here as well. These are not air dry clay. If I just switch these over, these were resin. This was actually clear resin and I used a powder, a mica powder, in the mould before I poured the resin. And then there's a little bit of the waxes that we've got on the show already have been used on the top here so you've got that lovely little bit of color so I want to finish making the body for this so I just wanted to bring these waxes back in for a second uh, being the final hour because well worth grabbing these let me just turn these upside down so you can see the three colors 
So they come all together. These are Zuri's own uh, waxes, so beautiful names for these, which you can see on the screen. So the Phoenix Blaze is this one. We've got the Venetian gold, obviously, there, and also the Bora Bora in the centre, which is absolutely beautiful. So you have got in the One Day Special, Janice, the perfume bottles. I have. You have. And on that lovely sample that you had, the vintage one, there is yes. one missing. I've got it. That yes, that one. Well, yes. I think, you know, you can use whichever perfume bottle you want, but I think for me, this is the most ornate one for the butterfly centre. And I think Leanne has used it on one of the samples as well. Yes, she has. Yeah, so let's good. add a little bit of wax. Now, if I just explain again, this is previously cast in resin. So it was a clear resin again, but with some of the mica powder mixed into it. I was just sort of experimenting with different effects. So that came through on the other side. So it's kind of semi-transparent. I've started putting a little bit of wax at the bottom, but we're going to continue with this one just so you can see the effect of these. And I am going to mix all three colours. I love doing a blend. Don't need to change brushes. At the bottom, I've used... Um, I'm just trying to slightly cleaner brush, I think. That's a bit soft. I've got another idea for you, Catherine, while you're you? doing that. It's also a balloon. A I know. We have actually said that one before. No, you didn't know that. We have. You didn't. If you watched back to the you last, so didn't. the last one day special. Sorry, Janice, can't let you have that one. But you've not said it on this one day. Special. No, not on this oh, one. There you go. So, so there you can go. have it balloon. for today. Um, I'll let you see. I'll let you see. If I hold that, um, <laughs> there's a little basket underneath. Um, there's a little basket underneath. It and, could, there's, and there's the balloon. It could there. also, it looks a little bit like a hand mirror as well, the back of the ornate yeah, side of hand Oh hand dear, I don't want to be looking at that. Um, yeah. yeah, it could be. It just, you know, it's, it's all about... It can be just, whatever you want it to be. Yeah, it certainly could. Two of those together, actually, with something in the centre, so you can see that lovely sort of decorative area, would look beautiful. It can be anything. It could be just any sort of embellishment. Yeah. So definitely look at breaking them down. So I've just gone with a slight um, coat of gold over the top again there, just so that that, you know, it's dried off. I did it earlier. I want these to blend together. So I'm going to just build up the colour a little bit. Then we'll go in with the Phoenix Blaze, which is the coppery one. Same brush, so I've still got a little bit of the gold on there. And I am trying to pick up colour all over on this one, rather than just on the raised areas, so I can work the colour into the the deeper areas. It depends what look you want. If you just want the, you know, and you've got embossed card. Yeah and you just catch the ink on the top so it picks up on the raised areas. You can do it like that by dry brushing or you can really work into those different areas as I say. These colours are absolutely they are beautiful. I'm just looking at them Catherine, just opening them up. I mean they are sensational. They really are wow. aren't they? Just blend a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more of the gold into the Phoenix Blaze there and then I'm going to turn that around and go in with the Bora Bora from the other side and kind of meet in the middle and then I can see if I want to sort of top the colours up anywhere. So this beautiful green. Again because I have got colours already on the brush it will look a little bit different to using it straight from the pot but I like the blend. You kind of get that vintagey uh, patina effect where yeah. you see the green starting to blend uh, Kathy, the... I've got some news for everyone at home. Sorry oh, to you? interrupt you. No, okay. Yes, the black hearty soft clay is sold out. Has it? It's oh, in the pick no. and mix. Yeah. So your recommendation was gratefully received by people at home, and they were placing that in their baskets. That's now gone and sold out. But we still have the red, the green, the blue, the yellow. I'm going to run out of memory in a minute. <laughs> and magenta. Uh, left for you, so those Lovely. five left that you can go and choose from. Thirteen ninety nine. Choose any three. Maybe take Catherine's advice yeah. about going for the primary colours, so you can start mixing colours when you get them home. Five one six one six five is your item number. Okay, so can I just hold this one to the front camera because it picks up the lovely gleam of the wax. Look at that now. Wow. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, that really is. Really, really pretty. Now, if you let that dry a little bit and buff it up with a nice dry soft cloth, you can also make it gleam even more. But I've already got the wings and I pointed this out earlier because when I was trying to choose which perfume bottle to go with and where to place the wings, I thought, oh, I could have them really wide apart, really close together. But actually, if you look at the neck of the bottle there, it's almost as though these were made to fit exactly oh, yeah. into the centre. Look at that. Doesn't that look fab? It really does. So, in fact, I've got another background. This is um, this is one that was donated to me, actually, and I thought this was perfect to show the colours off. So let's just lay it on there. Did you make that background? No, it was done from... It was a, one of our guests who comes here with the marbling and the paint pouring. Wow. 
There we are. So really lovely. Again, of course, you're going to have to support the wings there. I would use a, a gel medium or a hot glue gun would probably work, but gel medium would probably be more permanent. And as you want the wings to, if, unless you want them flat, of course, you can do it. But if you want them raised, do support them until wow. that glue has dried. Do you know what that reminds me of? The start to Doctor Who. Does it? Yeah, you know when it's doodle doo doodle doo. -doo, 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 -doo the oh, the, the background. Yeah, the background. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Yeah, it does, doesn't that look spectacular? And I've got a sample here just to show you because we do have some of the moulds on the show. And if you go for, I think it's the mechanical, the mechanic. If this is a gorgeous sample with that butterfly, but if you have a look, I don't know if you can come closer. That's not missing the top of the W. That is actually a screw bolt. And you'll see that that theme is running through the letters. Can you see that? There you go. So they're all uh, pieces of pipe, or they're screws, or they're bolts, and they all come together to make those letters. Um, it is absolutely brilliant if you want to go for that particular mould. Really love those. And that's just, that is just the detail that you're going to get with Zuri. Absolutely incredible. I mean, imagine those in chocolate be brilliant 941166 is your item number if you want to go for the wax paste that uh, Catherine have been using uh, you've got these amazing colors amazing colors actually Bora Bora that one is your Venetian gold and that one is your Phoenix glaze let me just take one of these and open it up for you just so you can see they are a wax so there you go nothing's going to fall out of there it's not a powder it's a wax. I love that. £19.97. What an absolutely amazing deal because they are going to last you a long time. Depends on how long you use them, of course, but I think they're going to last you a long time. Now, we'll trace the details of the one-day special. You can choose. You can decide which mould you go to. If you haven't decided, if you want any help, just email in. We'll help you out. But they're all absolutely stunning and amazing. Uh, we do have some questions coming in. We'll get those to Catherine in a moment's time. Right, Catherine? Okay, right. Now, going to one of the other moulds, one of the larger moulds, a favourite of mine has got to be a little bit of everything. So, this was cast yesterday. We demoulded it this morning. If I turn it around, you can see, again, it's the epoxy resin that we've got on the show with some resin tint in there, creating that wonderful lime green. Now, the gold that you can see was a mica powder that I dusted the mould with, which, although some of it will raise to the top, you can see it's picked up beautifully from the mould itself. There is a little bit of wax that's gone on there as well. The same wax as I've just shown you with the butterfly. Um, absolutely gorgeous. But, you know, I'm going to make that stand out just a little bit more okay. with a trick that you often see me do again. Now, depending on the material that I'm working on, it changes how I, how I use an acrylic paint, which is I want to use it. This is a Viva Decor one, but you can use other brands as well, of course. If you see me do the colour washes, which is such an amazing effect, but very simple for everybody to do, I usually do 50% paint, 50% water to make that wash. Because this is resin and it's not porous, if I put water in there, when I apply to the top surface, it almost gives it some forms those beads. Do you know what I mean? So what I'm going to do, although it looks quite good actually as it is, I think you can definitely differentiate between the two faces. But a little bit like, as you'd see Leone do, or, or the Lou's, you know, Lou with the Withers or Lou Sims, using the shadows with pens and paints, you can do the same with your moulds as well. So I'm actually just using some of the black acrylic, and I'm going to just paint around the outline there of the face, a little bit under the chin as well. I'm not going to do too much. I am going to wipe this away to a certain extent. Because this isn't porous, that will quite easily wipe away. Now, I'm just going to get in as far as I can, and I know I can't get right close to the edge, but I can take the excess away, just leaving what looks like a shadow there. So that really does you differentiate could use an earbud between it. If you wanted to. You could do what, sorry? Use an earbud. You could use an earbud, yeah. Um, normally I use a wet wipe. This one is actually dry, but because again this isn't porous, yeah. it doesn't need to be wet. If that was on air dry clay, you would need a damp cloth. Yeah. But I think if you start to, you know, build the shadows up around there, I would probably go around the ear as well. Yeah. Add a little bit more and uh, really sort of bring out the detail as much as possible. So little tricks just to make the most of everything so again just wiping away the excess 
it won't take it all away, but it definitely adds that it shadow. It certainly does. Um, talking about adding things, I've got some questions. Oh, we've got them. Okay, so uh, Sue has emailed in. Hello, Sue. Good afternoon. Thank you for emailing in. Catherine, could you advise if the numbers at the quarter hour would fit on a clock face approximately 10 inches in diameter? From Sue. Right, the numbers on a clock face would fit. Just repeat that again, please. Catherine. <laughs> Can you advise if the numbers at the quarter hour would fit on a clock face approximately 10 inches in diameter? in diameter? So the clock face would be approximately 10 inches. We did have a clock sample. We couldn't find it. And I think that sample was, was, it was somewhere between 10 and 12 inches. And okay. yes, it definitely worked. But on the area on the side of caution if it was 12 inches it should work on 10 inches for sure uh, the actual numbers are the same size let me just measure this board I know this isn't a circle this is actually that is 10 inches wide the numbers depending on the number they will change mm. obviously a one is going to be narrower yep. than a number two obviously you've got a number nine and a number three <laughs> you've got a nine and a three and a 12 and a 6 so let's say they are the same width as these letters which are two inches thereabouts would your number two be wide your number <laughs> your number nine would go there so that would definitely fit your number three would go there that would definitely fit so if we imagine number 12 which is a one and a two you see there's a difference in size and it's important I know there is and a number six would go at the bottom. So I would say, yes, on a 10 inch, definitely you've got room to put those on. Yeah, I think you would. Oh, thanks, Catherine. Thank you, Sue. Uh, right, Kay Clayton has emailed in. Hi, everyone. Hi, Kay. I recently purchased the carriage mould and wondered if you could use UTE with it. Thank you and a happy new year. Is that the milk yes, you get? Yes, you can. No. <laughs> Ultra thick embossing powders. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, oh, you can. Th. Yes, you can. Because you melt them and then right. you can pour them into the mould and yes, you can do that. Oh, thank you, Kay. I hope that's answered your question. We've got another one. Uh, good afternoon. The perfume bottle is called a... Sh <laughs> Chatelaine? Chatelaine. Do you know, we, we had... Chatelaine perfume bottle. It is worn on the belt. We had, is this from me and by any chance? It is from me. Well, I should probably say that is correct then. We had a little bit, not an argument, but we had a little bit of a disagreement between uh, a couple of viewers on the last show because I don't think, no, I better not say their name just in case she does mind. Um, somebody suggested it was called a pomander and then Ian suggested it was something else. We do think it is what Ian has just said. A pomander is, is a yeah. ball shape. Chant Chant yes, it? it's a Victorian perfume bottle. Chantilly. Chantilly. <laughs> I don't know, but it, whatever it is, it's right. <laughs> right, uh, we've had an email from Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Catherine and Janice. Hello, Lynn. Uh, can you tell me, please, if there is a minimum room temperature at which the Elecam resin will set? Many thanks, Lynn. The warmer the room, the quicker usually the curing time. If you're mixing the resident in there to colour, that can slow down the curing process a little bit. An ideal temperature would be anything between 20 to 24 degrees. So at this time of year, if you're working indoors, you've got the radiators on, doesn't matter what the weather's like outside, you're going to be absolutely fine. If you're working in a shed outside, then your, your time will be slowed down if the temperature's really, really cold. So I would advise trying to lift the temperature. Same goes with the summer, if you're working in a conservatory, because a lot of people do crafting conservatories. If it is really baking hot, not always a great idea. So Perfect. kind of 20 to 24 degrees, you should be absolutely fine. Oh, thanks, Catherine. Thank you, Lynn, for emailing in. Any more questions? You've got 10 minutes to get your questions in. It is studio at thecraftstore.com. No question is a silly question. Now, if you do want to go for your Elikem, that is on extended delivery, dispatching on the 5th of January, which, let's face it, it's only days away. It's only days away until the next I year. Know. I know. It won't be long before we're saying, oh, we're almost at Christmas again. I know. The time goes so fast, doesn't it? I've just brought in another background there, just to, so you can see um, our lovely sun and moon together there, because I think they stand out really well on those colours. And actually, I've got the Mariner's Jewel here as well, done in a different colour. So this is resin using mica powders. You do get the Chicago screw in the pack. Why is that important? Because that will hold all three oh. of the components together. Right. Now, when you've used that, they are quite easy, easily 
readily available. Yes, I think I um, saw. Yeah, you just want to make sure you get the right diameter, which I think, oh no, I'd have to check again. Ian keeps reminding me of this one. Measure before you use it, yep. measure the diameter. Good idea. So that you get, because they do come in various different sizes. Yeah. Very easy to put together. But that way, even if you haven't got a motor, you can still move around those different component, components separately which is really, really good. Right, okay, I'm just going to go back to the air-dry clay a little bit. I was trying not to open another pack, but I am going to because I want this really fresh. We've talked about using the air-dry clay um, in the moulds and letting it dry a little bit, but there are times where I prefer the clay to be a little bit wetter. So, And I can also show, show you straight from the pack. Now, I've got to be honest, Depending on how clay has been stored prior to it reaching you, we get the stock in really, really fresh. Yeah. We always sort of restock before the shows, and I've never yet found a pack that hasn't been really, really soft and, um, you know, lots of moisture in there. But malleable. Be careful, yeah, malleable. Be careful where you store it because you don't want it anywhere too cold or too hot. And it is air dry clay, so you must seal the packets up and let no air get in there at all. But straight from the pack, if I just pull another little bit off. You can see it looks really fibrous, it almost looks fluffy, and it breaks apart really easily. You can see it just kind of comes apart. Now, what's it? A nougat, that's what Alex likened it to earlier. Oh, a little bit of soft nougat. Yeah, yeah. I've nougat, nougat for ages. I'm not, pink and, it used to be pink and white pink and with nuts Yeah. What nuts were there? Were they almond? I not don't sure now. No, if you know, email in. Oh. What nuts were in your nougat? <laughs> Don't eat your soft drying air glide, no. air drying soft clay <laughs> thingy over there. Now, it is important to condition the clay. I always say this, I spoke about it earlier on. So you saw me take that straight from the pack, it pulls apart easily. I'll just work with this a little bit. The more you stretch it, the more you need it, the more you disperse in the moisture that's in there, the more stretchy it will, will become and the more supple it will become. Um, if you leave your clay out and it does get a little bit dry, too dry as long as it's not fully dried out you can spritz with water and work the water into it and it will refresh it beautifully i've got a question for you no questions a silly question okay you know i'm impatient i can't help it I when found i found that out today what do you mean <sighs> go on what were you going to say i was joking <laughs> i took the time <laughs> um can i use an air drying tool to dry it quicker not advisable. Okay. The reason being because the heat from a heat tool is quite intense. You can scorch the clay, but yeah. also if you heat dry, it makes it more brittle. Ah, uh, okay. So if you can, possibly allow it to dry naturally. Now we have got still some of the pick and mix colours, haven't we? We've got the yellow, we've got the yellow and blue, by any chance? We're going to make a green. Oh, we do have them. Okay. Perfect. So as long as I can find the blue one. Do we still have the deal with the uh, mixing? palette that's, that's gone, gone. Okay. otherwise i would have been using so this. We're, oh, we're the mixing blue, really. the newcastle way which is by eye <laughs> well we're doing the blend again okay. we're going to do a blend and make some green just because i am going to use something other than a mold as well just to show different ways of working with this this board is very very dirty i'm a little bit worried this clay might stick to it because you've got uh, any you residue what? that's a good point it is a good point it can happen it, it does if you've got water glue even yeah. if it's dry glue or any sort of mediums on there it can cause your clay to stick yeah, so you want true. to try and keep your glass mats nice and clean i think our lovely floor manager shana might have just nipped off to get me a fresh one so we're going to you've seen me do this before i did it on the launch show but it's nice to do it a number of times i always get asked to do it actually i'm just going to use three colors as i wait for the new board i'll just and clean your hands as well yes. that is another well, good idea yeah, i'm not saying you idea. have to but it is a point you know sometimes yeah, it's a bit difficult to nip off now yeah, but when yeah. you start mixing clay um it is a good idea like catherine said maybe to have some uh, a towel at the side of you just wash your hands to start again okay i think you've got right. some cleaning apparatus i have but i'm a little bit more worried about using those because that's going to put moisture on the mat okay, okay. so i'm going to risk it and see what happens so i'm taking a little bit of the yellow sorry shana and the blue and more of the white more of the white okay. so you might have to do a recap in a little while but I shape those simply because I don't want straight lines I want the colors start to cross because it's going to fold so you're not mixing them just getting I'm them in there and mixing no them. I'm going to it's fold in half so can you see where I fold over yeah. now that yellow and white where they mix they're going to fall more into the yellow the yellow is starting to fall into the blue and does this give 
the ombre effect it does oh, it does yeah. so it's better to use fresh clay for doing this because okay. if you don't you'll find it's much harder to roll it out and also you'll be rolling longer as well now I'll do a few and then if you want to do a bit of a recap no, I'll really. keep going don't you no oh you can watch me I'm only big, kidding of big. course I will <laughs> of course I will but before you go yeah hopefully we can see where the white and the yellow mix and you're going to see a paler yellow yeah, the yellow and the blue, blue you're starting going. to see the green so you literally just keep doing that and every time you fold it over yeah. and the colors cross over in a different way okay. you'll see those colors coming through can you put that through a pasta making machine that you're not using for yes pasta and no uh, you can but not as it is okay. because if you put that through a pasta machine it will just stick to the rollers and you'll never get it out you can do it with polymer clay though, you would you? need to put yes, that. You, yeah you can do it with polymer you clay that. yeah you can there's lots of methods fantastic methods with polymer yeah. clay and a pasta machine but if you want to put your air dry clay through a pasta look machine you must put it inside some polythene or yeah. some wax paper. Got you. Look at that, how it's starting to blend. I know. I love doing this. But you get such a lovely blend. I yeah. am going to put this into one of the moulds, but also I've got some cutters here as okay. well, which I thought would be quite uh, nice. Right, time-wise on the show, how long have we got? Two minutes. Oh, so we've got two and a half roll minutes. fast then. Uh, so you keep rolling. Roll harder, Catherine. Roll harder. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Um, your one day special. You've got the choice. You decide. We're very, very busy. Uh, and this is the last live hour. You can buy after the show, but lots of people coming in now making their choices. Remember, we have had some sellouts. We've got some beautiful samples here to show you the gorgeous designs that you could possibly create using the moulds that we've got for you on the show. The butterfly has proved to be very, very busy. Uh, the letters there at the top, they're from your larger moulds, the mechanics, if you want to go for those. Your star sign, Sagittarius, also a popular um, um, item to get into your basket, the detail in the horse part of your horseman, um, or the archer horse, horseman, or the archer man, or the archer lady. It could be a lady, actually. Hang on. Could be. Could be. Could be. Um, it is a centaur, but it could be half man, half lady, half lady, half man. A half horse, <laughs> off lady. Sorry, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, and we've got some lovely samples here of how you can really bring the moulds to life, depending on what you are crafting with. You've got different mediums you can use. You can use food; they're food grade safe. Um, but of course, buy another one to do your crafting. There's the fire dancer. Isn't that absolutely extraordinary? But also the fire dancer in different colours. We've got one minute left. Oh no, Catherine! I better stop rolling then. He's stopped her rolling. No, normally, I would roll for a little bit longer. But so they say. <laughs> I'd probably, probably. Come on, Catherine, 45 <laughs> seconds left. Is that you all can we've do got? it. Um, oh. Do check out your baskets for your one day special. Again, you can buy after the show if you want to. A big thanks, Catherine, uh, to all of your shows today, all of your shows yesterday, and all of your shows to come because you're here until about midnight, aren't you? <laughs> I won't get home till about one o'clock this morning, but oh, I've got the next hour which is Viva Decor. Yep. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to switch all the things over in that time. And then back at 9 o'clock for Viva as well. Oh, fabulous. 15, 15 seconds, seconds, right. I can't tidy it up, but let's just take that out so you can see oh, the blend. Oh, look at that. I would, I would normally blend that a lot longer, but it's a way of instant well colour. Oh, thanks, Catherine. What a star. Catherine's <laughs> coming up next in the next hour, so don't go anywhere. Thank you. Right, we've got the big save with Viva Decor, that's with Leonie and Catherine, journaling with Studio Light, one day special, and then we've got your paper crafting with Funky Fossil and our Sarah. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Kay Fassett is a distinguished artist, designer and author. 
who has used his background in knitwear design to create an expanding range of bold and beautiful fabric prints for the patchwork market. I will be bringing you a wide selection of beautiful fabrics at fantastic prices. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, of colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hello and welcome. How wonderful to have your company again. Um, we have got a full collection of goodies lined up for you. Uh, Viva Decor. I love Viva Decor. They have some really cool products. I like them because um, we saw them a couple of years ago actually at uh, Frankfurt and the stuff that they make and produce and all the different um, incredible mixed media things you can do with them. Whether it is card making, whether it is mixed media, whether you're introducing these into your artwork, there's something literally for everybody and obviously fantastic fantastic prices as well. Now we have got extended delivery on these, they're going to be going out from the 19th of January, um, so a little bit of an early, mo early morning, an early um, New Year's gift for yourself there, it might be early morning, who knows? Now, obviously our oh, lovely Catherine, are we going to, are we going to, it was funny then, are we, we going to try and cut back to her straight away because she was like this <laughs> rummaging and it made me giggle. Um, our oh, lovely Catherine, obviously you've been super, super busy, so you're kind of packing up and finding things things all at the same time aren't you love? Well I've not had time to pack up and I've got to find things so it's just utter chaos where <laughs> I am right now so do forgive me if I am rummaging around and looking for things. Yeah but chaos is fabulous. <laughs> I mean we're used to a cheeky bit of chaos aren't we? <laughs> we are um, aren't Now we? I, we Catherine are. I know you love working with Eva Decora products I mean what is it for you that makes, um, makes them special? Do you know, I say this every time, Leonie, because I am a believer in, you know, the right tool for the job and also you get what you pay for is the famous saying. Yep. And when I first discovered Viva and was asked to represent them, I thought, you know, these prices, are they too good to be true? I thought they were. Mm. But, oh, my goodness, I was literally blown away with the quality of the products. I've never been disappointed in anything at all. Not only that, most of the products that we've, we've seen, and we've almost exhausted the whole catalogue that Viva do at the moment, work indoors and outdoors. That's well cool. And I love that because I yeah. love upcycling, as you know, so I yeah. do a lot indoors and outdoors, so that just makes it perfect. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And it stops that confusion of, yeah. oh, what do I use here and there? Um, right, we'll take you down the counter. Oh, Obviously, um, our Catherine's getting her, herself organised, uh, but we will shout, shout to her every few moments. Uh, so, <laughs> first of all, we have got um, your candle wax pens now. How cool is this? Because if you are maybe decorating, upcycling, repurposing your candles, how cool to be able to do your own gorgeous designs on these. You know, I, I think this is such a good idea. A plain candle, pick up a plain candle. You might be personalising it, writing someone's name with it. Um, let me show you the, the nozzle, because they are a really nice, fine nozzle. Look at that. So you can get really nice, fine lines with this which if you are personalizing these imagine imagine a wedding and you're actually personalizing them and honestly are a gift just a gift absolutely amazing i just think it's such a good idea now what you've got in colors um here you have got 
your silver, you've got your gold, but then you've got your uh, glitter silver and silver, hold on, gold glitter, and then uh, your silver glitter as well. So really, really cool. Obviously, they're going to dry with a little bit of, as you can see on my hand, they're going to have that texture as well. So they're going to dry with a slight relief on, which will look really, really cool. I, I really recommend these. At £10.99, pence, that is superb price. And um, thing is with Viva as well, always um, they've got the little thing that you take off there with packaging, so it'll give you information about the product, which is always nice. And um, there will be, I'm going to read it so our, our Catherine can um, keep getting set up and tidying. Um, this one says, this one says, um, protective containers, oh, you know what, it's just saying. Um, okay, to apply larger areas, apply with a sponge. Now, that's a good idea. Or, of course, lines and points, uh, you can apply directly from a pen. That's a really good idea, because if you want to do um, large background areas with these, like stenciling, if you put a candle on and you want to stencil through the candle, you can actually absolutely do that with these and then obviously pick out finer details love those uh, 10 pence and 99 pence is your price 876-403 is your item number now next um, we've got three options now these are already busy I know our Catherine has had these on before and um, that's set one set two and set three and I love these because they look really cute they also come they also come I'll just pick one up because I like the box I love I love packaging and um, they also come in this lovely little box so if you are giving them as a gift do not when you're giving them make sure they know they're not jam do you know what i mean <laughs> i mean it would look good on your toast but don't eat it um because they, they do look really cute don't they especially in the box it's like oh they're edible no not jam um so what you've got now catherine is going to be demonstrating these um again absolutely beautiful so it is your medium so you can say oh i won't open them because our catherine's going to be opening them um so it's your glitter medium. So I am going to quickly shout to our Catherine. So with these, not at her, I'll <laughs> chat to her, not shout at her. So with these, are these like a gel medium? What, are, what right. do these do? Well, you have got three choices, three different sets, and they're three different mediums. So the one on the top shelf is like a gel suspended, uh, glitter suspended in a gel. It gives the most amazing effects. I have got some samples I've done previously down at my end, so we'll have a look at those. Amazing. Indoors and outdoors. Onto glass, wow. onto tin, onto wood, onto fabric, onto card, onto paper. You can stencil with them, you can sponge them on, you can paint them on. Absolutely love them. The effects are incredible. And outdoors as well. Outdoors as well. That is yeah. so exciting. Yeah. So that's your first one. So that's like your gel medium. Yes. So your second one. This looks like um, a mousse, doesn't it? Now, I can't see from here which one you've so got. So this it one looks, is... Oh, yes, right. You gl um, have you I got can't... the apricot in that selection there, in the middle? You want can't. love? Yes, you have. Right, I can tell you exactly what these are then. So, these are like, these are water-based, but they are not wax, but we often refer to them as a gilding wax. They work like a gilding wax. They are water-based. You can really add water with these. Work with your paint brushes, make a wash, you can paint with them. You've got that lovely shimmer in there. Directly onto your clay, onto your metal, onto your resin, using like a gilding wax. Blending those colours works beautifully. Amazing. There are so many reasons for getting these. Not only that, we've talked about candles. Yep. You can actually, with a sponge is the best way of doing it, using a sponge, coat onto to wax and you can burn the candles it's wow. totally safe wow and i know that because viva in the past have done a kit with these in with yeah. the a full candle kit amazing and the warning well the warnings aren't there to say don't do it it says you can burn they are perfectly safe to burn that is cool. so the fact that you can use a stencil with these onto a candle and burn that candle sometimes we think oh it's nice to make a candle but you know it's for decorative purposes this changes it. Yeah. All those other reasons as well, Leone. I mean, yeah. literally try anything with them. And the colours are beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Look, look what you've got there. You've got six different colours all yeah. for that price of twelve ninety nine. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. And they're nice sizes as well. And yeah. obviously, if you're... 
They're going to last. Like, if you're sponging them, you, they're going to last. They will last such a long time. They are great with your stamped images if you want to use a water brush. Uh, just, of course, bear in mind the type of ink that you're stamping with if you are yes. going to stamp first of all because you are applying water. Um, now, the last one. So, um, this, again, I'm not sure what that is. So, that's like a, a glittery one, but it doesn't it look as gel medium-y as the other one. It's actually, it's a paint. Ah. Indoors or outdoors again. You can still use a spatula and use this with a stencil. You can paint onto multiple surfaces. You've got that beautiful sort of glimmery effect in there. Yeah. They are packed with shimmer. When you actually see these dry, they are beautiful. One of my favorite things to do with these, yet again, are to use a sponge and to apply onto glass. Yeah. And you can blend the colors, you can build the layers. So if you want transparency in your glass, you can just go with one coat. If you want to build the layers up, make it a little bit more opaque, again, you can. Think about stenciling directly onto your bottles, onto your canvases, onto your MDF, your wood, your tin, all those surfaces, again, perfect. Amazing. Right? Porous and non-porous. Beautiful. And again, the colors are divine. Now, ridiculously busy. £12.99. They make fantastic gift ideas. Uh, we'd love to see what you've been doing as well, because these have been busy every time they've been on. Um, yeah, we'd love to hear from you as well. But if you do want to get a hold of yours, whether they're from yourself, for yourself or, of course, for a gift, only £12.99. That's 859608. Next, we have for you now our modelling cream. And these are big tubs of your modelling cream. Um, and you're getting all five for just £15.99. Now, modelling cream, obviously, you know, you're thinking texture, you're thinking stencils, you're thinking adding um, colour as well. And because these are such big pots, um, these are absolutely going to last. Um, and I think with something like this, um, I mean, it shows you on the box the kind of texture you, you can achieve. The black, personally, you need, you need black modelling paste. I mean, it looks so good through your stencils, but you've got your black, you've got the silver in here, you've then got the gold, you've got the copper, and you've got the bronze. Um, now, obviously, Viva Decor Modeling pe Cream. Now, cream, I suppose, our Catherine, yep. that is the key word. Are they a really beautiful, smooth, creamy oh, surface? They are gorgeous to work with absolutely gorgeous i will probably be demoing with them again many uses um in fact while i'm here you will have, if you've watched the shows before you've seen me use these onto fabric they are absolutely gorgeous so we'll show you on black card in a, a little while i need to sort of just rummage through again to find that but watch this literally just really nice. scrunch that up it will not crack it will not peel. You can hand wash these as well or wash wow. them at quite a cool temperature. Never tried it on a really high heat, but I wouldn't have thought it's recommended. This would go straight onto your pumps or yeah. onto your, you know, your mixed media yeah. projects, your, um, your calico, your linens. It doesn't have to be a natural fabric. It will, they will work on synthetics as well. But using through a stencil, sponging, or brushing again absolutely fantastic I love these another one reason for getting these as well you'll recognize this one Leone if you've got the stamp oh, yeah. area or the Leblanc or any yeah. not so much the deeper molds I wouldn't suggest putting the modeling cream into the Zuri because they're much deeper yeah but using a spatula you can actually peel away these as a skin and then Amazing. use them in the background they are beautiful I like them um, yeah these are busy as well 59 you get it see this is the thing the prices, this is what Catherine was saying, the prices, but you are getting quality materials. These are nice big tubs for that price. Again, all packaged. Um, yeah, cracking gift ideas again. 279-380 is your item number. If you'd love to get hold of them. And seeing them on fabric just looks gorgeous. Um, now, we've got for you your ceramic effect. Now, again, really interesting. And they feel heavy. I love that with um, with some of the products. You know, you go to pick them up, it's like, wow. Because, again, it's it's the, the quality of the material. And the ceramic effect. So, obviously, this has got that texture again. But it's the finish, isn't it? The f it's amazing. You can tint it as well. If you want to put a pigment in there to colour, so it could be a pigment powder or it could be a pigment ink. Um, something, they are water-based. But the finish... and. 
there's a difference between drying and curing time. I like to say this. Drying time to me is when you can touch dry it, you're not going to smudge it, it's, it's there. Curing time is completely different. It's when it hardens. You find that with paint when you're painting furniture or emulsion. The curing time on this, I would probably say give it 24 hours, but you can actually use the, wash these out. You can put them in the yeah. dishwasher. Wow. Um, fantastic finish again building up the layers if you want to use colors you can blend the colors we'll try and get round to these if it's not this hour it'll definitely be at nine o'clock tonight Amazing. i love 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 them so changing those jars those glass vases in fact it doesn't have to be a clear piece of glass it can be a ceramic that's already there that has color or a pattern that you don't like you can go straight over the top my top tip is to use a sponge yeah I'm going to come back to those later. We have got a set that's got some of the sponges in. I don't know if we've got the sponges for Viva on end of call. We have done before. If we have, I'm going to say put them in your basket and get them because you will love them. Absolutely wonderful. Um, if you'd like these, again, ceramic effect. I love all the different effects that Viva do. And again, only 10 99 and these are big pots as well. Um, 871 317, your item number. Now, um, Catherine mentioned the, the kit with the sponges, this one, and of course you can cut them down, really, really handy, but um, this is fabulous because this is your rusty set, and yeah, obviously with this, you're going to get your wonderful texture, you're going to get that incredible um, colour palette as well. You do get instructions, if I show you your instructions, and it looks really, really effective. And what I love about these, it's absolutely achievable. You know, I think rust can be one of those um, that can be really tricky to know how to do. You know, you do have it in the, uh, your different, I think, um, yeah, it's got your different languages. Um, it can be one of those that's tricky to, to get a really cool result, but this is wonderful. Then again, again, brilliant gift ideas, but I'd be going for, for this for myself. And again, it's weighty. Yeah. See, I love these because the the contents has this one got to oh, Catherine is that one quite textural as well what you've got there you've got two pots so the rusty has got texture in there so it's slightly gritty yeah yeah you, the patina has got mica in there so you've got that ah. shimmer you've got that shine you can use them together or you can use them individually as well so you've got the best of everything amazing the sponges that are in that kit are the ones i'm talking about yeah. they are brilliant for so many reasons so make sure you wash those sponges out and reuse them because they are fantastic. It's a tenner. I, I can't know. believe that this is that, only ten that pounds. Kit will last such a long time. It's quite funny actually because the last time we had that on, I was with Janice and Janice had just done the show where she'd been turning rusty things into non rusty things <laughs> with a very special pay. And I was doing the opposite. I was turning the nicely painted things into rusty things. So, <laughs> I think so, we just need to keep switching our demos, don't we? Our samples. It's so funny, isn't it? It's so funny, like, oh, look at that rust, yeah. isn't it? Lovely. Yeah. Again, great with the stencil directly onto tin, wood, non-porous, porous, you can put it outside, you can put it onto stone, using it through your stencil to get great effects, just sponging it, brushing it on with the Zuri moulds, something like the cogs, the pipe work, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely cool. Um, if you do want to get hold of that one, a tenner, £9.99, 970-802 is your item number. Now, Get onto the big tubs of goodness. So your first one, and I must admit, um, this is so cool to work with. So this is your bit on, but this is the one that, that basically, oh, I think, yeah, I think we're going for it right one. Yeah, so this is the one that looks like concrete. I mean, this is seriously cool, isn't it's, it? It is actual concrete, but don't be fooled into thinking, oh, I'll just go to the DIY yeah. store and get my own concrete mix, because concrete, you have pebbles in there, don't you? you? To mix a real concrete, cement is different. Cement doesn't have the pebbles in. This has got a really finely ground gravel in there or stone in there, so it's a special mix. It mixes beautifully. It starts to cure quite quickly. It works in the Zuri moulds. It works in any of your moulds, in fact. Great for outdoors. Yeah. You can paint it, you can colour it, but it is real concrete. How cool My is that? My only disappointment in this one, Leonie, is just pick that pot up. It's empty. Yeah. It's empty. They were supposed to send me a new pot. I've run out of mine. I've used what's on the counter. I can't mix it. Yeah, yeah, that's so annoying. Hopefully, next time, <laughs> if anyone's watching from Vivid Core, Catherine has to use the product. <laughs> So therefore, when she uses it, what, it's empty? 
and then we need another so Catherine can demo it. See if you could, that would be great. Uh, 711-055 is your item number. Honestly, that is cracking, cracking stuff. And that price, again, I love these because they're try-it prices. Yeah. And that I find phenomenal because these are massive tubs it as is, well. It, it goes such a long way. And there's a little guide on the pot as well that tells you how much water to powder. Because that's literally yeah. what it is. You're mixing water into powder. And the consistency is just wonderful to work yeah. with. Yeah, I, I think they're great. So that's your, your concrete. The next one. So this is your paper clay. And this one, this has got such an interesting texture, hasn't it? It has, yeah. That one is Yours pretty will be full. full. I think it's a little bit gone. I think Janice had a play with that one time. Yeah, um, it I love does, this. It does feel like mashed potato, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's quite nice. It's but it is, that's definitely the way I would describe it. Now, this is very different. It is air dry, but it's very different to the hearty clay that we've just seen, where yeah. you've got the stretch. Um, you, so, yeah, completely different material. You can put it into your moulds. You can hand develop it as well. I use this for making fairy houses because you can make stonework, yeah. you can make the pathways, you can make the roofs, you can make all of those components. It takes a little bit of time to dry because, well, depending on the the thickness, because obviously if you're making something quite thin, it's going to dry quicker. If you're making chunks, maybe rocks or something like that, then it's going to take longer to dry. You can paint that with so many different mediums as well because it yeah. is porous. I would say use this one for indoor purposes yeah, uh, because it is porous. But, yeah, what a great medium to work with as well. And that, I mean, that it's the texture, isn't it? Yeah. So if you, you know, like if you are upcycling, you know, you're like you were saying, you're making little fairy houses because it does have the most beautiful texture. It, it does. Is, it's one of those you like just playing with that. It feels is. You can make it very, very thin as well. So if you wanted to make flowers, petals for flowers, you can make it very thin. So they'll you look can also like stamp into it as well. Amazing. Yeah, it's well cool stuff is this. Now, if you would like to get hold of that, that is, again, a massive pot for only £12.99. Uh, do make sure you check that one out. 367687. Now, next, your paper mache. So, obviously, again, yeah, really good fun. And I like that you're getting it ready made because paper mash I don't know about you but um, how many times you've got in a right mess making paper <laughs> mash um, so this one this one's different from the paper it's, clay is it, it is yes I don't know is the lid off on that one just to it's, again I it's haven't gone, got one but I can sort um, that out right now Ooh. it looks grey it looks quite dark doesn't yeah. it yeah yeah now that. this again you can apply this into your moulds I'm not going to say it's going to pick up the detail as much as the hearty clay would or a resin, but it will pick up detail. So for more solid pieces, it's great. Very easy to work with. So it's kind of the paper mache that's already mixed for you. So no yeah. messing about with your flour and water and your strips of newspaper. What I do like about this is if you want to compact it down, because you can actually roll it out, stamp into it or use a texture plate, you can get that lovely sort of effect on there. When yeah. it has dried, it is so strong. It's like a... A grey board. Right, Like okay. a good, strong grey board. Yeah. So very, very tough. So make embellishments. Use them on your canvases. Use them in your mixed media. For the price that you're paying there, for that yeah. tub, again, this is going yeah. to go a long, long way. Of course, it's air drying. Yeah. So, but really, really tough. And use that, you know, with many different mediums again. Shape it by hand. Just experiment with I it. I love that. Again, you just want to stick your fingers in you it. You get so much, don't you? Ten ninety nine for all yeah. of that. Yeah, I, and the fibres, you can see the fibres. You can see the fibres. You know, yeah. you can even see the different colours of fibres, like when you are making um, paper mache or handmade paper. I mean, just just like it shows you making bowls. Things like that are super easy as well, aren't yeah. they? You know, just round a balloon or something like that. Yeah. Super easy, but so effective. And it's that texture that it's going to give you. Yes. In fact, talking about balloons, if you look at the concrete, if you just go back to that one for a second, Leone, we did this in demo when we did have some <laughs> demo area. Um, if you, you blow up a balloon, you can actually mould the concrete around there Amazing. as well. All you do when the concrete is set is you just snip where the neck of the balloon is. Don't just pop it because yeah, you yeah. might... You know, just snip a little snip and the air will just go down and you're left with this beautiful rounded shape which you can then paint or use your gilding wax Amazing. or something inside. That's what you can see on the front of the uh, packaging there. Yeah, a bowl yeah. made with the concrete. They look great with candles in. So cool.
There so could be cool. dinosaur eggs. Oh yeah. Open. I mean the whole this whole collection is amazing. Um if you do want to go for that, four three three nine nine seven is your item number. Now um next the Maya Gold and this is lovely stuff. I mean it's the colour palette again. Now we have got two options. Um and just look at this. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Obviously, you give it a stir, so they have got the rose, you've got the beautiful magenta. I mean, look at the colour. They are, they are just exquisite. Look at the purple. And, of course, you will give it a bit of a stir when you're using these. And your last one, you've got that incredible silver. So, the Maya Gold, um, what type of things does this go on? I mean, that the colours are lovely, Catherine. They are. Let me just see. I did use some of this previously. Oh, I might have to show it at demo. Uh, so, Maya Gold, these repair, again, multiple surfaces. So, you're porous and non-porous. You can put projects outside. They will eventually weather, but they will withstand the elements quite well. Let me just take the top off this one. I always advise giving them a stir. Oh, oh look just at that with colour. They are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Once again, onto glass, you get the most amazing results. The creamy consistency is so beautiful to work with. They are water-based, but very, very strong. Yeah, packed with mica, you get a lovely mm. gleam from these. Blending the colours together, it's a nice selection of colours that you've got there actually, because blending them together works beautifully. So working with your stencils again, you know, yeah. use those different colours, experiment. Really, really lovely paints. That's beautiful. Um, if you would like to get hold of them, okay, so um, obviously that colour selection, um, £23.96, we have got the other colour option for you. So with this one, you're getting the gold, the silver, the champagne, and then the rose gold. Um, 120876 is your item number. So they're the paints, the Maya, and then we've got the Inca, and the Inca, these are more of a wax, aren't they? These are actually Inca Gold is what are in the little pots. You know the selection oh. boxes I call them. Ah, with yeah, the yeah, yeah. So you get six, but these you get the wax that isn't a wax. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So water based. So water, use onto your wax. Use onto uh, your card, your paper, your tin, your wood, your MDF, onto your clay, onto your resin. You've got nice big pots here. So if you've got mm. favourite colours, this is a time to go for these because they're just going to last forever. They're gorgeous. I mean, the colours are beautiful. They are. When you take the lid off, I mean, look at that colour. That's, that's one of my favourites. Man, that is so good. And then let me show you the last one. You do, I mean, I'm being really good. I'm not sticking my fingers in them all. You literally want to stick your fingers in all of these. The <laughs> colours are rich. Now, only $17.99. That's for all three of those. And they're big. They are big pots. Um, now, that's your first colour option. 724-300. We have got another option. We have got a picture of that one. Um, so this is going to give you that beautiful gold. I'm going rose gold and silver. In that one, um, only seventeen ninety nine seven two four three double zero. Right, please check your baskets out. It is so so busy. Um, if you have questions, email in. But if you've used any of these before, if you've got any cement bowls, send your pictures in. Um, but in the meantime, over to you, Catherine. Okay, right. So I tend to keep <coughs> Viva quite demo based um, with techniques, to be honest, because there's so much to fit in. I do want to just show what I've got here first of all. So going back to those lovely kits those lovely sets with the six pots I don't know can we see that I can't see a, a monitor at the moment yeah. so I, c I can't tell whether I'm flexing this right well I'll, hopefully <laughs> I'll get a monitor in a second now this one is actually what we're classing as the waxes but they're not the water based that is just used with a stencil so a lovely effect onto your black there so no water involved just use straight from the pot blending those colors together just one way of working with it same with this one as well exactly the same method through a stencil but a little bit more the blue has been used there so you can see that beautiful sheen absolutely gorgeous works exactly the same on your mdf on your different surfaces now this is where i i love love now again on black just because i like mm. to be able to show the difference in color look at the sparkle in this one this is that gel medium so the top shelf, Leone, that you've got there, these Yours. are the colours. We will probably demo these again. Ah. Onto white, you will see a different effect. I'm just looking, I think it's on this next So they're one. like the gel medium ones? So these are, it's a gel with the glitter suspended into wow. it. Now the gel looks a little bit milky in the pot, but it dries yes. totally clear, so you're just left 
with the lovely glitter. These also work onto fabric as well. Now, where I'm just holding my finger there, where it looks green, that is actually the one that looks like the white, oh, the white wow. gel. So on the black, it really shows through the green. You That's use that amazing. one on a different colour and you'll see different colours coming through. It's, it's, yeah, it's like an iridescent gel. Ah, really, that, really beautiful. Very easy to work with. Wow, so it's that one. Okay, if you do want to get hold of those, um, yeah, that is just a beautiful selection. Um, please check your baskets out. These have been so busy. A quarter of stock have gone up each one of those options. You have got a choice. Um, it is completely up to you. So either first, second or third. Um, all of them are really, really busy. That is... Eight, um, eight, five, nine, six, zero, eight. Your item number twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. Your price there. Um, right. Sorry. Over to you, Catherine. Okay. Well, I've got the gels here now. Mine are well used, so yeah, I'm getting to the end of the pot, so I'm going to need some <laughs> more of these soon. Um, a little tip for you is: don't do what I do. Obviously, when demo, especially when you're doing from one show straight into another, you yeah, don't have time yeah, yeah. to clean up very well. Try and keep the tops of the pots nice and clean. You can see where it's gone crusty around the top. If you don't keep them clean, you might seal the lids on. That's right. That's what it is. Yep. If that does happen, boil some water. And obviously don't put your fingers in the water, but just dip the lid into the hot water, give it a few seconds, and then try and release the lid. It usually yeah. works. So a yeah. uh, little tip for you there. Now these, although they are a lovely consistency, I would advise giving them a little bit of a, a stir. So I'm looking for, I might have to use a metal spatula on this one. Can't see my plastic one. So the different colours. You've got the silver, you've got the iridescent, the white one, you've got the graphite colour, you've got a gold in there, you've got a champagne and you've got the beautiful blue as well. Now I'm just going to take a little bit again just to show you on the black so I'm just using the reverse of what I already got. I love the crunch that I'm hearing yeah. but that's probably because my uh, stencil isn't clean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like pretty stencils though, I'm terrible. Top tip everybody, get a dishwasher tablet, soak in a dishwasher, you know, dilute or yeah. dissolve a dishwasher tablet and um, soak your stencils in there and it usually lifts away whatever's stuck on there. So you, yeah, it's a really, really good tip. So just straight on there, blend yeah, in the colours. Because that is really nice and crunchy. <laughs> Yeah, it is a very dry medium on top of my <laughs> stencil. I love just blending the colours. It doesn't matter how you do it, you will always get when you reveal that beautiful colour tone coming through. Beautiful. Now, obviously, the gel has got to dry, so the glitter will show more and more as this dries out. I've got to use a bit of that white because we will see that green come through. Oh, you know, do need new pots of these. Yeah. You, oh, you do. Yeah, you really, you really do. do. Now, I have got some little bits from Zuri from oh, earlier well, as that. well, which I'm going to paint onto a butterfly's wing with this one. Amazing. I'm not going to do the whole of this because you've seen the effect, but I do want to show a little bit of each colour. Try not to contaminate the pots. Um, you should really sort of clean off in between, but do you know what? We'll be all right. It'll be right. We'll be okay. I'm nearly at the end of the pots, which reminds me, do not throw your pots away. Yeah. These are going to be used for so many reasons yeah. afterwards. Yeah. They're cool little they, pots, aren't I they? I love them. I find it hard to break into these sets because yeah. I just think they look so pretty on the bathroom shelf. I like that they're glass pots, though. Yeah, they are fantastic. A lovely gift. A gift to yourself, but definitely a great gift to a friend as well. So the graphite actually even also does show up well on your cardstock. So if I just remove that stencil. That looks so good. And that's before mm. it's dried. So easy to use. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And remember on fabric again, you can literally scrunch up the fab fabric and it yeah. won't crack. That's amazing. And split. I've tested it all out. You can hand wash again. So great if you want to put them on a pair of plimsolls maybe. Think about sealing with a Mod Podge if you're going to wear them outside a lot of something you want to really protect. Yeah. But just amazing effects. That is beautiful. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I've got one of the Zuri um, ladies here. This was the Fire Dancer and I used the butterfly wings just to create some little wings and turn her into a fairy. Rather than just being a dancer, she is a proper little fairy now. And I did Lovely. think... You know, my brushes aren't very clean, but I thought a little bit of sparkle on these wings as well yeah. would just be enough. I would normally colour the wings with a paint finish first or put some wax on there, but just brushing over the surface just will give us that lovely little bit of shimmer. Very easy to apply. And this, I love that, obviously with these, because they, they are multifunctional, the application, how you put them on changes, depending what, um, you know, what you're actually using them with. 
I mean, with that one, you just get that lovely little sparkle, don't you? Yeah, I'm, my monitor's quite far away. I'm trying to get that at a really nice angle for you because I've done one and not the other. Can yeah, you yeah, see yeah. the top one, how sparkly it. it is? Yeah, it does uh, look yeah, different as well. Yes, a lovely, lovely shimmer. But also, while I've got these out, I just want to grab one of my uh, glass jars because uh, what colour shall I go with? Let's go with, let's go with the blue. One of the sponges, if you've got these or if you're buying the rusty kit, make sure you do wash them, wash them out and use them. You can use a brush again to apply, you can use a stencil, but the sponges for me are the best way of applying the colours. Give your glass a wash, okay. use a nice hot soapy water because any grease on there is going to mean, you know, it's potentially an area that then might start to uh, peel afterwards. Yeah. Now, you're not going to see a great deal at the moment, but using the sponge, what you actually get is a lovely texture. Now, if I wanted to put candles or lights in here, you could just go with the yeah. one surface. The yeah. glitter is there, but you've got lots of transparency. Yes. If you want to go with another layer, every time you build that layer, you're going to see more and more glitter, and it's going to go, become more opaque. That's fabulous. So are these the um, so these are the actual paints, aren't they, at the bottom? The, this is still the gel. Is that this still is still the gel? The gel. Yeah, wow. I want to show you the paints as well. Um, so, a third of the stock has gone with the gel. Very busy, £12.99 pence. I'm just going with a little bit of the gold on that because it might show up better on the camera. While you've got these gels wet, you can blend the oh, colours yeah, together so you're not going to get that hard line. Or if you want a stripe, use your uh, masking tape in between. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, when you build these up, if you want these more opaque, the glitter effect is wonderful. It is yeah. so strong when it is dry. Beautiful. And it does, I mean, Lovely. I love the, that yeah. subtle sort of sheen as well. It looks absolutely exquisite. Um, this is the thing, isn't it? When you can use a product on so many different surfaces, it makes it super cost effective. And when you're only paying twelve ninety nine anyway, um, now remember you've got your three different options. So your first one is that gel. Um, it's like a gel medium base with the, the glitter suspended in there. The gel will dry clear and just leave behind a superb shimmer. Um, so that is your first option. Really gorgeous colours. I love seeing that first one demonstrated. That were hilarious. The hilarious. That were beautiful. <laughs> Honestly, wrong words. I love it when a really random word pops out. You go, you are. <laughs> <laughs> that were amazing because that one's like one of those colours that depending what you put it on it, it just changes looks beautiful hilarious <laughs> <laughs> oh dear right, random words <laughs> uh, you've got the second lot that of course have that um it looks like you wax that it isn't a wax um and honestly the colors in there remember uh, we have got the bigger pots but if you do want that beautiful color selection um in the smaller pots you have got that option as well um and then the third one is your beautiful paint again with that gorgeous high shine that glitter in there and another wonderful color palette now only 12 pounds and 99 pence they are like a gorgeous little gift set of these um, and that price is sensational. Eight five nine six zero. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Random. <laughs> right, the waxes that are not waxes, I'm going to show you next, actually. A little goes a very, very long way. Of course, you can use them as a wax, though. If I can just have a rummage down here, we're looking for something that uh, I used in the Zuri show. Mm. Resin. Air dry clay, wood through your stencils, everything will work. Um, I'm just going to do what I like to do and just blend a few colours together so you can see how they work together. So I'm going to use a brush rather than a fingertip. So it doesn't matter which way I use it. You've got some beautiful colours in here. It feels like the top's going to fall off my palette. It probably <laughs> will. Just brushing over the top, you can see straight away that gleam. Yeah. Now, yeah. If you want to let these dry a few minutes, and it doesn't take long, you can still buff them up further with a, a nice soft cloth as well. Gorgeous. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of the colour so of get each that incredible one. Yeah. Sheen, won't you? I'm not going to change brushes. I'm just going to blend these together, and you'll start to see the detail really come yeah. out. I'm going to go from that silvery blue into the darker blue. I still kind of take a little bit off with the brush. I don't want to go in too deep. Now, if you just want to catch the top surface, almost dry brush it on. You can right. work right into the detail if you want to colour the whole of the areas. I've just done in the centre there. But yes, if you just want the top area, the detail, then just sort of skim over the top. Which now, does look amazing. It does. Now that silver I use first. Now with the bluers, I'm blending back together. You're getting that gorgeous sort of in-between colour coming yeah. through. That's beautiful. You can build in layers as well. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go with a little bit of this um, sort of soft 
gold champagne -y colour. Because I've already got the blue on there, it's still picking up the blue. Yeah. And it's almost making a green come through, which, I, again, I absolutely yeah. love the colour. What I love with these as well, like, you know, normally you wouldn't sort of mix all the colours together, but they look phenomenal. They do. That gold with that blue looks beautiful. It yeah, it really, really does. Of course, if you just want the gold on its own, just change yeah. the brush. You know, you can use it as it is, straight from the pot, but it is nice to see those blends because it makes you realise what you can actually achieve with those six colours. We have got a green in here, so I'm going to use a little bit of that one next. Oh, look at that Let's green. Just, yeah, that is gorgeous as well, isn't it? 30% of the stock has gone of this option. They are beautiful. And uh, just to go through, in case you've just joined us, don't forget these are not just for your clay, your resin. They're also for your card, your wood, your tin. Um, onto candles, I will show you in the candle in a second as well. Beautiful. Um, what colour haven't I used? There's a couple more. We haven't gone with the gold, so we'll go in with the bright gold next. This is what we're talking about, quality. Yeah. Look at the price. Yeah. You would not expect to get this quality. No, you wouldn't for those prices yeah. it is absolutely incredible you wouldn't trust color, that price would you would be like meh nah. but that looks sensational yeah you'd think you that were too much of a bargain especially yeah. when you look at the little pots you know so many pots you'd be like nah they're not going to be good but look at that shine that's sensational isn't it look at that and everybody can achieve that so easily yeah. So it's literally just brushing the, just the waxes brushing on. on. Yeah. Wax that's not wax. So covering a whole surface, just picking up the detail on the top surface, you've got the choice there. Now with a candle, this is one that's been sort of rolling around in a in a tub that's got quite marked and damaged now. Uh, this was actually done from one of the previous kits that came with that blue. It's the same blue. Oh. But we'll just give this a bit of a polish up. Let's go with, and we're just going to grab... Let's get a, cl a clean sponge for this, actually. Oh, I think I've already used all the sponges. What am I doing? Let me get this. No, that was just, <laughs> Right, other side here, then. Right, At least so, you can clean them. If you've got the big pots of the Inca Gold, you can dip the sponge straight into the pot. I haven't. Whoa. I've just applied with a spatula. Now, what I would say is go with a thin coat, just wipe over the top, and then that build looks amazing. up. That amazing. Don't try covering totally in one go yeah. build those layers you only need to leave it a few minutes in between even where I've stenciled there I would be able to build that color up and remove that or disguise it yeah and if that you want to check yeah absolutely gorgeous exactly and blending the colors again if you wanted to well you know you've still got the two together uh, not fully dry you can start to blend those colors so definitely experiment with these they are absolutely wonderful and as you can see a little goes such a long way it really does yeah. i mean that's a tiny bit on the sponge isn't it a tiny bit on the sponge yeah. oh they look good yeah. you absolutely change the look of that so when that's dried would you be able to use your candle pens over the top yes yes <gasps> oh nice yeah, so, yeah they are just brilliant i, I can't, love that yeah, i absolutely love them Absolutely Gosh, they are it. so busy. You do need to check your baskets out. They're sitting in baskets at the minute, a lot of them. Um, obviously, um, please check it out. That's the only way that you are going to get them delivered to your door. Um, half of the stock of option um, one has already gone. 40% of option two has now gone. And then option three almost half the stock has gone very very busy yeah they make gorgeous gift ideas and at 12.99 they're just a bargain 859 is your item number i would absolutely especially if you're thinking candles i would absolutely get those on top work because those get that glitter do all your, your you know your your backgrounds and then write on them or draw on them you know add detail on them it, it's really I really like that. I've done that ages ago on one of my shows using candle paint. Yeah. And it's really lovely. It, it's such good fun, isn't it? It really is. Amazing <laughs> fun. Yeah. All of these products you will enjoy working with. And that's, that's the whole point, isn't it? We yeah. want to have fun. We want to enjoy them. But we want results. And maybe we do want to gift, you know. So yeah. it's important that we have quality uh, products without, you know, breaking the bank. Yeah. Now, the third set are the paints. So these are like the Maya Stardust rather than the mm, um nice. there's two different ones there's the stardust what's the other one called the mayor gold yes we've got the mayor gold which we do also have on the show this i believe is more the stardust style so you have got the mica in there lovely lovely finish again give them a good stir mm. um 
you will find they settle. If you don't give them a good stir, you won't get that lovely blend that you, you want to achieve. Beautiful colour selection once again. I'm really hoping, I've asked our buyers actually to send me an email to Viva <laughs> directly saying, please, can we have more colours in these yeah. sets? And yeah. also the modelling cream. Yeah. I would love to see in other colours because currently the ones that we've got are the only colour they do. I just absolutely yeah. adore them. Yeah. So I am just going to give these all a bit of a stir. Amazing. So we can get the full effect from them. Do stir them every single time you use them because they will settle, as I say. Gorgeous consistency. Make sure the lids are on nicely when you finish so they don't dry. Uh, just a couple more to go. That ha, lovely that pink sponge is beautiful. that you're cleaning your stirring stick on, I'd absolutely be using that as well. I, I do use it. <laughs> I, I do stir them and then use that to coat yeah. a piece of MDF or something. Because I, I bet you can make a great background out of just that. Do you know what? If I can find a piece of MDF or use the back of this would be a good idea. Let's go with that now. Just use... Let me just move those out of the way for a second. Just using the sponge... Look at the texture that you yeah. are getting with the sponge. And that is just, when you stir the paint, that is just cleaning your stir just clean, stick. Exactly. I love stuff like that. But then, if I want to change it up a little bit, let's go for, I've still got some on the stick there, let's go for a little bit more of the pink. Just apply that to the sponge. I tell you what, it, you've got decent coverage as well there. Really good coverage. You can probably an... get, actually... Um, enough paint, just sponging it on. The sponges make you use less as well, yeah, believe yeah. it or not, it, yeah. because it spreads further. But for me, it's the texture that you get yeah, with this. Yeah. So just where I've applied a bit more pink there, you can get the ombre effect coming through if you want to blend the colours while the paint is wet. As that dries, that effect will get better and better yeah. and better. It's but such a high shine, beautiful. isn't it? Yeah, we'll have another look at that at 9 o'clock. I promise I won't put any more on there, but yeah. you'll see how wonderful that looks. Beautiful. And I bet they don't take too long to dry these, do they? Uh, they don't, actually. They're, again, depending on the temperature in the room, the humidity yeah. can change. But, yeah, they are quite quick. Yeah. I do, while I'm here, just want to use again... Let me just get a clean tool. Um, let's go with the green. Let's put a little bit on this sponge. It's a beautiful Again, I'm green, always, is I'm that? not putting everything that I got out of the pot there. I'm just going to put a little bit onto the sponge. Make sure your glass is clean. Directly onto your glass. Again, Amazing. it's absolutely beautiful. My favourite method, once again, is using the sponge because you get that texture. But the coverage yeah. onto glass yeah. straight away. Now, that is transparent enough to still see the lights through. Yes. You want to put a little tea yeah. light in there. I love doing things like this. In the summer, I, I like to be outside. You know, if it's a nice warm evening, I love to hang things in the trees, little candles yeah. or yeah. tea lights. Bit of string around the top. Are you having a garden party? Yeah. Just to decorate and maybe stencil something on the front with the same paint. Yeah, Just absolutely. Beautiful. It, it reminds me now, obviously, because, you know, we've still got Christmas trees up and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, making your own Christmas decorations or upcycling Christmas decorations. You know, things that you, you don't like anymore or things that have got a little bit battered or you just want to change the colour of them. Um, they're lovely for things like that as well. And you've seen the coverage and obviously the price. You know, when you've got all these gorgeous colours and you can mix them so you can change up your colours. Only twelve ninety nine. Now, <laughs> this is so really busy. Sixty percent of the stock has gone, and they're all caught up with each other now. Um, so I think people are just going for everything. If you are going for all these, especially Freedom members, be a Freedom member because then you're not paying any postage, and we're still part of Big Save. So if you've still got that five pounds, if you haven't spent that yet, then you go for all of them. It's just going to be thirty eight ninety seven, um, and then take your fiver off. And then, freedom members, take your, your postage off. Boom! It's a way to make money. <laughs> make money. It's a way to save money. You can tell I've only had one copy. Um, 859-608 is your item number. Um, straight back to our Catherine. Okay. Well, I, I know we've got another short now, but I am trying to squeeze as many yeah. demos in as possible with techniques. The ceramic, another favourite. Um, I still haven't used the modelling cream. We haven't used the rusty. We will definitely use anything that we haven't seen this hour at 9 o'clock now again give a good stir this is an amazing product and as i said the curing time if you allow it to cure properly it is so so tough now different surfaces again so i'm using the other side of this glass i'm really seriously running out of jars again i have to keep <laughs> buying things just for jars directly onto the glass look at the coverage you will get here now this dries 
to a lovely matte finish. Again, I'm using the sponge because I like the texture. You can go with more than one coat, but actually the coverage that you get with one coat is brilliant. You can go onto tin. I've got a tin that's been painted before, which is a little bit battered. It's, uh, I don't, I can't, can't remember what was on here, but if you want to sort of just use a tin, again, directly over the top. Beautiful. But what about colouring? Well, we've a product that we've mentioned a number of times already that you can actually use. I did say about pigment powders. I did say about inks. But what about going to our wonderful waxes that aren't waxes? Oh, so yeah, I'm yeah. just going to find, if I can, <laughs> where's it gone? <laughs> the blue one. We'll go with the blue one. So if I take a spatula, we'll just put a little bit on the glass mat, oh, a little bit of the wax, mix them together. Now, and it what, won't will, affect yeah, the consistency. It's really still... beautiful consistency. Oh, yeah. You can also use the ceramic as a stencil medium as well, like a texture paste. You can stipple it so you can get that lovely sort of stippled effect. Yeah. But a tiny bit of colour, that has changed that completely. If I go back in again onto the tin, so using these, now I'm trying to get a bit of an ombre yeah. effect going on here as well. So where I've used the blue, if I then go over the top, that looks oh, all at the side of awesome. it. You can see where the white is going into the pale blue. Yeah, just it looks like a little, little craggy sky. Yeah, let's just blend the white in a little bit more again, and then we'll go back to the blue, just so that's a little bit wetter. Yeah, you start to blend these colours. Yeah, that's a lot. You get the most amazing effects. Do absolutely love these. So again, just experiment, have fun with them. But how about changing that colour so easily yeah, with the yeah. ceramic? Yeah. I've had bright purple pots at home or oh, I've had one with orange tulips on it was kind of a beige color with bright orange tulips on I've used these products over yeah. the top to totally change them totally transform them I've still got them in my house now I use them constantly yeah I, I just think it's um, amazing quite frankly um, and with this you are getting we're getting two aren't we you are, you getting, are getting two of these yeah. Um, yeah I just think this is cracking so with this we can go over non-porous as well can we yes definitely See, porous, I think non porous yeah that is amazing um, and the big tubs for 10 pence and 99 pence it's such a good price 871-317 is your item number if you'd like to go for those and it's the effect it's that different effect it's that that beautiful sort of pottery finish I mean it's going to look like ceramic and you can do that over anything so again when you're upcycling and I know oh, my brain is so Christmas um, like Christmas baubles again can you imagine getting a plastic Christmas bauble going over with this and then because it's going to look like a ceramic bauble and then just painting something over the top it'll look absolutely beautiful um, if you do want to go for these you are getting two pots £10 or £99, pounds. you need to be quick though, a quarter of the stock has gone there. 871317 is your item number. Um, please check your baskets out, everything is super, super busy. Have you got a it's bar? It's like you read my mind. The wow. reason, <laughs> the reason I've we got this... We didn't prep that. <laughs> we didn't prep it and the reason I've got this, I've just found another clean sponge. I will wash these out in between the break because... I don't want to waste them. Now, a lovely lady called Amy emailed me during the Zuri show. I was asking about personalising baubles. So I yeah. was using uh, some of the Zuri moulds for the initials. Onto the, this, I would have used a bigger bauble if I could have found one, but this was the best <laughs> I could offer. Look at the baubles that you've got for Christmas. Do they get marked? Do they get tarnished? Do they yeah. get scraped? Do you want to just change the colour directly onto a bauble with the ceramic finish? Look at that. And then, of course, you yeah. could go over the top with your gel and put that glitter effect yes. on there. So yeah. you've, you could have a glittery snowball effect. Yeah. You know, I tell you what this those, reminds yeah. me of. Um, for, you know, when people decorated things for our charity Christmas tree. Yeah. Um, it was our lovely Tracy Eason. She sent a bauble in that it felt and looked like a ceramic bauble and she painted one of her girls on. That reminds me of the finish on that. But then yeah. she painted over and it looked absolutely beautiful. It looked beautiful. Well, you've just seen me do that onto a shiny silver bowl. And look at that. Just with the sponge. What amazing coverage. Look at that effect. If I just grab a brush, if I 
if I can find oh, I really see, see the these sponge these gives it again. a really well you don't get brush marks you do you don't you get, get a marks. smooth finish so you can it, the consistency That's is great good, with the brush as well there yeah. are some brush marks in there probably would go over definitely with a second coat yeah but it's yeah. still a great coverage so depending on what you're working with you might want to change those utensils with a brush obviously you can get into small areas into little crevices yes. uh, but if you want that textured look for me, the sponge yeah, is the best every way. Every time. Yeah. I love that. That is cool stuff. Um, over half the stock has gone. Uh, brilliant, brilliant products. If you do want to get hold of that one, 1099, it is super, super busy. We have got another show uh, later on this evening, 9 o'clock. Um, but I would, if there's anything you fancy, get it now. Well, it's here. Well, it's available uh, just in case. Um, 871-317 is your item number. It's been such a busy day today. Um, okay, we've got time for one more demo, if that's okay. I'll okay, look at right. for a minute. Well, and it probably hasn't dried fully, uh, but... Obviously, we've got the paints from the kit oh, on wow, there. Yeah. So you can. That was just with the cleaning of the paintbrush. Yeah. We have got those other paints as well. So these are the Maya Ooh, Gold. I'm just okay. going to open the lids so we can see the different. Oh, look at these colours. Oh, these colours. They do need a bit of a stir. How long did you say we've got? Four minutes. Oh, Three and yeah, a half minutes. It's okay. we'll all right. Okay. I'll tell them about the gold while you give them a okay, stir. Okay, I'll give these a good stir. Um, okay, so your Maya Gold now, we have got two options. This is the first option, and these are beautiful. So you've got the rose, you've got the magenta, you've got the mauve, and then you've got the lilac, which is... Do this, Leone. Do this. <laughs> that's better, Leone. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Um, so that's your first option, 2396. We have got another option for your pictures. Um, so we've got a champagne, we've got gold, we've got silver, and we've got rose gold. 120876 is your item number. Um, remember, this is your Maya gold. We've also got the, uh, the ink gold. Different products, but it's that intensity of colour and that richness of colour as well. Um, in both products that gives such a stunning effect. Now, how are we doing? Oh, I love Catherine. Okay, well, I've got another stencil, which is another one that needs to go in the dishwasher tablet. Bit crunchy. And just, just put it over the background that we've got there. I'm just going to use a sponge again and wipe off the stirring stick. Uh, probably got too much out here, so we'll take some off. Let's just stencil through. Using the sponge again, such a great effect. You'll still see the texture. It uses less of the paint, but you will get that coverage. So I'm just going to pick a little bit of the magenta next, apply that to the sponge, just spread it a little bit, and then we'll go with the magenta straight through there. The consistency is so beautiful, and yeah. so even really fine detail, it is going to work through your stencils, even with a sponge. Let's go with the rose. It looks pretty similar to the magenta when you see it, but there's obviously is a difference. It is a lighter colour. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more of a, a paler pink but they are quite similar but together they will blend beautifully just kind of picking random bits out here and then what color haven't I used oh this one is gorgeous i've not seen this color before which is that one this the is mauve. the yes yeah, the mauve it looks almost well it looks almost like graphite color in the pot but actually yeah it's a purpley tinge to it so let's just because i know we're nearly out of time let's take that off the I haven't, oh, I've got a lump of something on the wood, that's why it's not come through very well. But if we can just have a look at the colours, I'll oh, do a better yeah. job at nine o'clock. We haven't got much time there, but the colours together, yeah, they absolutely look so stunning. nice together. And of course, same applies when it comes to applying to your glass. Let's just put a little bit of the magenta on there, just to show you again, directly onto your glass. Oh, look at that colour. That Look at the sheen beautiful. that you've got there. It's absolutely beautiful. That's stunning, isn't it? Isn't stunning. It just? And it's that coverage. Incredible. Yeah. Okay, if you do want any of those, check your baskets out. Our Catherine will be back at nine o'clock um, with whatever's left. She's been a busy bumblebee today. Uh, <laughs> so do make sure you tune in at nine o'clock. But obviously, you need to be checking your baskets out. Because all these products, amazing quality, fantastic prices. Remember, um, extended delivery, so they're going to get sent out for you on the 8th, 9th of Jan. But hey, they're going to get sent out and it's going to be great. Catherine, thank you, my thank love. Thank you. Thank you. Um, don't go anywhere. We've got brand new one day special coming up next.
coming up uh, we are journaling with studio light that's so exciting um we've then got paper crafting with the wonderful funky fossil and then another chance to see your one day special put your teeth in leona <laughs> Did you know you can continue watching The Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite TV shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I bring my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. I hope to see you soon. Well, six o'clock means it's time for a brand new launch of a one day special and we are already busy. So we are talking studio light and we are talking journals and we've got two fabulous options for you. But before we take a little peruse, uh, I've got to introduce you to Julia. Hi, Julia. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so you, we were saying you've had a nice relaxed Christmas. Yes, I've just sat and crocheted and watched lots and lots of TV. Excellent, we like that. That's a nice Christmas to have, isn't it? Um, right, so let's get cracking with these deals because you've got uh, two options. The first option uh, to do with the, uh, the cover, shall we say, of the journals. You've got your navy and your fawn. You're also getting your journal pages. You've got 10 black, 10 white and 10 craft. And you've got a die set as well. In your second option, you've got pink and blue. Again, you've got your ten, uh, um, 10 of the black, 10 of the white, 10 of the craft. And this time it's a different die set. So just to put it out there really um, at the start, if you wanted to go for, let's say, well, it will go this option, pink and blue, but you also wanted the die over from over this one, you absolutely can because we've got them as individuals as well. So just to get that. So... Inside the journal, should we talk about these journals then, Julia? Yeah, yeah. So, um, it, it, so we've got the A5 journal, and yeah. inside the A5 journals, either the the fawn or gold, or whatever yeah. you want to call it, or uh, the blue in the other option, mm -hmm. you've got a Polly Pocket, and then you've got um, some watercolor card, 300 GSM watercolor card, yeah. um, all A5 in size. No, it's a, it is a 300, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Have you even got some little stampettes in here? 
<laughs> yes, yeah, I wondered where they'd come from. But yeah, yeah in this one, yeah, there's some little tiny stamps that come in there. It's like a, a, a note kind of um, stamp. Yeah, like a torn sheet, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So that's your fawn. And also, I really like with your journals that... Your elastic. You, yeah. yeah and, you, and it's not just elastic, elastic. You've got that little kind of... Um, tab there to actually preserve the the cover so that the elastic doesn't actually bite into the cover which yep. is really nice. nice and then you've got the uh so that's a5 yes then you've got the eight by eight cover mm -hmm. so this journal doesn't come with any pages in it okay okay um but you do get your little poly pocket sure. um for you to kind of keep all your bits and pieces you know if you've got like memorabilia that you want to keep in there that you're going to be yeah. using for instance again you've got that elasticated uh, wrap around as mm -hmm. well yeah so uh, there is on the show there is the facility to buy some uh, eight by eight pages in the uh, three different colors uh, as as is in, in the a5 in the one day special so you can get that mm -hmm. so have a look on the website and you'll be able to see you can create pages for it as well yeah and then we've got in part of the one day yeah. special You've also got 10 of your craft, 10 of your um, your white or watercolour, yes. and 10 of the black, yes. those sheets that all fit perfectly. All fit perfectly, absolutely, yeah. But of course, you don't. You can use the A5 in the 8x8 eight eight, uh, folder as well, so you mm -hmm. can mix and match and have different sizes yeah. in each one if you want to. That's cool. And then the die that comes with the navy and the fawn. Uh, the die set is this one, so we've got arrows, we've got words yeah. on there. Yeah, so the, the, the words will actually fit within the arrow That's and cool. within the smaller uh, label. Um, so you can cut them into that. Obviously, you can have them with the different colour card underneath, uh, or um, you can actually use the individual letters and make your own words if you want to when you cut them out. Excellent. Like I said, if you wanted to go for, so it's the same concept with the pink and the blue, but if you wanted to go for the other die, because it's different, then you absolutely can. Shall I hold it there? There you go. Perfect. Now, we need to talk about the deal here because uh, it's a massive saving, again, especially if you're a Freedom member. Basically, you're not paying for one of these covers. These are normally uh, 21 99 each. However, have you seen that saving? So if you're not a Freedom member, you're saving £23. If you are a Freedom member, you're saving £27.50. So that is this cover and then some. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going for this outright at £40.46 and as a Freedom member, you can use your £5 credit if you've not used it already. So that will take the price down, which is insane, to £35.46. For all of this, or all of this okay your item number is 811985 now they are in a delayed dispatch from the 11th of January but well worth the wait so now I've done all my admin by the way they're neck and neck at the moment I think we should have a little look at yours yes so um Yes, yeah, so there are on the, the show, there's also some, and these are my favourite, favourite things, the planner page edges. And um, Lou did do a one-day special um, a week or so ago, perhaps two weeks ago, where she launched the Tall Slim line planners, yeah. which we do have on the show as well. And Lou had some edges with that. Uh, but these edges will fit both of the planners in the one day special so they'll fit the a5 and they'll also fit the 8x8 what i love about these is not just the edges i love the fact that you've got this here so this here is going to cut the holes to go in your um in your planner cool so whatever you want to do whether you want to cut a scrapbook paper whether you want to cut just a piece of card whether you've got say old music paper or old book paper you can cut it to fit it within these holes here. Yeah. That is just priceless. And there is one of those in each of the edger dies Good. that are on the show. So going into my form planner, and I'm going to I'm using my planners for kind of different things really. So I've got my little poly pocket with my um, my stamps in it, and this is uh, how the um, memories uh, edger uh, mm -hmm. cuts. So obviously they all cut here with the uh, holes yep. correctly in in for the planners, both of them, and you've got this scalloped edge here, which equates to that lovely stitched edge into it and this is out of one of the scrapbook papers that's on the show mm -hmm. love them and then we've got this lovely border here yeah again you can see i've cut it out of the this is actually the card that comes um in the um the extras pack the extra pages pack and they are eight eight inches in depth 
and that means that you can use it on your 8x8 card, you could put it down to make a smaller card if mm -hmm. you want to. You can actually decide where to place these. So if I didn't want it there and I wanted just a thin border, I yep. could actually cut it there if I wanted to. Yep. But I've still got those holes there so I could actually use whatever paper I wanted to with my die. Absolutely love it. You've also got um, a reinforcer as well. So I haven't put my reinforcers on yet, uh, but you've got three hearts within the memory set. So the next die that we've got is we've got the memories word. And I've actually, and we've also got a memories backer. They're two separate dies. So you can see that if you do a different color card, uh, behind it then you're going to be able to see it do beware that there's a little tiny eye on memories right there so it's up to you you can um, stick it you know directly onto the black and I will show you something else you can do if you don't want that to look a bit weird like that I'll show you something in one of the demos so that's one of the edge of dies absolutely right. fantastic good stuff then there's there's actually four different sets of edge of dies in my black um, A5, mm -hmm. now my black A5 um, is uh, it's an extra one that you can buy. Yes. So it's not in the one day specials, but you can actually buy that. And this one I'm using the tab die in. So the tab die, do you remember, you, we used to be able to buy these from stationers. You probably still can anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But obviously when you've got a die set, you can cut them as many times as you want to, yes. whatever colours you want to. As per, you've got that lovely um, die here that I like. So you can cut whatever you want to. And you've got two reinforcers here. And I'm using mine as the, my black one as a, like a swatch um, uh, journal. Yep. So I've got my watercolour pens. Obviously, I've cut the, these tabs out. And these are my Sentiment of Yours watercolour swatches. Then the next one, I'm doing my watercolour pencils. And then I should do uh, perhaps some inks in there. And you can see that I've got my tabs. And I can, I can then cut more tabs and add more tabs if I want to. Mm -hmm absolutely love that so that's what I'm going to use my black journal for cool then the other two journals I put into my uh, pink 8 by 8 it could be the navy one whichever one you want to obviously mm -hmm. and I've used um, I've used a combination of scrapbook papers and I've used the extra pages that you can buy specifically for the 8 by 8 so I'm not sure what you're calling this one, but this is like torn edges to yeah, it. Jaggedy edge. Jaggedy edge. So, so also you've got like um, uh, splodgy kind of reinforcers <laughs> on this yeah. one. But once again, obviously because each set stands alone, you've got this edge of die here. So one of the scrapbook papers is one of the edges. Then I've got another one out of the watercolour card. Oh, obviously they're all ready for me to probably do a scrapbook kind of layout. Mm -hmm. Lovely torn edge here. Let's move this over a bit so you can see. You've got that torn edge one and then finally we've got a postage stamp edge one which is really cool so that's that set yep and then the final set we've got is this one here with this kind of very loopy die on it and again it's a different type of reinforcer um, so you can see how they all sit together we've got this one and this one on top mm -hmm. of one another and they all that. marry up nicely mm. and then this one is two dies yeah. So you can see I've got the back a bit and I put the <coughs> cut the um, the string of hearts out of a blue card. Uh, oh, this is one of the scrapbook papers Ooh, that yes. I've just put holes in using my holy die. And then I've got that lovely edge here. You can see the edge going down there, which is that one. Right. So for me, these four sets, whatever, if you're buying either of the one day specials, I would definitely go for one of the one or all of them if you can do it if you oh, can yeah definitely. absolutely so um we'll just show you them once more there you go in situ so this one is your straight edge like so so you've got all of those lovely um tabs you can do little i love those little flaggy things <laughs> to play with um and some reinforcers that's one then we've got the jagged option i like that because it's a bit different yeah yeah i like that a lot and then we've got the hearts. That's also a beautiful one. And then last but not least, we've got the memories where you've got some nice scalloped edges. Now this one currently, I'm all, I will say this, I'm always very interested to know which one uh, starts ahead of the race. And it is this one. It's the memories. 
Oh, now we're already a quarter of the stock gone. There's an eight pound saving, really good deals today on um, any of these four. And it's 14.99, item number is 362099. Here's one more time to have a little look at them. Straight edge, jagged, hearts, or you can go for the memories. 362099 is your item number. Now, just coming back to our one-day special, we are so busy for these. You've got two different options to choose from. Okay, so you can go for the covers where the, you've got the navy and the fawn cover. Uh, and you've got the two different sizes. Uh, so we've got this size, and in this one, what size again was it? Eight by eight. Thank you, eight by eight. And in this one, no pages, but don't forget you do get pages separately. Uh, you've got the lovely Polly Pocket. And then your A5? Yeah, good, thank you. I'm never very good with sizes, Julia. Uh, in this one, you do get a Polly Pocket. Looks like you do get some little extra stamp, a little extra stamp. And then you've got your 300 GSM watercolour card. Now, this option comes with this die set here. That's what it looks like. You've got your words. In fact, you've got love to do memories and smile. And then, oh yes, and of course, the um, words will fit inside the banners. And you're getting 10 sheets each of the black, the watercolour and the craft card. The other option that you've got is if you go for the pink and the blue. So again, you've got your 8x8 and your A5. The die set that comes with, with this looks like this. So you can see you've got your, um, you could use them as pockets. I love the ticket that you've got there. And again, you get that card stock. So as I said, if you want both die sets, that's absolutely fine. Go for the option that you want, and then you can put in the other die set individually. Again, I just need to say, look at these. You were saying this. Mm. Aren't these beautiful presents to Really wrap? lovely gifts. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. They're really lovely presented. Yes. Beautifully presented. So, I mean, um, out of interest, yes. can I just ask you, how much is one of the die sets on its own? You know, if, you buy, if you're adding it to a one-day special? £12.99. £12.99. Yeah. Uh, but it's only... Mm, so it's only 40 46 if you want you to add extras. Yeah. So you're only paying, what, £27 and a, and a little bit? £27.47 yeah. for your second one-day special. Oh, Effectively, if you wanted both of the of the of die the die sets. sets, I think so. so. Twenty seven well, pounds do the more, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, because <laughs> so, they're giftable. Yes. You know, that you th think about that because mm -hmm. you're going to use your pages and think about what you might want to use your planner for. Yeah, you might want to use it as a as a, a everyday thing. You might want to use it as a scrapbook. You might want to actually think if you've got a special occasion coming up mm -hmm. uh, this year, you might want to actually use one as a scrapbook and put True. some memories in it. Yeah, or scrapbook your Christmas or thing. You know, yeah. so. So think about what you want to use, because you might want to have more than one one-day special. Yeah, that, no, that's a really good point. But I'll let you do the maths, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm following, I'm following. OK, uh, just a reminder of the dispatch date. It's the 11th of January for that one. So remember, you're not paying as well for one of those uh, covers with the discount. Now, these are also flying out the door. Super busy, especially for the black. Mm. Yeah. Now, let's again open this up. So you do get the elastic around it. And in here, once more, you've got that Polly Pocket and you've got your 300 GSM watercolour card. But that's I think lo loads of people like black, don't they? It just goes with everything. It does, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Uh, very, very busy for this one. Uh, now, let's see. So again, it'll come to you in its fabulous packaging sorry we've just bust into this but um it's such a nice gift to give only 11.99 so you're saving 10 pounds that's again a very very good deal and especially since you've got your watercolor card in there as well 959-381 is the item number now do shop ahead on the website at thecraftstore.com and here it is you can shop by brand by the way uh, so you can go to Studio Light and have a little look what else that we have on offer for you. We've got different sizes of the planners. We've got a really funky purple one and a blue, uh, not, where did I get blue from? It's green. <laughs> and uh, lots of different die sets for you to go along really nicely. Now, 
I have to say, this paper pad, the 12 by 12, beautiful images. Beautiful images, mm. yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So uh, you've got um, the seven different designs on, on there. They're double-sided, so really yeah. you've got 14 designs, haven't you? Yeah. So you've got air elements that you can fussy cut if, if, that, if you want to, but if you're not into that, then you just use the other side. Yeah. And again, you can see that I've been using them in my planner. Mm. You'll see throughout the one-day special, I'll be using them for my reinforcements, for my embellishments. I'll be using some of the toppers like tickets yep. into things. Uh, obviously, die cut them with whatever you want to or add or stamp over the top of them. They are absolute. they're all usable. They're absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Look at that. They are stunning. Um, but you don't have to choose because you're going to get two of each sheet. Yeah, two of each sheet and yeah. the, four, and the seven, seven sheets. So you get 14 sheets and I think right. it's 9.99. So yeah. that's an absolute bargain. Normally we do 12 sheets for 9.99. Oh, good, good. Uh, so that, as Julia's just said, 9.99 with a £5 saving. 015596. We are very, very busy. Uh, your best way is to shop at thecraftstore.com if that's possible. Over to you, Julia. Over to me. Right, OK, so we're going to have a go at decorating one of these pages, I think. So um, if you've not had one of the Studio Light planners before, the, the kind of releasing mechanism is, is these two um, little, um, like, buttons, I suppose, top and bottom. So you just ping those, and then, then you can take your pages out to work on them. So they're not... And then you, just, you can just use one of them to snap it all shut again. It's really easy. So we're going to use this memories one, and I've got some elements from one of the one-day specials already cut out, because what I'm thinking is, and we're talking about this die set here, which comes with the blue and pink combo. Yes. Do it up that way. So this one here cuts out like a little pocket. Cool. So it, it looks like a pocket, but it's got like little slits in it, and so that, that means that you can actually pop memorabilia or photographs or whatever it is that you want to, uh, to pop in there. Then we've got uh, this little one here uh, which cuts out like that and then the next one down I've cut out one of the patterned papers so so that one will stick on there okay uh, and we can decorate that up a little bit more if we want to with some of the stamps and that will then sit inside my pocket. Cool. Cool, yes. <laughs> then we've also got, uh, this is um, like a reinforcer, um, like ticket reinforcer, but you don't have to use them like reinforcers if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. And then we've got uh, these elements here. So the bottom one here is going to be like, um, you see it fits on the holes perfectly. That, that's like a little tag. Mm -hmm. And obviously you, if you want to, you can actually glue it down and then put your reinforcer on the top. Or you can have it running loose in your planner you don't yeah. have to actually have it stuck down at all so entirely up to you then if you pop this one in see this one's quite cool because you could cut that into the page if you want to or if you cut it into that then this is what you get and so then you'll see whatever color you've got cut underneath mm -hmm. which is is like a it's like an arrowhead kind of thing isn't it i'll put that in the right way i would suggest that you do use a magnetic sheet to store everything because it's really handy yeah this is from one of the scrapbook papers, so again, we could actually pop that into our pocket if we want to, uh, or, and then it can be taken out, or we could move this down a little bit if we want to and pop that behind, maybe, and then we've got loads of reinforcers to play, play with as well. So, But let's decorate the back a bit, I think, because mm -hmm. it's a little bit plain. And uh, at end of call, there are actually, you may have noticed if you've already purchased and you've, you've, you've checked out, there's a, there's a couple of um, uh, little die sets at end of call as well, these mm -hmm. planner elements. Um, <laughs> I haven't actually cut all these out, which is really naughty of me, but I figured they're end of call, so uh, yeah. Uh, so this is obviously going to be a little, little pocket kind of envelope, yep. and then you've got... Um, extra you've got reinforcers there you've got uh, this one's going to be your mat and layer for your pocket envelope and then you've got arrows and, th and and tickets and these will all that arrow will go in there then this will go in there and that will go on the front of that piece there sure. so you've got lots of pieces that you can play with and there's always a good guide on the packaging as to how um, studio light have envisaged that you might use it which is definitely a good a good place to go the back of the packaging nice can I just show the yes. end of call on the web yes yes jolly marvelous I think so I think we've got quite a few have we yeah all right let's take a little look 
Here it is. There you go. Oh, look at all those. So what have we got? Oh, there's more got than I thought. Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> so you've got tabs, planner tabs, uh, monthly planner, stamp and die set, planner elements. And then we've got some other bits and pieces, Marlene stamp sets and all sorts of things like that. So you can add that into your basket, should you wish. Mm, okay. Cool. cool. Okay. So <laughs> let, let's decorate this up a little bit. In fact, let's have this one here. It's going to be a background, so we're not too worried about exactly what it looks like. It's just to take away the, the sparseness of it. So I think we're going to go with, let's go for potting soil, which is a, an archival, which is a brown. And we'll perhaps add some elements. Now, if it's not perfect, I'm not too worried, as I said, because it's a background. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So... Uh, so we've popped onto the screen then the uh, memories die. Yep. Yep, lovely. Fourteen ninety nine. Eight pounds saving. Three six two zero nine nine. So we just have one down here as well, I think. Okay. And then we'll have a few arrows, I think. Because I like arrows. Yeah, because you've been uh, you've been really getting into your journaling. <laughs> it's been lovely. <laughs> Yeah, do you like it? So let's have a, an arrow. So we, we know we're going to be, be popping something up here. So we can have perhaps an arrow pointing towards that. Nice. And then we know we're going to have a pocket. So we'd better have a look inside that pocket, hadn't we? Yes, definitely. Yeah. I know we're only dealing with twos here, but forgive. And then just to fill in, we'll have some of these little arrow things. And we'll perhaps bring that in with a dark grey. A quick stock update, if I may. Yep. The memories one, still in the lead. We are nearly half the stock gone. So you've got your scalloped edges. Uh, you've got the memories itself, you've got some lovely little hearts and heart reinforcers which are really sweet. So half the stock gone, £14.99, £8 off and under the same item number you'll find the other ones as well, the other three. Cool. Okay, so that'll do with my stamping. Obviously you can, you can do loads if you want to. That'd be me, me forever otherwise. So let's just stick some of these down actually. Let's just take... Um, Let's have do, 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 do. one more. We, this says to to do. So this we're going to make this our to-do list, I think. Okay. Because we can. Have you got a to-do list for the new year? I've got to-do lists every single day. <laughs> <laughs> I really write in my planner every day, and then and then once it's written down, I forget mm -hmm. to look at it. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> no, I do. I do some, and then I look at the next day, and I think, right, I put an arrow to the next day. <laughs> no, it does help. I have to write everything down. Like when I'm cleaning the studio, everything has to be written down so I don't forget it. Right. Right. So let's stick these down. Oh, we we're going to add to this as well. Right, so what else have we got on this other one? Uh, there, is, there are lots and lots and lots of uh, stamp and die sets to do with um, planning on the show so um, we can have uh, th from this one this one's a really cool one this is got th this I like this uh, kind of extra tab that you can have this has got heart um, um, different heart reinforcers on it mm -hmm. um, so we're going to have happiness is and then this can, this could be added at any other time so you can write, you know, because you don't have to stamp everything. You'll be writing some things down yourself. Yeah. So sometimes it's, you know, because it's a memory, then you can write what, what you know, what made you happy yeah. on that particular day. So we can have happiness is on here. Um, the happiness stamp, it comes from this set on screen. Uh, oh, you've got a lot of elements there. Nineteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Zero eight one zero seven eight. Right, so we pop this on our ticket. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, there are lots. I was saying to the producer before the show that um, obviously because I've just prepared dem demos or demonstrations for you to see, mm. uh, it's not like you're actually doing your own um, journal at home. At home, you'll know what else you want to put in it. Yeah. You'll know what colour schemes. I mean, I'm working with the papers, so you'll know what else you want to have in it. So it's a little bit different uh, actually demonstrating journaling you know, on the TV to how you would actually do yours at home. I um, hope that makes sense because it is a little bit different. Yep. So with your pocket, make sure that you can still get in your pocket. So we'll have that down there so we can still see the arrow. And we can pop, pop that in in a minute. We're going to have that in in a minute. And then these are going to go up here. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to leave those loose, I think, because I do like, I like, the, I'll have the bottom, I'll stick these two together and mm -hmm. I'll have the bottom one loose because cool. I, I like the loose elements. Yeah. Incidentally, um, when you're looking at the, those edge dies, I'll go off at a bit of a tangent in a minute. That's all right. Um, because you've got that, that wonderful side die that cuts holes, mm -hmm. the, the die that cuts these holes, I know yeah. this is one of the pages, but because you've got that, it does mean that anything you've got, you can cut holes in. So, for example, if you've got some of the die cut um, uh, uh, DIY blocks, the tag right. blocks yeah. from Studio Light, for instance, you can actually cut holes into the side of a tag mm -hmm. so you could actually have a tag going in your journal like that that's cool yeah or you could have your tag going in your journal like that because you only need to cut the three holes what, uh, one of the elements from the scrapbook papers again you could put holes in that so mm -hmm. you can cut holes in absolutely everything <laughs> which I, I, I just think it's wonderful yeah. so that's going to go there mm -hmm. I'm going to actually glue this down I think so I'm going to go over my arrow a little bit but that's Fine, let's glue that down there, yes. Um, just while you're gluing, are you happy for us to do a little bit of admin? Yes, that's fine. <laughs> Good stuff, because we are so busy for both options of the one day special. What you've got, if you're just tuning in, is um, it's a difference in the covers and the dies. So you've got the blue eight by eight, or the navy eight by eight. And in the navy eight by eight, obviously you've got your elastic and in here, you've got your poly pocket. Then, on our taupe or fawn, I think we're calling it, which is your A5, you will get some watercolour cardstock in here and a poly pocket. And that's like a little um, a, a stamp with a like a torn note page. The um, watercolour card is 300 GSM in there. You will also get more pages. 10 of the black, 10 of the watercolour, and 10 of the craft card. And then this is the die set that comes with the navy and the fawn. So you can pop those words, cut, die cut them out, and they'll actually fit into the banners. Now, the saving means you're not paying for one of the covers, okay? Because they're normally £21.99. So you're saving £23 if you're not a Freedom member, but you are saving... As a Freedom member, £27.50, so that is a good saving. And if you've not used your £5 credit yet, the price comes down to £35.46 and your postage is covered as a member. For all of this, now this is your second option. You get your 8x8 pink, you get your A5 blue, uh, you've got the three sets again of your cardstock, and this is a different die set. Actually, this is the one that Julia's working with, that lovely pocket the label die. Um, now, if you did want the die individually, okay, the navy and the fawn is the most popular, but if you want the die from the pink and blue, it's at the bottom of the screen, add it in. Um, so that would be, what is that? If it's a Freedom member, uh, 52 pounds and some change, let's say. 53.45 there and of course you can spread the cost or you could use your five pound credit on that as well now the navy and fawn a quarter of the stock has gone and we've got a big stock so that's how busy this is see it's all about it's all about planning for the new year isn't it now uh, your dispatch date is the 11th of january 
then we have also got our black planner because this is another star of the show you like in this one a third of the stock has gone and if I take this bit off again this has got a poly pocket and it's also got some watercolor card in there so that is just 11.99, 10 pound saving, which is excellent. Uh, 959-381 is your item number. Then, you've already shopped ahead. I haven't shown these live yet, but you've already shopped ahead. You've got four options. This one is the rectangle. Oh, I like the diamonds in the centre. Can you see there? Can you see there? Can oh, the, see? the pages, <laughs> yes, yeah. Yep, liking those. So that's the rectangles. Jagged Edge is next. Lovely. And then this one, Swirl Edge, if I got picked up the right one. Good Swirl Edge. And then you've got your Arrow Edge. So you have uh, you have found these ahead of time. 9 99 with a £4.50 saving. 503708. Now these are interesting, these different sizes, Julia. Yes, so those are, that's the, the, the tall slimline size that uh, Lou had on her one day special recently. Mm -hmm. And there were some edges to go with that, so uh, we'll probably bring those back at some point. But the, the, the ones that, the dies that we've got holes in, so the edger dies that I've been showing you aren't suitable for that planner. Okay. But you can use lots of the dies like, um, the um, the ones that are in the one day special and the uh, the little end of core ones that I've just been oh, using good. you can definitely use those and some of the the pocket dies as mm -hmm. well you can use in there so basically if, if you if your die set's got holes in them yeah they won't work okay got you. <laughs> I understand no that's good to know though because we don't want you to get them home and be disappointed and um, so you've got your um, olivey green you've got 10 sheets inside it's got a really sturdy elastic there oh here we go all 300 GSM and you've got the poly pocket lovely and so that is why am I trying to put this on that way um, so that is 13.99 10 pound saving 597649 then we've got the purple planner so this has actually got um, a different feel to it this is a smoother cover bright purple and this time you've got a white elastic same again you've got your poly pocket and you've got 10 sheets of your watercolor card 300 gsm 13.99 but it's just a different item number 900269 website let's have a little look at the craftstore.com that's still the fastest way to order we've